Hey baby, you missed the show we were meant to watch. I wanted to meet up, but I couldn't. I just received some really exciting news this evening. Wow, that's great. What's the news? Why don't you guess it, baby? Guess. I'm not good at guessing. Let me see. You got a promotion at work. Yes, baby. Yes, I got a promotion at work. Oh my, Betty, congratulations, darling. You've been getting lots of promotion this year. I know, Oscar. See, I think this year is my lucky year. It is indeed. I hope things keep going this way for both of us. I know it will, but I'm not done with the news I'm sharing with you. I didn't just get a promotion. I will be leaving to Lagos, baby. Lagos? I don't understand. I'll be leaving to Lagos. That's where I got the promotion. I'll be working at the headquarters. You know what that means. More money for us all. Lagos is too far from here. That's almost a 10 hour trip. I know, baby, but this is a promotion for me, for my job. This means a lot to my career. I know, but Lagos, come on, baby. I know it's quite far, but we'll both find the way around. Let's order some drinks so as to celebrate my job. Bad man, give us drinks. I'll take a glass of orange juice. What about you, Oscar? Hello, darling. Chef Jeff. My love, Chloe, how are you doing this evening? I'm not fine, Jeff. You won't believe that my parents didn't meet up with my book launch. Oh dear, I'm really sorry about that. There must be a reason for that. I'm sure they would have loved to be there. I used to think so, but not anymore. They never have my time and they don't care about me. They care about you. You know how busy they can be most of the time. They promised me they would show up this time around, but they didn't and neither did you. Come on, Chloe. You know I would have loved to be there. You just because of work. I know it's because of your work here in the restaurant. I'm just saying. I'll make it up to you. Now, I wish I wasn't working here on a free shift. I wish I have an assistant chef who will help with the cooking. I've been telling you to ask your boss to add someone else to the kitchen with you. The others are adding too much for me to handle and most people know what my food tastes like. Hiring a new chef will require a lot of hard work. But the restaurant is taking much of our time. We barely have time for each other. I'm already used to it. And I know you're also used to it, so... I'm not used to it, Jeff. You know, lack of time is one of the major things affecting us. Our relationship. About that, did you see a client at the front side of the door? Yes, I did. He was eating his food hungrily like he hasn't eaten for a long year. That's my boss brother. He traveled all the way down to have a taste of my food. You've got to be kidding me. I am not. I hope he loves the food because I hear he might be the new owner of the restaurant once his brother leaves the country. Your boss is still planning on leaving the country. I thought he changed his mind. Why aren't you drinking up, Oscar? I'm not really happy about all of this, Betty. Like you are leaving me. How am I leaving you, babe? I am going back and I'm just a few hours away. You are going to be far from me. You can't see often anymore. We will make plans on how we will see. Why are you doing this, Betty? Why are you taking this promotion to Lagos? Because of the benefits and also because I want to go to Lagos. This is an opportunity that comes once in a while. Do you know how many staffs wish they're the ones that are going? I'm not comfortable with this if I'm being sincere. Don't tell me you are scared that some of those Lagos guys will take me from you. That's part of the things that worries me, Betty. Our relationship. Nothing will happen to our relationship, baby. Soon, we'll be together again. How soon? See, this promotion isn't something you should just jump into, Betty. What are you saying, babe? I'm not jumping into anything right now. I'm just trying to get the best out of these opportunities so our future can be sorted out. You are doing this for our future? Yes, baby, I'm doing it for us. If I have more money and you have money as well, we will be able to have the kind of life that we always dreamed of. We're already living the life, Betty. This doesn't mean I don't want you going after your dreams. I'm just worried on it all. You at Lagos and me here. You are busy here reading instead of you to be searching online for jobs. Mom, do you think it's that easy to get a job online? It's not that easy. I know, but you can't just give up. You have to keep looking for a job. I'm not giving up, mom. I'm still looking for a job. No one loves to graduate from school and not get a job. Even if it's something small, you should do it so you will have money to take care of me and your sister. Mommy, that's what I'm always thinking of. Taking care of you and sis. But I can't take a job and at the end of the month, I have nothing to show up for it. That's true. But most of the time, it's better than zero. Better than staying at home. Who knows if you're working at a small store now? You would meet someone there who will give you a better job. Don't you see it happen? It's mostly in movies that things like that happen. It doesn't happen in real life. It happens and I am telling you it will happen to you. 
Mom, is everything okay with my sister? Is she fine? She's fine, but we need money to buy her drugs. I just found out that our drugs are finished and we need to buy it. Mom, you would have told me this earlier on. I don't have money on me. I know, but we need to buy this drug urgently, you know. But I don't have money on me, mom. What are we going to do now? I don't know and I'm scared of her falling sick. You know she needs to keep taking this drug and I know my demands are becoming so much. I'm not complaining on your demands, but you could have told me this earlier. I will have to call Lillian. She's the only one that can help me. Okay, I've heard you mom. Are you ready for us to go to my place? I want to close the restaurant. My mom just called me and she apologized that she wasn't able to make it to the lunch. I am sure you are forgiving them. I have and she promised that they will be around next tomorrow. So what do you say we go together? Me and you spend the weekend at my parents place. You know I would be busy here in the restaurant. You're always busy, Jeff. Ask your boss for a day off or just act sick. Something like that. I can't do any of that, Chloe. As much as I would love to meet your parents again, I am not sure this weekend we work out. I'm the only chef here and my boss isn't around. Imagine you were to be sick. Would your boss not find someone else to cover your poor? Or would the restaurant be all shut because of you? I'm not sick, Chloe. Come on, babe. Let's spend this weekend together at my parents' place. Please, I beg of you. I'll be very busy this weekend. My boss brother is still around for a full week. I can't miss work. Just say you don't want to come with me. When was even the last time you came over to my house? I'm the only one always coming to spend time with you. Chloe, I am tired. And I really don't want to argue with you because I know no matter what I say to you, you will still believe what you like. I was about to call you now. What is this you're putting on? Are we no longer going to the party? The least thing on my mind is a party. I've even totally forgotten about the birthday. Just go inside and change your clothes. I'm waiting for you. I'm not in the right state of mind for any party. What's wrong? Is your mom not feeling fine? Or is it your sister? Everyone is fine, but I need some money to get some drugs for my sister. Our medications are finished and my mom just told me about it now. Oh, I see. Don't worry about that. I'll give you some money. Oh, thank you, Lillian. Thank you so much. I wish I would not disturb you, but I don't even know who to run to right now. It's nothing. And this is more reasons for you to attend the birthday. You can meet some friends there. Who knows even get a lover because you've been single for too long. What will a man add to my life? Are you seriously asking me that question? Look at me. Look at your friend now. My baby boo. The man who is about to put a ring in my finger. He's the one who is allowing me to enjoy this baby girl lifestyle. I've had you, but I'm not going to be with a man because of money. I'm not saying you should be with a man because of money. But if you meet a man who is willing to spoil you with money, darling, don't hesitate. I'm not lucky with that as well. I'm not even interested in men. With everything that is going on in my life, I just need a job. A good job. It's not easy to get a good paying job. I know that myself. If not for my little business, I might be walking around Lagos looking for jobs. Little business? You are calling your business little? <laughs> that large store of yours. Baby, I am just so excited about it all and I wish you feel the same. I'm not comfortable with it. That really remains my stand on this new promotion. I mean, why can't they give you a promotion here? Baby, I don't know why you are scared. I am going to be back, Oscar. See, it's just for a while. My stay in Lagos isn't permanent. How many months? Three months? About 18 months. But we can see every month. Make plans. You come, I come. 18 months is a very long time for the both of us. Don't you agree with me? It is, but we will see. Don't go, Betty. Please, for the sake of our relationship, our love, allow the company to send someone else in the place of you. Come up with something and excuse. I want to go. I really want to go to Lagos. Baby, see, it's just for 18 months and we both try to see if our love will survive the test of distance, which I'm certain it will pass because I love you so much. My love for you has never been up for debate. You know how I feel about you, but I don't want us staying too far from each other. We will be fine. Distance isn't going to mess this relationship up because we are both in love with each other and that's what matters the most. Living life with Mom, Lillian gave us money to get the drugs. Oh my god, bless Lillian for us. Where is she? Let me go and thank her. That's not necessary. You know how Lillian feels about all this thank you stuff, ma. Help me to thank her very much. 
God will bless her for me. I've heard you, mom. I'll send you higher regards. Vanessa, can you see how things have changed for Lillian ever since she started following this and new lover? Mom, I don't want to hear it all, please. Just use the money and buy some drugs for my sister. You need to also get a man in your life. Ever since you and Harry broke up, you've not brought any man to this house to show me as your lover. Mommy, is he a lover I need at this point? Just look at everything that is going on in our lives. Is that what I should be putting my attention on? Yes, you need a lover. Most especially now. Haven't you heard of people who met their spouse and things changed for their family just because they married him? I just need a job, mom. If I have a good job, all these things will be made easy for us in this house. I'll be able to take care of you and my sister well. That's true. But if one isn't forthcoming, at least the other one should be. If you can't get a job, get a lover at least. That's what I'm saying. You're already old enough to be married. Thank you, mom. I've heard you. I'm going to dress up. We are going for a party. Every day you are going for a birthday party, but one single man you've not brought to the house to show me as your man. If you say I don't love you, that's fine. Believe what you want. Oh my god, is that the response I get? You obviously just want us to argue. So fine, let's argue since that's what you love to always do. Argue on this or that. You know I'm working all day long, yet you are refusing to understand. That is because you're acting like the restaurant would run without you. But I bet you it will, with or without you. Your boss doesn't even give a damn about you, if you quit or not. I don't care what you say, I'm still not going to be available to meet your parents. You're never there for me, Jeff. Never! I'm chasing my dreams here, and you're also chasing your dreams. Should I stop cooking or risk losing my job because of you? Hell no. My parents can find you another job in a bigger restaurant if your boss sacks you because you're just asking for a weekend off. They can even get to your own restaurant. So, they will own me and control my life, right? Hell no, that's not happening. You know what? I'm going home. Fine, that's a good idea because I'm tired of this conversation. You didn't even want me here in the first place. That's the truth. I didn't chase you, but I'm not going to be going to your parents' place this weekend. Why do I have to do everything you want? Just why? You were quiet throughout our ride home. I know you're worried about me working in Lagos, but baby, we can make this work out. I'm not sure we can do that. Why don't you come inside so we'll talk more on everything? I can't do that tonight. I just want to go home and allow you to think about everything again. What am I thinking about again? Taking the job in Lagos. You shouldn't take the job, Betty. Please don't. How would you feel if you got an opportunity to go after your dream and I'm asking you not to do it? How would you feel? All of my dreams are aligned to our relationship. It's in such a way that it won't affect your relationship. You're lying to me, Oscar. I know if you get an opportunity to go after your dreams, you will go for it without thinking twice. I know you. But I'll listen to all you have to say. I won't just go and accept it without telling you. Baby, this isn't a big deal here. It's an opportunity for me. For us. No, it's an opportunity for you, but not me. You are being selfish right now and thinking of only yourself. You don't care about me or our relationship. I am being selfish. Aren't you the one who's being selfish here? Trying to stop me from going after my dreams instead of supporting me. You are my lover. You should support me. You should be the one encouraging me to go. If I was the one who got the job, will you happily let me go? Yes, I will, Oscar. I will be really happy for you and support you. You don't love me, Betty. If you love me, you won't just let me go like that. Is that what you think? That I don't love you? You know what? Let's talk tomorrow when you're more calm on everything. There's nothing to talk about tomorrow. My suggestion is that you don't take the job. Let someone else go in place of you. You're not the only staff in the office. What? Oscar, I am going to pretend like I didn't hear what you said. Good night. Good night. What's wrong with Oscar? Just what? I expected he would be happy for me on my new job. But look at the way he reacted. Like I'm going over there for myself. Now I can't even sleep. No matter how hard, I'm trying. Cause his thoughts keep popping up in my head over and over again. <sighs> Why can't he just support me? It's not even like he can stop me from going in the real sense. I'm just going to leave regardless of what he says. He says I'm being selfish, but he's the one who is being selfish here. Who do I call now to share my worries? Should I call him and let's talk about things? No, no. Who owns this strange number?
Hello? Good evening. Good evening, Miss Betty. I hope you are not sleeping already. I am about to. But please, who is this? I don't have this number saved on my phone. Oh, I see. So they gave me your number, but didn't think to give you my number, right? Please, who is on the line? Your name or something before I end the call. This is Madam Maria, your new boss in Lagos. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, Ma, about my words. I didn't know you were the one. It's okay. I only called to let you know we'll be expecting you sooner. I'll be coming in by next week, Ma. Why next week? You expect her to resume work as early as the next two days. Don't be late, because being late means you get a deduction in your salary. Okay, ma. Yes, ma. We'll be expecting you, Betty. Have a good night rest. But isn't it too early for you to be asleep? Look at the time. It's just past 11 p.m. Lillian, I can't thank you enough for helping out with the money. Thank you so much. How many times do you want to keep telling me thank you? It's okay. I know. I'm just saying it and it's for the final time. You were in an awful when you came out of the house. What happened earlier on? It's my mom. You know how she can be at times. But I'd rather not even talk about it. What happened between you two again? Just the usual stuff. You know how she can be now. Is this on you and Henry again? Hope she's not telling you to go back to him. Even if she sings it in my ear from now to forever, I will never agree to it. I know you won't, but hope that's not what she talks to you about. No, she didn't mention Henry. I already told her to stop mentioning him. And praise be to God, she stopped mentioning him in the house. It's funny to think that Henry decided to go through my mother to find a way for us to sort our issues. Not surprising though. Your mom is the only one who can talk to you and you will listen. I listen to her, but not on every. I have a mind of my own and I also have things I want to accomplish with my life. You are still mommy's girl. You and your junior sister. I just wish that my sister can stop falling sick. Do you know how happy I would be? Because things haven't been easy since she started falling ill. Things will get better, that's for certain. When will things get better? Are you not tired of all my continuous demands from you? Lillian, I need this. Lillian, I need that. It is nothing really. You know if I have more money in my hand, I will do more than that for you. I will even give you money to start up a little business. You don't need to do that. I know all the responsibilities you are carrying at home. Why would I not be thinking of you setting me up? I can do it. You should know I'm not stingy. I know. Just look at how much money has been spent on this party. Some people have money, but I know Ella isn't the one that owns the money they use for this party. Everything was done by that lover, the one near her. She's lucky. That reminds me. My mom even said I should get a rich lover that would be spoiling me with money and love. That's not a bad idea, you know. I knew you were going to support her on this, but why should I follow a man because of what he can possibly offer me? Just why? That's not your lifestyle, but it's something a lot of ladies are doing out What's wrong with Betty? Why can't she seem to understand what I'm telling her? How can she think of accepting the job? Just why? We're both meant to be together to work on our relationship and plan our marriage. But there she is thinking of leaving, running away from me and choosing her dreams over me. How are we both going to survive the 18 months apart? I'm sure in just two months she must have someone else in her life and I'll be old story. But I shouldn't support her dreams. Am I meant to trust her? Damn! This news wasn't expected. I never thought either of us would leave each other. Oscar, I, I wasn't expecting you to show up. I wasn't expecting that I would come, but I got a text message. I've been leaving today. I have to be at work by tomorrow morning. Yeah, I read that in your text message. But it's too soon, don't you agree with me? Yes, I know it's too soon. I leave in cause of our argument yesterday and the words I said to you. You should know that I didn't mean those words I was saying. I know you didn't mean them, but you hurt me, Oscar. I'm sorry for the words I said yesterday. I was just being insecure and all. I'm still insecure right now about it all. But you've got to trust me. I believe we can make our relationship work, regardless of the distance or anything. We can make it work out. I don't know what to say, but I definitely won't be an hindrance to you achieving your dreams. I want you to go after what you want. Thank you, baby. You have no idea how happy I am you're saying this. But you don't have to go today. You can spend the whole day together and then you leave by Sunday or Monday. I wish I can stay, but my new boss already called me last night and asked that I should be around by tomorrow, so I have to go. That's too soon. When did they tell you about the promotion? Wasn't it yesterday? Yes, it was yesterday. But I think they must be excited to have me working in Lagos and they can't wait for me to come. That's what I think. You are seriously leaving today. We've not even talked about anything. We can still talk as you take me to the airport. We can discuss anything and everything. I still want to hold you in my arms before you leave. Baby, I'm dressed up already. Look at me. I can still dress you up again. Our pattern shouldn't be like this. It should be memorable. Living life without you. Hey man, good morning. Kelvin, good morning. What are you doing here this early? I was heading to work when I noticed the restaurant was open this early. So I came to see you. Everything okay with you? Yeah, sure. 
Why are you asking? The restaurant doesn't open till 9 a.m. So I'm surprised to see you are up and running. Already cooking, even though there is no customer out there. There's a customer in the eatery. Baby, you didn't see the person. There's no one in the restaurant, just you and me. Did you have a rough night? Shit, look at all the food I've cooked down. I thought someone placed an order already. Your food don't go to waste since I'm here. But what's wrong, man? Chloe? Yeah, it's Chloe. She's getting on my nerves. I'm serious. Then get her off before she chokes you out. I don't know why you're with her. Because I love her and I know she loves me. She's just so annoying most times. I think she's annoying every time, man. But what happened this time around? She wants me to take the weekend off and meet her parents. Can you imagine? That's a good thing, man. But do you have the time? I don't. I'm busy here at the restaurant. Always busy. Busy, busy, busy. You are too busy, Jeff. If she complains on that, I think she's right on that. Because I see it myself that you are busy. But just try to create time for her. Not this weekend, but maybe some other time. Her issues are just too much. The food is burning, Jeff. Jeff. Shit, it's your fault, Kevin. Is everything okay, Lillian? Be on your way to my store. I just saw a job opening and the interview is okay. Oh my, thank you so much. I'm on my way. I'll be with you soon. Oh God, please let today be one of those days where I'll be told a yes. Getting a job will help change a lot of things for my family. Don't tell me you're going out again. I'm going to Lillian's place. She just told me of a job interview she saw. Wow, that's good. What are you waiting for? Dress up and start going now. Okay, mom. But pray for me that I get the job, please, mom. You will come back with good news for me. Don't worry, you get the job. Now, these are the kind of things I like hearing. That you are going to look for a job rather than all those unnecessary walking up and down or sleeping out. Nina should be calling you for job interviews, not birthday parties. But he just wants us to argue again. I'm leaving already. I'm going to really miss you. Only God know when next we'll be together again. Baby, you're making it seem like I'm going and not coming back again. That's exactly what it is. Or are you going to come back again? Of course I'll come back. I can't stay there for too long without coming to see you. I would see you, Sesu. I've made plans for us on how we'll both see. You'll come first and then I'll come next. Why can't you come first? Let's say after some weeks you come back and give you a review to your office on how you feel over there. A simple phone call will do for the review. But you know what? you come first. I know you've not been to Lagos before. So this is an opportunity for you. That's true. I've not been there before. You'll be the reason I'll come to Lagos. I know and you can be sure that I'll make it memorable for you. Baby, I need to leave now. Yeah, that's true. So you'll not miss your flight. I definitely don't want to miss my flight. And I don't want to miss you too. I know, but we talk every day on both chats, calls and videos. Definitely, baby. That's the only way I can feel closer to you and believe you're not going to be following one of those pretty ladies in your office. I don't know what you're talking about, my lady. You keep denying it, but I know just what I'm saying, and you do as well. I don't, but you've got to promise me something, Betty. What's that, babe? Don't cheat on me. I'm not sure my heart can take that. And if there's an opportunity for you to come back, don't think twice on it. I promise to not cheat on you, but on coming back, if there's an opportunity, unless it's a promotion, then I will come back. We need all the money we can get. The food was really tasty. Thank you so much, Jeff. You're welcome. But you need to stop bumping up on me continuously. Are you trying to say I should stop stopping by the restaurant? I'm not late for work already. Take the time. You are driving me? No problem. I'll leave. But can you pack some food for me? So I'll take it for lunch, you know. Hell no. I'll give this remaining food to those who are hungry. Hello, good morning, Calvin, Jeff. Chloe. Chloe, it's been a really long time since we've seen. How have you been doing? I'm doing fine. And you? I'm fine too. It's really good to see you again, Chloe. Well, I'll be taking my leave now. I'll see you some other time. Aren't you interested in taking some food to the office anymore? <laughs> That's so generous of you, Jeff. But it's not necessary. Thank you. He still wanted to take some food to the office after the one he has eaten. I can't blame him. He loves my cooking and I'm one of the best chefs in town. That's true. You're one of the best chefs in town. But that doesn't mean you should allow Calvin to always come and eat free food. What are you doing here, Chloe? I thought we were fighting. I came to apologize. I overreacted yesterday on everything and I wasn't thinking straight. Asking you to leave what you're doing to come and see my parents when I know that they might not even show up yet again. That's not why I said I can't come. You know I'm busy here, else I'll go with you. I know you're busy, but I just wish that you ask for an assistant so we can get to spend more time together. Don't we spend enough time together anymore? We spend most of our nights together. 
just some nights and you're always tired sleeping even when we are watching a movie that's true and it's cause i'm stressed out from the restaurant i know but you can ask for an assistant teach someone else how to cook like you i know you love cooking i do and i love it when you cook but the workload is much for you even if you refuse to admit it to me that's why i'm saying ask for an assistant thank you baby for your care i know you care about me why don't you sit let me serve you some breakfast and don't worry i work on my lack of time i promise you but i won't be able to see your parents this weekend i understand that i love you jeff and i can't imagine my life without you i love you too chloe I'm really happy to be here in Lagos and I promise that I will do best here. Thank you for the warm welcome. Thank you all. I knew Lagos would be fun. Good morning, beautiful. Oscar, <laughs> is it morning already? Is it 7 a.m. already? It's just past 6. Don't tell me you are still sleeping. I expected you'll be up and ready to start your day seeing how excited you are about everything. I have to be at work by 8 p.m. and I was told the office isn't too far from the apartment I was given. You've not sent me the pictures of your new apartment. I want to see how it looks. It doesn't look too bad. It's way smaller than I had hoped, but it's beautiful. Smaller? Let me pick yourself, see. I'll do that. I'm craving for a hot cup of tea and toasted bread. Now I wish I brought my toaster to Lagos. Where do I even get toasted bread? this morning you still want to hear by this time <laughs> well baby one thing i've heard about lagos is how the traffic is terrible i hope you make it to the office in time my office isn't far i've checked it online it's just 30 minutes to my place if you say so well i'm wishing you a great day ahead and be ready to fill me in with the, all the details of your day i'll do just that let me go and get ready we'll talk much later goodbye okay i'm very sure she'll get to work late today lagos and its traffic I'm sorry about that, my mistake. No, I'm the one who's actually at fault here. I don't usually look at my front. Are you sure? Because you seem to be looking ahead when we bumped into each other. Oh, really? So, are you at fault here? Totally at fault. We both share faults here. Let's say 50 50. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. I'm Jeff. I live in this estate. What about you? I'm Betty. I just moved in yesterday. I also live here at the second floor. Oh, you're the new tenant. I live at the first floor. The first room by your far left. That's nice. And nice to meet you, Jeff. So what brings you here? Work or you want to have a taste of Lagos life? A little bit of both. I wish we can sit down and chat more, but I've got to be at work. You're going to work? Are you serious? Yes, I am. I still have about 50 minutes before it's time, but I want to get there early. It's actually my first day. I see. But hope your workplace isn't far from here. It's just 30 minutes. I checked it online on my map. <laughs> Don't trust the timing on your map. Well, enjoy your first day at work. But I can bet you get there in maybe two hours time. What? You're kidding, right? Isn't the new staff meant to be here already or has she changed her mind and left? That would be such a great idea, ma. Because I don't know why they had to pick a staff f far from north to come over here for a promotion. They are trying to spy on us. I checked her qualifications and she's not even meant to be here. But I think she might have some connections. Maybe. Good morning, ma. I'm Betty. We're just talking about you now. Don't tell me this is the time you resume work. No, ma. I was held up by traffic. I had left my... Keep the story short. I really don't care about the traffic you had to face. If you want to work here, Betty, you need to be prompt. Wake up as early as 3 a.m. and start coming to work. I don't care, but make sure you get here on time. Yes, ma. It won't happen again, I promise you. People who make promises are bound to make their promise to break their promises, so don't make any. Okay, ma. I hope you like your new apartment and you like the whole feel of Lagos. My apartment is just perfect for me. I've not had a feel of Lagos yet, but the traffic is a big no for me. Life in the... I'm not interested in your life history. Just get to work. Calvin will show you to your new office. I hope you do well here. Thank you, ma. And thank you for the welcome. We'll see how well you do in this office, Betty. Hello, good morning. I would like to buy these items. Okay, we have most of them. Let me get you a basket for the items. You look familiar. Are you by any chance, Vanessa? Yes, I'm Vanessa, but I don't remember your face. Vanessa Ray. Oh my god. <laughs> 
Look at my face again and tell me you don't recognize me. Just take a look again. I still don't remember you. What's the name, please? I can't believe you don't remember my face. I am Derek. No, you have got to be joking. Derek, like D-Boy? Yes, I'm the one. I'm D-Boy. <laughs> I can't believe I ran into you here. Like, this is my first time seeing you here. Is this your store? No, this isn't my store. It's my friend's store. Wow, Vanessa, baby. My long-time love. The lady who always had a way to my heart. You're not serious, Derek. <laughs> I'm so surprised you are the one here. You look different. A bit chubby. I'm at your bed. It's hard to know you are the one. I know, but you're still the same with these lovely eyes that can peer into my soul. You are not serious. Let me get the items you want to buy for you. We can forget about what I came to buy. You have no idea how happy I am to run into you today. Let me get your order for you first. Vanessa Ray. Oh my god. Today is my lucky day. Wow, is this my office? Yeah, it's your office. I hope you like it and feel comfortable in it. I love it already. I wasn't expecting something this large. I thought it was going to be like the apartment. If you must know, this is the smallest office in the company. The smallest office? Yes, Betty, the smallest office. I need to get back to my office. Why is my office the smallest office? I... You know what? Never mind. I love it this way. I can see that you love it. Good luck. Aren't you going to talk to me on how things work here? Like an orientation. I'm too busy to give an orientation. I've got to get back to work. How about doing lunch? We can talk about it then. I don't want to go to lunch with you. Oh, okay. What about Madame Maria? Do you think she'll agree to go to lunch with me and fill me in on every little detail? I don't know. Good luck, Betty. Why is everyone acting strangely towards me? Is it because I got to work late today? Or what exactly is the problem here? Madame Maria doesn't seem too friendly. And there's Calvin. He's not friendly as well. <sighs> but I'll get through it, I'm sure. But is everything okay? Yes, ma. Everything is just fine, but... If everything is fine, then we don't have anything to talk about, or do we? I wanted to ask you if you like to go to lunch with me. Lunch in the cafeteria or lunch where? I don't understand. Somewhere. Anywhere, ma. I'm still new to town, so I don't know much places. I'm too busy right now. You can see I'm working, right? In Lagos, we always work, and we don't look for breaks. Don't tell me this is how you work at your old place. I work well at my place, ma, but we all get lunch breaks. You also get lunch lunch breaks here but right to the top at times you don't need breaks are you saying i shouldn't go for lunch i didn't say so you know what go and enjoy your lunch by the time you're back i'll have so many things for you to do i would love to get busy with work ma i'm enthusiastic to work enjoy your lunch betty and i love the fact that you're excited about working here but a quick question how did you get this promotion i was just selected ma i'm equally surprised do you think you deserve it i mean looking at your level of education i'm well educated ma and i'm still working on my master's degree exactly my point no one in this office has lesser than a master's degree so how did you do it that you got this promotion i got lucky ma you got lucky i don't believe that you probably have connections with those at the top right a uncle a dad no definitely not a dad i don't have anyone ma i just applied and got lucky but aside luck i am a hard worker smart talented and always eager to work i see so you want me to believe that's the reason you got the job yes ma are you sleeping with one of the bosses excuse me you are definitely doing that from your response i can get that already well have fun enjoying your lunch buddy i don't think you can get your way to the top by sleeping around here i'm not the man you can see right and i'm definitely not into women i i don't hear anything off you go Derek, what are you still doing here? I told you I was going to wait until you're done. Didn't I say so? Don't tell me you have been here all along for the past three hours. What if I say yes? You shouldn't be surprised because you know I'm a sucker for love. Indeed you have. But I hope you didn't wait here for the past three hours. I kind of did. But you don't need to worry. You know it's always an honor for me to wait for those that I love. If you say so. But I feel it's unnecessary. You already make plans to see you soon, didn't we? Yes. But I had to still see you today again. Like, I'm still surprised I ran into you. I am equally surprised. What do you say? I take you out for lunch so we can get to talk and catch up on stops. That won't be possible today. I need to go home. There are certain things I need to do. I see. How's your mom and your baby sis? I'm sure she has grown a lot now. They are both doing fine. How are your parents and siblings too? They are fine too. Well, since you've got to get home, let me drive you home or are you also going to reject this offer? I won't say no to a drive home. 
but just home. Have you moved from your old apartment or are you still in the old place? We have moved to somewhere else. I'll direct you to the place. Your wish is my command, my lady. Let me help you open the car door. Mom, Dad, I'm home. Where are you guys? There's no one in this house. Does this mean they are not yet here? They are meant to be around already. They're not picking up their calls. Why did I even think that they will come? They are never on time and they always make promises that they can't keep. <laughs> I'm tired of all this. <laughs> why did I even come here? Just why? Hello, mom. <laughs> why are you then calling me? Just why? <laughs> you could have told me earlier on that. <laughs> you won't make it. You know what? <laughs> just, just avoid me. Forget you have a daughter. I hate you. I hate you and dad. I hate the two of them. They don't even care about me. Miss Betty. Jeff, what are you doing here? I work here. I am a chef here. What about you? And what are you doing here? I'm here for lunch. I didn't know you're a chef. Wow, you must really know how to cook, seeing the way this place is full with customers. I will let you be the judge of that. Once you have a taste of one of my special recipes. I'll be the judge of that then. But what's the special recipe? It's something you're going to love. I call it close special. I can bet it's going to be special. I hope it's something I can eat. You can. That reminds me, did you get to work on time today? I didn't. I wish I had woken up on time. That would have helped me out with my boss. Are you already having issues with your boss? Not really, but I think I started at the wrong food because I came to work late. Well, you can't, right? That's wrong by going to work early tomorrow. Set an alarm. In Lagos, you need to be up early to get to your destination on time. I'll keep that in mind, Chef Jeff. Well, I'm starving already. I'm hungry for Chloe's special. You have no idea how happy I am to have brought you home. At least now I know where you stay and I can come over. Oh, no wonder you wanted to take me home. You wouldn't blame me. You're still as captivating as you've always been. Your beauty still keeps me stuck. You're not serious, Derek. But I'm glad I had also run into you today. Don't you think it's fate that we are both meeting again after all these years? Fate? See, I don't have time for all of this. I need to go inside the house. Our path always meant to cross because you've been destined for me. Nah, nah. That's not something I believe in anymore. And why is that? Because you have a man in your life who has promised you heaven and earth. Is that so? You are not serious, Derek. See, I need to go inside. I know you're tired from walking in the store. Is that where you walk or you just came to spend some time with your friend today? It's kind of complicated. I don't... Vanessa! Vanessa! Come quickly, your sister! Your sister! Oh my god! My sister, Derek! Mommy! What happened to her? I'm coming with you, Vanessa. I didn't know your sister still falls ill. I hope she's okay. Cause I'm finally getting real sleep. Love watching all the color rush back into my six. I don't wanna be Jeff, what a surprise. Please come inside. Thank you. Well, I brought you this plate of food so you can heat it up and eat in the morning. Oh. That's so thoughtful and sweet of you, Jeff. Thank you. This is also like a way to welcome you to Lagos. To show you that we locations are warm and welcoming people. You're one of the warmest person I've met here so far. My first friend. That's cool. We can be friends. Why not? Aren't we friends already? I didn't know we are friends already. I mean, we just met and it's not up to 24 hours. Um, that's true. But it doesn't matter to me. I can make friends within two minutes. I see. Well, unlike me, making friends requires a lot of hard work and I don't have the time. How are you even able to be here right now? You're meant to be in the restaurant. Do you know what the time is, But It's almost 12 a.m. You've got to be kidding me. Ah! Oh my god, I didn't know. Welcome to Lagos. Never know what the time is and if you're not careful, you'll never get enough sleep because of the bubbling lifestyle. I think I should go to bed early, Jeff. Thank you so much for this. I'll warm it tomorrow. Sounds like a good idea. I will see you tomorrow morning. Maybe we will bump into each other again. Remember, wake up on time. Living life without you. Chloe, you are here. Is everything okay? They didn't show up yet again. They called to give me another excuse. Like they always do. Oh darling, I am really sorry about this yet again. Why sorry? It serves me right, don't you think? I mean, I was here fighting with you. 
because <laughs> I wanted you to come with me, but just see how it worked out. It doesn't serve you right. I don't know why your parents never met up for anything. It's because they've gotten a lot of important things to do, way important than their daughter. Nothing should be more important than you. When I was younger, I used to create excuses for their absence. I watched my friends have their parents come to their graduations and birthday parties, but all I ever got was a card with excuses on why they love me and won't be able to make it. I am really sorry, Chloe. Let me make you something to eat. The least thing on my mind is food. I'm not hungry for anything. I know you have not eaten since you got here because you are pissed off, but I will cook. That's not necessary, babe. I know you've been working in the restaurant since morning. I need you to eat something, no matter how small it may be. You're the only one I've got, Jeff. You're the only one who truly cares about me and loves me, not my parents. I'm sure your parents love you. They are just having a tight schedule. Your dad is calling me, Chloe. Excuse me. Don't tell him I'm with you. Say you've not seen me since yesterday. That will make him worried. And you know his health history. Derek, I can't thank you enough for bringing us here to the hospital. It's really nothing. How's your sister feeling now? She's getting better. I just need to sort out some bills. You don't have to worry about the bills. I'll sort it all out for you. No, that's not necessary, Derek. You have done more than enough for one day. Look at the time. It's already late. It's never late for me to be out here with you. Just so you know, I'd rather spend time with you than anywhere else. Derek, now is in the time for all of these love words, please. I know your mind is on your sister. Well, you've got nothing to worry on. I'll clear the bills on my way home. I can't thank you enough for everything, Derek. Thank you so much. It's okay. I'll take my leave now, but make sure you reach out to me on everything. Let me walk you outside. No, don't worry on that. You should be within the hospital premises. Vanessa, I came as soon as I saw your call. Is everything okay? How is she feeling now? Lillian, she is much better. Thank you for coming. Hello, Mr. Derek. What are you doing here? Lillian, always a pleasure to see you. Well, I'll see you another time. Good night, Vanessa. And please don't hesitate to call me. Do you know Derek? He is one of my top customers in the store. That's a story for later. I need to use the restroom. I'll be back. Does she really want to use the restroom? Or that's an excuse to see Derek again? That is too early. Is it really early? Well, I'm in front of my gate and ready to leave for work. It just passed 4 a.m. I thought your office is just 30 minutes away. I used 2 hours to get to my destination yesterday. I'd rather be early to work, so I am on my boss's good side. Is she that tough? She's a tough woman. Everyone in the office is actually tough. That's what I've come to realize and it's kind of boring for me because they are too serious. Does this mean your people here aren't serious with their jobs? That's not what I mean. But I mean, we all try to enjoy ourselves here together. We show support for each other. Well, you can report to your boss and tell him how you are being treated here, so they can ask that you come back home. As tempting as it sounds, you should know that I don't back off easily. I won't give up no matter what happens here in Lagos. I'll find my way around. That's the best thing I know. Well, I've got a little surprise for you. I love surprises, Oscar. What is it? I'll be coming over to Lagos next weekend. Oh my god. Baby, you're coming. I can't wait to see you soon. You've just made my day with this exciting news. I know, Betty. It's only been a few days with you gone. But it feels so much like forever to me, at least. I'll get to spend some time with you. You have no idea how happy I am. My driver is here already. I'm heading to the car now. Don't end the call yet. She looks much better compared to yesterday when I saw her. She's recovering really fast. The doctor told us we shouldn't worry on anything. She'll be okay. And it's relieving to hear that. That's really good to hear. How about the hospital bills? The bills have been sorted out. Thank you so much, Lillian. That's such a relief to hear. Well, I need to give you some money to repair your sister's free right for how when she gets home. You don't need to do anything. You have done more than enough for my family already. I still insist because I told my baby I needed some money to sort out some hospital bills for you. I just sent you some money. It's not much, but please manage it for your sister. Lillian! Oh my god. <laughs> I I don't know what to say, but thank you. Thank you so much, dear. Thank you. <laughs> I'm back. Why are you crying? Is everything okay with your sister? Is she fine? Mommy, she's fine. Lillian just sent us some money to use for food. Oh my, Lillian, my daughter. God bless you. Thank you so much. I don't know how we would have survived this day without you in our life. Ma, it's nothing. Please stop thanking me. If I have more than this, I will not stay to help you at any point. You're my family. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, all this for me? 
Today will definitely be a busy day, but I know I'll get through all of it regardless of what happens. I see you are early today. Good morning, ma. I hope your night was beautiful like mine. Your night was beautiful. I expected you would be having nightmares seeing where you live. Only nightmares of eating good food, because Lagos chefs can really cook. Don't waste all of your money buying food. I believe you know how to cook. I'm not much of a chef, but I can learn to cook. That's your business, by the way. Well, I need you to finish up with the files on your table before the end of the day. Okay, ma, will you be available for? No, no, no. I'm too busy for lunch, and I bet you barely have time for that today. What if I round off on time? Will you be up for lunch then? Let's see if you finish on time. Remember, no mistakes, Betty. She acts like she's one tough woman, but let's see how hard she is. She's going to be with my cute warm smile. I'm sure she won't be able to resist me. I hope you brought some money with you to pay for the food you eat. I don't pay for food here. Well, this is a restaurant, man, not a charity food center. And as you can see, my boss brother is still around, so he will pay. Does he pay as well? I'm sure he's eating lots of free food. He pays like everyone else. He doesn't want business to run down, so you better pay up. I see you are in a brighter mood this morning. Care to tell me what happened? Why do you love to get updated about my life, but I get nothing on yours? That's cause nothing is happening in my life. It's just typically boring. Get a woman in your life. You are telling me to get a woman? After all the stuff that's going on with you and Chloe, I hope you guys sort out yourselves already. You love to hear stuffs that aren't your business. I'm interested in stuffs. I'm interested in these stuffs only because you're my friend. So how did it go? Just what do you think? Everything went well, Kevin, and we are fine. No wonder you're in a great mood today. Well, give me some good food to eat. I'm hungry. Go outside, get a table, and wait like everyone else. Your order will be taken, sir. Jokes make sure you put a lot of extra for me. You know how I love to be served. Yes, sir. I hope you have a fat pocket to also pay. I'll pay, Chef Jeff. You know my salary is quite large. Well, I knew she wasn't going to make it to lunch. I don't know why the company agreed to send her here when she can't even work hard. Excuse me, ma. I don't know if you'll be free for lunch. I was just thinking about you. Are you done with the files? I've sent it to Rose to confirm it and all. But I've also sent you the online document as well. Y you're finished? I'm done, ma. So can we go to lunch? I'd love to have a chat with you. Even if I agree to it, I won't be able to make it today. I need to do some other stuff. You never take a break, ma. See why you are at the top as our boss. I know you're starving, so get along and get something to eat. I wish we'd go together. But how about you recommend somewhere I can go to for lunch? I don't know anywhere that you can afford. Most of the places I go to for lunch are very expensive. Really expensive. A good treat isn't bad. But most time, we don't need to spend too much to get the best. I'll go through your work. I hope there won't be any mistakes. I don't think you'll find a simple document that hasn't been properly edited, ma. I'll be the judge of that. Well, off you go. I need to get busy. Okay, ma. I see. She's not as lazy like I expected her to be. I just hope she did a good job. Only then will I believe she deserves this job. Vanessa, I'm tired of everything already. It's tiring. You can't be tired, mom. See, everything will get better for us, I'm sure. Get better? You know since when I've been saying things will get better, but things have gotten worse for us now. Just look at me as your mother. Things haven't gotten worse. We are able to take care of ourselves. But with which person's money? I as a mother, I can't even boast of the last time I made soup with my own money. Like, I'm tired of it all. Mommy, please stop crying. You know if my sister wakes up to see you crying, she will join you in crying. Everything used to be way better than this for us, but now we are beggars. We are not beggars. We are beggars. Do you think I'm happy seeing you always collect money from Lydia to pay her bills? That lady has tried a lot for us. I'm only ashamed of myself. Mommy, I don't like all these things you are saying. If only your father didn't die. If only he was alive, things would be better for us. Mommy, just pray for me to get a good job. Once I have that, you don't need to worry about anything. I'll be the one paying all the bills. I'll even open for you a very big store. I don't doubt you, but time is going for us all, and things are getting harder day by day. You still have to buy your sister's medication for her. About that, you don't need to worry. Derek has paid for it all. Derek has paid? Derek. The person that brought us to the hospital. Hello, beautiful morning. Oh, good 
Good morning. Are you the owner of this store? I've been waiting since. No, I'm not. Miss Dockers never opens on time. I'm sure she's probably inside working. She doesn't. I thought most people wake up early, ready to start their day on time. Most people, but not everyone. Most especially if you're running your own business. That's not good though. Customers won't always patronize you. I kind of agree on that. What do you want to buy though? I could still get it for you in the store. I can see you're new to the area. Is it that obvious that I'm new here? I think I'm blending in already. Let's say you're blending in, but you're still new. I wish I would just get along with everyone in Lagos easily, but it's kind of hard. It's a gradual process. So what are you getting from her store? I'd love to get those big round donuts with the jam in the middle. Five of it. Five of it? Isn't that too much for you? Oh, not just for me. I'm getting it for my boss. She works so hard, she barely goes for lunch. So I thought to get her something to snack on. That is so thoughtful of you. I love your heart. I'm Chloe, by the way. I'm Betty, and it's nice to meet you. Same here. Miss Dockers, it's Chloe, your favorite goddaughter. She's your godmother. It's a long story for another day, and I can bet you need to get to the office soon. I do, but my office isn't far from here. I'd like to hear a bit of a story, at least something to brighten up my morning. Well, let's say about that. That young man was the one who paid for us. Yes, mom. He paid for everything we need before he left. He wanted to even give me some money, but I rejected it. He has indeed tried for us. But why didn't you tell me about it? I would have thanked him a lot before he left. Maybe another time. Is he your lover? You and Derek? Mom! You already asked me if he's my lover. It's just an old friend I ran into. We both went to the same school during my diploma. I see. Well, he's a fine young man. I pray God blesses him for us. Amen and amen, mom. Vanessa, see, if that young man should say anything like he likes you, please don't think twice about it. Who knows if he's our way out of poverty? He hasn't said anything like that and I pray he doesn't say it. If he says this, accept it. Are you not tired of us living this way? Who knows when next your sister will fall sick again? I'm not praying for it to happen, but you know life. My sister will not fall sick again. Don't worry, mom. I am not praying for it. I'm just making you see a lot of reason why you need to have a man in your life since a good job isn't forthcoming. I've heard you, mom. Let me go and see the doctor. He asked of me. Watch your sister. Derek, it's been really a long time. Living life without you, I gotta tell you it's better than I ever thought it could be. I could say I miss you, but that would be untrue. I know I'm being kind of mean, but I learned all that. I know we won't see you again once you leave the country. Why would you think so, baby? I will still come back for you. Trust me. I don't believe you, Derek. That's what I'm saying. Let's just cut off our relationship so we both can avoid hurting each other. We're not going to hurt ourselves. I'm only going to school there. I'll be back. I'll be here. I'm not sure I'm going for my higher diploma. There is no money for me to further my studies. I made plans for you already. You also finish your school. I promise you. How is that going to happen? Don't worry about that. Let's just try to make our relationship work out. We shouldn't break up because of distance. Okay. But if after a year the relationship isn't working, we end it. Why are you sounding like you want us to end this relationship? Don't you love me? You know how I feel for you, but I don't want to be hurt. I'd rather play it safe. I am not going to hurt you. This time won't affect us. I'm just going abroad for school. Once I'm done, I'll make sure I come home and make plans for you to come join me. I'm not going to believe that. You better believe it. I'll surprise you and do all of these tops. I promise you. Good morning, Ma. Good morning, Betty. How was your night rest? It was fine, Ma, and yours, Ma. I hope you also slept well. I did. What do you have in your hands? Smells really yummy. I got something for you, Ma. I noticed you don't usually go out for lunch, so I bought this for you from Miss Dockers. You got this from Miss Dockers? I did. She makes one of the nicest pastries here in Lagos. You must taste it. I don't need it, plus I didn't tell you I need to go for lunch, did I? You didn't have to tell me, but according to what I read, we need to take lunch every day so that our brain can function very well. My brain functions very well, Betty. Did you check your office already? No, I didn't. I came first to your office as soon as I got here. I'm not impressed. Well, off you go. Go and get busy. I have something new for you to do in the office. How did I do yesterday? I hope you were impressed by my work. I am never impressed. I still feel you brought you way to this position. 
thing. So you will keep proving it every day that you're worth it, or else you can be sure you'll be fired and sent back to where you came from. Oh, yes, Betty, goodbye. I'll prove myself that I deserve the position. I hope you taste the donut. Oh, Mr. Cass Donuts. I can't remember the last time I ate this. So yummy. Hello, Vanessa. Good morning. How are you doing today? I'm fine. And you, Derek? I hope you did sleep well. I slept very well. My nights were just filled with your thoughts and memories. Filled with my thoughts? You are not serious. I am very serious. Tell me you've not also been thinking of me since I left last night. I haven't been thinking about you. I have so many other things to think of. Sounds like the Vanessa I know. How's your sister feeling? She's doing fine. Much better. And thank you again for yesterday. Thanks, Derek. You're always welcome. Do you still need anything for me to sort out in the hospital? No, everything has been sorted out already. And you have done more than enough for us. Well, don't hesitate to ask me anything for your sister. I've had you, Derek. What do you say we see later in the evening? I would like to see you again and spend time with you, if you allow me. That won't be possible today. I still have my sister to look out for. Yes, that's true. Forgive me for asking. Well, I'll check you up much later in the hospital. Okay, Derek, and thank you again. My darling Vanessa, faith has brought us together again. Hello, good morning, Vanessa. And hey, Popkin. How are you as well? Your little pumpkin is asleep. She has been sleeping for quite some time now. I think it's good for her as it makes her relax more. How is she feeling now? Much better. She's more relaxed and better. Thank you so much for yesterday, Lillian. I really appreciate. You are a friend indeed. Stop thanking me every time. I will soon stop coming to see you. If this is how you want to be doing every single time. I'm sorry about that. How are you doing? I'm okay. And I can see you're in a brighter mood this morning. All smiles and all. I know, right? I'm just hoping my mom comes back with some good news from the doctor's office because she has been gone for quite some time now. Lillian, you're here already. Yes, ma. Good morning, ma. How's your night? I hope my princess didn't disturb much. She didn't disturb. She slept so peacefully like a newborn baby. I'm happy to hear this, ma. Your friend told me what you did. Ma, it's nothing. See, I have to get going to the store now. There's a customer waiting for me there. Ma, I'll see you later. I know you are running because you don't want to hear my thank you, but still, thank you, Lillian. Thank you so much. It's nothing, ma. Vanessa, come and walk me to my car. Should I go to Jeff's restaurant for another nice dinner or should I go home? I should actually go home. Betty, are you walking past my restaurant? Start coming in for a taste of my food. Jeff, I didn't think you'd see me walking by. How won't I see you? Even if the whole place is dark, your sense of humor will only send its aroma right to my door. You're not serious. I can see the eatery is packed with lots of guests tonight. Yeah, but there's always space for my new neighbor inside the eatery or behind the scene in the kitchen if you would love to see how I cook. You love to spoil me with food, Jeff. I hope I'm not turning to a foodie. I don't see you as a foodie, but I know you love good food. So, how was your day at the office? I hope it was good. It was fine and I'm gradually getting used to everyone. That's nice. Well, come inside the restaurant so we can get you something good to eat. There's something I want to even ask you for. My lover will be coming into town soon and I want to make him something really special. But I'm not good with cooking, you see. I got you covered on that aspect. You don't have anything to worry about. Oh, Jeff, that will mean so much to me. Thank you so much. I'll teach you how to prepare the food, not cook it for you, so you can be able to replicate it on your own. That sounds like a great idea, but when would you have the time for that? You're always busy in the restaurant and I've come to realize you're the only one working here. Is it stressful? It's stressful, but it's my passion. I love cooking. Am I doing the right thing by wanting to travel to Lagos to see Betty? I'm sure she's having such a great time over there, but taking this trip, do I really want to go over there? Can't wait to see you, baby. I've got lots of plans laid out for us. Why did she even have to go in the first place? I wish she just stayed back here with me. At least now we'll be proceeding with our plans on getting married. Traveling, long distance relationship isn't for me. I just know it. I'm not sure I'll go anymore. No, I won't go anymore. Now that we are done cooking, are you ready to test it? Jeff, you've made more than enough food for the both of us to eat. I know, but the question here is, can you make it? Did you watch all I did? 
I watched you closely, but it's quite hard to get everything right like you did. And you're actually blessed with those hands. Watching the way you cooked. I've had a lot of people give me that compliment. But wait until you see my sister cooking. She's really good. Your sister? You never told me you have a sister. There are so many things I don't tell about myself, of course. We're not yet friends. We're not friends. Come on, Jeff. I know you're joking. I'm not cooking. We're just two people whose paths are crossing each other yet again. I don't understand you. Do you believe you are friends? Because we spend most of our time together and cook together. That's what friends do. And if I'm being sincere, you're kind of the only friend I have right now in the whole of this town. I know. And that's why you have been spending time with me. Well, if I'm going to be sincere too, you are kind of the closest person I have in my life right now as a friend. Are you sure about that, Jeff? You said I'm not your friend. I was kidding about that. You are a nice person, Betty, and I enjoy the time we both spend together. It's good to meet someone like you. Thank you, Jeff. I think I'll pack most of this food to the freezer so I can easily microwave them for me and Oscar. You aren't going to cook for him. You've done all of the cooking already. Look, my kitchen table. You should still cook tomorrow so I can have a taste of what your cooking tastes like. Okay, I'll cook tomorrow then and I'll call you to come over once you're done from work. I hope you know what that means. I'll be coming here like 12 a.m. Are you sure your lover would be okay with that? What's even the time now? It's almost 11 a.m. We've spent all night cooking, Jeff. And I enjoy every bit of it. I enjoy your company, Betty. You are fun to be with. Derek, you still came although I told you not to. There's no way I'll spend an hour without seeing your face again. It's been a long while since we saw. We still saw last two weeks before you traveled. Two weeks ago is a very long time. I've missed seeing you. <laughs> You're always missing me, both on phone and when we are seen physically. You can't blame me. My heart still yearns for you like it did back then. How was your trip? My trip was fine. It was mandatory that I travel. If not, I'll be here in Lagos with you. You and your choice of words. Please stop it already. My words represent how I feel about you. And you know I'm not a man that pretends. So what do you say we plan on going for a date so we can talk about things well? We can plan for it maybe next month. But not now. I'm busy. Busy with your lover? You're both planning a vacation or what? I don't have a lover. Oh my god. I'm really lucky then because you're going to be my new lover, Vanessa. Are you saying you don't have a woman in your life? I have a woman in my life, Vanessa. I am actually married. You are married? I am married, Vanessa. Wow, that's surprising. Congratulations, Derek. But I didn't expect you'd be married. Thank you, Vanessa. Well, when I go back from the States, I looked for you. I really did. You don't need to explain yourself, Derek. We were long over, so it's nothing. Were we really over? Are you over me? All of that doesn't matter. You are married, so it's all in the past. <laughs> Why do most people cringe when they hear their old lovers are now married? You shouldn't stay out late as a married man. You're driving me away already because I'm married. Is that it? I'm not driving you away. It's just that I wouldn't want my lover to come home at a late hour if I was married. Don't worry about that. Just to inform you, me and my woman ain't staying in Lagos. She stays at Abuja. Oh, that is why you had to travel last week, right? Exactly. Well, it's already getting late and I need to wake up early tomorrow. But about our house and I want to take you out and talk about us. I'll think about it, Derek. Don't think about it. There's so many things I want us to talk about and catch up on. Well, let me help you take these things inside the house. You got all this stuff for us. It wasn't necessary. For you, it's necessary that I get these things for you. I still love you, Vanessa. You are married. You mentioned it yourself. I know you're giving me this new attitude because I mentioned being married. But I tell you, being married doesn't mean anything to me. Derek. Hey, baby. How are you doing? I'm fine. I wasn't sure you'd be awake since it's Friday. I just finished doing some little cooking and preparing for your arrival. About that, Betty, um... Don't give me any excuses. You gave an excuse the last time and now again. What is it? Don't you want to see me? Haven't you missed me? Of course, I want to see you and I've missed you so much, my love. What time is your flight tomorrow, man? It's by 12 p.m. I'll be with you in the evening. Baby, I can't wait for that already. I miss you so much and can't wait to be with you soon. You just have a few hours to go. My bags are packed already. I'm also making plans for your coming. We will both enjoy our time together. I promise. Well, I look forward to that. Will you come online for us to have a chat? Okay, baby. Oscar is going to be thrilled by all the stuff I've planned for him. I'm going to feed him with a lot of yummy food. You mean Derek is the one that got us all these food stores? Yes, mom. He's the one. Why didn't you allow him to enter inside the house and greet me? Why? 
Mom, it's already late and he needs to return home. Why do I get the feeling that you don't want me to see this Derek again? Mom, I don't have any issue with you seeing him. It's just that he comes to see me when it's late and it's not right for him to come inside at this late hour to greet you. I want to see him again. Tell him that your mother wants to see him. What do you want to see him for, Mom? To thank him for everything. First, your sister bills and now look at all the food items he brought for us. Shouldn't I see him and say thank you? I've heard you, Mom. I'm going to sleep. You're running inside the room, right? But do you and this man have anything together? Is he asking you out already? He's just my friend, an old classmate. He was the one that helped me while I was in school in paying my school fees. That is Derek, your American lover that left the country. He's not my lover, but that is Derek. Oh my god. And you did tell me all this why that is the one? This girl, what you're doing like this, is it right? Are you not mean to tell me he's the one? Then why are you not acting this way? What you're doing is not good. This boy helped you through school and he came back to Nigeria. And you didn't think to tell me? Mommy, don't worry. You'll see him another time when next he comes. Even if he's in the midnight, I'll allow him to come inside and greet you. My thoughts are filled with her. The way she talks and laughs keeps ringing in my head. She's all I keep thinking about. But what's all this, Jeff? Betty is not the person you should be thinking of. Chloe should be the woman on your mind. Chloe, Chloe, Chloe. Babe, did you mention my name? Did you hear me call your name? It must have been a mistake, my love. Aren't you sleeping? Or is it morning already? What's even the time? It's just past 12 a.m. I need to get to the restaurant on time this morning. We have an important trail taste for an assistant chef. Wow, you told your boss about needing another chef. I told him about it and he said he also had it in his mind for quite some time now. So, you see? Babe, I'm really happy you did this. We'll get to spend more time together now. Yeah, of course, we will. We could plan for a weekend vacation, just you and me, in another environment, enjoying all the beauty of nature in maybe a secluded resort. That's something we can work towards, but we are not going to rush any plans. I still have to teach the new chef, so his skills will be very good. I know, but I hope you get a chef that cooks as good as you. I hope so, but there's no one that can cook like me. Are you sure about that? What about your sister? <laughs> You're right. There are actually a lot of people who are better than me. But I keep working on my skills to get better, you know? You are one of the best chefs in the world, Jeff. There's no doubt about that. I was just teasing. I'll get this done as soon as possible, ma. You better be fast about it. You've wasted a lot of time on that work. I'll get it done very soon, ma. Excuse me, ma. Good morning. I'm not interested in going to lunch with you. My answer still remains no. Ma, I didn't come for that. I came to ask you for something. What do you want to ask for me, Betty? I'm sure I don't have any answer to give you. Ma, my lover is coming to see me and I would like to close early so I can meet up with him. Your lover? You still have a long distance relationship. Isn't that boring? It's not boring. The distance makes everything more interesting for the two of us. Long distance relationships aren't ideal though. Why go through the stress of dating someone who is far from you when you can have someone here in Lagos? I have a lover, ma, and we're planning on settling down soon. Did he propose to you already? Because I don't see any ring on your finger. I think he might propose to me when he comes over. I wish you luck with that, but you want my advice. Break off any long distance relationship. Because I can bet you that you'll be so busy here in Lagos that you won't have time for this lover of yours and the love will drift off. I'm sorry to ask, but did it happen to you before? You're trying to pry into my private life, right? You've got in your leave. It's a two weeks leave. Use it very well. No, I don't want to leave. I just want to close early today. It's weekend and he's coming in today. Please, Miss Maria. Very well, you may leave. And the name is just my wife. Stop making me feel old. I didn't know he was married, Lillian. And here I was dreaming about him. He's married doesn't mean you both can't enjoy yourselves together. Can you hear yourself? I don't want to do anything with a married man. I wouldn't have even given him my number or talked to him during the late night. Look at it this way. I think Derek is here for a reason. Maybe to help you out of all the challenges you're facing. Don't turn it down. But what if he wants a relationship again? He's been telling me how much he loves me. I love him too. I won't lie to you. These feelings I used to have for him, they are still there. I know, but you've just got to be smart. Accept all that he brings to you. How would this woman at home be feeling? I mean, what if she finds out? I've been with the married man before, Vanessa. 
Come on. You shouldn't be saying something like that outside. I know, but I did it only for a short while. I'm not going to get involved with Derek. I know he will still help me out. I hope he does that. He's a very wealthy man. He used to come to my store with a very pretty lady back then. I didn't even know she was married to him. But I don't know what happened, I just stopped seeing her around. She's in Abuja. So what are you scared of, since she's not even in Lagos? Let me help that customer out. I'm sorry to disturb you, but I don't know if I could get some help here to pick this. Of course. Seems like you're making something yummy for the evening, seeing all the items you have in your chat. I am. My lover is coming in today, and I want to make something really tasty for him. Can't blame me for wanting to do something special. I get the feeling. I'm Vanessa Ray, by the way. I am Betsy. Do you own the store, or does the other lady own it? It belongs to my friend. Your face doesn't seem familiar, though. New to town? I am still new to Lagos. No, I'm not. I've stayed for like a month plus now. You are still new to town, Betty. Hope Lagos is treating you well, though. Lagos is good, just that it's too busy for my liking, but I am adapting. You should also get busy with it. That's the best way for you to enjoy it. Have you come to the grandest park in the world? Where is that located? Right here in the heart of the city. I see you are more of an indoor person like me. I love to visit some places, but I've got just few friends. Just one, actually. <laughs> At least you have gotten one friend. Most people haven't gotten any friends. People are too busy with their lives to find friends. And can you blame them? But you can have my number so you can reach out to me one of these weekends. Oh my, are you serious? I'm serious. We could be friends. Who knows? It's so good to see you, darling. How are you doing today? I'm fine. I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. Hope you're doing fine as well. I am okay. I was like, I had to see you this time around before anything else. How is your beautiful lady doing and your son? They are both doing fine and she sends her regards to you. It's been a long time since we last saw, so ever since she both got married and took her away from Lagos to Abuja. I thought we were going to live in Abuja, that's why. But as fate will have it, I'm back here. Derek, why are you really back to Lagos? Did my wife tell you to ask me that question? I know she has been talking to you. She didn't, but I'm just curious to know why you're back here. You seemed pretty sure you weren't going to come back. Let's see, I've not yet found the reason why I'm here, but when I do, I'll let you know. Am I the reason? Are you back for me? But you still have feelings for me? Come on, Maria. What we had was in the past, and it stays in the past. I'm just asking, you know. Can't blame me for asking again. I am so tired. Oscar will soon be arriving. Do I even still have the strength to cook? I'll just warm up the food Jeff made last night for him. Hello, Betty. Baby, don't tell me you've arrived already, have you? I haven't arrived, actually. I'm just in my bedroom right now, staring at my bags. I don't understand. You're in your bedroom. Yes, I'm at home. I canceled the flight. I won't be able to come to Lagos. What? What are you saying? Did something come up at work or what? I really don't think this long-distance relationship is meant for us, Betty. I can't do long distance. We'd both be risking our life taking these trips. You talked about this already, so why are you bringing it up? You know what? We'll talk more and everything when you come to Lagos. Betty, you know what I think. I think you should come back home. What? Yes, come back home. I've already made plans to talk to your boss to bring you back here, so you can both be together. This distance isn't working for us. Oh my god, Oscar. Don't you dare do that. Don't talk to my boss. Did he tell you to do any of that, did I? You didn't. But you mentioned not being received well by the staffs over there. So come back home to me because this relationship isn't working. I'm not fine with the online calls and chats. I want you here with me by my side. You know what? I don't think this relationship is working. You're right. Long distance isn't for us. Exactly. I'll send you some money so you come home tomorrow and resume your old job. And if they don't take you back, we'll find you another company to work for. I don't need your money, Oscar. I can see how selfish you are and I realize that we should forget about this relationship. It's not working. What nonsense are you saying? Just come back home so you can get married and be together. Come home, Betty. I'm not coming home. I'm going after my dreams. Goodbye, Oscar. Oh my, how can you tell me to come back home? <laughs> what are you doing here? You should have at least called before coming. We both know I've been calling you, but you're not picking up my calls. How then could I have told you I was coming? And since you haven't been picking up my calls, it means that you don't want to hear what I have to say. Well, since I haven't been picking your calls, it means I don't want to talk to you. And you shouldn't be here in the first place. Since you don't want me here at your place, why don't you let me take you out? Then we can talk better. Vanessa. Who is at the door? 
It's a friend, mom. You don't need to worry. I didn't know that your mom was home. I would have loved to see her and say hello to her. Do you want to see my mom? Are you still interested in us going out? Please, let's go out and talk. I'll say hello to your mom another time. <laughs> Why would Oscar do this to us? It's not fair. Lagos is a beautiful city and we could have had all the fun we ever wanted. <laughs> everything i got for him just to make it fun for him i even took permission at work <laughs> all because of him now all of this is just going to win <laughs> oscar i feel like breaking your head should i've got on that plane and been here with me eating all the food jeff made <laughs> i'm not going to cry no i will sit here and eat all this food you don't deserve it <laughs> And in fact, you don't deserve me. I'm going to be fine. I know that. He still has left to call me. What does he even want? To go and see my boss and tell him to bring me back. Who does that? I love him and hate him at the same time. He might have been joking around with me. Jeff, what are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at the restaurant? Did you forget that I was supposed to come and taste that food of yours? Oh, about that. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Betty, why are you crying? Did your boss in the office say something to you? No, she didn't. In fact, she let me close on time today so I could prepare. But Jeff, he's not coming. Oscar isn't coming. Not coming? Did something come up or what? No, Jeff, not in that way. He broke up with me. He said he couldn't do long distance and that I should come back home. Hey, Betty, come and sit down. I'm so sorry about what happened. I love him. We planned out everything. How we're going to see each other and make everything work between us. Look at everything I got. And I made you cook so I could just... <laughs> only for him to call me and say he wasn't getting on the flight. That he canceled it. I'm sorry about this. Please stop crying. Thank you. I'm no longer crying. It's just why does he want me to choose him over my career? I love it here, Jeff. I love my job. He should be happy for me. I know, but come here. I know you love it here. And we are also happy to have you here. So please stop crying. It hurts. Look, now I've wasted the food you cooked for me and him. How am I going to finish eating all the food and look at what I bought for us? I just wasted money. I know you feel that way, but I'm not complaining about the food. After all, you're still going to eat it. Do you know he was going to speak to my boss and ask him to bring me back? Like, why isn't he happy that I got the promotion? Why won't he support my dream? You know, if he was the one who got a job outside the state, I would be very happy for him. I know you would. But you know he doesn't understand it that way and it is lost for breaking up with you. I know you are going to be fine and your friend is here for you. But you said we are not friends. <laughs> Come on, we are friends. Please stop crying. What happened? What have I done? Betty, wait, let's talk about this. You have not done anything wrong here. Let's talk. There's nothing to talk about. We both know what had happened. I'm talking about it will only make us both regret it. I don't want you thinking that I took advantage of you at your lowest moment when you needed someone there. Yeah, 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 whatever. Betty, stop and just look at me. I know. I don't know what to say to you. Then don't say anything. Let's just say, you know, like it's never happened and whatever stop doing that it makes the situation look more awkward right now and since you don't want to talk about it i will just you know go to the restaurant it's almost morning already and you need to go to work i will leave what have i done jeez it was just you're finally back i've been waiting for you since when have you been here and why didn't you call me i would have come back on time i called but you weren't speaking up your calls i checked at the restaurant and you weren't there wow sorry i got carried away with what i was doing i didn't even notice it's ringing i'm really sorry jeff where did you go the normal you wouldn't leave the restaurant not for me so wherever you went it must be very important i just wanted to take a walk to clear my head off some stuff. I hope you are fine. What's wrong with you that you needed to clear your head? It's not serious for you to worry yourself about. I'm fine. Have you taken dinner yet? Should I prepare something for you? The only thing I'm hungry for is you, babe. When I got over to the house, 
I warmed up some food and ate already. Why don't you want me around you? Is it because you still love me and you're trying to hide it from me? Love? No, I don't love you. And even if I did love you, that was in the past. And right now, it's all in the past. It may be all in the past for you, but I still love you, Vanessa. Every day, I think about you and all the beautiful memories we had together. That's nice to know. But you should stop thinking about me. You know you are married. I know that. But I still love you like I always have. And if I wanted to lie to you, I wouldn't have told you that I'm married. I know, but I don't love you anymore. I know you love me. You know when I decided to come to Lagos, I didn't really have a reason to come. But I just wanted to. But now I realize it's because of you that I'm here. Vanessa, it has brought us together again to rekindle our love. And this time around, I think it's already too late. You're married. And I don't love you anymore. We can just be friends. I know you still do. It's just that you're hiding it. But give me a chance to show you that I do love you so much. Hmm. That's the least of my worries. I have other things in mind other than love. And what is it that you have in mind? Getting a job, taking care of my sister, my mom, and my life in general. About that, you know that your sister is going to be fine. Is there anything else she needs? I'll get it for you. No, she's fine. I have done enough already. And about the job, don't worry. You're going to get a job soon. I'll speak to some people I know, and I know soon you'll hear something positive. Thank you so much, Derek. How could I have allowed myself to sleep with Jeff? What have I done? I just added more problems to what I'm going through right now. How am I even going to look at him now? Maybe Oscar was right. I shouldn't have come to Lagos. All of this wouldn't be happening. Why is he calling me again? Does he want to make me even more happy and sad than I am right now? He knows I love him and that's why he's doing this. Why won't he stop calling me? He already made his decision. He can't do a long distance relationship. But did he think that I would be on my way back to him and ignore my career? Leave everything I love because of him? Not again. Oscar. Hello, Chloe. Hello, Betsy. It's Chloe. How are you doing? Chloe, I'm doing fine. And you? I started to think you wouldn't call again since we exchanged contact. I'm very sorry about that. I've been very busy. And you know Lagos, it can be exhausting. That's true. I'm still new in the city and sometimes I want to just give up because of the whole stress and busyness. I understand, but don't worry. You'll get used to it soon. So, I was calling to ask if you're going to be free later in the day to hang out and see other colorful parts of Lagos. That's an excellent idea, but that will be after work. I have no other plans for the day, so we can meet up. Perfect, don't worry. I'm sure you're going to love it. Are you still in bed or you're up? I'm getting ready to stand up. You better do that if you want to get to work on time. I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you so much. See ya. I don't feel like going to work today if I'm being sincere to myself. I can stay in bed all day long. Of watching all the color rush back into my cheeks I know what it means to be happy now I finally jumped off your merry-go-round You should have something important to tell me because as you can see right now I'm busy and I don't want to be disturbed Of course, you know if it's not something important I wouldn't be here right now Because I have a lot of work to do that you gave me If you had done the previous ones I gave you better You won't be complaining right now Having a lot of work to do I thought the goal was to send Betty back to where she's coming from Not me So why not just give the heavy workload to Betty and not me You know the work I gave her is much more than what I gave you So if you have nothing better to say Leave my office and busy You don't have to be mean to me always You should take that attitude to Betty I see Now that I've given you some privilege That has given you the right to talk to me however you like And forget that I'm your boss No Maria you know I didn't mean it that way. Anyways, the reason I'm here is to tell you that your plan is working. Finally, it's good to know that you can speak and also know your place. What plan are you talking about? Betty's in her office and all she has been doing since there is swearing and cursing and expressing how much she hates this state and wants to leave. I'm sure she saw the plenty of files I left there for her to work on and she's already frustrated. I went to her office to see her. But she was not in the mood and was just looking at the files. Thanks for the information. Let's see who will get out of this place. I know she couldn't handle the hard work and all those stuff she was doing on being a hard worker was fake. I bet she will come see you soon to call the head office. That's true. You can go back to your work now. Don't worry. I'll take it from here. Don't come here and be all quiet. So, how did it go? 
I've been waiting for you. I've been waiting for you since I got the text message that you're with Derek and give me a full update. He has been calling me since the last time we saw each other, but I've not been picking up his calls. I don't want to talk to him. Let me guess, because you still love him and finding out he's married, you don't want to see him or talk to him again. Yes, you are right. I don't want to see him or talk to him, but he came to my house and I had no choice but to go out with him. Okay, what did he say to you then? Lillian, you love gossip too much. <laughs> Look at how you are asking the question as if you are a lawyer. Of course, I'm a lawyer and I love to know everything in details. Funny you. You had started the whole conversation of wanting me back, how he misses me and loves me. Hope you utilize the opportunity well. It doesn't matter if he's married or not, as long as he's paying the bills and you're getting money from him. That's all. But I want to be with someone I can marry and I'm not ready to be the second woman in his home. You know how that can be. No one is saying you must marry him. I'm just saying that it's an opportunity for you now. It's better that he is the one who still loves you. Just focus on taking the money and then we leave. Hmm. I don't even know what to say. So, is that all you talked about? Love, love, love. No, we also talked about getting me a job. He said he would speak to some of his friends and get back to me. I just hope he's able to get me a job. I'll be so happy. I bet you he will. He loves you. And I can be so sure he wants you happy. Maria, I am almost done with the files. I'm sorry it has taken so much time. I know you're lazy and in the past few days you've been trying to hide it to show that you're hardworking. It's not that way. I'm just a bit. I don't want to know about your family problems or anything that worries you. That's none of my business. What is my business is that you finish the file before the end of the workday today and without any errors. Yes, ma'am. I will. I know you came in with a bit of a temper, or should I say anger, and you've been swearing all day. So if you're tired of this place, you know that the head office is just a phone call away. I will happily do that for you. I like it here and I'm not planning to quit now. And don't worry, I will be done before the end of the work day today. Okay, good. You better. I will. It's just that me and my lover are... I don't want to hear. Remember I told you long distance relationships are no good. And I should end it. That's the only thing that will give you sanity and stop you from thinking about him. My advice, find yourself a new lover in Lagos. Double date. But... It's a piece of advice, Betty. Take it or leave it. So when are you going to bring that man home? Which man are you talking about, mom? Are you trying to tell me that you didn't go out with a man yesterday? Oh, that doesn't matter. Me going out with a man one time doesn't mean anything is going on between us. I don't even have interest in men. All I'm focused on right now is getting a job so I can take care of you and my sister. Don't change the topic. The man who came the other day and you went out with him, wasn't he the same person you were with when your sister was sick? Yes, but he's just an old friend, nothing more. And you think I don't know he likes you? Mom! <laughs> He paid for your sister's bills, got us food items. See, he likes you, it's obvious. If he asks you to go out with him, you better accept. You know he has money and can take care of you. And that way you can take care of us. I know he likes me, maybe even loves me, but mom, he's married. Okay, he's married, so what? Mom, you're saying so what? The part where he's married with a family. You didn't hear that part, mom. I heard it. But so what if he's married? Him being married doesn't mean he can't marry you as well. See, this is an opportunity for you, I'm telling you. Don't miss it, my Danny Vanessa. You can even be a second woman if he says he wants to marry you. Mom! So you're just going to sit there and not tell me you're hungry. That's so strange of you. Okay, I agree. You can say I'm strange, but you're the one acting even stranger. And you're even asking me if I'm hungry, which is so unlike you, man. This is me. I don't know why you're trying to make an issue out of nothing. So, are you going to eat if I give you the money? Why not? This time around, you are not offering the food to me without me asking. So why should I say no? So, what's up with you? And how is work? It's fine, but so stressful. You need to see the heavy file they gave me to work on. But to be honest, you are acting different. Why are you happy? In a different way. Sorry about work, but you deserve it, lazy fellow. What's happening to you, Jeff? You are different today. Man, I am always happy. So why are you saying I'm acting different? Whenever I see you like this, it means you and Chloe had a fight. And then you two settled. But you guys didn't have a fight lately, or did you guys? You are overthinking, Kelvin. I think you should resign from your job, because that office you are in is not the best place for you. 
you should either work with the nigerian army or the police but you wouldn't survive their training because you love food too much <laughs> you got that part right when you said i love food but don't try to change the conversation who is making you happy who is she she there's no she anywhere the only woman in my life is chloe did i say you have another woman i'm just saying you probably met someone new and that's why you are so happy let me guess she kissed you for the first time aren't you going to be aren't you going to be late for work i suggest you eat while i'm still generous before i change my mind of course i'm going to eat since you don't want to talk about her i rest my case i'll eat and go to work better before you start a theory out of nowhere you should have asked if I have won a lottery instead of all these assumptions that a she is the reason for my happy mood. You finally admitted it that you are also in a bright mood. You can be with a married man, my dear. It's nothing. I can't, mom. What about this woman that is at home? What if she finds out about this? A wealthy man. At least you've not gotten a job yet. For now, you've laid your hands on a wealthy man. I'm sure this is the only man that has asked you out in a long time. Or am I lying here? Mom, I don't like us having these conversations. I don't want anything to do with Derek. He is married. You never listen. I only want to do what's in your mind. You like the way this family is. The way we are always asking Lillian for help. Mom, stop talking like this. You know I don't like it. I'm praying I get a job soon to take care of the both of you. I'm not saying that a job isn't coming, but until it does, you should find a man who can take care of you and your family. How long do you want me to keep taking money from your friend? But he is married. What if his woman finds out about this and starts causing trouble for me? I don't want that. And how will she find out? But even if she does, that's an issue she will have to resolve with her husband, not you. So better go and accept this proposal. Mom, please stop. I don't want to do anything I'm not comfortable with. In the end, I'll be the one with regrets, not you. Since you don't want to do it for yourself, at least do it for me and your sister. You know, if your father was alive, he would make sure to provide for us by any means necessary. Mom, let's forget about this conversation about Derek. God has always shown up for us and he will keep doing that. And he has provided a way for you to take your boss. You just don't want to take it. Hmm. Okay, I will think about it. But for now, I'm going out to rest my head. I have a headache already, thanks to you. You are running away from this conversation, right? You're about to see me again. I know you miss me and I miss you too. It's good to see you too, Maria. And yes, I miss you. But not in the way that you think. What we had was in the past and this is the present. Sometimes I ask myself if you still remember what we had or if you've totally forgotten it. You know we can't keep having this conversation and it's best for us not to. So you still won't say why you're in Lagos or are you planning to do something hidden here? Because I don't know why you left Tessa in Abuja and came here alone. I know Tessa is the one making you ask these questions. But for now, I don't know why I'm here. But once I know, I'll let you know. Should we go home and enjoy ourselves for a short while, Derek? Come on, Maria. Please stop this. I'm not here for that i told you already so why are you here since you didn't miss me i need a favor from you i came across an old friend from way back in school and she needs a job so i don't know if your office has a vacancy or if you can easily create one i see so who is this particular person to you and why are you interested in helping her get a job she's an old friend and she helped me a lot back in school this is the only way i can help her out and i would be so glad if you can help me i'm not promising anything but i'll see what i can do about that but my favors don't come free but for you, I'll make an exception because you were really good to me during our time together. Actually, the best among all men I've ever had. Oh, Maria, you can never just change, can you? Betty, over here, come. Chloe, so good to see you. How have you been? And it's good to see you too. You're looking really good, I must confess. Thank you. And thank you so much for taking me out. Look at you. We haven't even started anything yet. And you're already thanking me. Let's take a stroll first before we shop. So what have you been up to, Chloe? Betty, <laughs> nothing really. I'm just pissed off. I just have so many things annoying me all at once. And I don't know what to do about it. But I'm glad you're here. I'm glad to be here. But do you want to talk about what's making you pissed? Maybe I can help. And at the same time, I'll know how to cheer you up. <laughs> you are funny. <laughs> you're always making me laugh, Betty. Oh, that's true though. I guess it will be easy then to cheer you up. But what's wrong? My parents never have time for me. They always have a reason not to be present. Although last week I saw them, but we hardly had time together. I'm sorry about that. But you know they are doing what they think is best to give you a beautiful life. So you don't need to struggle for anything. I know. But I want them around too. I'd rather struggle and have my parents with me. But I guess I'm already used to it. 
Grow up all alone with so many maids around the house. It gets boring and tiring at times. I understand, but you shouldn't let it make you sad. I'm sure your parents love you so much. I wish my parents were alive even though they'll be busy. I'm sorry about your parents. Let's stop talking about parents and focus on shoes and talk about boys. <laughs> True. So, how is your lover? I mean, I'm sure he has your time and must be lucky. I must be lucky to have you in his life. <clears throat> Jeffrey is annoying. I don't want to talk about him. Let's go and show Betty. Well, let's see. Do you have a document with you or did you send them by mail so I can go through them? I already sent it to your mail, but it's here. She made a good grade. That means she's smart. I know, but not just that. She's also hardworking. I will be the judge of that. I just hope she's hardworking because I don't like lazy people around me. <laughs> You've got nothing to worry about. What's funny? Did I say something wrong? No, not at all. It's just the way you emphasize. I love hardworking people. Don't tell me that you bully all your staff in the office. No, I don't do that, but I make sure to keep them on their toes, especially the new staff sent from the head office. Don't be too hard on them, please. But back to Vanessa, what do you think about her? Can she work for you? We'll see about that. I'll interview her myself, and if she passes, then she gets the position here. Yeah, a good one, don't worry. Okay, let me call her so she can come. I bet you, she won't disappoint you. You have high hopes for her, I see. Well, I'll be the judge here. So when are you going back to Abuja to see Tessa? I'm sure she's missed you a lot. God, is this the test again? I know I still love Derek, and I want to be with him. He's the only man I feel has ever loved me. I just wish he never left. Maybe things wouldn't be as complicated as they are right now. But the fact that he's married just ruins everything. I bet he's just here for fun. And right now, I don't have time for fun anymore. I want to be with someone I can end up with. But even if I agree to date him, it'll just be a casual relationship that leads nowhere. What if he wants me as a second wife? No, no. I can't do that. Who am I even thinking that far? I should be more worried about what will happen if, at the end of the day, I agree to date him and then his woman finds out. She might come to my house and start creating problems for me. Hell no. I can't date a married man. No, no. Derek, can't you just leave me alone? I'm not picking up any calls now. I know you want to continue with all these love tales. Your lover also doesn't have time for you. Come on, that's not cool. He's always busy and it's all just frustrating. First, I'm not getting attention from my parents. And now, he's not giving me attention either. You need to talk to him. You two can find the balance between yourselves. What about you, Betty? How's you and your lover? I bet you're enjoying yourselves. Mine is way worse. My boyfriend broke up with me yesterday. I'm so sorry, Betty. Why didn't you mention it earlier? Here I was telling you about what's making me upset while you're heartbroken. I don't know if I'm fine, but I'm just so angry at him and myself for thinking he was the one for me. Would you believe that he wants me to choose between him and my career? What? Are you serious? I wasn't planning on coming to Lagos. In fact, I never imagined I would be promoted and transferred here. But it happened and we had made plans on how we would see each other. Only for him to call me and tell me he can't deal with long distance relationship. Imagine that. I'm sorry about that. Maybe he's feeling insecure. But why is he being insecure? If it were to be him who got the promotion, I would be so happy for him and I would support him. I know, but don't worry. You'll find a new lover here in Lagos soon. I don't want a lover. I'm just not in the mood for men right now. Maybe Oscar was right when he said I shouldn't come to Lagos. Just because your lover broke up with you doesn't mean Lagos was a bad idea. In fact, it could turn out to be the best idea ever. Stop worrying yourself, my friend. I hope so, because I miss him. I didn't think could break up. Like, it was so unexpected. How about you don't look for a lover? Just find someone who can keep you company. What do you mean by that? Don't act like a kid. You know what I mean. Oh, well. I might have done that yesterday. <laughs> There's this guy who lives close to me. Well, yesterday when I was crying, he came over and one thing led to another. Wow, that's surprising. But you see no commitment. Just enjoy yourself. Yes, it was surprising and embarrassing. I wish I hadn't done it. And he's someone I see as a friend because he's really cool. Who knows? You might have found the perfect replacement for your ex love I was still at the store. It's fine. I was closing at the shop and thought, let me just come and see you. Many a while I came by. Well, how's mom and princess? They are both fine. That's great. But why is your face like that? Are you thinking again? 
Or did you have a fight with your lover boy? Who's lover boy, Lillian? Keep acting like you don't know who I'm talking about. You and Derek. No, please, not again. Please don't start that conversation about Derek. I've had enough from my mom about him today. I want to talk on anything else but him. Well, have you spoken to him? Any news? And why would I want to speak to him? The only thing he talks about is loving me and I'm not interested. I don't even want to hear his name. Please, let's talk on something else. Okay. But I was asking concerning the job he said he would look into for you. About that, I haven't heard from him. He called earlier but I didn't pick up but I'll call him back right away. That must be Betty. Damn, what happened was crazy. Maybe she's ready to talk about everything. What do I even say? What do I say? Hey, what's up? Babe, where are you coming from? I went out with a new friend of mine and we both decided to go shopping. Then we had drinks and talked. That's nice. I'm glad you had a good time. Yes, she's new to Lagos. So we took the opportunity to explore and I showed her some beautiful parts of the city. It seemed like you had fun. So... What did you get from me, from your shopping? You should trust that I got something for you. You're going to love the new outfits I and my friends got for you. She has a rich taste and she helped select some shirts for you. What are you doing here? I thought you said you're not coming. I know I said that, but I'm here to see you. We need to talk. Your apartment is beautiful, but smaller than how it looked in the picture you sent. Yes. That's true. So what are you doing here, Oscar? I already answered that question. I came to see you and we need to talk. Okay. Well, I'm listening to you. Just okay. You won't even ask me to sit or offer me water. Well, when I prepared all that for you, you called me and said you couldn't do a long distance relationship. You said it was over between us. Betty, come on. You know I'm just trying to adjust to all this. Okay, so now you're here because you're done adjusting and you can just come whenever you like. I know you're unhappy and angry at me, but you know that I love you, Betty. And I want us to work out. And that's why I want you to come back. You want me to come back here? Yeah. Come with me. This long distance thing is not good for our relationship. Oscar, I love it here. It's not just about you alone. What about me? Are you even thinking about us at all? Of course I am. My job is here now and... Marry me, Betty. Please marry me. How's the new chef? I hope he's learning fast. He's learning fast and he cooks well. So he will be a pro too. That is nice. So I was thinking maybe you should have a restaurant of your own. I'm working towards that and I don't have the money yet. You know money is not the issue. My parents can give you any amount you want. All you need to do is name it. You know I can't take money from your parents. I will own my restaurant soon. Someday in the future. But I want to spend more time with you Jeff. You know if you have your own restaurant, you don't need to be here always. Okay, but for now, can we have another conversation? Other than I don't have your time or me taking money from your parents. What's wrong with you? Why is it that? Every time I try to have this conversation with you, all you do is shut me down. Chloe, please stop. Not today. Don't start all this drama. I'm not interested. Jeff, so all I do now is just drama to you. Why would you just take me serious for once? You think I'm not taking you seriously? You always bring up the wrong topics. That's the truth, Chloe. Why can't we talk on something else that, you know, I would like to talk on? No matter what I say, it's not good. I'm going home. Marry me, Betty. Please say yes. What? What are you doing, Oscar? Exactly what you are seeing me do, Betty. I'm asking you to marry me. But, o Oscar, but... Forget about the but. Will you marry me, Betty? I want you to be my woman. I don't want to lose you. Oscar, I want to say yes to this, but what happens when I say yes to you? Nothing happens. We plan for the wedding like everyone does. That's not what I'm asking. What happens to my job? My dream here? You don't need to stay here anymore. I already spoke to your boss and he told me that he'll work on your transfer back home. We'll be together. No, Oscar. I didn't tell you I want to come back home. I made that clear to you. Why did you talk to my boss in the first place? Why, Oscar? To show you how much I love you, I want you to be by my side. You think he is just going to make everything hard for us. You are the one making things hard. You are not seeing how this is affecting me. Do you know if I go back, I might lose my job, lose my promotion? You won't lose your job. Maybe the promotion, but we are going to be married. And sooner or later, you have to leave the job for the family. I can't leave my job. And remember, we need the money. You may not need it, but I do. Come on, babe. Do this for me. Or don't you love me anymore? You know this question always keeps popping up. If you were the one who got a promotion at your workplace, would you go or would you stay because of me? Babe, sincerely, maybe I'll go. After all, I'm the man of the house and it's my job to provide for you, care for you and make sure you live well. 
So you can go, but I can't leave to a different state and have a career and relationship at the same time. Is that it? That's not what I mean, Betty. Don't try to make the conversation look as if I don't want you to excel. You know I want that. It doesn't look like you do, Oscar. And you coming here is not to say you're sorry, but to convince me to come back. And that's why you propose. Betty, come on. I want what's best for us here. No, Oscar. You want what is best for you. This is not about me. It's all about you. <laughs> Come on, babe, stop crying. I'm crying because I thought you came to tell me how much you missed me and that you're sorry for the other time and you're ready for us to try and make things work. That's why I'm here, baby. No, no. You're here to tell me to come back. And you proposed to me because you know I love you so much and I would say yes. But it's all part of your plan to bring me back. I love you and I want you as my wife. That's why I did this. You know what? I don't want to marry you, Oscar. I want to marry a man who will support my dreams as if it were his own and not manipulate me to accept what I don't want. Hello Derek, how are you doing? I'm fine. Why haven't you been picking up my calls, Vanessa? I've been calling you. I'm sorry about that. I was not close to my phone, that's why. You don't need to be sorry, baby. I was worried you were not picking up, but I'm relieved now. Are you free? Let's hang out later. I'll think about that. You don't need to think about anything. I'll come around later to pick you up. Derek, I didn't say you should come around later. I might be busy. Okay, that's fine. Well, the reason I called you was to tell you that you have a job interview tomorrow at 9 a.m. You don't mean it. Oh my god, Derek. Yeah, I know. Well, now will you say yes to us seeing later today? You still want to take me out? Don't you know that I have to prepare myself? Come on, I trust you. The interview is nothing serious and the person conducting it is someone I know. Still, Derek, I need to be prepared. Let's hang out after the interview tomorrow, please. Okay, if you insist, I'll see you after your interview tomorrow. I trust you, so don't be nervous and bring all your documents. I'm positive you already got the job, so congratulations. I'll do that. Thank you so much, Derek. I can't express how happy I am right now. You don't need to. You know your happiness is my priority. Betty, I'm sure you're making a mistake here. You should think about it. I have nothing to think about here, Oscar. I have to put myself first and I want to follow my dreams. I won't give up on my dreams because of you. Since I can't convince you otherwise, I accept that you never loved me the way I did. You know that is not true. I love you and it has taken all the self-control in me right now not to jump to accept your proposal. But I also have to think about what I want. Are you seeing someone here already? You can't be serious right now. I just got here, trying to deal with settling in and your drama. The next thing is seeing another person. Since you made your decision, I'll take my leave, take care of yourself, and I hope you enjoy exploring here. Thank you, Oscar. What the hell is wrong with him? How are you doing? I see you had company. I'm really not in the mood right now, Jeff. That was Oscar. Does that mean you two have settled your issue? But why is he leaving already? I wish we settled, but that's not it. Oscar came to propose to me and I turned it down. Wow, you turned it down? Yes, I know what you're thinking, that I was lucky and I just threw it away. But his proposal was just to cage me and at the same time, make me live here and go back with him against my wish. He's trying to manipulate me. I wasn't going to say anything. I was just surprised that he proposed. I don't know if I even did the right thing. I believe you made the decision you felt was right and you should trust your instincts. No one should manipulate you into marriage. Yes, yes. Oh, Derek, thank you so much. <laughs> I'm going to get it. I will. What's with the whole excitement here? What happened? Mom, I spoke to Derek about looking for a job and he told me that I have an interview tomorrow by 9 a.m. And he's so sure that I'm going to get the job. Wow, this is great news, Vanessa. This is great. I know, Mom. Now I have to look for what to wear to look good and also arranging my documents so I won't be late. You won't be late. Don't worry. I'll wake you up myself tomorrow morning by 7. Pray for me, Mom, that I get this job. This job will change a lot of things for us in this house. Don't worry. You have already gotten the job. I know my God will go ahead of you and prepare the place for you. Thank you so much, Mom. You see, it's not wrong to have a married man by your side. Mommy, please don't now. I beg of you. Don't ruin my mood for me. Jeff must have already left. He needs to open the restaurant on time. Must I go to work today? Everything is just too much for me to bear. Hey Betty, if you're reading this, it means I've already left. Sorry I couldn't wait for you to wake up. I want you to know that everything we had was magical. And I want more of you. You are so sweet. And I didn't want to leave your side. But you have to please understand that I have to open the restaurant. Drop by to have breakfast. Oh Jeff. <laughs> 
He's so sweet. Oscar, I wonder what he's doing right now. I was told you're a very hardworking person. Yes, ma'am. I am. And I will not let you down if I'm given the opportunity to work here. You have good grades. Why haven't you gotten a job since you have no experience? Now, finding a job is not an easy task here in our country. Consider myself so lucky to even be here in your office because I've applied here countless of times. Well, you're privileged to have someone like Derek. If not for Derek, you wouldn't even be here in my office. That is true, ma'am. And thank you, ma'am. How did you meet Derek? Let me rephrase. How did you come to know him? I knew Derek when I was in school. We were in the same school but different departments before he traveled abroad to finish his studies. I see. Well, that's all. I don't understand, man. Congratulations. You've gotten the job, Miss Vanessa. Oh my god, ma. Ma, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much, ma. I promise not let you down in any way, ma. People who make promises usually break them. Just prove yourself by being diligent and committed to working hard. I hope you won't let him down or make me regret my decision. I won't let you down and I will work diligently. Okay, good. I'll be watching you. You can leave. I'm done with you. Thank you, ma'am. Calvin, I was just about to call you. Please show our new staff member her office and give her an orientation of the company and communication channels. Okay, ma'am. Come with me, miss. Vanessa is the name, sir. I'm Calvin, not sir, just Calvin. I've been getting kinda used to I'm so sorry, I got carried away with my phone. I am so sorry. That hurts. You should watch where you are going next time. I'm sorry, Calvin. I'll be more careful next time. Your face looks familiar. I feel like I've seen you somewhere. Vanessa Ray. I think I remember the name, right? You're the lady at the store. Yes, you're right. I remember you. The lady who came to the store the other day. The new lady in town. That's true. You remember correctly. What are you doing here? I just got a job here today and Calvin is taking me to see my new office. Congratulations. I'm so happy for you. I see you've already made a new friend. Betty, you take her to the office then. Calvin, I would have loved to do that, but I have to go and give this document to Maria. She's waiting for me and you know how she can be. Can we go now, Vanessa? I have other things I want to do than watch you to exchange pleasantries. Don't tell me you're jealous that I've gotten a new friend, Calvin. I'll see you later, Betty. I better follow Calvin. Seems like he's pissed already. I will come and see you in your office when I am done. Congratulations on your job. Please, I'm not in for any drama right now. As you can see, I have a lot of customers waiting for me. I'm not complaining. I can wait until you're done. I'll just watch you cook. What is it that you want? I thought you left last night and now you're here again. Obviously to come disturb my peace. I'm not here to disturb you in any way, Jeff. I came to say I'm sorry for how I acted yesterday and all the words I said to you. Okay, I've heard you. Are you done already? I know you're still pissed. But I want you to spend more time with me. That's all I ask for. Do you know what you do that gets me annoyed? What's that? You, of all people, are the closest to me. You should understand everything I do. I have never hidden anything from you, but you fail to understand me. But that's not true. You keep saying I don't have time for you. You don't even ask yourself if I have time for myself. Chloe, you can see now that I stopped what I was doing just to give you time to say what you want to say to me. But you will still end up saying I don't have time for you. I know, but you know I crave for more time with you, and you're just so busy. Yes, I am busy, but not for my selfish interest, but for a dream I want to accomplish. Do you think I love working here, morning till night, every day? Is this the kind of life I want for myself? Is that what you think I enjoy? That's true, but you know I can easily get the money for you to start up your own place. I don't need your money, Chloe. See, let's just forget about all of this. I love you, but your attitude towards me, your behavior, oh... Let's just forget it all. Babe, I'm sorry. Please, I'm sorry. Forgive me, Jeff. I hold no grudges against you in my heart. It's okay. Have you eaten already? No, I've not. I couldn't eat. Sit down. Let me serve you some yummy food. Your favorite. can't believe this is my office. I can't wait to get home and tell mom. I won't call her. No, I'll tell her physically. 
Hello, Miss Vanessa. Can I come in? The boss sent me to remind you on the files. You are not serious, Derek. Just look at my office, Derek. My own office. I can see it. I hope you like it. Of course, I love it. Thank you so much. I couldn't have gotten this job without you. You don't need to thank me, Vanessa baby. I told you that you should be positive that you'd get the job. Yes, you did. But I know you are the one who did this. There is no way I could have gotten this job on my own. I mean, they are not even recruiting right now. Well, you're lucky and you've got the grades. So you definitely deserve it. And let's say if all things were being done right, you should have gotten the job without my help. But things aren't done right. To get the job, I need to know someone like you. You're funny. So what do you say we go and celebrate? I need to start working right now. I don't want to lose my job, but we'll celebrate later. I promise you that. Thank you, Derek. Thank you so much. Maria asks that you work on this. I've got to get busy, Derek. We'll see later. Derek, you know if I tell you thank you from now till tomorrow, it still won't be enough for what you did for me. And what is it that I did for you? It's nothing serious. I just wish we had met sooner so I could have helped you out. I can only imagine how tough it has been for you without a job. True. It hasn't been easy. Thanks to Lillian who has always come to my aid. If not for her, I don't know what I would have even done. Lillian? Well, you're lucky to have a friend like her. So I hope you're liking your first day. I am, Derek, and the pay is really good. Way higher than I expected. Congratulations once more, darling. So how was the interview? I hope she wasn't too hard on you because she can be tough at times. She didn't ask me any question, really. If only I knew this was how it was going to be. I would have gone out with you yesterday instead of studying. I told you not to worry, that the question would be easy. Yes, they were. She just asked me how I got to know you and why I haven't looked for a job before. I see. Well, that's Maria for you. And after I answered the question, she told me that I got the job. It was so easy for me, Derek, and that's all thanks to you. Stop thanking me, Vanessa. I told you I would make sure you get a job. Now that your worries are out of the way, you can listen to my request. But I didn't get you a job just to have an opportunity. I got you the job because it was your number one worry. Remember you said you need a job to be able to take care of your family. Yes, that's true. I understand where you are coming from, Derek. But you are married and a relationship with me could destroy your home. Me being married is not a problem here. Remember I can have more than one wife and I want you, Vanessa. What if I say no to you? Do I lose my job? Come on, Vanessa. I'm not that kind of a person. I will go way back than this. Chloe, I have to get back to the restaurant now. Come on, babe. Allow the new chef to test his cooking skills with the customers. Let's just stay in bed all day long, me and you. I would love that, but we have already spent over two hours here. I need to get back. You are no different from my parents, Jeff. You are even timing how long we spent together. Why can't you forget about the time and stay in bed? I'm going to act like I didn't hear that. I'm just saying the truth here, Jeff. How long are we going to continue like this? You don't appreciate that I took out time for us to come back home to be together, despite the work I have in the restaurant. I appreciate it, but I want us to stay here the whole day. Stay here with me. I'm tired of all this, Chloe. Sincerely, I'm tired. Why do we keep having the same issues over and over again? The truth is, we can't keep going this way. No, I can't. What are you saying, Jeff? Hello, Lillian. How's your day going so far? It's fine. But how was the interview? Please tell me they gave you the job. You guessed it right. I got the job. I'm even in my office. You need to see it. I'm so happy for you, Vanessa. This calls for a celebration. Absolutely. Right now, Derek is like my guiding angel. There is nothing better than knowing the right people, Lillian. I told you that you should stay positive because something good was on its way. Yes, you did. The interview wasn't even difficult like the others have been to. I bet it's because of Derek. He made it easy for you. But I'm really happy for you. Thank you so much, Lillian. We are going to celebrate later, I promise. Hello, miss. I'm looking for Maria's office. She's expecting me. One moment, Lillian. Let me attend to someone. Sorry, you're not in the right office. You have to go down to the left office with a white door. That's our office. Thank you so much, Miss Vanessa. How do you know my name, sir? It's at the front of the door, boldly written. They placed my name at the front of the door. Hello, Maria. I can see you're busy, but you're looking really beautiful today. Thank you. You also look more charming and attractive in person than in pictures. Which means you like what you see right now. Yes, I do. Please have a seat. Pardon my manners. Thank you. I'm sorry I asked you to come to the office. It's just that this is my first time using the app and you know it's best to meet somewhere public. 
that's true and it's also a smart move most legal women don't trust legal, legal men you can't blame them many of them have had bad experiences and you know what they say Lagos is the state where one has to be smart i agree with you on that so how do we go about it omar you go first this one tell me how do we go about it what do you want for starters what close early today is this the normal closing time here no not at all it seems you're lucky on your first day because the boss has a guest so because she has a guest that's why you're leaving early yes because it means she's in a good mood and she didn't give me additional work it's better i leave now before she changes her mind that's true so you can see how small the world is who would have thought we'll meet here again that's true and that's why it's good to be nice to everyone because you never know when you will meet them again so the last time we spoke we said you were new to the states i'm sure by now you are settled in and discovered more places yes i have although i never expected to experience the traffic and crazy behavior of bus drivers it is so frustrating <laughs> Look at you. That's what makes Lagos unique. I see. But don't mind me. I still love the state and I enjoy exploring all the different types of food here. That's great. I'm happy that you're loving it here. We should go out and celebrate your new job. It's not easy to find employment in this country nowadays. That's true. We'll celebrate but not today. I have plans already and I can't cancel. I totally understand. Well, we could see another time, Vanessa. My car is here. Hello, Chloe. How are you doing? What happened between the two of you this time around? Nothing that I want to talk about. You will talk about this one. What happened? Because she looks like someone who is about to cry. I just told her how things are not working out between the two of us. Like, for how long are we going to continue this way? You finally spoke up. I'm proud of you, man. Oh, please shut up. Do you think I'm happy with all of this? Every day we fight over the same thing. I'm tired. Man, I'm tired of it all. Well, this is the first time you're telling me you are tired. You two love beds you said to I just know this. It's not Jeff and Chloe drama. We might not settle this time. Do you know that in just one day, we have argued over two times on the same issue and she keeps saying sorry only to do it again. I'm not sure I can continue. <laughs> no matter what happens between you and Chloe, you both sort out your differences, man. So stop with all this drama you are putting up. I don't have time for your talks. What I tell you this time, we are done. What's making you pissed at her? I mean, this isn't the first time this is happening between you two. Or is it because of that girl you met recently? What girl are you talking about? I also don't know her. But seeing you this way proves that there is something else in your mind. Or someone else is on your mind. I have no idea what you're talking about, Kevin. Keep hiding it all. But like I told you, that you've been acting strange lately. But don't worry. Sooner or later, I now will figure out why you act this way. Happy investigating, since that's your new job now. I'm hungry, Chef. Won't you take my order? I will only take your order if you are paying. And please go and join the other customers outside so I can concentrate here. You are really pissed off, man. I can see it. This month you've made my evening more beautiful today. Wait until it's tomorrow morning. Then you'll tell me how beautiful I've made you. Well, I'm glad I joined you up and you were the one giving to me as a perfect match. I'm also glad I picked you as my match. So about the money, you don't have to worry. I'll send it to you. But since our relationship here isn't a continuous one, although I wish it was going to be. As much as I would love it to be, I'm only doing this because of the money and I need to boost up my company at this point. That's the truth. I've met a lot of men like you this month, but the truth is that they keep coming back to me. I don't hope to come back to you, just like the app, One Night Meet. I know, but I bet you this month you'll come back to me. I'll keep my fingers crossed on that, ma'am. I wish I would get someone who will be loyal to me like Derek was. And we can both take good care of ourselves. I'll give him everything that he wants sounds like a tempting offer but not for me man jeff do you think you are ever in the right state of mind to cook you should go home and rest take a bath and forget about chloe kelvin you are trying to get on my nerves right now i don't need your advice what are you still even doing here i said you should join the other customers out there jeff who's making you peace why are Calvin. Betsy, what is surprise? What are you doing here? I should be asking you that as well. What are you doing here? You two know yourselves. This is Calvin, Jeff, one of the staffs at my place of work, who aimed to make the office unbearable and unwelcoming for me. How is he your friend? He's not my friend. He's a rude, unfriendly guy who loves to involve himself in matters that doesn't concern him. So don't be surprised if he treated you that way. Really, Jeff? Is that what you're going to say about me? Your best friend? You two are best friend. Can you both do me a favor? 
Take the conversation to the restaurant so I can focus on cooking here. Let's go, Betty. Before he uses the spoon to chase us out. <laughs> Jeff is in quite the mood this evening. Were you the one that made him pissed? Because I don't know him to be this way. You both shouldn't talk about me, please. Shit. Why can't I just focus on what I'm cooking here? Why am I this distracted? What could Betty and Kelvin be talking about now? I never knew you knew Jeff. He's actually my neighbor. I live upstairs and he lives below my flat. That's surprising. So, are you two close friends? We are friends. Actually, he's one of the first friends I have in Lagos. All you and the other staff were acting strangely towards me. You weren't acting strange towards you. You are the one who was acting strange. How was I acting strange? I was trying to be friendly. That makes you more suspicious, Betty. Like, you want to pretend to like us only to get secrets from us and spill. What are you talking about? Never mind. Anyways, Sorry for treating you the way I did back then. It's okay. I think most of you in Lagos are that way. You don't love to make friends. Well, except for Jeff and few others who do. I'm not really a bad person. I'm friendly if you get to know me. The person I'm more interested in knowing is our boss, Madame Maria. You see, I knew there was something suspicious about you and Betty. You want to become closer to her so you can report back, right? Is that why they gave you the job? You're getting it all wrong. I'm here in Lagos to work. I'm not a spy. And what possible secrets could the company have? Just what? If you're not a spy, then how did you land yourself in this job? I am a hard worker. I am a smart hard worker. I put my best in anything I do. Hmm, um, I see. Well, I've got to say Maria was impressed with your work. She said there were barely any mistakes. That's cause I'm good. Although I may not have all the degrees, but I'm good at my job. I see. Well, let's say we started off at the wrong foot. I'm Calvin and you. I am Betty. Nice to meet you, Calvin. I hope you're one of the friendly people in Lagos. I'll let you be the judge of that. Maria told me about what happened between you and your ex-lover. Must be really hard for you and lonely here in Lagos. Mom! Sis! I have some good news for you all. Mommy! Mom! No one is in this house. Where could they have possibly gone to? Thank goodness! I was just about to call you. Where are you coming from? We are coming from the hospital. Baby, come with me. Come and go and rest in the room. The hospital? What happened? Your sister had another section. But well, she's okay now. What? Why didn't you call me? I could have come to meet you guys in the hospital. You had an interview. There's no way your mom would call you to come home. So she reached out to me instead and I came to help out. Lillian! I don't want to hear it. See, I'm just glad to have been available at the right time. I know you don't want to hear it, but thank you so much. What would I do without you? That's aside. I'm so happy you got the job, girl. Congratulations. See, as soon as I got there, the woman just asked me a few questions and that's all. She told me I got the job. Wow. It's good to have connections in this country. Hope you've caught Derek. Not just called, we also went to celebrate. That's why I got home late. My darling, I'm so happy for you on this new job. Although you didn't call me as soon as you got it. I wanted to surprise you, mom. That's why. How is Princess feeling? Why didn't you enter inside Derek? I'm in quite a haste to get back home, that's why. You're lying. Why would you be running home? It's not like there's anyone waiting there. I have some stuff to do at home, but I came to say thank you for helping Vanessa get a job. There are other ways you can thank me. You know, I'll very much appreciate the other ways than the mere thank you. We're way past all of that, Maria. You know I'm married now to your friend. My friend? Tessa is someone I can give birth to, just like I can also have you as a son if I had gotten lucky in having kids. I'm just here to say thank you, Maria. You've always been helpful, and all I have, I owe to you. Thank you. I've heard you. See you and this lady, Vanessa. What's going on between you two? Nothing, really. She's just an old friend, like I told you. Doesn't seem that way to me. I know there's something more, but you're not telling. Are you both saying each other? I won't blame me. She's pretty. I like her, but I'm married, you know. But I might still try my luck. I see. Well, maybe she's smart for not wanting to be with a married man. Or maybe she's not. But if at any point you need me to sack her, let me know. No, no. I wouldn't want that. Please don't sack her. Just let her feel comfortable. She really needs the job. She's going through a lot. Very well. If you do change your mind, I'm just a phone call away. So, back to what I was saying. Are you going to come inside with me? I've missed you, Derek. It's been long we both spend time together. Come on, baby. I'm done with all that. And one thing I know for sure is, you've got quite a number of men in your palm. Good night, Maria. I can't believe this is the time you close from the restaurant every day. 
I'm already used to it. I hope Kelvin kept you company while I was busy in the kitchen. He did. He's actually a cool guy. Yeah, he's a cool guy. He and I have been friends for quite a long time now. He's a good man. He wasn't that nice to me when I met him in the office. He was part of the people who wanted to make the office unbearable for me. I bet they were threatened by your smartness, cause you are really smart. Well, they weren't. They felt I was a spy sent from the company to find out their secrets. <laughs> Betty, a spy? It's funny. Who would think of you as a spy? I don't know who would. I mean, I'm not going to be good at that kind of job. So what do you say we get home and then you prepare me a cup of tea? Then we both smoke up. Then we both smoke up in the bedroom later on. We've been doing that lately and I think I'm getting used to waking up in your arms. I'm also getting used to it. Well, let's take a stroll home, shall we? No, I already called the cab. It should be here any moment from now. You should run a comedy show one of these days, Jeff. Only for you would I run a comedy. I'm no comedian though. I'm sure you know this. Chloe, what are you doing here? <laughs> Betsy, Jeff, I'm tired of it all, Jeff. I'm really tired. Stop crying and get yourself together. Let's go inside the house and talk. I'm just so alone, Jeff. I've got no one that loves me or cares about me anymore. <laughs> You have got me. You know how much I care about you. I really care about you, Chloe. After I left your place, I went back home to see if, if my mom would be home. So at least I would talk to her about my feelings. But she wasn't there. I realized you're all I got. And you've always been there for me. <laughs> Let's talk about this inside. I don't like the way you are crying here. The neighbors might hear. Okay, I'll stop crying. Betty, what are you doing here? I live here, upstairs. I didn't know you also stay here, Betty. We'll talk tomorrow. Betty, we have to talk tomorrow. I will explain everything to you, I promise. Oh my god, what just happened here? With this job you've gotten now, I know everything is going to work out well for us in this family. Yes, mom, I know. I still wish you had called me on my sister's health. I already apologized to you about that. And I said I didn't want you to be worried. That's why I didn't call. So why don't you understand me? Because she's my sister. And I don't want us disturbing Lillian anymore. I've heard you, ma. See, Lillian is a blessing to our life. She's a good friend. I can't wait for her wedding day, so I'll be dancing and spraying her money. Mommy! <laughs> <laughs> you are funny. I'm serious here. I know by then you already have a lot of money to give me. Vanessa, it's getting late already. You should go to bed so you'll wake early. I will sleep soon, mom. But I'm expecting Derek. He's still coming to see me tonight. Derek is coming. My son-in-law. Ah! Who is your son-in-law? Mom, you better stop it. He's married to someone else. So what? Does that mean he can't also marry you? Mom is calling me. He's around. Let me go and meet him outside. Go and bring him inside the house. I don't like the idea of you people meeting outside the house when it's not like you are hiding to see each other. Bring him inside the house. Don't just call him your son-in-law. Vanessa, good evening, ma. Derek, my son. It's good to see you. How have you been and how's everything? I've been fine, ma, and everything is fine. I hope you're fine as well. I'm fine, and thank you for everything you are doing for my daughter. She told me how you helped her get a job. Thank you so much. It's really nothing, ma. I'm glad I could help out. Thank you. Well, I want you to know that this house is your house, and you are always welcome here anytime, any day. Thank you so much, ma. Thank you, ma. Oh my god, oh my god, Betty, what have you done? What have you done? How could you even do this? Chloe and Jeff, I... I never imagined this. I didn't even know the two of them were dating. I didn't know. I never knew. Jeff, you're all I have. You're the only one I've got. You know I care for you so much. And you mean a lot to me. They're both dating. I just left with my good friend's lover. Jeez. This shouldn't have been me. Who do I call to share this with? Who do I call? Not Calvin. I can't call him. I'm sure he knows about Chloe and Jeff's relationship already. Who do I call now? I'm sorry on how we parted ways earlier on. I'm sorry. I'm the one who is sorry. I get pissed at you so much and I don't even appreciate you. It's understandable, Chloe. It's not understandable, Jeff. I don't even know I'm always getting angry at you and always fighting with you. Maybe it's because I've got no one around me. Who is there for me? Why do you like saying you have got no one for you? Is this still about your parents? It's always about them, Jeff. They are the ones who are meant to receive all this anger in my heart 
but they are never there. Let's just forget about them for now. Remove them from your thoughts. How can I do that? Focus on other things you enjoy doing. Travel around the world and have fun. Are you going to come with me? It will be more interesting and fun with you by my side. I don't want to go alone. You can make plans for that in the future. I promise you. Thank you, Jeff. I don't know what I'll do without you. Betty, I never knew you and Betty are neighbors. Why do you guys know yourselves? We met at a pastry store and I helped her get some of the pastries. I see. That's cool, really. Well, you should get some sleep so you'll feel better. What about you? Are you stepping out of bed? No, I'm right here beside you. Where would I go to? I didn't know the two of them knew each other. Only God knows what Betty must be thinking about in her room right now. I just hope this doesn't ruin what we have together. Your mom is a really nice woman. You can't blame her. She likes you and she's grateful for everything you've done for us. I know, but it's really nothing. I know it's late and I should be getting home already. You should curse. I should, but I would rather be here with you staring into your beautiful eyes and telling you how lucky I am to have met you in my life. Don't tell me you are back to this. It's Betty. Hello, Betty. Vanessa, I know I shouldn't call this late, but I need to talk to someone. Is everything okay with you? Okay, I kind of messed up. Please, can you come over and see me this night? We can hang out or I don't know. Try to calm down, Betty. What's the name of your street? Let me see if it's close by. I stay at the three red blocks. Is it close to your place? Yeah, it's close. I'll see you soon. Is everything okay with your friend? I don't know yet, but I'll find out. Will you be kind enough to drop me at her place on your way home? She stays at Tres Red Blocks. Of course I will. But I hope if I call you to complain of being ill, you would also be running over to my place to see me. You won't fall sick, Derek. And don't try to pretend that you are sick because I know you can do something like that. I won't pretend, but don't be surprised if you receive a call that I'm sick tomorrow. <laughs> You're not serious. Now my mornings ain't heavy Cause I'm finally getting real sleepy I love watching all the color Oh, thank you, Vanessa, for coming over. It's okay. What's wrong with you? You sounded like something was wrong. I messed up, Vanessa. I messed up, and I don't even know how I could not know. Calm down and talk to me. What happened? I slept with my friend's lover. What? I don't quite understand what you are saying. You cheated on your friend? It's more complicated. There's this guy that lives below my apartment. He and I have been seeing each other since me and Oscar didn't work out. My who is ex, Oscar? The one who I came to shop for in your friend's store. You guys didn't work out. Oh my, I never knew. Well, so I've been getting involved with this guy, but I just found out he's my friend's lover. Like, he's Chloe's lover, and I... I don't know. I didn't know. Oh, I get. You have been sleeping with your friend's lover, but you didn't know. Exactly, and now I feel like a terrible friend. I feel so terrible. You don't have to stress yourself out on this. It happens here in Lagos. It does? But even if it happens, it shouldn't be me. I'm not that friend that sleeps with my friend's lover. That's betrayal. I betrayed Chloe. You didn't betray her. I mean, you didn't know she was dating the chef, or did you? I didn't know, but will she understand that? Are you planning on telling her about it? You didn't tell her about it, Vanessa. If you tell her about it, you'll be ruining their whole relationship. And I bet you, Chloe will see you as a bad person. I feel like a bad person already, Vanessa. I shouldn't have done it. Hey, stop crying. I'm sure your chef will tell her about the relationship, so you shouldn't worry about it really. Plus, you didn't know it was a lover, or did you? No, I didn't know. Now my mornings ain't heavy. I bet it's Jeff. Behave normal, Betty. Behave normal. Act fine. Hello. Good morning, Betty. Good morning, Jeff. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be at the restaurant already? I am not yet late. You know I don't open early. Or have you forgotten? What of Chloe? How is she feeling now? She's fine. She's sleeping. Okay, well, I'm on my way to the office. I think we'll see you later. You woke up quite late today. You know there will be a traffic and you get to work late. I know. That's why I'm preparing to leave now. Do you need anything? We need to talk about everything that has been happening between us. What has been happening between us, Jeff? I don't understand. Betty. You never told me you have a lover for starters and that she was Chloe. 
Call your old people. Come on, Jeff. You could have told me. I didn't know the two of you knew yourselves. I didn't know. Why didn't you tell me you have a woman in your life? Because it's almost like I don't have a woman in my life. I and Chloe have issues all the time. That doesn't mean you shouldn't have told me about it. What differences would it have made if I told you I have someone else? We both have strong feelings for each other. Jeff, we need to stop sleeping with each other. See, I'm late. We'll talk about it. You're running late, or you're running away from me, Betty. Both of it. I'm wishing you a great day ahead. It's your first day, you know. I don't prefer to be called baby. Just call me Vanessa. Why not? You're still going to be my baby at the end of it all, because I love you. Transfer the love to your lovely family at Abuja. They will appreciate it more. Who told you I'm not transferring the love to them as well? I've called her this morning to check up on her. She's doing fine. That's so sweet of you. Well, keep it up, Derek. I will do just that. But that doesn't mean I can't also keep expressing my love to you. Derek. I want to have a relationship with you, Vanessa. I'm not just that. I want to marry you. You want to marry me? Come off it already. I can't do that. I really want to marry you as my own woman. You can be my second wife. Me a second? I'm not sure I want to do that. And I mean it. I want to be the holy woman in the house. Me and my lover all alone. Should I divorce Tessa? Is that what will make you happy? No. Hell no. Why would I tell you to divorce your woman at home? See, let's forget about this. I really appreciate you bringing me to work today. Soon you have your own car. But until then, I'll make sure I get you a permanent cab driver that will be bringing you to work and taking you home. That's not necessary, Derek. What if one of the staffs want to take me home after work? Ha! Come on, babe. I will not like that. You know what? I would rather come and be picking you up once you close. Once it's closing, I'll come over. Let me get going. It's almost 8 a.m. I'll see you within the week. I see. That's a cue that I shouldn't come and pick you later in the evening. Your CV is quite impressive, but I don't have a vacant space in the company. Ma, can't you create one for me? I'm willing to do anything to get a job. You are willing to do anything to get a job? Is that what you said? Sounds desperate. Yes, I'm desperate, ma. I'm new in Lagos and I've not gotten a place of my own to stay. I can fix that for you. You get a place to stay and I'll also see about you getting a job. Thank you so much, ma. Don't thank me yet, Oscar. You said you're willing to do anything, didn't you? I am, ma. Well, I'm in need of someone who will scrub my back. That's what I need from you. Scrub my back and I'll take care of you, Oscar. I will take care of everything. I, I... You don't have to rush to make a decision. Take your time, darling. You're way older than me, ma. I'm sorry, but I don't mean it in any wrong way. Well, you can go find someone for your job, Oscar. I'm sure you get a lot of companies that will take you in. Come in. Good morning, ma. O Os Oscar, w what are you doing here? You two know each other? Yes, ma, we do. Oh. Drop the file you bought and leave. As you can see, I'm still busy here. Yes, ma. O Oscar. Care to tell me what that was about? You and my staff. It's nothing really, ma. Ma, about the job. I told you what needs to be done already. Think about it and get back to me. Betty. Just saw Oscar. I just saw my ex in Madame Maria's office. Your ex? Your ex is the one in the office with Maria. Are you serious? I'm very serious about it. Like, what is he doing here? I thought he had left Lagos. Well, I guess he didn't leave in the first place. Maybe they both have a meeting or so. What kind of meeting? I just hope he's not telling her to give me a sack letter. With Maria, I won't give you a sack letter, no matter what your ex says. I hope so, but I'm curious to know why he's here. I hate feeling this way. Why can't my morning just be better? First, he started off with Jeff and now this. What happened between you and Jeff? Nothing really, just he and his lover, Chloe. Oh, did she come with the drama to him again? That lady is over dramatic. Hello? Good evening, miss. Hello? I remember your face. You came here yesterday, right? I did, but don't worry. I'm not looking for your boss office today. I'm here for you. You are here for me? Does this involve anything related to the office? Did Madam Miriam ask that I work with you? No, she didn't. I'm here by my own self. Can I see it? Of course you can. I just hope everything is okay. It's just that since I saw you yesterday, I've not been able to get you off my mind. That's funny. Laugh at me like I wouldn't complain. I said the truth. Your thoughts have just been on my mind and I can't get it off my mind. Why has my thought been in your mind? I don't know as well. I'm trying to still understand the whole problem here and you are the only one who can help me out here. I can't help you out in any way because I don't even know what's happening to you. It's like you've cast a spell on me, Vanessa, that I can't see you off my mind. If I close my eyes, I'll see you. If I want to walk, I'll see you. I just keep seeing you all around myself. <laughs> You're really funny. Am I funny? Come on, 
I'm saying all these thoughts from my heart and you're laughing at me. You're making me kind of shy and embarrassed. I didn't mean to do that, but you're acting like a teenager right now, mister. I'm this one by name, but you can call me anything you like. Now my mornings ain't heavy. Babe, you've been acting kind of different since we got to the restaurant. Is everything okay? Everything is fine. I hope you are good as well. I'm okay, but I feel something is off about you, even if you don't want to tell me. I'm fine, Chloe. Please don't try to make an issue out of nothing, because I'm good. How am I trying to make an issue out of nothing here? Just how? I'm sorry I said that. See, I just want to do my work in silence. Seems like I'm disturbing you, right? And you don't want me around. Is that it? It's too early for us to be arguing. You shouldn't have even come to the restaurant. You should be at home resting from all of yesterday's drama. I'm fine, Jeff. I'm not mentally unstable. I am totally fine and I know what I'm saying. You're acting somehow to me. Chloe, sincerely, I'm not just in the mood for a chat. I'm thinking on a lot of things right now. What things? Because I've been asking you to talk to me, but you're not. You're just in your own head, all alone. And I'm here, feeling like I'm the reason for you acting this way. You aren't the reason. I need to attend to some customers. Did he just walk out on me? What is happening to us? Oh wait, did I say anything wrong again? Where are you going to, Chloe? Chloe, damn it. I'm just tired of all this stuff. I'm trying to put my mind on you, but better thoughts keep coming to my mind. I can't just place my hands on it yet. What is he doing in my place of work? I remember he proposed to me, but I turned it down. I expected him to pack his things and leave, to go back. Hello, Betty. How are you doing today? What are you doing here, Oscar? Shouldn't you be at home or in your large office? I can be anywhere I choose to be. Don't you agree with me? Anywhere but not my office. What are you even doing with my boss? Not any of your business. Or is it your business? I have no idea what you're talking about, Oscar. Just stay away from me. I don't have any plans on my sleeve, but to make you know what it feels like to be betrayed, stabbed in the back and thrown away. You lost your job. How is that possible? You have no idea. Do you know that I lost my job at home all because of you, Betty? I didn't ask you to come, did I? Exactly what I've been asking myself, but I've gotten any exactly what I've been asking myself, but I haven't gotten any answer yet. But it's all your fault. It's all thanks to you. Because I came here thinking we can fix our relationship. Oscar, I am not interested in all of this conversation. I came to you asking you to let go of everything and come with me so we can start a family together get married what is wrong with him is he out of his mind or what what are you buying from us today mr derek i came to see you lillian i would like us to talk about your friend vanessa is everything all right between the two of you yeah everything is fine with both of us it's just that i'm not making any progress with her in terms of our relationship oh i see but you should understand her right i mean You've got a ring on your finger, and she doesn't have a man in her life yet. Having a ring on my finger doesn't mean we both can work things out. She can't be a side chick, Mr. Derek. Remove the mister from my name and just call me Derek. I'm just Derek. See, I don't want to make her a side chick. I want to marry her as my home. That doesn't sound bad, but she's not going to want to be second. I won't want to be the second woman as well. I'd rather be the first and only woman in the house. I understand that, but can you just talk to her for me? I have got good plans for her. I really love her and I want to be with her. Do you know that after I go back from the States, I looked for Vanessa. I searched for her, but I didn't find her. Derek, all of this doesn't matter right now. You know it would have been easier if you were unmarried. But notwithstanding, I will talk to her. That would mean a lot to me. Help me to convince her that me being married doesn't mean I won't take good care of her. It doesn't mean I can't marry someone else. Does this mean you also add a third woman? Are you considering being my third wife? I would take that as a joke. <laughs> What is she doing here? I just hope Jeff hasn't said anything to her. Chloe, good evening. I'm surprised to see you by my door. I've been waiting here since forever. I thought you had probably gone out with one of those fine men in Lagos. I'm sure they all can't resist your beauty. <laughs> You're funny. Well, I'm here now. Is everything okay with you? How are you feeling now? I'm kind of okay. Yet, I don't feel I'm okay. I'm just confused and tired. What confuses you? It's Jeff. Jeff is different towards me, Betty. I can't just explain it, but something isn't right between us. I just know. It's like he doesn't even care about me anymore. Jeff cares about you, Chloe. Why would you be saying something like that? You know what? Let's go inside and continue this conversation. He doesn't seem to love me anymore. 
seems like his heart is with someone else or in something else i don't know you have a really lovely apartment but thank you what do i offer you clay water wine cakes i don't want anything betty talking to you be the best thing you can possibly offer me betty a friend is all i need now well i am that friend so what is happening what bothers you i told you already it's jeff he's treating me different it's like he no longer fancies me like he used to in the past he loved spending time with me but now i don't even know chloe i'm sure jeff still loves you and he's just busy with the restaurant he is always busy i know that but his attitude towards me do you know that last night he couldn't stay in the bedroom with me are you sure about that doesn't sound like jeff i mean he's meant to be with you by your side holding you but he was in the living room although i didn't make an issue out of it which is just so wrong won't you agree with me that's true but maybe he has some stuff bothering him that's what i thought but he isn't telling me anything that's going on with him he keeps everything to himself doesn't care about me or carries me along i'm sure this is just a misunderstanding jeff really loves you and cares about you i'm not sure and he's the only one i've got in my life like everyone else is just there my parents hmm, don't have my time they don't even care about me jeff is the only person that has always been there for me if he has been there all this while i think you should try to be patient with him to get himself back together he will definitely do that don't you agree i should be patient with him yes that's what i think you should do chloe at the end he will come back to his normal attitude and you two will enjoy yourselves together i left him in the restaurant this morning as he was giving me a kind of odd attitude he has been calling me but i ignored all his calls why would you do that i can bet you that he's worried right now i just hope he doesn't add too much salt in the food he's cooking today jeff never makes a mistake you can be so sure of that his cooking comes first before anything else and it's annoying at times actually most times how long have you been together we have been dating for seven years wow that's a really long time for both of you to be together Jeff, is everything okay with you? You've barely said a word since I got here. There's nothing to say. Can you help me call Chloe with your phone? I need to make sure she's alright. Oh, is that the reason you're in an off mood and you cook this for me? What happened to the food I cooked for you? You don't like it? It's actually tasteless, Jeff. Why do you think I'm eating it slowly? Excuse me, do you just think the food I cooked is tasteless? You know I'm not a liar, man. This food isn't good. Tastes like you made it for those who have diabetes problem. Not good enough. You have got to be kidding me. I'm not kidding, man. You know what I think? You should call the other chef to come and take over today. Because if this is where you've been serving your customers, you will lose lots of customers. No wonder most people didn't finish up their food. Lots of leftovers to be thrown in the trash. So you noticed that and you still kept on cooking. What's wrong, man? Who bothers you? It's complicated, Kelvin. You wouldn't really understand. You and Chloe are having a serious issue this time around, is that it? I'm not sure of my feelings for Chloe anymore, man. And it's really crazy for me. You don't love Chloe anymore? That's not what I'm saying. I love her, I do, but... See, I don't want to talk about it. I need to go and see my customers and apologize on my cooking skill today. It was really nice chatting with you, Vanessa. I really enjoy our drive all the way here. Although I would prefer us to go out. Maybe one of these days. Thank you for bringing me home. Can I come and visit you anytime I like? Or do I have to always call you? Don't do that, Desmond. That will make me dislike you. I have your phone number. Don't worry. I'll always give you a call before I come to see you. Good night, Vanessa. Good night, Desmond. Derek, you startled me. I see you're already having a new crush in less than 48 hours. You were here all along. Don't tell me you stood by the side watching me. That's exactly what I did. I wasn't going to come out and ruin you and your crush's moment together. How would that speak of me? Derek, it's not what you are thinking. Even if it's what I'm thinking, what can I do about it in truth? You're a beautiful unmarried lady. I'm sure there are lots of men out there asking for your hand like me. You are right though, but I'm not involved with anyone yet. Well, I have a surprise for you. Come with me, let's go for a drive. I have to do this. I have to get myself a soft spot here in Lagos and see what will happen with Betty. I'll make sure she wish she never left me. Maybe I might even win her heart back. I know she still has strong feelings for me. You're still awake. I expected you'd be asleep by now. I can't sleep without you in the room. I see. I guess I've landed myself a romantic man here. Well, if you're half as romantic as Derek, I promise to keep you and spoil you with all the love in the world. I'll do more than Derek. I will show you that I know how to treat an older woman like a newly wedded bride. <laughs> but you have to keep the end of the bargain, Maria. <laughs> 
Oh, Oscar, I really love it when you say such kind words. Oh my god, are you serious? Money has never been an issue for me. I know how to spoil my lovers. I tell you by tomorrow you have a job, and I'll see how well you keep doing, and you have a car of your own. Stay with you. I see you have a problem with that. Well, if you want other young women in your life, you can meet them in a the hotel. But you leave with me, Oscar, and you get tired of our deal. What if you get tired of what we are having together? Get tired of me. I won't get tired of you, you're still very young. Does it look like Jeff is around? Why are there no customers around? I have no idea as well. I know everywhere is to be filled up by this time of the evening. Betty, Chloe. Babe, what is happening? Where is everyone? You never made a mistake for the first time. He didn't cook up to the standards today and well. The customers left, or should I say he started to close the doors as he wasn't sure he'd be able to cook anymore. What? You made a mistake. Is what Calvin saying the truth? I really don't want to talk about it. Today is my least favorite day. Oh my. Is this all because I left the restaurant and didn't pick your calls? I don't want to talk about any of that. I just want to go and rest my head. Now that I'm here, we can open the restaurant and we both can cook together. I'm sure you get it right now that I'm here. I really don't want to cook. Come on, Jeff. Make something for us to eat at least. I and Chloe came here to eat because we are both obviously starving. You will help me in the kitchen, Betty. Or better still, you cook for us all. Betty will cook for us all. Is she a great cook? I taught her how to cook personally. So, you won't worry. She's a good cook. You too will be the judge of her cooking. I'm game. I love food. Just so you know, good food. Hey, what is this? This is exactly what you're thinking it is. It's your new apartment. Oh my, my new apartment? I don't understand what you're saying. I got this place for you and you can choose to bring your family over if you like. But this is now your new place. Oh my god, Derek. You didn't have to do this, you. I know. But it's what I want to do for you, to show you how much you mean to me, and to show you that I'm willing to give you the best things. I'm still in a shock right now. I, I, don't, I don't think I... I should accept this. You should accept it. I'm giving it to you. I've paid the rent for two years, so you don't have to worry. And regardless of what happens between us, it's fine with me. Derek, thank you so much. Thank you. I don't know what to say. You could say you love me and would consider my offer to be my lover. There is no doubt that I love you, Derek. But you know you are married. I'm even feeling guilty by accepting this gift from you. You shouldn't feel guilty. This is a gift from me to you. It's not attached to anything. I mean it. You deserve it. Who made this food? Is it you, babe? It's all Betty. She cooked. And like I told you guys, she's a really great cook. Wow. This is really good, Betty. I'm impressed. Where did you learn to cook like this? I'm sure you did learn it from Ben. I actually learned from Jeff. I don't used to cook before now. You and Jeff must have spent a lot of time together for you to learn how to cook this well from him that's not true he sent me his recipe book most of the time you know he did that to me as well but it didn't work out i remember trying to cook something special for my parents and i wanted to do it by myself do you remember jeff <laughs> <laughs> i remember that day she made something really horrible my advice don't always follow the recipe most of them are just so wrong most especially if you are a first time cook betty learned with the recipe book didn't she it requires a lot of other stuffs beyond just the recipe book i know well one of these days i hope you will teach me how to cook betty you want to learn how to cook are you serious calvin don't let calvin waste your time betty he's not going to learn nothing do you know how long he has been watching me in the kitchen just like chloe he don't know how to cook nothing except to boil water what Betsy, Jeff is lying. I can't cook. I'm trying. I don't know how to cook, I admit it. So how did he go with your mysterious crush? He seems like a worldly guy. His name is Desmond and I guess he kind of likes me. Wow, that's not surprising though. But I know you didn't give him a response ASAP. You asked him for time to know every typical lady does. Don't you also ask for time before dating a guy? I do, but when it was with Oscar, I agreed to it straight up as I've been crushing on him. You and Oscar, has he reached out to you again, said anything to you? No, he hasn't said anything and I hope I don't see him again. Well, I got a new apartment yesterday. Congratulations, darling. Wow. Wow. Does it come with your position here in the office? No, it doesn't. My ex-lover got it for me, Derek. I've mentioned him before. Yeah, the married guy who is trying to make you his second woman, right? You're right. But I don't like it when you put it that way. It sounds somehow. I'm sorry, I didn't mean it that way. Do you think I'm wrong to have accepted the house from him? I am not in the place to say that. It all depends on you. Are you okay with this? I'm not. I'm not doing anything wrong with him. We're just friends. And I've made it clear that I'm not interested in him. Well, since you've told 
told him that then i think you should enjoy all the gifts he brings exactly what i'm going to do i don't want to do too much so it won't be like i took all the gifts from him and turned him down what about you and this new guy desmond let's see how it goes but if things goes well then i'll cut off ties with derek that's a promise that sounds like a great idea but do you think it's coincidence that their names both start with d desmond and derek i didn't even think about that <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised to see you here, Des. Have you finished all the money I sent to you? I'm not here for money, Maria. Then why are you here? Because I know you only came here to see me when you are broke and need me to support your business. I'm here for something different. I came to let you know my interest in one of your staffs, Vanessa. You are interested in Vanessa? That's surprising, Desmond. I know. I'm surprised myself, but I want to be with her. Why are you telling me? We both know I can't stop you from seeing who you want to see. I don't want you ruin this for me. That's why I'm telling you. How am I going to ruin this for you? We have our moments together. In Enjoy yourselves and then I pay you this. That's how it's always been. I might no longer be available for all that. We'll see about that. We both know once you broke, you come back here to see me. Don't just ruin this for me, please, Maria. You've got nothing to worry about. My lips are sealed. Jeff, what are you doing here? I came to see you, Betty. We need to talk about everything that's happened between us. We've already talked about it. There's nothing more for us to say. I'm in love with you, Betty. I didn't think I would fall for you, but I'm in love with you. What? No, no. Yes, yes, yes. I'm in love with you. And I know you also feel the same way like I do. Jeff, you love Chloe. You're both in love with each other. I have feelings for her, yes. But I don't think I love her as much as I love you. No, Jeff. See, what we had wasn't love. We were both just sleeping with each other and enjoying each other's company. That's just it. It wasn't meant to be. Betty, you're lying. We both know you have feelings for me. You don't just want to admit it. You and Chloe are meant to be together, Jeff. Don't lose your seven years relationship because of a fling we both had. We had something serious betty admit it it was beyond us sleeping with each other no jeff it was nothing is this the reason why you are failing to admit the truth because of him jeff we will talk at home i think you should leave though i will leave but i know that there was something real behind all of those stuffs What are you doing here, Oscar? Why can't you just let me be? It seems like I ran into something I shouldn't have, right? I mean, that guy. I remember his face from your apartment. Oscar, I am going to call the security on you. You can't keep bumping on me continuously. What are the security going to do about me here? Throw me out. I bet no. Why are you here? I came to remind you that I'm very much around, like in front of you and also behind you. Why can't you just leave me alone? Let me be on my own. I can't leave you because I give up everything for you. But what did you do? You chose your job over me. This job, I can have you sacked, I hope you know. Really? Because you're now the new boss of this organization, is that it? Yeah, because I'm the new boss. <laughs> Please, security, can you come to my office? Betty is my name. I have an unwanted guest and he's refusing to leave. No one is going to take me out of here. I bet you, no one can. Get out of my office. Get out, Oscar. I'm leaving already, ain't I? But I'll still see you again. What kind of nonsense is this? What is wrong with him? I need to report this before it starts to get out of hand. Lillian, he surprised me like it was unexpected. Girl, I can only imagine what it looks like. Send me pictures when you get there later. I'll do that. He also told me that I should select all that I wanted for the interior decoration. He's going to pay for it. Are you sleeping with him already? No, I wouldn't do that. Although, at times it comes to my mind. You need a man in your life, and right now, I won't mind if it's Derek you want. My thoughts are on the woman he has at home, his family. She has a child for him. I know. I'm just saying though. But I have to admit he really loves you. I know, but he belongs to someone else. He's not my man. What if he's your soulmate? I mean, you guys have been dating all this while. Then you broke up because of he left the States. But well, he's back now, isn't he? I'm not going to date Derek. I even met someone new yesterday. Someone new? What's the person? He goes by the name Desmond. He's a young good looking guy. Wow, I see. Seems like you're having all the fun alone. When I'm here in Abuja. Nothing funny here. I just met him and it's not like there is anything happening between us. He just expressed his feelings for me yesterday. I don't even know him yet. You sound like you're interested in knowing him. I don't know yet. See, I miss you, Lillian. When are you coming back? I'll be back soon. We are trying to round off some things here. Just make sure that you keep a lot of gist for me. Jeff, what a surprise. What are you doing here? I came to do something around here, so I came over to see you. How's everything going? It's going on well. 
you are back to your old mood again. What's wrong, man? It's nothing really. I'm fine. You are here instead of the eatery. That's surprising. You are not opening today. The restaurant is already opened. The other chef is there working. I see. But that's surprising. You are always around him to watch how he is doing. Or has he passed the checks now? He's not going to cook any food without taste. So don't worry. Is everything okay with you, Jeff? You know you can talk to me about anything. I hope you know, man. Because I don't like seeing you this way. Kelvin. Everything is fine with me, it's just that I think I fell for the wrong person and it's kind of affecting everything I'm doing. You fell for the wrong person? Chloe, don't tell me we are back to you and Chloe drama. You know what? I need to get going to the restaurant to see how things are going. I'll call you later in the evening when I'm done at work. Okay, man. Have you checked Betty already? I'm sure she'll be excited to see you. Not necessary for me to see her. I'm sure she'll be busy and not want to see me. Let me walk you out. Don't worry on that. Continue with your work. See you later, man. Something isn't just right here. He's totally unlike Jeff to not check on Betty. And why would she not even want to see him? Just why? Don't wanna go. What trouble were you causing in the office premises, Oscar? I just received a call from the security and the staff reporting you. That's nothing really. Do I look like someone who will cause trouble? You don't look like someone who will look for trouble, baby. But why aren't you working in the office? You should be working. I was missing you. That's why I left to come and check on you. You will lose your job over there, Oscar. Do you still want to have a job? I still want the job, but you are more important than my job. I won't say anything about that. Well, I'm busy here and I don't like being disturbed when I'm working. I'll take my leave now, ma. I'm sorry for disturbing. Hello, ma. I... Uh, I... Maybe I'll see you later. Make sure you enjoy your day at work. I will. Love you, baby. So what brings you here, Betty? Another question or what? Ma, I'm not meant to ask, but the man that just left here... You're the one who reported him to the security. What did he do to you? He... He entered into my office and he wasn't going to leave. What was he telling you? That he loves you and wants to take you out? No, he didn't say anything like that. Well, if he doesn't do any of that, I don't see any reason for you to report him to the security. He's my guest here, so report to me if he does anything. Okay, ma. Okay, ma. When did you get back from your shopping? Not quite long. I got you some really cute shirts that are going to wear for our trip. That's great. How's the food you ate? I hope it's tasty. It's nice, but it doesn't taste like you, Jeff. I'm not saying he's not a good cook, but you know, I'm used to your cooking. Although yesterday's food was quite tricky for me. Are you saying you can't distinguish between me and Betty's cooking? Something like that. Were you the one that made the food we ate yesterday? Betty made it. She's good at cooking. I keep telling her, but she doesn't listen to me. Seems like you two are good friends, right? She's just my neighbor who loves to eat food like Kelvin. Well, you got a letter while you were away. It's from your boss. My boss sent a letter to me. What does it say? I saw him in Madame Maria's office and it all made sense to me at that point. What was your ex doing in her office? He called her baby and it's like the two of them have something together. You have got to be joking. Your Oscar called the boss baby. Yes, he did. No wonder he told me that there's nothing I can do about his presence in the office and that he was going to make my life miserable for me. On his presence in the office, maybe you can't challenge that. But you can challenge him wanting to mess your life up. You won't let him do that. I won't do that, but it's just complicated for me seeing him in the office with the boss i never expected that he's having an affair with her i'm equally surprised by this news maria and oscar she's way older than him i even thought she's married but now i don't think she's anymore she's not married derek told me she had lots of failed marriages i guess her targets are younger men now this makes me wonder if she and derek or desmond have stuff together that's true i just hope not because it wouldn't make sense to me derek wouldn't even do something like that i hope desmond won't as well because he had come to also look for her in the office i can't just get oscar out of my head just forget about him i think he's doing all of this to get back to you but don't let him i know but i'm stuck thinking about it do you think i should tell the boss he's my ex you shouldn't do that she'll be more suspicious of you if she sees the two of you together she might think oh she's trying to get my man away from me her man oscar isn't her man i think he's her man betty and you know how these women can be about the man they love possessive most especially if the sex is good damn it damn all of this oscar you have to get yourself together i bet this is the reaction he expects from me he wants to sell the eatery to me at a very affordable price wow he wants to sell why did he write that in the letter 
He's going back home and his brother too is leaving the country. Plus, it was all his brother's idea to sell the restaurant to me, seeing how passionate I am about cooking. Babe, I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. This is a dream come true. Indeed, it's a dream come true for me. But I need to raise more money. My savings can't cover up the money needed for the restaurant. Money shouldn't be an issue. I'm here for you. Chloe. You've always helped me. Been there for me as a lover when I needed someone. This is the least I can do to say thank you for everything, my love. How much do you need? I can't possibly allow you to pay for the restaurant. How then are you going to get the money? Go to the bank? Borrow from friends or what? I don't know yet, but I have to think it through. There is nothing to think through. I will give you the money. You can pay me back if you insist on paying back. But I want to help out. Like you've always helped me. Plus, I'm sure if the circles were turned, you would want to help me out, right? You got me flowers. Not me. From a guy named Desmond. He came looking for you, but you weren't in. Thank you so much, Kelvin. He's trying to impress me, Betty. You should be impressed, because he's such a great guy and he's my friend. You and Desmond, are you friends? I didn't know. Do you have other friends like Desmond? I won't mind you introducing me to them. I see you're looking for a man in your life. Why don't you consider me? You. Hell no. Why hell no? Am I not good looking? Actually, one of the most good looking men you ever come across in your life. Tell him he's not half as cute as his friends, not Desmond or Jeff. I'm the most handsome guy in this building, Vanessa. My friends will tell you this. Just look at my broad shoulders and muscles. Large enough to raise you up, Betty. I'm still not interested. I'll see you guys later. I still have some pending stuff to do in the office. What about considering my offer to be your man? Calvin, the answer is still no. But you could introduce me to some of your friends. I'm not going to do that. Find your man by yourself. I'll see you guys later. Kevin, tell me about Desmond. I want to know more about him since he's your friend. I'm not a gossiper. I'm not telling you nothing about him. You'll be helping a friend here. I want to know if he's someone I should be with or not. You don't need any information from me. With time, you will know him. Totally unhelpful. I don't know why he acts like this towards me all the time. I'm thinking we should go for a vacation real soon, but he keeps pushing it forward. I bet it's cause of the restaurant. I remember you said he's passionate about cooking. Well, guess what? Jeff might soon be the new owner of the restaurant. Are you serious about this or joking? I'm very serious, Betty. Like, he's so happy about it. Do you know how long he has always wanted to own a restaurant? I know. He mentioned it to me. He told you about it. When was that? I mean, he told me of his interest in having his own restaurant someday. But what happened? Like, how did he come by this opportunity of getting the restaurant? His boss is leaving town, so he's selling the restaurant. I just hope Jeff accepts the offer. Why won't he accept it? I'm sure he will accept it. Jay's restaurant. How do you know that's the name he wants to call his restaurant? I... I don't know. I'm just trying to pick random names. He can also call it Jeffrey Spot. He wouldn't agree to the second name, but the first one j's restaurant that's the name he has always wanted to call it a big letter j in front which makes it easy for everyone to pronounce i'm really happy for him i guess we'll be celebrating the restaurant soon he has such a romantic fellow des standing on the flowers to this date you can't blame me i'm trying to win your heart and you have to say yes to me i'm very impressed by what you're doing if i'm being sincere i think that's good it's a good thing right i think so <laughs> So tell me about you, Desmond. I'm a businessman. I'm single to mingle. Mingle with you, of course. But that's if you give me the opportunity to know you. That's what we are doing. Getting to know each other. I know. But I always have the feeling that your mind is far away from me. You're always looking around like you're not relaxed here. Do you want us to go someplace else? I'm relaxed. It's just the two of us. Plus, I can't remember the last time I went on a date. I refuse to believe that. I refuse to believe what you're saying. How can a pretty lady like you not remember the last time you went on a date? I know you wouldn't believe me but that aside tell me more about you why don't you ask questions it will make it easier for me let's see like what were you doing in my office the day you came to see my boss but that would be untrue i know i'm being kind of mean but i learned all i hope to still see you again tomorrow if that's not so fast for us to see i will think about it this and Thank you for a great evening. I should be the one saying thank you. I'm sure I'll dream about you again. Make sure you remember the dream so you'll tell me about it in the morning. Yes, my lady Vanessa. Good night. Good night. Can I get another kiss on the cheek? Just perfect for you, right? Vanessa and Desmond. Derek, what are you doing here? I thought I sent you a message not to wait for me. I was just curious to know where you've been. So I told myself to wait. I don't like what you are doing. 
You should have gone home. Why should I? Because you went out with another guy. See, all of that doesn't matter to me, although I feel jealous. You shouldn't be jealous. I made my intentions clear to you. You don't want to be with me because I'm married. Yet yeah, you're willing to be with that guy. I'm getting to know him. We are friends. Who knows if something meaningful could come out of this? He could marry me. Yeah, that's true. I remember he's single, just like you. I had a long day at work and I'm tired. Would you come inside so we talk? What do you want to talk about? I don't know. I just made an offer. I think I should go home so you can relax well. Send my regards to your mom. Derek. Hello? Hello? Please, I'm not interested in all of this. Who's there? Why don't you open up and find out? Calvin. What are you doing here? I came to see you to eat some of those yummy food I ate the other day. I didn't cook today, but I still have some foods Jeff made in the freezer if you don't mind. Jeff made some for you? He's a chef. He makes lots of foods. But I'm surprised you're here in my place and not his. Did you see Jeff earlier today in the office? Yes, I did, but he was brief. He said he came to check out something in the area. I see. There's something I've been meaning to ask you, Calvin. It's actually none of my business. But does Maria have someone she's married to? No, she's not married. I'm sure you know that by now. Seeing the way different men come in and out of her office all the time. I think she's having something to do with Oscar, my ex-lover. What? Your ex? Yeah, I think she's dating my ex. Because earlier on, when I went to her office, he was about to leave and he was calling her pet name. Wow, that's surprising. But you and your ex are no longer involved, right? Yes, we're not. But she shouldn't be with him. He's my ex. Since the two of you are no longer involved, it doesn't really matter. And I don't think you should mention it to her that he's your ex. I'm thinking of doing that, but I don't even know how to go about it. It's her life and he's your ex. So I don't see why you should be bothering yourself on your ex when you yourself can have a man you choose to. I'm not interested in men. Are you sure about that? I've seen the way you look at Jeff. Me? Look at Jeff. You've got to be kidding. Let me microwave the food for you or are you not more interested in eating? Running away from the conversation, right? Well, I'm hungry. I hope you like it here, Maria. It's quite impressive, but what's the occasion? You've not told me what we're celebrating. I'm celebrating you. You're indeed a woman who knows how to take good care of a man. You could celebrate with me in another way and not necessarily take me out. Are you ashamed of being here with me? Is that it? I'm not a woman who is timid. I'm a bold woman. I don't care about the person next to me. I know. That's one of the strengths I admire in you. I think I'm falling in love with you, Maria. Yes, you are way older than me, but I'm loving everything about you. You've got to be kidding. You're not falling in love with me. I'm not lying to you. I'm totally indebted to you that love is what I feel for you. You're trying to use your words on me, Oscar, but I'm way past this. I know it's just a matter of time before you let go of me and settle down with the young lady. What if I choose to be with you? Let's change the topic. I've been noticing some strange chemistry between you and Betty. Care to tell me what all of that is about? Who's Betty? Stop with the pretense and tell me what's happening between the two of you. There's nothing going on between us. She just doesn't respect me like the other staffs. It's like when she sees me, she judges me or looks down on me because of our relationship. Is that so? Yeah, who knows? Maybe she's crushing on me. <laughs> you know how you ladies can be when a man isn't giving you attention you want. Derek walked out on me. Why would he do that? Does he want me to feel bad for going out to Desmond? I don't even know what his issue is right now. You're finally home, Vanessa. Where were you? Mom, you're still awake. I hope I wasn't the one that woke you up. I didn't sleep yet. I was waiting for you. Derek came by earlier on, but he didn't meet you. Okay. What did he say? Nothing much. He just came to check on us. That's so nice of him. Well, I am looking forward to meet this new man that's taking you out because I know that it's not Derek you went out with today. Mom, you'll meet him soon. So you're no longer interested in Derek. Is that what you're saying? I didn't say I was interested in him. I'm not even dating anyone right now. I'm confused on a whole lot of things right now. So you're no longer interested in Derek. Is that what you're saying? Something like that, but I'm sure I won't be with Derek. Can't be with a married man. The decision of who to be with, Derek or this new man, is that it? This is for you, Jeff. Chloe, I can't accept this. I can't take your money. You don't need to worry about the money. I told you I'm giving you. But you can return it if you want to return the money. I don't want to take this money. I can't take it, Chloe. This is your money. You should use it for yourself and not for me. I have more than enough money for myself. I can even give you more. Chloe. You can pay me back the money when you have. I don't want you to lose this opportunity. You've got on buying this restaurant. It's a dream come true for you. And I want to support you. I'm shocked right now. Like, I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything. Just keep on loving me and being by my side. As my man. I love you, Chloe. There's no doubt about that. 
I love you. Doesn't feel that way at times, Jeff. I feel like there's something else in your mind that's taking your attention away from me. There's nothing taking my attention, baby. I mean it. My attention is all on you. I'm so lucky to have you and I appreciate this that you have done for me. I promise to pay you back. Take your time in paying me back. You don't have to worry about that. My love, just go home now. I'm glad you got home safe. But you don't need to call me your love. Better start getting used to it because you're going to be my love and I'm very sure about this. Why are you so sure about yourself, this? Because I just know you are the woman for me, Vanessa. The one I'm going to have by my side to my old age. That's something. Well, I'm going to bed now. I have, I have a long day ahead of me. Why do I get the feeling that you are bored of our conversation already? I'm not bored of our conversation. We have talked a lot today. I can keep talking to you all day long. I enjoy the time with we both spend together. You are sweet-mouthed. I give that to you, Des. Sweet-mouthed for you alone. Because I want you to say yes to my proposal very soon. Don't say no, please. Allow me to be the man for you, my love. I will think about it just like I told you. No rush here. It's not good for us to on certain things like love. Just say yes so I can love you properly and take good care of you. It's good to stall on some things, most especially when it comes to the matters of the heart. So that one doesn't end up making mistakes. I promise you this, you won't regret having me in your life. Baby, don't tell me you plan on sleeping in the living room. I'll join you soon, Tessa. I'm trying to get myself together. You smell of alcohol. Have you been drinking? What happened? It's really nothing I want to talk about. You should go ahead to the bedroom. I'll join you soon, Tessa. You know I won't be able to sleep well. No, you are thinking on something. There's this stuff I've been trying to get for quite some time now, but all my efforts are in vain. No matter how I try, it's just not working out. I am sorry to hear this, but I'm sure it will still work out. You will get it right. I'm not sure I believe I will. I'm at a disadvantage here, Tess. Turn that disadvantage to an advantage, Derek. Where is that young man who never gives up on anything? But works very hard to get what he wants. He's still here, but this time I think I'll give up on this job. And then what? Will you return back to Abuja with me? I miss us staying together. I wish we would be together with our son as a family. I will soon be home, I promise you. We will be back as one. Or we can come back to Lagos and live together as a family. Stay as one. There's something we'll talk about, but no matter what, I promise you that we'll always live together. I have heard you. Well, are you coming with me to the room or do you want to be here? Just go ahead. I'll join you soon. I need to clear my head. Don't stay in the living room for too long. Vanessa, I can't just get you out of my head. Why can't you just accept my proposal and choose to be with me? Just why? You seem to be in an excited mood this evening. Care to tell me what's making you happy? I'm buying the restaurant, Kelvin. What? You are buying the restaurant? That's great news, man. Congratulations. I know, but I couldn't have done it without the help of Chloe. How do you mean Chloe? She helped me out with the money. She gave it to me, but I'm going to pay her back. <laughs> That's surprising. I thought you swore never to take money from her again after she embarrassed you the last time because of something she got for you. That's true, but that's a long time ago. Plus, I plan on paying her back the money she gave me. It's not like she's gifting me the money. Well, I'm happy for you, man. Owning your own restaurant is something big. What do you plan to call it? Don't tell me you have forgotten so soon. I told you I plan to call it Jay's Itre. It's a simple name, so everyone who comes there will definitely remember it. I'm really happy for you, man. I would have made you something to eat, but I'm too excited to cook this night. That's not necessary. I already ate at Betty's place. You saw Betty? Yeah, I did. I wanted her to come to your place, but she has some stuff to clear. I see. Well, man, it's getting late already. You should start heading home. Did you later check Betty in the office before you left? No, I didn't. Why do you ask? It's nothing. Well, I'll send my love to Chloe. Good night, Jeff. Why am I feeling myself here? Why do I kind of feel guilty about all of these stuff? I'm meant to be happy that I've found a man that truly loves me. But why does my mind keep on going back to Derek? Why? It's not like I betrayed him in any way or led him on with my feelings. I didn't do any of this, but why am I still feeling this way? He's a married man for Christ's sake. He's married. I can't be a second woman. I can't be a second. 
want to be the only man in my man's life. Vanessa, what are you doing here? I came to drink water, mom. What about you? Is everything okay? I came to get water for your sister. The water in the room is finished. But is she fine, mom? Is she okay? Your sister is fine. She, she just finished drinking up the bottle of water. That's why I came to get some more in case she gets thirsty in the night. Okay, mom. You've not been yourself since you got back from work. What's wrong? There's nothing really, mom. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. If I'm not worried about you, Vanessa, who else should I be worried about? The next door neighbor's daughter. Is that who? No, mom. That's not what I'm saying. I'm fine, though. I know it involves matter of the heart between the two men in your life, right? And you're confused on what to do. Probably feeling guilty on everything Derek has done for you. That's true, mom, but I don't want to talk or think about it. You can't always run away from it. Your mind will still keep reminding you about it. I tell you, darling. And it's better you make a decision now rather than running away from it because you will still have to hurt someone at the end. I hope it's not just Jeff again because I have something to tell him. Who dropped this envelope here? Oh my god, what is this? Oh my. Who took this picture of me and Jeff? How? How I? Oh my god, what is this? Relax. Betty, just relax. I hope you love the pictures. I still have others to show you. Wait till Chloe sees this. She will know the kind of friend you are. <laughs> I could say I miss you, but that would be untrue. I know I'm being kind of mean, but I learned all that from you. Don't wanna go. Betty, what are you doing here? Is everything okay? Are you the one that sent me those pictures and voice notes? What pictures and voice notes are you talking about? I don't understand what you're saying. You know very well what I'm saying. Are you trying to threaten me? Why would I threaten you? I don't even know what you're talking about yet. You sent me pictures. Pictures of us in the bedroom together. In your bedroom. Why would you even take pictures of us being together? Just why? What? What are you saying? Talk with the pretense already. I'm not cut out for it. I made it clear to you that I'm no longer interested in what we had. And I meant it. What pictures are you talking about? See, I know nothing on all of this. Jeff, you're joking, right? I'm not joking. I'm very serious here. Why would I take pictures of us together? Why would I do that? I don't know. Maybe to force me to be with you. If you're not the one doing this, then who is... I have no idea, but I'm not the one. I was hearing you guys' voice. Is everything okay, Betty? Chloe, I, I didn't know you were inside. I'm sorry if I had disturbed. It's okay, but what's wrong? Is everything okay? It's nothing really, my love. Betty just came to ask for something. Isn't that so? Yeah, I did and he doesn't have it. I'll see you guys in the morning. Okay then. Good night, Bessie. Jeff, let's go inside. It's too late for you two to be arguing and disturbing the whole neighbors. I told her you are around. She will join you soon, mister. Thank you, ma. But my name is Desmond, ma. Desmond. That's a lovely name. So I guess you are the man my daughter has been spending most of her time with, if I'm right. Yes, ma'am, the one. That's good. So what do you do? Your job? I'm a businessman, ma. I have my own companies and I also work with contractors as a business supervisor. That's quite impressive. Well, I'm glad my daughter has met you. I must tell you, Vanessa is a good lady and you will be lucky to have her. Thank you, ma. I just hope she accepts my proposal to be her man. <laughs> I am sure she would accept you, Desmond. Desmond, what are you doing here by this time? You didn't tell me you'll be coming. You can't blame me. I was missing you all through the night. So I told myself that I had to see you before going to work. You should have called me before coming. If I called you, I'm sure you would have told me not to come. So I came here on my own to see your beautiful face and smile so I can start my day properly. You are not serious. I see you have met my mom. Mom, this is my friend Desmond. Ma. Don't mind her. I'm her lover and her future groom this month. <laughs> I love your boldness. A man who knows what he wants and isn't ashamed to admit it. Well, you're welcome to our home this month, my son. Thank you, ma. I'll leave you two to talk. You Desmond, you don't listen to me. What was that about? How can you be introducing me as your friend? I'm not your friend. We have gone past the friendship stage. You are my lover now. I haven't accepted your proposal. You have accepted it from the day I drove you home. You said yes to me, remember? Shopping for flowers, I see. Should I help you make a choice? Hello? 
That won't be necessary. I've changed my mind. I'm no longer buying the flowers. Oh, why not? I hope I'm not the reason. Not you, mister. I just realized that I shouldn't be buying flowers for myself. My lover should be the one to buy them for me. But I guess he's too busy to remember. How can a man have you in his life and forget to get you flowers? How is that possible? Unless the man is being fooled by another lady. Maybe he's being driven by his passion. Too busy to have anyone's time. I tell you this man, no man is too busy for a woman he loves. He will always find a way to create time for his loved ones. I'm not lucky to have loved ones with time for me. If they are not spending time with you, I bet they are doing that with someone else. I guess that's what my parents are always doing. Never mind though. I must go by the way. How would you feel if you find out that your lover has been spending time with another person and not you? I don't know why you're asking me such. Well, here's my story. I fell in love with a lovely lady, but she never had my time. She was always busy with work. Every time. I was understandable. One day I found out she was cheating on me, lying to me about being so busy, and then I realized I've been fooled all along. I'm really sorry about that, but what did you do? I, I was heartbroken and lost as I realized that the person she cheated on me with was my close friend, someone I trusted with my secrets. Whoever took these pictures must have been spying on us all along. But how did the person enter inside the room without us knowing? See, this isn't good for both of us, Jeff. It's not. Why isn't it good? I mean now Chloe will know the truth and then the two of us can be together without caring about what anyone says. This isn't good for us. Jeff, this will be bad. My friendship with Chloe will be ruined. What matters is that you are truly happy at the end of it all. Me and you together, we can leave this state to somewhere else. Jeff, whatever happened between us wasn't meant to be. You're not even helping matters. What do you want to do then? I don't know, but I've got to find out who is sending these pictures. I just hope they haven't sent it to Chloe yet. I don't think so, but you are overthinking right now. That's what it looks like to me. Jeff, this is going to ruin all our relationship with Chloe. She'll feel like she has been betrayed and who knows what she might do to herself. As much as I don't want anything to happen to Chloe, I also think we both deserve to be happy with each other. Why can't you admit it that you love me? Who can possibly have taken these pictures? Calvin? Oh yes. Calvin? Can't be serious, I know. Why would Calvin take our pictures? I don't know, but, he's, but he kind of suspects that there's something going on between us. Kevin isn't the one doing this, I'm very sure. What does he gain through this? Just what? So tell me about everything, Derek and Desmond. Desmond is a cool guy and accepted his proposal, so I'm officially off the single market for now until who knows, maybe break up. Why will you be saying that? I'm sure you guys won't break up. How sure are you on that? You know how things can turn out to be at times. You're both not breaking up. I want to see him soon, so I can rate him on his key and also warn him to not dare break your heart. That sounds like a good idea, well, and there is Derek. Are you two still having all those love talks, or...? If you're asking if we're still seeing, well, it's been quite a while we saw ever since he came to look for me at home and saw Desmond kiss me. What? You saw him kiss you? Why didn't you tell me this before? I don't know, but I and Derek hasn't seen each other since then. But he still calls me. I guess he must have traveled to see his pretty woman. Or maybe he's busy with her at home and he doesn't have your time. Cause she came over to the store a few weeks ago. She's here in Lagos. Yeah, she is. She's such a lovely lady, Vanessa. But you know I won't mind you being with either Derek or Desmond. I don't want to be with another woman's lover. I would rather be with Desmond. At least I know he's my man and I'm his woman. He doesn't have a ring on his finger. I get what you're saying. Poor Derek. Stop sounding that way. You're making me feel like I'm guilty here. Meanwhile, I'm not. I made it clear to him that I didn't want to be with a married man. Why are you scared, darling? What are you doing here, Oscar? Get out of my apartment now. Get out! I love you, Betty. I really love you. And I want us back together as a couple. I still want to marry you. The ring is here with me. I swear, if you don't get out of here, I won't think twice to screaming. I dare you to scream and see what I'll do to you. What are you going to do? Kill me? Do you have a gun on you? Killing you is too easy. I don't want you dead, Betty. I want you to suffer while alive. What exactly did I do to you, Oscar? You tricked me into believing you loved me all these years, only for you to throw me off within the twinkle of an eye. You know what? I don't care about anything you have to say. Just take yourself and get out of my house. Neighbors! Neighbors! I'll be back again, I promise you, Betty. Oh my god, that was so scary. My heart was in my mouth. 
I don't want to get used to sleeping alone on my bed anymore. I want you here all the time with me, Vanessa. You don't have to worry about that. Soon I'll move my babs over here once you do the right thing. You don't have to worry about that. I plan to do that soon. But as you told me that we are not rushing anything, one step at a time. I agree with you on that. Who is calling you? Your mom or your sister? Never mind about that, Des. I'll return all my missed calls much later in the morning. Pick the call. I don't want you to be ignoring your calls because I'm here. Pick your calls and ask normal. I'll be right back. Why does Derek keep calling me? Why can't he just let me be? Hello, Derek. Vanessa, how are you doing today? I'm okay, and you? I'm not fine. I've not been myself since the last time we saw. Why do you keep referring to the last time we saw? I already apologized about it all. I made it clear to you that I'm with someone. Can we see? Are you at home now so I'll come over? Shouldn't you be busy with Tessa at home? I'm sure she needs you more than me. I see you've probably met her at Lillian's store. Well, Tessa has gone back to Abuja. I won't still be able to see you today. Maybe another time. Good night. Who are you talking to on the phone, Vanessa? Baby, everything has been finally sorted out. The company is in my name and we just placed the new name of the restaurant today. That's great, darling. Congratulations, my love. I couldn't have done this without you, Chloe. I'm grateful for your help. It's nothing really, Jeff, babe. Now that we're almost done with all of this, I think we should plan for our vacation next weekend. We travel to South Africa and then spend a month together. That sounds like a good idea, but I don't think now is the right time. I just started running the restaurant as my own. Isn't it a good time? When will there ever be a good time for us to- There'll be a time for that. But for now, I want to focus on the restaurant. Try some new innovative idea. I have got a mind. There will always be time for the restaurant, but there won't always be time for me. Baby, please, let's plan this for another time. When? Remember the last time you asked that I move it ahead as we were working on the restaurant? Now again, you're asking me to do the same thing. Move it ahead. I promise you that it will be different this time around. Let's just forget about this. I've always been there for you, Jeff. But have you ever been there for me? One way or the other. I have always tried my best to be here for you, Chloe. What else do you want from me? What do you want me to do? To leave my restaurant and follow you to South Africa? Close down the shop and go with you there? Maybe yes. I mean, something like that. I supported you to get the restaurant. Without me, you won't have gotten the restaurant. We both know that. So why can't you just close the restaurant or leave your assistant chef to be in charge while we travel? You just said it. Just like I expected that you will. You know what, Chloe? I will pay you back the money you gave me. I knew you gave me the money to be able to control me, but that will never work. You can take whatever you like, Jeff. To be sincere, this relationship isn't even working out. When was the last time we both even went out as a couple? Let's forget about this relationship. I am done. Chloe, I mean it. I am done. I will not be back this time around. I will find someone way better than you who will have my time and love me right. Well, good luck with that. Please drop my extra key. As you're going and don't come back. Your friend, that's who you were talking to. Is that what you said? Yes, Des. What about you? Who did you go to talk to out there? No one. I only gave you a test and you just feel the Vanessa. You were talking to one of your numerous lovers in my house. What are you saying, Des? I told you I was talking to my friend. It's just a friend to me. And he has been calling me. How would you feel if I if I picked my phone to talk to a lady while you are outside? I would feel somehow, but I would trust the words you say to me. Yeah. You're right. Trust. I don't trust you. I'll be in the living room. Desmond, why are you acting this way? Are you angry? What is it now? Chloe, you're welcome. Is everything okay? It's over between me and Jeff. We just broke up. What? You're joking, right? I'm not joking. We both broke up right now and I'm seriously no longer interested in, in him. Why? What happened between the two of you? Jeff never has my time. He always has time for other stuff, but never for me. <laughs> he doesn't love me anymore. I've always suspected this and today proves it. You're making assumptions here. I'm sure he loves you, Chloe. But he's just too busy with the restaurant. He's been working really hard there. It's always the restaurant. Restaurant, restaurant, what about me? Creating time for me. He's just like my parents right now. They are all focused on their stuffs. No, Chloe, Jeff isn't anything like them. See, I'm sure this is just a misunderstanding. You both sort out yourselves and come back like always. I'm not sure that will happen this time around. <laughs> He's all I've got, Betty. <laughs> but I think it's time I move on with my life. <laughs>
and get someone else who will love me and have time for me. <laughs> Chloe, you and Jeff are meant to be. You're both meant for each other. That's what I used to think. But not anymore. Can I please spend the night at your place? <laughs> Tomorrow morning, I'll leave back to my parents' house. Of course you can do that, but please stop crying. I'm sure you both will sort out your issues. Are you ready to leave already? I have apologized to you already, Desmond. What else do you want me to do? Did I say I want you to do anything? See, I don't have time for this. Do you want me to take you back home or you call the man you were talking to yesterday to come pick you? I told you that he was only a friend and I was even wrong to have called him back. This just shows the kind of lady you are to me. A pretender. What did I do that shows that I am a pretender? It's not like I did anything wrong to you. You know what? I'm not caught out for this. Babe, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the call you're trying to make me look like a bad person right now you are not a bad person but i'm telling you that that person is just a friend it's nothing more than that this i won't even be picking any calls when i'm with you i never said you should be taking your calls should i go and drop you home or you find your way i'm meant to spend the weekend here with you i have a trip i need to take it's urgent that i leave this morning that's why i'm asking you to leave vanessa ha you are lying. We both know you are trying to get rid of me because of a harmless phone call. Do you want me to call the person again so you hear what the person will say? I don't need you to do that. I'm going to take my beat. have your bags packed so I'll drop you off on my way to the airport. You really want to do this right? Well, no problem. I don't even need you to take me home. I can find my way. Jeffrey! Jeff, where are you? I'm here, Betty. How are you doing today? I'm fine, and you? Why are you not in the restaurant today? Why is it closed? I am good. The restaurant will be shut for now. I think it's better that way so that I will not be embarrassed while in the restaurant. Why would you be embarrassed in your own restaurant? What happened? It's not like it's my restaurant. It's more like Chloe's restaurant. And I know how she can be at times. So to avoid all of those, I'd rather be at home. This isn't good for business. Not good for you. You should open the restaurant. Are you here for something else other than questions on the restaurant? Because I'm kind of busy inside the room. Chloe spent the night at my place and she told me all that happened. Okay, I see you two are becoming way closer than I imagined. She's my friend. Jeff, you two have to sort out your differences. She told me you called off the relationship. I called it off. Yes. So, what's wrong in that? You should work things out. You're the only one she's got. No, I'm not the only one she has. She has a lot of guys out there who would leave what they are doing to be with her. That's the kind of man she wants. And I can't be that man. I have my own stuffs that I'm trying to achieve here. And I don't care about her anymore. You should just try to be understanding. She needs someone who will love her and give her time. You can create time for her, Jeff. I'm fed up with her. I'm fed up with everything. That's just the truth. I and Chloe aren't working out, no matter how we both put the work. It's just a matter of time before another thing is the issue. Those are relationships are. Uh, we fight and fix it. There's no perfect relationship out there. I don't want anything to do with Chloe. I don't even love her. Stop saying that, Jeff. You have to love her. Do you know she cried throughout the night? I'm not surprised. She does something wrong and expect to still be pampered. I'm not her mother or father who left her. I'm Jeff, a man who's trying to make a meaning out of my life. Do you really have to take this trip, Maria? I do. I have to go and sort out some things, but I'll be back soon. You can have the house to yourself. Don't just bring any lady to my home. I wouldn't disrespect your house. I wouldn't even think of doing that. I wish you could come with me, but that won't be possible this time around. Maybe another time I'll bring you with me. I would get sacked at my place of work if I took the trip with you. No one would give you a sack letter at where you work. I'm one of the higher shareholders in the company. Seriously? Why are you just telling me this now? Chris, I want you to be serious. I've been watching your attitude at work and I have to say i'm impressed and so are those who work there just keep it up oscar i will do that but you should have mentioned that to me that you are one of the owners of the company me being a shareholder doesn't mean you'll be treated differently from other staffs i deserve to be treated differently you're even given a higher position i'm going to act like i didn't hear that just make sure you don't do anything foolish in the company oscar me being in love with you doesn't guarantee anything i won't do anything dumb but i'll do something that's for sure i need to try these clothes i've selected why aren't you picking some new outfits baby there's something i want you to do for me before you take your trip anything you want just ask so fact i can do it for you i'll do it for you you mean to tell me desmond sent you out of his house he told me he was traveling but i know he's lying he's just pissed at me what happened what did you do again 
picked Derek call and talked to him. That's just it. You picked the race call. Why will you do that? Come on, girl. You shouldn't have picked a man's call when you're with your own lover. He was the one that told me to pick the call and then he left the room. See, it's not like I even said anything wrong with Derek. This mother has every right to be angry. You know I won't lie to you. See, if my baby should pick a lady's call while with me, even when I stepped out of the room, it becomes an issue. See, I apologized to him but he didn't accept my apology. This mother is just overreacting. That's how I feel. He's an angry fellow. That's my conclusion here. His anger is valid. He has every right to be pissed at you. What do you want me to do now? Try to call him and apologize. I'm sure he will forgive you. See, he was really pissed at me today. I've never seen him this way. He didn't even say a word when I took my bags and left. He hasn't called as well. He's still pissed at you. That's what I can see from his reaction. He gets overly angry on unnecessary things. At times, I don't even know if I should be with him, Lillian. He's angry at you because he loves you. Imagine if he doesn't say a word. When you're talking to a man, you'll still be the same person complaining that he doesn't love you. It's always too much. Betty, I need you to work harder this week. You know I'm not going to be around. I don't want any delays and submissions. Okay, ma. That reminds me. My baby tells me you've been giving him a kind of attitude whenever he's in the office premises. I don't want to hear such reports again from him. You respect him here and do your job without stepping on anyone's boundaries, most especially my personal life. Okay, ma. Make sure you don't delay in your submissions. What are you still doing here, sir? Do you need me to give you any fire? <laughs> You have no idea what I've got in mind for you, Betty. I promise you, your last days in this office are drawing way nearer. You are going to lose everything you love and hold dear to your heart. Can you please leave my office, sir? I'm trying to get busy here. Oscar! Oscar! Your madam is calling you Oscar. Go run after her like a puppet that you are. Oh, I will. I'm coming, baby. Look at him, stupid fellow, trying to threaten me in my place of work. I wonder what the boss sees in him that makes her cling tightly onto him. Hello, mom. Welcome, Vanessa. How was work today? I hope it wasn't stressful. Mom, it was stressful. We are trying to work twice as hard because our boss has left town. The person she put in charge is stressing us all out. I'm sorry about that, Vanessa. I've been meaning to ask, are you and Derek no longer communicating with each other? I've not seen him for a long time now. Mommy, did Desmond come over to the house? No, Desmond didn't come. Did he say he's coming today? Not really, mom. Me and Desmond have not spoken for like two weeks now. Two weeks? Why? What happened between the two of you? It's kind of complicated, but I feel he's overreacting on everything. I've tried to call him over and over again, but he's not even picking my calls or returning my messages. He must be really pissed at you. But what did you do to him? That man is a really gentle person. Is he going with no issues at all? That's what you think. I know so. You should try calling him again, no? At least. You shouldn't lose both Derek and Desmond. You should still have one of them next to you. Like Desmond, since he's the one you have chosen amongst the two of them. I'm tired of calling him over and over again. I'm meeting with Derek this evening though, just to talk. I know it's just to talk. You've made it clear to me that you are not going to be a second when you can be the first. But that doesn't mean you and Derek shouldn't be talking. That man tried a lot for us, from the house to your sister to even your job. It's been a long time we've hanged out like this. How's everything going, Jeff? Everything is going on well, Des. You are really doing well in your business. I often hear your name in the mouths of my customers. You are also doing well. Jay's a tree boss. Although I came the other day, but the restaurant was closed. Is everything good? He's going through some personal stuffs. Chloe and Jeff everyday drama. She's the last person I want to talk about, please. She can have the restaurant for all I care. Did she try to take it back or what? Can we talk about something else? Instead, please, like you, Desmond, what has been happening? Business? Love and stuff like that. I'm also going through some personal issues. I and my lover have been having a disagreement and I'm beginning to think I may be overreacting. You and Vanessa are having issues. That's surprising. She's a calm lady. You know everything about everyone's lover, but we don't even know the woman 
man you are even involved with Kelvin. Not everyone gets lucky with women. I'm one of those who aren't lucky. Liar. You're just too selective in your choice of women. That's true. I hope you don't end up single forever. The lady I have in mind to be with, you've taken her away from me, Jeff. Who are you referring to? Chloe? I'm referring to Betty. What? I and Betty are just friends. You can have her if you want to. Why would you think we are having an affair? So, are you trying to tell me now that there is nothing between you and Betty? I have no idea what nonsense you are spinning out, Kevin. You hate him, Kevin. You can go for this pretty Betty you are crushing on. I was surprised you called that we see Vanessa, but I'm also happy you reached out to me. Derek, we need to talk about everything. I also agree on that. Vanessa, let me go first. I love you and I want to be with you. I know deep down in your heart, you also have feelings for me, although you're not admitting it. Derek, I'm with someone now. I'm dating someone and I love him. You can double date. Date me and date him. Then let the best man amongst us be the one to walk you down the aisle. This isn't a competition. It's just love at play. I love you. What do you want me to do with this love that has always been in my heart? You have to move on from this love. Let's just be friends, please, Derek. Friends? Can we ever be friends, Vanessa? I want more. You have to stop being selfish right now and think of me, Derek. I don't want to be the second woman. I'm telling you that I'll treat you equally to Tessa. I will love the both of you. Does Tessa know about us? Did you tell her? No, I didn't. You're hiding me from her because you don't want to hurt her feelings and I respect that. That's not true. She knows I can marry more than one woman. She won't be happy about that. I won't be happy if my man should bring in another woman to the house. Let's just be friends. This is a hard pill for me to swallow. I don't know what to say. What are you doing here, Chloe? <laughs> I went to visit my parents. But I wasn't granted audience to see them. They were so busy. <laughs> to even have time to sit with me. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that, but by now, I expect it's not something you cry over. So why are you here, and why do you still have a key to my house? Didn't I ask you to drop it? I know, but I didn't drop the keys, because I know we both settle our differences again. And we'll come back to the lovebirds we've always been. I see. Babe, I overreacted that day. I should understand with you, and I shouldn't have mentioned supporting you with money for the restaurants. It doesn't matter. All you said was the truth. You are the one who paid for the restaurant, and it's, and it's actually yours. If you noticed, I've not opened the restaurant. I noticed that, and it breaks my heart to be the reason why your restaurant is still closed. It's not my restaurant. I sent the keys of the restaurant to your house. I sent it back to you, Jeff. Why are you here, Chloe? Just why? I'm here because I'm sorry. I realized that. Same old lines. Can you just leave, please, Chloe? Just get out of my house and never return. Jeff, I'm sorry. <laughs> Babe, I'm sorry, please. <laughs> please get out of my house. Don't make me drag you out by myself. Just go. Chloe, what is wrong? Why are you crying? <laughs> he drove me out of this house. He didn't want to hear me talk. He doesn't even care about me anymore. <laughs> he doesn't even love me. <laughs> Chloe, you have to get yourself together. Stop crying this way. It's not good for your health. <laughs> no one loves me in this world. No one cares for me. Why am I even still living? <laughs> My parents should have just thrown me away. <laughs> Chloe, these words aren't right. You have no idea what it feels like to have everything but not have love. I can travel anywhere I want to. I can buy anything I want. But I don't have those who love me. Or should I say those I love always end up leaving me. Not loving me back. Look at Jeff. I think it's time I really move on with my life. Chloe. You've been a great friend to me, Betty. The sister I never had. Thank you for always being there for me. I love you and I'm glad I met you in my life. Chloe, there's something I want to tell you. There is nothing you can possibly tell me to change my mind. I'm moving on with my life. I wish you have the best life. See you, Betsy. Chloe. Jeff, what are you doing to yourself? Why are you drinking? Chloe, 
Get out of here. I don't want to see you. Leave. It's Betty. Why are you drinking yourself out? Is this because of you and Chloe? Betty. Betty. Come closer to me, please. Tell me you have accepted me as your man. Jeff, you need to pull yourself together and stop drinking. Why should I stop drinking? I've lost everything I love. Right from my restaurant to the woman I love. You can still get everything back, but not this way, Jeff. You need to stop drinking. The restaurant is for Chloe. She paid the money. She gave me the money. The restaurant is in your name, Jeff. You're losing all of your dreams because of your ego. It takes nothing for you to open the restaurant and start cooking. Save towards paying Chloe. What if she comes there one day and embarrass me? Make her sign an agreement or something like that so everything is done in form of a contract. But don't continue to close the restaurant. What about you? Do I have to sign an agreement with you as well? I am not a part of this discussion. I love you, Betty. Why don't you admit your feelings towards me as well? Just say it. My feelings for you don't matter. It doesn't mean anything here, Jeff. It means something to me. At least, I will know that I'm not the only who felt the chemistry. Do you love me, Betty? Do you? Yes, Jeff. I love you. I do. But you belong to Chloe. I don't belong to Chloe. She's not my bride. You're not even married. Damn it. See, I love you, Betty. And I want to be with you. I can't do this. Don't say anything. Just kiss me, please. Kiss me one last time, Betty. I'm sorry about that, but I'm confused on everything I just witnessed here. I'm going to my room. Damn it, man. Oh my god. Calvin bumped him on us. How could I have kissed him? Why? What is this? What's this? How did this get here? Oh my god. Who took these pictures? Pictures of me and Jeff. Oh my god. Hello? Hello, darling. I hope you've gotten another of my gifts. How does it feel? Oscar, how did you get these pictures? What are you doing? You're such a caring best friend to Chloe. I wonder how she will feel when she realized that her loving friend went over to her man's house just few minutes after she left your place and you both were kissing. Oscar, you wouldn't dare do something like this. Oscar! Why won't I do something like this? I'm enjoying myself here. You thought you would leave me behind and come to Lagos to enjoy yourself after everything we've been through. Why can't you just accept it that this relationship between us is over? Do you think I care about our relationship? No, my love. I don't give a damn about our relationship anymore. All I care about is seeing you cry. What do you want, Oscar? Let's see. What do I want? Actually, I want nothing. Nothing from you. Please, Oscar. Please don't do anything stupid. Don't. I beg of you. I never knew you can open your mouth to beg me. Last I remember, you were shouting at me to get out of your office and giving me one kind of silly attitude. Is it money you want? I can pay you money. I have money already. Just get ready for the big scandal. Trust will be broken again and Chloe will see you for who you really are. No, no. Oh my god, what am I going to do? I'll call Chloe. Yes, I'll tell her the truth by myself. She deserves to know it. But that would be untrue. I know I'm being kind of mean, but I learned all that from you. Don't want to go back. Desmond, babe, I'm so happy to see you. I've been worried about you. As you weren't picking my calls or returning my messages. I just saw you coming out of a man's car. Now, care to tell me who that was? That was my friend. Your friend? I'm that friend, right? Or the same friend you called while in my house? Yes, I really don't want us to fight. I admit that I was wrong to have called my male friend while in your house. I'm sorry about that. You just keep showing me who you really are, Vanessa. I mean, I don't talk to you for some weeks now. And the next thing is that you are going out with men excuse me oh you are excused what excuse do you want to give this time around it was a business meeting or what yes see i'm sorry okay but i won't stay here listening to you try to talk me down i'm telling you the truth but you think i'm talking you down i'm getting tired of all of this talk see i'm going inside i trusted you i was willing to give you my all but your attitude keeps showing me that you're not worth my love or my trust whatever you say there's I hope you find that person who will be worth the trust and love because what's love without trust? If you can't believe any single word I say out of my mouth, then why are we even together in the first place? Your cell phone is ringing. Please speak it and put it on speaker. Hello? Bet is everything okay? Can you come over please, Vanessa? I need to talk to you. I'm with Desmo right now. I'm sorry but I can't come now. Maybe later. Nobody should call me. Everyone should let me be. <laughs> Please, mister. I would like to be alone if you don't mind. Chloe, I saw when you came to CTA. Is everything okay with you? It's you again, Oscar. 
So what are you doing here? Are you following me? No, I wasn't. I was just taking a stroll when I saw someone sitting and crying. So I came over not knowing you are the one I will bump into again. I would like to be alone still. I can tell that you are hurting, although I'm not a psychic. What's making you cry this time around? Mommy, daddy, a lover, or who? Every one of them, but the most painful part is that <laughs> I had someone who loved me and treated me <laughs> like the world, but now he doesn't want to be with me. <laughs> Your lover, the one who barely has time for you. Yes, but how do you know this? You mentioned this to me the first time we met, and you were defending him to be really busy with his dreams to have time for you. Well, now he's not chasing his dreams anymore, thanks to me, and he also doesn't want to have anything to do with me. What if I tell you that Jeff is acting that way to you because of your close friend? How do you know his name? Oh, I must have mentioned that as well. Go through the envelope. You see pictures of who your lover has been spending time with. I hope you realize this truth now. Goodbye, Chloe. Oh my god. Betsy. Jeff. Damn. Damn you, man. Why would you just wait a bit longer before coming to see me? I'm sorry about that, but I'm confused on everything I just witnessed here. See, I don't care what you saw, but you shouldn't have come. You just ruined my chances yet again. Why can't you just stay in your house? You already saw at the bar. You left your phone in the bar. That's why I came here to give you. I left my phone? Yeah, but now, I want to just understand what I saw here. You and Betty kissing. Yeah, we were kissing, so what? I'm a single man, aren't I? I'm not judging here, but earlier on, you told me there was nothing going on between you two. So I'm surprised to see you both kissing. And I bet you guys could have done more than a kiss if I didn't enter inside the time I did. Yeah, but you came at the wrong time. Are you ready to tell me what's going on between the two of you? Nothing is going on. We... Your phone. Betty is calling you. Maybe she wants you to come and continue what you guys started at her place. I hope you are satisfied now that you have had the phone call conversation. I know what I'm saying, Vanessa. And you also know there's truth in my words. I have no idea what you are saying. All I see in front of me is a man who thinks of me as a woman who sleeps around and goes around with different men. But that's not me, Des. How would you feel if... Stop creating excuses for your behavior and just do what you want to do. If you don't want to be with me, that's fine with me. You can call off the relationship right now. I don't care. You want to cut off the relationship so you can keep doing all your dirty acts without any guilt in your heart isn't that so i don't have anything more to say to you good night you're going to walk out on me when i came here to see you i remembered leaving your house without you trying to stop me or hold me back you watched me leave and you never called me for once not once because i was mad at you because i've had a long day and i still have a long day tomorrow good night desmond did i overreact did i everything all right <laughs> everything is falling apart just look at the pictures on the table <laughs> when i got to my room i saw this picture started all over pictures wow these pictures are just shut up kelvin and be serious here turns out oscar is the one who's been sending the pictures he has been watching everything we've been doing <laughs> even has the picture of us kissing today <laughs> oscar your ex-lover is he the one Yes, and he said he's going to show it all to Chloe. He's going to make her know what has been going on between the both of us. Have you two been in a relationship? I mean, look at these pictures here. No, I and Jeff never had a relationship. I didn't even know he was Chloe's lover when I slept with him. I didn't know. <laughs> I'm not that kind of person. How about today, when you guys were kissing and telling each other how you both love yourselves? I heard it all. It was a mistake. I didn't know what came over me that made me kiss Jeff. Well, let's just hope Oscar doesn't tell Chloe about this. Because there is no explanation you can possibly give that would sound okay to her ears. Look at the both of you in the bedroom. You're not helping matters, Kelvin. Just shut up. If you say so. But I'm just stating the obvious here for all of us to see. Oh, thank God. I heard that. I just pretended to be asleep to see what you were going to do or say. Baby, I didn't know you were awake. I thought you were asleep. Care to tell me where you're coming from? Something came up and I had to quickly attend to it. That's why I couldn't come. What came up? 
Don't tell me something. Be specific before I chase you out of my house. I have to go and see a family member. She's in the hospital. You are lying to me, Oscar. I know you went to see one of your numerous lovers. No, baby, I didn't do that. I meant it when I told you that my loyalty is with you. And I can prove it anytime you want me to. I got back from Ghana today from a long meeting and I didn't see you at the airport. You sent a driver to come and pick me up. I totally wish I could be there. But they transferred my sister here to Lagos. She's in the hospital. We can go there and you'll see that she looks just like me. You could have told me earlier on. I I couldn't do that but there was no way for me to reach you. I was donating my blood to her. If you check my hands, you'll see the syringe hole. Are you serious, Oscar? I swear to you, I'm not lying. Do you think I'd rather be with any lady when I've got you? I just hope you're really telling me the truth. I really do. Why is all of this happening to me? At the same time, this mood is acting unreasonably to me. He's always doubting me and to think he has the guts to even accuse me of cheating on him, sleeping around with different men. Hell no. What's wrong with him? Just what's wrong with him? And there is Derek, although married, but never for once has he doubted me or made me feel the way this mood is making me feel. I love you and I want to be with you. I know deep down in your heart you also have feelings for me, although you're not admitting it. Derek shows me true love in all he does. Oh, I wish he wasn't married. It would have been way easier for me to date him as my man. But I love Desmond. With him, I see a future, but it's just so annoying. And he's always getting angry with me. A man gets angry at you because he loves you. He's jealous when he sees you around other men. Just like when you're jealous if you see him with other women. I remember Lillian told me this. Yes, I admitted that Desmond loves me, but it's always too much. I just have to relax on everything and take a break from all these continuous calls and messages I've been giving him. Let me see if it will change. Watching all the color rush back into my cheeks. I know what it means to be happy now. I jumped off your marriage. What are we going to do, Jeff? I'm calling Oscar, but he's not picking up. You can't really do anything about it. I mean, he might have told her about it already. I pray he hasn't, Jeff. What is she going to think about me? Just shut up if you don't have anything useful to say, Calvin. I don't think he would tell her, right? I mean, he shouldn't tell her, right? If you want me to come back to him, I will go back to date. Right now, I think you're not making the right decisions. Okay, let's face the reality. This stuff has already happened. You slept with each other. You slept with your friend's lover. So what next? I I mean, what's the worst that could happen? I see you're all here. Can you just tell me these pictures aren't true? Tell me that it was photoshopped. <laughs> Chloe, allow me to explain. Just answer this question. Did you sleep with Jeff? <gasps> Did you? <laughs> yes, but I didn't know he was your lover then. I didn't know. <laughs> You've both been sleeping with each other. <laughs> No once, not twice. You and Jeff! I trusted you, Jeff. I gave you everything. I didn't know the two of you were involved with each other. Chloe. Shut up! You liar! You good for nothing backstabber! I always came to you with my worries. I opened myself to you, but you you went at my back and started sleeping with the only man that has always been by my side. No wonder he changed towards me. You always claim to not have time. But in these pictures, you both have been spending enough time with her, doing stuffs that you wouldn't even do with me. Chloe. Just shut up, Jeff. I thought you loved me. I was a fool, a big fool. You know what? You two can go on and continue your love affair. You both just perfect for each other. Chloe, wait. That went exactly as I predicted. We have to run after her and talk to her, Jeff. We need to tell her. What do we want to tell her? That it didn't happen? Is that it? Because it happened. What are you saying? It happened when I was sad and heartbroken because of Oscar. Were you still heartbroken because of Oscar today when you kissed him? Because I can bet you two would have ended up in the bedroom if I didn't come in. That was... I don't know. See, just stop talking, Calvin. I'm the only one who is saying the truth here. Actually, me and Jeff. Let's just forget about Chloe for now. That's my advice. She'll be fine. What if she goes to harm herself? You know she feels all alone right now. Actually, more alone because I made the two of you break up. No, you're getting it wrong. You didn't cause the breakup. It has always been meant to happen. Me and Chloe issues are beyond you. I agree on that. Kelvin, I think you should leave. Go home. It's already late. Hell no. 
I'm staying here to make sure the two of you don't do anything stupid again. Guys, we need to do something. Chloe could harm herself and I would blame myself if anything should happen to her. You are not at fault. See, just relax your mind and try to get some sleep. I'll call her tomorrow. And what do you plan to tell her? That you are sorry or that you love her? I don't know, but I'll try to talk to her. You two should just settle your issues. Go back to Chloe, love her and whatever. I'm not sure. I love Chloe right now. I'm not sure I love Chloe right now. What I feel for her is kind of complicated. Make that feeling to be clear so the two of you can sort out the issue, please. I love Betty. No, no, just stop saying that already, please. Don't try to complicate things no more. You know what? You and Calvin should leave already. I need to clear my head from everything that just happened. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> everything is true, Oscar. I can't believe I've been fooled all this well. I can't believe this. I trusted them so much. I'm really sorry about this, but I told you it was bound to happen, didn't I? If your man ain't spending enough time with you, he's definitely spending it with another. I'm so heartbroken and I don't even know what to say or what to do. I'm so angry at them. I know what that feels like. I've walked in those same shoes. But how did you do this? How are you able to find out about them? <laughs> That's not something we can discuss on the phone. Can I see you now, Oscar? I need to talk to someone, please. I need to talk to you. You're kind of like the only person I've got to talk to. Now is a bad time because I'm in the middle of something, but tomorrow. Please, Oscar. I'm all alone right now. I've got no one. All those I love are nowhere to be found. They've all left me alone. As much as I would love to be there for you, I can't be there tonight. I'm really sorry I couldn't come over yesterday. I was caught up in my own stuff. I totally understand you, Vanessa. Well, yesterday was the worst day of my life. What happened? Did Oscar come over? The truth has been exposed. Chloe now knows what kind of horrible friend I am. What? How did she find out? Jeff? Not Jeff. Turns out, Oscar is the one who's been watching all I and Jeff have been doing. It's like he has a spy camera in the house. I don't even know. Oscar? Oh my god. But how is that possible? I don't know, but I already called an electrician to come and check the house for any hidden cameras in the house. I feel really horrible, Vanessa. But you didn't sleep with Jeff knowingly. I mean, you didn't know it was with Chloe. I didn't know and I was so dumb to just be sleeping with Jeff. I mean, I didn't even ask him if he has a lover. You have got your own fault there, I got to admit, but a lot of ladies do that. They sleep with men without caring if they have a lover in their life. Is that something you would do? No, I'm not like that. The only man I've slept with since my ex is Desmond. I also wasn't meant to sleep with Jeff. I messed up and to worsen it. Now Jeff loves me. And you also love him. Why don't you add that part? We're both in love. My feelings for him are not important. He should be with Chloe, not me. I blame myself for what is happening in their relationship. You are both in love. You'll be fine, Betty. See, none of this is really your fault. You're trying to make me feel better by saying those words. Don't you want to feel better? Do you want to be unhappy because of this mistake you made? I mean, ever since you found out Chloe and Jeff are dating, have you done anything with him since then? No, I haven't. Although I, I think I might have yesterday. If only Calvin didn't bump in. God. What are you saying? Baby, you have still not eaten your food. What is wrong? I'm not hungry. I've lost my appetite yet again. I might visit the doctor later today. This doesn't sound like an hospital issue to me. You have barely been eating lately. I'm fine though, so it's nothing for you to worry about. You are my love. If you are not eating, I strongly believe that something is wrong somewhere. So many things are wrong here, Thess. You know you can always talk to me on anything and everything. I will listen to you without judging, but I might even I might even provide a solution. I'm not sure you would like this conversation. If it's something bothering you, I will definitely want to hear it. What do you think of me marrying another woman to be part of our family? I... I... Excuse me. You see, that's exactly something you won't like, right? That's why I said it's a conversation you won't like. Just forget about it. It's not a conversation I don't like. I am just surprised, you know. Well, that's not even the issue here. It's something totally different that's bothering me. Then why do you mention marry another woman? I just wanted to see your reaction. The least thing on my mind is another woman. Right now, I'm thinking of how to get the right investors to the company. Are you having issues with the company? 
This house is so large. You mean Chloe lives here all alone? Yes, she does. How can her parents let her live here all alone without coming to check on her? This isn't good at all for her, Jeff. Well, she's already used to it. Plus, there are servants in the house who can keep her company and she has all the money in the world to travel around. Money doesn't solve the problem of not having someone to love or care for you. I can only imagine how lonely she feels here. No wonder she always come over to your place. Yeah, I guess you are right there. I'm begging to feel guilty right now for everything I've said about her. You can't be serious right now, Kevin. See, Chloe still has her own faults in all of this. Her attitude is justifiable. Chloe! 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 Wake up! Stand up! Hey, I'm here! We have to take her to the hospital. She smells of drugs. I think she got herself high. I'm surprised you called to meet up this month. What happened between you and your little Vanessa lover? I've been seeing you two play like teenagers all around. I really don't want to talk about her. You should talk about her to me. Tell me what happened between you two. Did she break your heart or did you break her heart? Maria, I shouldn't have even come here in the first place. I already made a promise myself that I was going to stop sleeping with you. And you kept the promise all this while, didn't you? You've been a faithful little boy to Vanessa, but I knew it wasn't going to last. I'm still faithful to her. I'll just leave me some stuffs right now. She's a good lady, that's for sure. I've heard some good stuffs about her from a lot of staffs. New staffs? You're acting jealous here. Do you know one of the reasons you and I never had any commitment to each other? Because of this behavior of yours, this. Always acting jealous and angry. I wasn't jealous when I saw you with other men. Understand that. Understand that what we had was just for mutual benefit. I satisfy you and you help me out. Yeah, that's true. Until you started getting attached to me unnecessarily. And that's when I knew I had to set boundaries, just like what I'm going to do soon for this new man of mine. Maria, what, what is happening here? Can you shut the door on your way out, Oscar? I don't want to be disturbed. What? Maria, who's that? Don't make me repeat myself, Oscar. Shut the door and get out. Is that your new lover boy? That's none of your business. You know what? I think I've had enough of you as well. You should dress up and leave. I'll send you some money before you get home. What are you doing here? And where am I? You are at the hospital. You are going to be fine, Chloe. Everything is going to be alright. The hospital? How did I get here? I was at home and I was doing fine. You were getting high and you lost consciousness. You slumped. Then let me guess. The maids called you to come to the hospital. Oh, come save Chloe. I was at your house. I came to see you. I am Kevin. What are you doing here, Jeff? See, just, just get out, please. I don't want to see you. You are pissed at me. But I didn't do anything wrong here to you. You didn't do anything wrong to me, really. You cheated on me, Chloe. Not once, not twice. All those trips you went on, sleeping with different men, and you would come back to tell me it was just one night stuff, with no feelings attached. Do you think I've forgotten? I never slept with any of your friends, not even Calvin. Can you say that I'm the only man you have been with throughout this year? Yes, Jeff, yes. I stopped those one night stuffs. Do you think I was happy doing all of that? You never had my time, even when we were in the same bed. How many times did you even kiss me? The only thing you always do is cuddle me, and I felt like you were probably too tired from work. Let's not talk about this. I'm going to call your parents to come inside now. My parents are here? Yeah, I called them to come over, that it was a matter of life and death. I don't want to see them. I just want to be with you. Let's fix our relationship, Jeff. I'm not sure there's anything to fix here. This relationship has always been meant to end, and we both know Betty isn't at fault here for anything. You are at fault here, Chloe. Your attitude. Desmond, what a surprise. You're welcome. Good afternoon, Lillian. How are you doing and how is Seals to be? I'm fine and Seals has been going well. How are you as well? If I say I'm fine, I'll be lying to you. I'm not fine, Lillian. I've not been myself. What's wrong? I think I'm losing Vanessa totally. It's been a while since she and I last saw or spoke. I've been calling her but she's not picking up. That's unlike my friend. What did you do to Vanessa? We have been having some issues for quite some time now. I'm sure she must have told you about it. I want to hear you say what you did wrong to her. It's not like I did anything wrong to her. I got angry at her for picking a man's call in my house. Like, why couldn't she wait till she's home? I felt unhappy and I was pissed off at her. You can't blame me for reacting that way. I see. So you're not sorry you allowed her to leave your house without trying to stop her or talk things out? I wish I didn't do that. But even when I went over to her house, I saw her coming down a man's car and she didn't even try to explain herself to me. She went inside the house. That's not what she told me happened. 
But all that aside, why are you here, Desmond? So tell me how Vanessa has wronged you or what? I love your friend and I want us to sort out our differences. I need you to talk to her for me, to forgive me for overreacting and getting angry over stuff we could have sat down and solved out. How did it go, Jeff? How is she feeling now? She's better. I left her with her parents, although she didn't want to see them. Wow, they came. I'm sure she would be happy to see them. I just hope she gets better and also forgives us. I really want that. Betty, we don't need Chloe's forgiveness. But if you keep insisting on needing it, then that's okay with me. But Chloe did this to herself. She wouldn't be in the hospital if only we had nothing to do together. Maybe, but she has been using drugs for quite some time now. I thought she had stopped, but I guess she's never stopped. I can only imagine how she feels. I need to go and see her. Now is not a good time, Betty. She needs to get herself together first. Betty, let's put Chloe aside and talk about us. I need to know if you're going to date me, if we can work out. Jeff, can you hear yourself? Is this the right time for us to talk about this? When else can we talk about this? Just when? Jeff, we can never date. I'm sorry. But right now, Chloe needs you. You both need to find a way to sort out the issues first. She's my friend. How about how you feel in your heart? The love we both have for each other. We can't be together, Jeff. That's just the truth. I can't do that to Chloe. I'm sorry. Hello, Chloe. How are you doing? Oscar, you can see how I'm doing in the hospital. I'm surprised to see you here. Don't tell me it's because of Jeff and Betty here in the hospital. Because of yesterday's accident. It's because of them. Why else will I be here in the hospital? You're really soft-hearted, Chloe. They took advantage of your kind heart just like mine. I'm pained, Oscar. But all of this isn't really totally their fault. I'm to be blamed as well. No, darling. You're not to be blamed. If anyone is to be blamed, it's going to be Jeff and Betty. I can bet you that they are both hanging out right now and laughing, planning their next move, maybe getting married. No, they can't be doing that while I'm here. Do you think they care that you're in the hospital? They don't give a damn about you, Chloe. They are now more free to do whatever they want to do since you are now aware. Oscar, stop. Please, stop saying these stuff. I'm saying the truth, the truth. But the question now is what are you going to do? Are you going to let them get away with it or are you going to punish them? Punish them? Why would I want to do that? I'm at fault here. I did all of this to myself. No one but me. I am to be blamed. That's what everyone wants you to think. But none of this is your fault. Why don't you channel this anger and bitterness towards Betty and Jeff and make them pay for what they've done to you, to us? I tried to talk to her, man. Well, that's not unexpected. I mean, she and Chloe are close friends. I know, but she doesn't mean we can't date each other. I know Betty loves me and I love her. Do we date everyone we love? Do you even end up with those we love at most of the times? We do. Look at my parents, for instance. They both love each other. My parents thought they loved each other, but they ended up divorced. So you see, it's not about love most of the time. I'm not going to end up with someone I don't love. Sure you won't, but Betty might not be the person you will end up with. I hope you know this. You can end up with anyone else. I love Betty. I want her the only problem here is the fact that she feels like she's going to be hurting Chloe by being with me. She's not lying. She's going to be hurting Chloe. We both know Chloe is in the hospital because of the truth that has come to the light. No. She's in the hospital because of her inability to control her drug intake. Let's talk on something else, like you opening the restaurant. The only thing on my mind is Betty. I have to find a way of convincing her to accept me as her man. She has to see reasons to be with me. What about the restaurant? It can't remain short forever. I'll open up the restaurant once I have money to pay Chloe back her money. I don't want her making me feel like I owe her anything because I don't. You owe her something, Jeff. You still owe her money. I hate talking to you at times, Kelvin. I wish I had another friend. I can call Desmond to come over. I'm sure you two will enjoy talking to each other. Nah, I prefer you over Desmond. Plus, he's not really my friend. He's your friend. It's been a while I saw you here, Derek. How is everything? Everything is fine, ma. I've just been too busy with work. That's why I've not been around. Thank you for everything you do for us. I saw the credit allowed you sent to me. I had that, mom. I thought I told you to stop taking money from Derek. Don't mind, Vanessa, ma. I'll always keep doing my own part as a son to you. I know, Derek. Thank you very much for everything. And you know what I always tell you? Even if you and my daughter don't end up together, my doors are always open for you to come and check on us. I know, ma. And thank you, ma. Let me leave the two of you to talk. You and my mom. The two of you are still talking behind my back. No. I only call your mom most times to just check on her. I'm not comfortable with that, Derek. 
I know you are doing this to make her talk to me to accept your proposal. I've known you for a while, Vanessa. And if there's one thing I'm sure of, it's the fact that no one can force you to do something you don't want to do. I love your mom like my mom. I've had you. It's actually good to see you, Derek. Yeah, it's also good to see you, Vanessa. What do you guys say you dress up and I take you out? That would have been nice, but I'm not actually interested in going out. You keep turning down all my offers, Vanessa. Is that how much you don't want to be with me? Am I now an irritating sight to you? You are not irritating to me. Turning down the offer of going out is because I know what you are going to talk about once we go out. You know I would talk on something else if you accept my proposal to be your man. Derek, I told you I have someone in my life already. Why do you keep bringing this up? Because I love you and I don't give up easily. Not until you are married, then I will stop disturbing you. <laughs> Derek, you are not serious. I'm very serious. At least, consider me. Promise me you think about it at least. I'll love you and treat you right, Vanessa. I promise you this. I know you will. Forget about the fact that I'm married. I'll get you your own apartment, your own car. I'll set you up that you'll never have to worry about poverty. Derek, if I should be with you, it's going to be because I want to. Not because of all these things you, you can possibly give me. But I'll think about it. I promise you I will. I love you, Betty. And I want to be with you. Forget about Chloe. I also love you, Jeff, but I have to think beyond myself. One thing I'm sure of is that Chloe will never forgive me if I agree to date you. She'll just end up being like Oscar, bitter and angry at the two of us. I can't be with Jeff. I'm coming. Chloe, oh my, how are you? How are you feeling? I'm okay, Betty. I know you're surprised to see me here, but I had to come to see you. Before you say anything, I have to tell you that I'm sorry for what happened between me and Jeff. I never knew he was your man. I would never have had anything to do with him if I knew the two of you were together. I know, Betty. You're saying the truth. I believe you, but I'm just so pained by everything. I am really sorry, Chloe. See, I promise you that I will never have anything to do with Jeff again. I would not do that again. I love Jeff, Betty. He's the only man I've ever been with all these years that has always loved me and treated me right. I love him so much and I want a home with him. Jeff also loves you. No, I'm not sure, Betty. I don't think he loves me anymore. And it's so painful because I really love him. He's all that I've got. I've got no one else. Jeff wouldn't leave you, Chloe. You know, he talks about you all the time, how much you mean the world to him and all you both have come true. I want to believe this, but I don't. But Betty, please talk to him. I know he'll listen to you. Tell him how much I love him and want to be with him, please. I really love him. My life will, will make no meaning if he's not there anymore. I might just go and kill myself. No, Chloe, you're not going to kill yourself. I'll talk to him for you. He'll listen. What are you doing here, Desmond? Vanessa, I know you are pissed at me, but I'm sorry. I'm truly sorry for everything. I have no idea why you are apologizing to me, Desmond. I did what was wrong to you, ignoring your calls and, and accusing you of something you didn't do, Vanessa. I shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that. That's true. I trust you, Vanessa. I'm just a man with lots of insecurities and it's not my fault. I've been cheated on, used and dumped by lots of ladies out there. You're just giving excuses. None of this validates you treated me this way. That's true. I'm just letting you know why I'm this way most times. I wasn't raised in a home like yours. I wasn't raised in love. But this aren't excuse for my behavior. I should trust you and not talk down at you like I did last time. I'm truly sorry about that. It's okay, Desmond. I don't want it to just be okay. I want us to be like we used to be. I want to be your man again. I want to love you and share every part of me with you. Please, baby. I've had you, Desmond. Does this mean you're forgiving me and will continue our relationship? On the forgiveness part, yes. But to continue with our relationship, I need to think it over. I don't want to jump into anything only to face the same stuff again. I promise you that I won't repeat my old behavior. Just give me a chance again. Give me time, Desmond. You hurt me to be sincere because I really loved you and gave you my all. I need time. That's all I asked for. What the hell is this? Why? Maria, baby, baby, open the door. Why are you knocking on my door like that? Do you want to pull it out? What's this? My, my bags are outside. What's wrong? 
Are you really asking me that dumb question? You see, your bags outside and you're still asking me what's wrong. Did I do something wrong to you, baby? Did I offend you? Oh, are you really asking me these questions? For real, Oscar, are you asking me these questions? I don't know what to ask other than this. Because I didn't do nothing to you. I came home earlier on and I saw you with another man in our bedroom. Our bedroom? Are you the owner of the bedroom or even the house? Why are you treating me this way? Are you done with me all of a sudden, Maria? Is that how you run your life? Pick and dump me off anytime you like. If there's one thing you should know about me, I keep my words. I've been long in this relationship to be fooled around. No, I'm a woman that knows what I want and I go for it. I'm also a man. Shut up. Do you think I won't find out about late night calls, the calls she's sneaking around to pick? That was my sister I told you she was in the hospital. I'm not cut out for this, Oscar. Just pack your bags and leave my house. That's all I have to say to you. If you stay longer than necessary, I'll call the security. Maria, baby, please open the door. Finally home. I checked you at your place, but you were not at home. Did you didn't come to tell me you have accepted my proposal? Chloe came to see me, Jeff. That's surprising. What did she say? I hope she didn't come to fight with you. She came to talk to me about you, Jeff. And I think we both need to talk about her. I don't want to talk about Chloe. I love you, Betty. And I want a relationship with you. I want us to have something that will lead to the future. There's no future here for the both of us. You should sort out your issues with Chloe, please, Jeff. I'm begging you. You're not meant to get involved in the issue between me and Chloe. I shouldn't, but I'm in the middle of all of this, Jeff. Don't you see? I can't date you, Jeff. Because of Chloe, right? Please, Jeff, I'm begging of you to settle with Chloe. You both have known yourselves for a long time. You both not allow me to ruin this beautiful relationship of yours. I told you that you're not the one running this relationship. I mean it. If you love me as you claim, you would work out your issues with Chloe. This isn't right. Don't you love Chloe anymore? Is that what you're saying? I don't hate her. She's just a complicated woman, that's it. But she's a nice person regardless. They've both finally left. Yes, mom. Mom, I hope you weren't just dropping on our conversation. How big is the house that you think I won't hear what you're all talking about? Mom! Derek and Desmond, which one of them are you going to go for? Or would you go for the both of them? I won't double date, mom. I love putting all my attention on one man. And I wish that same man also put all his attention on me in return. I guess that means you're going for this man again. You don't approve of him? Is that what you're saying, mom? Both men are good and kind to me. But it's your decision at the end of it all. You are the one who decides who amongst them you would like to be with. I don't know, mom. I really don't know. I feel Derek is the perfect one for me, but the fact that he is married doesn't sit well with me. And there is Desmond who loves me so much, but gets angry and jealous when he sees me with a man. You have to make the decision by yourself if you want to be the second lover to Derek or you want to be with Desmond. Mom, help me out. Guide me on who I should go for. I wouldn't want to choose for you and then maybe if something happens in the future, you will point at me that I influenced your decision. Make your decision and stand by it. Oh, Chloe already, she'll be with us soon. You are willing to let go of the love we shared, Betty. The love wasn't meant to be, and I know I will still miss other men out there. How do you think I will feel about that? Seeing you with another man, Betty, it's only going to break my heart. It wouldn't. I'm going to be fine. This kind of stops happen all the time. I want to be with you, Betty. We can go to another state and start our life there. Nah, Jeff. You and Chloe can travel to another state for a vacation. That would be perfect. I'm sorry, Jeff. I'm really sorry. I shouldn't have acted that way. I'm at fault here. I'm also sorry, Chloe. I'm sorry I said those hurtful words to you in the hospital. I promise you that if you give me another chance, I will do better. I'll be more patient and understanding of you. I really want our relationship to work out. I also want us to work out our relationship. I love you, Jeff. You're the only one I've got and I don't want to lose you. You're not losing me and I'm not losing you as well. What are you doing here? I came to see Jeff, but he wasn't home, so I guess he would be here. Are they both settling their issues? What does it look like to you? Vanessa, what are you doing here? I am surprised to see you. I know you just left my place not quite long ago, and I said I was going to think on everything. I asked for time to think. Yes, you did, and understand if you need time to think about me and you. Desmond, I love you. I also love you, baby. I love you so much. I love you with my whole heart. <laughs>
Let's try to work things out again. Let's make our relationship work out. Oh yes, baby. Oh yes. Vanessa, I promise you, you won't regret the decision you've made. I will make sure to work on my jealous nature. I know you will. Well, I just came to tell you this. I'll see you tomorrow. No. Where do you think you're going to? You're spending the night at my place. Maybe tomorrow you go home. I love you, baby. The restaurant is open again. And this time, you're no longer closing it. That's great news. It's really sweet to see the two of you together. It makes me happy. We couldn't have been here without you, Betty. Thank you so much. I know someday you will also find love. Just like me and Jeff here. Yeah. Betty, thank you. Well, I need to check the kitchen. I'm going to go with him. I'm trying to learn some new cooking skills. Just like you. That was... Um... Do you think she's trying to do everything you and Jeff did together? I don't know and I really don't care about it all. So far they are happy. How do you feel sincerely, Betty? I know you love Jeff and I know love doesn't die easily. I feel okay about it all. I know someday I'll find my own lover. What if I'm the lover you are looking for? I mean, I also kind of have feelings for you. Shut up, Calvin. I can't date you. Why not? Because I'm Jeff's friend. What? Because I don't love you and you're definitely not my type of man. What's your type of man? Tell me. I might just give myself to be him. You're not serious right now, I know. Vanessa, you came for the opening. Thank you so much for coming. And I guess this must be the man you've been telling me about. Yes, he's the one. Desmond, my friend, Betty, and Kevin, your friend. It's a pleasure to meet you, Betty. I've heard a lot of good stuff about you. Are you and Kevin a couple now? Hell no. She keeps turning down my proposal. Maybe you both can talk to her for me. I've been getting kind of used to. You guys don't have any idea how happy I am that I'm going for this vacation with Jeff. I'm really happy for you, Chloe. Are you sure, Betty? Are you really happy for me? Why would you be asking me if I'm sure? Of course, I'm very sure, Chloe. What's keeping Jeff inside since? Don't tell me he's still in the bathroom. That's Jeff for you. He now spends a long period of time whenever he's bathing. Um, Betty, how is you and Calvin? We are good. I mean, are you both now a couple? Accepted him yet? No, I can't accept him. He's just a friend. We are friends. Come on, Betty. I've seen the way he looks at you. And it's very obvious he has feelings for you. Oh, don't you see it? Um, kind of noticed it, but I really don't want to be with him. I'd rather be single. You shouldn't be single for too long, Betty. You should accept him. You need a man. I don't need a man right now. I'd rather be single. I'll be much happier if you're with a man, Betty. At least, that way, I'll know Jeff is safe. But Jeff is safe. I told you that what we had was nothing. Are you sure, Betty? I see the way you look at him at times and the way he also looks at you. It's like the two of you have a kind of connection with each other. Chloe, there's no connection between me and Jeff. We are just friends and I mean it. Except Calvin. He loves you and he's a great guy. I don't have any feelings for him. He's not my type. What's your type of man? Someone like Jeff. Is that a type of man? <laughs> I hope you ladies weren't gossiping about my stay in the bathroom. Why do you like to stay too long in the bathroom, babe? Do you know what the time is? I'm still right on time. We won't miss our flight. Well, I'm ready. So, what do you say? I'll see you guys soon. You two should both plan a vacation as well. Desmond, just look at these pictures of Lillian. She looks so beautiful. I've seen it over and over again. I'm happy for her. I am as well. I just wish they did the wedding here in Nigeria. I would have made sure to attend. I know. It's more classy. As she left the country with her lover boy. At least, they are safe from all the unnecessary pairing eyes of people here. Are you referring to me as one of those with pairing eyes? Of course not. It's just that most times, weddings call unnecessary attention if you get... Desmond! I would love to have a wedding as well. With you at the right time, of course. But you know we are not going to be hasty on anything. One at a time. Sure, one at a time. I'm not even saying you should marry me now. I know, but the way you keep mentioning Lillian's wedding over and over in my ears, it's like you want to get married very soon. I'm just happy for her, that's it. And it's not bad if we both talk about hers as well. Of course, nothing is wrong there. But you know, one at a time, there are so many things I want to put in place before we settle down together. Who knows, we might even leave the country and have our wedding in another place like Lillian. It's so sweet to see the two of you all settled, don't you agree? Yeah, it's sweet to see them this way, Calvin. What about us, Betty? Wouldn't it be more sweeter if the two of us are together as well? No, that will not be sweet. You and I know this. 
why do you keep turning me down am i not good enough for you i'm looking like jeff actually more cuter than him who cares if you're good looking as jeff even if you're as cute as michael jackson the answer will still be no why betty is this still about the attitude i gave you as of the first time you came to work let's see maybe that's a long time ago betty come on betty allow me to be your man or oh, are you seeing someone else already tell me it's none of your business if I'm seeing anyone. Just like I don't care if you're with any lady. Just forget about this love stuff. It will not work between us. And why is that? Just why? Tell me why you are refusing to accept me. Give me a reason. I don't like you, Calvin. It's as simple as that. But we can still keep being friends. Friends? Yippee. That's good enough for us. I think I know why you are acting this way. You are still in love with Jeff. And you are not over him. That's why you are acting this way. I'm in love with Jeff. You've got to be kidding me. See, I'm going home. I'm coming with you. Today is weekend and I've got no plans. Don't come with me, Calvin. I have stuff I want to do at home all alone. Privacy. What private stuff do you want to do, Betty? I'm coming with you. What's your issue, Oscar? Why are you following me all around? I know you don't want to see me, but I didn't do all of those stuff you're accusing me of. I don't care if you did it or not, I'm done with you. But I'm not done with you. My life makes no meaning without you in it. Your life makes perfect sense this way. You can do whatever you want to do. See, I don't care. You still got your job, don't you? And you have a car, so what else do you want from me? I don't care about all those stuffs. I want you. I want us to be back. There is no us here. That was all in the past. I really went to the hospital, I swear it. And the car in the house. I'm really not interested in any of these stories. Just let me be Oscar. I beg of you. Stop following me around. You're free now to do whatever you want to do. Be with any lady of your choice. I've never asked you to be committed to me. You're the one who said we should be in a committee relationship. You're the one making unnecessary promises and I was foolish to believe you. How can I prove myself to you that I really don't have anything with any other lady? You don't need to prove anything. Just go on and enjoy all the things you've gotten from me. And you know, be with any lady of your choice. Please, Maria. Please, I beg of you. Believe me. That from you Don't wanna go back and forth When I know I deserve much more Ooh, I don't wanna fall Wow, this place is really beautiful, babe. Don't you think so? Well, it's beautiful. It's perfect for us. We're going to have so much fun here, my love. Yeah, I bet. I know so. So, I already placed a reservation for us this evening. Once we relax, we'll go and check it out. It's the place my parents met for the first time. I see. Well, that would be later because I'm tired right now. Let's go and have a shower. Then we rest a bit before we start the whole vacation. I thought the vacation started the moment we entered the plane. Yes, it did. Why don't we check everywhere, baby, and see it all? Why don't you go ahead? I'll join you. I want to check the view from the living room and see it all. I'll join you soon. Okay, babe. Love you. I love you too. Well, I guess this is going to be fun. You just be of your best behavior, Jeff. You're not going to ruin this. Should I call Betty or Kelvin? Chloe isn't here. This would be a good time to make the call. Babe, come and check the view from the bedroom. I'm coming right away. I really hope that's not Calvin. Why can't he just leave me all alone? Just why? Calvin, go away. Stop disturbing me, please. It's Vanessa. Betty. Oh, Vanessa. I'm so sorry about that. It's okay. You and Calvin, why didn't you open the door for him? Oh, his troubles are so much. Do you know how many times he had come to knock on my door despite me telling him that I want to be alone? Do you really want to be alone or you don't want to see Calvin? I don't want to see Calvin. He keeps disturbing to date him and I don't want to be with him. Oh, I see. Well, he's a very cool guy and I think you two will be perfect together. You're not serious. How are you doing? How is everything? I'm fine and everything is fine. What about you? Everything is okay. You can see. Are you sure? You seem a little different from the old Betty I know. I'm fine and I'm totally normal. And please don't say it because of Jeff because it's not true. I wasn't going to say that but you said it by yourself. You were going to say that, so stop lying. How do you feel about it all? Sincerely, him and Chloe on a vacation right now. Them, why do you even have to ask? Let's talk on something else, please. Like you finding a man. Have a man, Betty. You have been single for long. Or are you planning on going back to Oscar? Hell no. I've not even heard from him or seen him for a while. And I pray he stays that way. He must now know that his plan to keep me and Chloe apart didn't work. <laughs> Ooh, I'll never be that girl again. 
Baby, what are you doing here? I wanted to surprise you. I know you weren't expecting me. I wasn't. I thought you were in Abuja. You said you had some stuff to attend to. Yes, I did. But you didn't think I would miss your birthday for anything in the world. My birthday? Oh, that's true. When is it? Baby, don't tell me you have forgotten already that it's tomorrow. Oh my, tomorrow is 25th. I've forgotten. Lost track of how time flies. I see. But is work that stressful that you have forgotten? Not really, but you can see for yourself that I'm mostly busy. How's Joey? He is doing fine. I wanted to come with him, but school session is still on, so I left him with grandma to take care of him. I've missed you guys so much, the two of you. We have missed you too, baby, and that is why I'm thinking it would be best for us to move back to Lagos with you rather than us being in Abuja. That's something we'll discuss. That's what you always say, but we never talk about it. Something else will come up and we forget about it. That's how it has always been. I promise you, we'll talk about it. But for now, I think it's best to stay in Abuja. I'll soon be done with everything I'm doing here in Lagos and we'll be together. I don't believe that. But why are you staying here, Derek? We both know you can have the manager do the work and report back to you like he does. Why don't we talk about this later? Remember tomorrow is my birthday and we shouldn't be arguing or fighting. Fine, Derek. Anyways, I am taking you for lunch. Betsy, your phone is ringing. I'm coming. Who is calling? I hope not Calvin. Hello? Jeff. Jeff, he's calling you. Hey, Betty. How are you doing? Jeff, I'm fine. How is Chloe? And how was the trip? Chloe is fine and the trip was great. We arrived not quite long. It's actually nice here. Oh, that's nice to hear. Is Chloe next to you? Let me say hello to her. No, she's not here. She's busy doing something inside the room. You should be with her and not pressing your phone or making phone calls. Remember, this is a vacation. You should both enjoy it together. I wish you were here, Betty. It would be more interesting and fun for me. Enjoy your vacation with Chloe. Why are you doing this, Betty? You know my heart lies with you. Jeff, goodbye. Make sure you both take a lot of pictures together and post online for me and Calvin to see. Whew. What did he say to you? He just called to let me know that they had arrived. I'm going back to the kitchen. I'm sure he said more than just that. Spill everything out. What else did he say? If you want to hear it all, you're going to have to come with me to the kitchen. Hello Maria, you are finally here. Yes I am. Sorry but who are you and what are you doing in my office? I am Richard or should I say Supervisor Richard sent in from the head company which you know. Oh my Mr. Richard forgive me. I didn't know you'd be coming in today. I didn't know as well but we were all sent to come in today. That is why I asked that your secretary calls you but she was nowhere to be found. Where are all the staffs? Today is a public holiday, sir. I was surprised to receive a call from my boss asking him to come over to the office right away. A holiday? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. My mistake. I've forgotten how much things work at home. Please pardon my manners and for also calling David. I am sorry. It's okay. So how long would you be around? For a few months until everything is fully supervised and you know there's no rush. Of course, there is none. There is also something else, but I think it will be done properly on Monday. There are two awards to be given to some staffs. Oh, awards. That's surprising. When was the last time the company did that? It's been a long time, but with the new management in place, we can be sure that hard work will be fully rewarded as we have been watching everything. How do you mean watching everything? Nothing for you to worry on, Maria. And please remove the Mr. in my name. I am still Richard to you and everyone. See you around, ma. Don't add that to my name. We both know you've got no respect for me. I only came to work here and I will keep it that way. Just work. I can bet he just called Betty even though he's with me. Chloe, what? What are you doing standing there? I was kind of stretching. I saw you just got off the phone. Who did you call? That was Kelvin. I was just letting him know that we have arrived. Oh, Calvin, I'm sure he's going to miss you so much. And the food. He will. Most especially the food. Yeah, I bet. But Betty is there for him to help out with the cooking. I wonder what the two of them are up to right now. The two of them? Kelvin. Betty didn't sound like she was with Kelvin. I don't understand. Never mind, Chloe. But I can bet that the two of them aren't together. They should be. I wonder why Betty is giving Calvin a hard time to accept his proposal. He's a really cool guy. You should talk to Betty to accept him. I'm going to take my bath. I'm really tired. Betty, are you trying to ruin my vacation for me? Ha 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Since morning, Vanessa, you didn't call me to wish me happy birthday or send me a text message. I thought you were probably fighting with me. I wanted to surprise you at home, that's why. And I was inside the room hiding when you came over to check on me. I knew your roommate was lying when she said you went for a test. All part of the plan. Derek, you've been a great lover to me, a supporter, a friend, and a shoulder I can lean on. I don't know how I would have survived in school without you. Stop saying stuff like that. You didn't even have to buy me this cake. I told you I want everything to be simple. No gifts, no cake, nothing. You didn't have to do this. Why would I do this? You deserve more than this, Derek. You've done so much for me compared to what I can ever do for you. All I do for you, I do for myself. Because at the end, you and I will still end up together. I hope so, Derek. Why would you hope so? Don't you know that my birthday wish is that once I'm back, we'll both be together forever. I really wish you didn't have to go, but we don't have to talk about all of this now. It's your birthday and we'll be celebrating throughout today. Sure, but the birthday celebration is just going to be me and you. That's okay with me, but we are going out. You are not staying here. Why do we have to go out? Let's just spend the whole evening indoor, me and you. Today isn't an indoor day, babe. We are going out and I'm the one paying for all the bills. All bills on my babe. <laughs> well, I'm all game. Go and take a shower. You smell of alcohol. And I know it's all Dave's doing. That's his own way of celebrating me. Since you didn't reach out to me, I went to him to get myself a little tipsy. Good old memories. I wonder if she still remembers today is my birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Oh, baby, thank you so much. My darling Derek, I want you to know that I love you so much and I wish you only the best in life has to offer you. Thank you, my love. Thank you, Tessa. Before I tell you all the plans I have for today, I want you to make a very sincere wish. Something you wish for. I don't really have anything to wish for. I've got everything that I want here. What more can I want other than this? A lovely family and a lady who loves me as much as I love her. Are you sure that's all you wish for, baby? Yes, Tessa, but you can make a wish on my behalf. A very special one. I am not making any wish for you. You make it by yourself. Let me go and check the food I am cooking. I will be right back. Stay in bed. I love you, Tessa. She's such a lovely woman and I'm lucky to have her. No messages or calls from Vanessa. She ought to be the one here with me. I wish she's mine. Living life without you I gotta tell you it's better than I thought it could be I could say I miss you but that would be untrue I know I'm being kind of mean but I learned all that hello Oscar Chloe what a surprise how have you been I've been fine much better compared to when you saw me last that's good to hear I didn't think you still have my phone number seeing how we departed in the hospital I also didn't think that I'll call you or talk to you again so you must have seen me as a monster trying to make you see things in my own light. I thought of you as someone who wasn't understanding the situation of things. But I think you were right, Oscar. Everything that's happening to me and Jeff is because of Betty. Really? Are you sure of what you're saying to me? I'm very sure, Oscar. Although I didn't want to admit it at first. But I've watched things and it's like nothing has really improved between me and Jeff. You two are back together. Didn't Jeff end things with you? I and Jeff are together. I followed your advice that if I want to sort things out with Jeff, I had to talk to Betty. I did that and she agreed to help me talk to Jeff. I see. But if you sorted things with your man, then what's the issue here? I think Betty might have bewitched Jeff because he's acting kind of different, like totally different to me. He was one who agreed that we take a vacation. But it's like his mind isn't here and he keeps calling Betty over and over again. I see. Well, I told you Betty is the one ruining your relationship, didn't I? Yes, you did. And I'm sorry for not believing you back then. But now I can see that you are seeing the truth. And I don't even know what to do right now. You don't have to worry. You said you are on a vacation, right? Yes, I'm on a vacation with Jeff. Although he's here with me, his mind is far away. When you are back to Lagos, hit me up so we can both meet and talk better. Okay, Oscar. Thank you. Bye. I can't let Betty have my man. No, I can't allow this. Well, I guess things are falling in place for me. But before I think more about Betty, I need to first sort myself out with Maria. I need to have her back in my life. I just pray this works out well. I hope she accepts me back into her life. 
everyone this is richard from the main branch in the states he's here to watch everything that we do to see how everything is being run around here and can be sure that anyone who is not doing well he won't hesitate to lay them off over to you richard i am richard don't be scared of me please i am not a monster and i am technically not here to lay anyone off unless if the person isn't being productive to the company but i believe that all the reports i will take back will be good reports am i right of course richard as I told your boss earlier, there are two awards sent from the main company branch here to Lagos for one of the most hardworking and smart staff here in Lagos. But interestingly, both the hardworking and smart staff award goes to the same person. I want to bet there is going to be the boss or me. You're not hardworking, Calvin. Do you know how many of your work I have helped you do in the past months? You are lazy. But for the boss, she deserves the recognition. The award goes to Miss Betty Bellamy. What? Betty? What is it, Calvin? Am I lying? Maria deserves it more than every one of us here. Miss Betty Bellamy, can you come and take your award? Me? What? I I don't know what to say, sir. You don't have to say anything. The company has been watching you right from the first time you got this job up until now. And we have to say that all the reports we have been hearing are only on how much of a hard worker and smart lady you are. Thank you so much, sir. Well, congratulations again. Maria, would you come and show me around now? I want to be with you, Maria. I can't imagine myself without you. You have to excuse me, Richard. What the hell are you doing? I love you, Maria, with the whole of my heart. All that we've shared together has been so real to me. I want us to continue from where we saw. Stop saying all of these words. You know what? We'll talk at home. That's not true. We both know. I love you, baby. Stop this, Oscar. You're embarrassing me. I think we all should excuse you. I'll be waiting for you in your office once you're done with your love issues. Are you out of your mind, Oscar? Are you crazy? I didn't think I'll get an award. Well, I guess I got to keep working hard to get more awards. Hopefully, soon I'll get a promotion. Congratulations, baby girl! I always knew you were going to get recognized in the office. Thank you, Vanessa, but I didn't think I'll get it. I mean, the boss. Do you think the boss still works as hard as she used to in the past? I don't think so. You better not say that close to Maria's ears. How is she going to hear what we said unless you go tell her about it, parrot? Did you just call me a parrot? Vanessa, did you hear what she called me? You two should both get a room and express all these feelings you have got for each other. I'm not going to come in between you guys today. I need to see Desmond outside. Better be careful. You know we've got the supervisor here. Congratulations on your award, Betty. Thank you, Calvin. Do you think I deserve it though? Yes, you deserve it. So what do you see we go out today later to celebrate the award and your promotion, of course? I'll think about it and get back to you, I promise. Sir? Sir? Just Richard would do. Shouldn't you be in your office, Calvin? Or is this what you all do here? Have chats every time, attend to loved ones. Is that it? I'll head over there, sir. Betty Bellamy, young, driven, and passionate. Those were the words you wrote on your CV when you submitted it four years ago. That's true. You were there? Yes, I was. And I was also one of those who told my dad I wanted you in the company. But I never got to see you as I had to leave. Thank you for choosing me. Thank your brains. Well, what do you say we hang out later to celebrate your win? I would have loved that, but I already made plans with my friends and I can't cancel. Oh, today ain't my lucky day. Another time, I guess. Hope you will not have plans then. Hello, Vanessa. Good morning. Good morning, Derek. How have you been? I've been fine, and you? I hope you're good and everything is going well. Yeah, sure. What brings you here to the office, Madam Miriam or? Yeah, Maria and I wanted to also check on you to see how you're doing. It's been a while we last saw each other, ever since you told me you think about my offer. That's not something I want to talk about. Okay, well, how's your mom and your sister? Hope you're hearing from them. They're both doing fine, and they always send their regards to you. Do send them my love as well. I see you're heading somewhere. Mind if I walk with you? That won't be necessary. Do you remember what today is, Vanessa? Do you remember the date? Vanessa, I've been waiting for you. I have to go, Derek. Oh, well, do have a beautiful day ahead. And a quick reminder, today is my birthday. What the hell is wrong with you coming here and singing what I don't know? I came here to prove to you how much I love you and I'm serious about you. You are embarrassing me, Oscar. What kind of song were you singing? Love songs. I read something online that says I should sing to express myself. That was so embarrassing. Do you know how your voice sounds? So horrible. 
My voice doesn't sound horrible. Oscar, I'm really not interested in all of this. Not you or your songs. I love you, Maria. I really want us to continue with our relationship. Please, Maria. Right now isn't the right time for us to be talking about love. The supervisor was sent to check all we've been doing here in the company. I shouldn't be here right now. What about later? Let me come over and pick you. I'll call you, Oscar. I am sorry. I'll wait in the reception area. No, Derek, you don't have to do that. My guest is leaving already. Baby, I'll come by later to pick you. Please don't leave without me. I love you. Your new baby boy is cute though. Not as cute as you. You know, you're still the cutest man I have in my life. <laughs> Am I? How's everything going on in the office? I don't believe you came here to check on my well-being. I got the gift you sent me, but that was totally unnecessary, Maria. I've told you last year to stop doing this, but you never listen. <laughs> You're still my baby boy regardless of the ring on your finger. So are we going out this evening? Let's go and have some fun, me and you. You already have plans with your baby boy and Tessa has plans with me. Tessa is around? Babe, I'm sorry about that. I had to attend to that man first. You had to attend to him while you left me here waiting outside under the sun for you. It was related to work, that's why this. And I had to respond to what he was asking. He didn't look that way to me and there's something familiar about him. Though I don't know, it's like I've seen his pictures on your phone. His pictures on my phone? I don't understand what you are saying. Are you telling me that this is the first time you are seeing him? What are you saying? Tess, if you are here to ruin my morning, I'll just simply go inside. You know I don't have time for this. You don't have time for this? For me, I saw you with a man, talking to a man, and you are saying you don't have time for me. Tess, why are you here? Why did you call me? My advice is that you keep working just as hard as you are doing right now. Soon you get to the top, you can be sure. Thank you, sir. But one question. Did Maria know that I was going to be given the award? No, she didn't know about it. Is anything the problem? No, not at all, sir. I need to get back to work so I won't delay my submission. Of course. But what do you see on lunch? I was having lunch together today since you will be busy celebrating later. I don't take lunch breaks anymore. I have a lot of things to cover up in the office. I see. Well, keep up the good work. Why do I get the feeling that he might be trying to flirt with me or something like that? Did I just see the supervisor leaving your office? Yes, you did and I think he might have some soft spot for me. Can you believe that? A soft spot for you? Do you know him before now? No, I don't. But I think he's actually cute but he's not my type of man. You are too picky with the men in your life. My advice, pick one of them and settle down with him. Be it Jeff, Kelvin or the new boss. <laughs> It would be fun if you dated the supervisor. There's no fun in that. That will only make Maria dislike me the more. I wonder how she even feels about me getting this award. She ought to know that you were going to be given the award, so it's nothing to worry about. I'm not sure she knows that I was going to be given the award. different things we got here everything okay i don't know if i should say this but i heard you and your new boss conversation you were eavesdropping on our talk you can't blame me for doing that i wanted to know if you were a spy as maria thinks maria still thinks of me as a spy seriously we all have our suspicion i mean your promotion to the office and now an official recognition from the overall main branch come on betty that doesn't make me a spy. I am a hard worker. You all know this. Yes, I agree that you work hard. But it's all happening too soon for you. You have another promotion, Betty, within a few months. Not my fault, Calvin. See, I'm just lucky. That's it. And I guess I'm unlucky then. Hey, I'm not jealous. I'm happy for you. It's just that it wouldn't be fair to us if you're a spy. Since you heard the conversation, I'm sure you know that I'm not a spy. I'm a young lady who is trying to make the best out of my life and every opportunities that come my way. I know, and that's one of the reasons why I love you and I want to be with you. You promised that we won't talk about love. I don't remember making any promise like that. Betty, I really want you to accept me. Give me a try at least, please. Calvin, do you think Maria is angry about my promotion and the award? I don't want to talk about work anymore. Let's talk about us. Say yes to my proposal. Look at my restaurant. It's fully packed with people. I told you, you had nothing to worry about. That I was going to work out even without you being here. That's true. You said that. I'm impressed by what I see though. Home sweet home. You have missed cooking already, isn't it? I've missed home. But I definitely enjoy our vacation. It's good to take a break once in a while. Thank you for a great time, Chloe. I should be the one saying thank you, although you didn't seem too happy at first. You wouldn't blame me for that. It felt strange at first that I was leaving everything behind and going on a trip. 
instead of building up the restaurant to its standard. Why don't you go home first so we can unpack our bags and relax a bit? Ma, I don't want to go home. You can go on ahead. I need to check how everything is going inside the restaurant. Very well. I'm cooking with you. I have also missed your cooking, Jeff. I will definitely make you a yummy meal. I don't have to worry. I will do it every day because I've missed cooking. Good evening, darling. I got you these lovely flowers. I don't need your flowers, Oscar. You can give them to another lady. You know, the only reason I agree that you come over is because I know you won't give up. If I give up, it means I don't love you. But I really love you. Love, 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 love. Come on. Aren't you tired of saying it over and over again? What is even love? What is it really? Love is a strong feeling. That feeling when you realize that you can't live without the other person. And that your life doesn't make sense without the other person. <laughs> Seems like you've been reading some love stuffs online. I have, that's the truth. But I love you, Maria. Like, I don't care if you are way older than me or you are treating me like a puppet. I don't even care what anyone says to me, I love you. You love me. What about the other ladies you've been hanging out with? I haven't been with anyone but you. I meant it when I said I wanted more with you. All the things we share together are more than just the bedtime. Me cooking for you, me bathing you, me making sure that everything is put in place for you. The shopping, I do all this and more because of how I feel for you. Um, and you love me, that's what you're saying. I love you and the phone calls. It wasn't anything serious. I can show you the pictures of where I was and my sister that was sick. I don't want to see them, I know it might be fake. It's not fake. Maria, I came to you when I had nothing and you gave me a place to stay. Not just that, you also took care of me beyond what I can imagine. Do you think I'll ruin all of this stuff we've got going on because of any lady out there? Um, I don't know. We have a lot of people who do that. I'm not one of those people. I'm a man who doesn't turn his back on his helper. Because you're my helper, the one who helped me in Lagos. If only I hadn't met you, only God know what might have happened to me. Maybe I'll be under the bridge. That would be something I would like. <laughs> Enough about those long talks. I've missed you. It doesn't seem that way to me. You were with one of your lovers this morning. So what? After all, I'm still a single woman. What if I remove you from the single club and make you a married woman? Shut up. <laughs> Kiss me or scalp before I change my mind. That would be untrue. I know I'm being kind of mean, but I learned all that from you. Today we present something, but I can't seem to remember it. Derek! Oh, yes! Derek's birthday! How could I have forgotten that today is his birthday? No wonder he sounded that way to me. Oh, Vanessa! How to call him? But it's night already. His woman might be with him, and they'll be celebrating together. Should I call him or should I leave it till tomorrow to wish him? How could I have even forgotten? Oh, God. You must think that I really hate him, and I don't want to wish him well. Baby, I've been waiting for you at home, but you didn't come over. I told you I wasn't going to come over, didn't I? You're angry at me for reacting the way I did earlier on, right? I'm sorry. You're always sorry. Sorry, but you end up doing the same thing over and over again, Des. I know, but it's not my fault that I'm this way. Then is it my fault? Am I the one that is at fault here? Look at the way you even shouted my name in the office. Do you know I had to face a query from the supervisor? Vanessa, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about it all. I'm just sorry. In love with you so in love with me i'm finding your behavior obsessive and irritating right now remember what you did last month as well when you came into the office unannounced and late because i was busy with a male client like what's your issue i apologize about that already and you said i was forgiven yes i said that you're forgiven but i just reminded you of what you did I am trying to be better. You must agree with me that I'm much better than before. That's true, you're right. But you still have a lot to do. With you on my side, I will definitely do a good job, Vanessa. I'll be the perfect man you've always wanted me to be. That's Chloe and Jeff. Yeah? When did they return? Jeff! Chloe! Hey! You guys are back. It's so good to see the both of you, Chloe, Jeff. It's also good to see you two here. We just got back from our trip, but I'm sure Jeff must have called you to give you heads up, right? I we didn't know you guys would be coming in today. Don't mind Chloe. I've told her that I didn't tell anyone we'll be coming over. But she didn't believe me. Man, it's good to see you, Kevin. Are you Betty? You seem to have grown fatter in my eyes. Or is it because I've not seen you for a while? I think he added with the vacation must have been fun for both of you. It was fun and I made sure that he had a lot of rest. We spent most of our time indoor, being by ourselves and enjoying each other's company, didn't we babe? Yes, we did. You guys you have to excuse me. But how's the food? Top notch. Your chef is a great chef. 
Jeff, though he doesn't have the Jeff's touch. Not everyone can have that touch. Only few can ever be blessed with it, like you. What's the Jeff touch? Cause I can say that I've been blessed with more than your touch. Let me check the kitchen. Did you sense that she's kind of acting somehow towards me? I wouldn't blame her. I mean, you and Jeff had something going on. And maybe she has come to realize that you and Jeff were talking throughout their vacation. That's not true, Calvin. We only spoke once and that was it. I didn't call him or reach out to him ever since then. As much as I'm happy that you're here, I don't think you'll spend the night here. I'm not going anywhere. My bags are in the vehicle. I'm going to bring them in. I see you came prepared. I'm just not in the mood for anyone to be around And me. why is that? I thought you said you're forgiving me. I'm forgiving you, but we're going to take it slowly before I let you back to the house. Then I'll just keep staying wherever you're staying. I've been in the hotel spending money and I'm kind of broke and jobless right now. You didn't go to work, so what did you expect? That they'll still give you a job? That's true, but I'm having a tough financial time. I'll still send you some money, don't worry. How about me staying here? I don't want to be far from you, baby. I want to be here with you, to guide you and protect you as your man. Maybe from next week, after I've cleared my head. What bothers you? Is it the office or what? I thought I was going to get an award today, but I was humiliated. Can you imagine that Betty got an award and an additional promotion? What? She got an award? I, how could she have gotten an award? I thought she's new to the office. Isn't that what you said? Yeah, she's a new staff. I was equally surprised as well. And that's why I know I have to be really careful because she might be a spy. Who gets two promotions in less than a year? Something isn't just right, but I don't know what. Do you need me to do some snooping around for you? I could find out something. That won't be necessary for now. I'll find my way around the door, trust me. Why does Derek keep calling me over and over? Hello, Derek. Vanessa, I didn't think you returned my calls. It's late for you to be calling me by this time. Late? Oh, I guess you're loving this Monday's day with you, right? So you've forgotten me. I remember today is your birthday, and it was so wrong for me not to reach out. I'm sorry about that. You have forgotten totally about me. I guess I don't mean anything to you anymore. You're my friend, Derek. And beyond that, you're someone I will forever be grateful to for everything you have done for me. I don't mean anything to you anymore, Vanessa. Because if I was your friend, there's no way you would have forgotten that today is a special day to me. Derek, I apologize that I forgot. Let's say I won't forget, I promise you. Do you remember the last birthday we celebrated together? I remember it all. But why are we even talking about it? All this is in the past now, Derek. Maybe for you, but not for me. How are you celebrating your birthday? Did Tessa take you out? I want you to take me out instead. Let's spend the whole evening together, me and you. Just like the old times, baby. I heard you talking to someone on the phone. Yeah, it's nothing really. Just friends wishing me a happy birthday. I can't still believe you convinced me not to take you out, Derek. Like, why are we at home on your birthday? We should be out having fun. I'm not just in the mood for the old partying vibes, that's it. A quiet dinner at the top floor. That was our reservation for the evening. But you cancelled it all of a sudden. And I don't know why. I know you had plans on surprising me and all that kind of stuff. But remember I told you I didn't want to celebrate. The cake you got for me and the breakfast you made are just perfect. Something is going on with you that you're not telling me. This morning, you wanted us to go out later. But now, it's something else. Nothing is going on, Tessa. A man's mind is just complicated most of the time that the least thing we think about is a birthday celebration. I'm going to the living room. Did I say something wrong with you? You didn't. I'm not just in the right phase of mind. What is wrong with him? Seeing the two of you here, are you both now officially a couple? No, Calvin isn't my type of man. I've told you before now, Chloe. I wonder what her type of man is, Chloe. And I've been begging her to just give me a yes. But Betty is strong-willed and stubborn to say three-letter words, Y-E-S. Calvin saying yes is a big deal to me because I'm big on commitment here. Big on commitment? <laughs> you slept with Jeff, remember Betty? I didn't know he had a woman in his life, else I would never have done that, Chloe. I've been saying this, but it's like every time you get an opportunity, you just keep shoving it at my face that I slept with him. But it's the truth, you slept with him, and now you're saying you're big on commitment. Hmm, <laughs> doesn't look like a committed person to me, and I'm sorry, but that's my opinion. I think we should call it a night, Calvin. I still have a lot of stuff to do in the office tomorrow morning and with the supervisor. You are leaving because I'm saying this. Well, I was just joking around with words. Yeah, I know you're joking around. You look offended. I must have pissed you off with my words. I'm sorry, Betty. You know, this is what I do to Jeff. Most of the times, as Calvin here, he knows. Yeah, that's true. She does stuff like this most of the time. I see. Well, I have to go home either ways. It's good that you're both back.
Calvin. We'll see you another time, Chloe. Please tell Jeff we've left. I wish you guys would stay a bit longer, but I'll let Jeff know you've left. See you. Bye. Yes, Betty and Kelvin. Oh, they just left. Babe, you made this yummy food for me. So sweet of you. Thank you. Why would they leave? They knew I was preparing something special for them. They both wanted to head home. Love birds, you know. Can't tell each other. Love birds? I'm sorry about the stuff Chloe said to you. That was unexpected. Yeah, it was, but maybe I kind of deserved it for sleeping with Jeff. You didn't do it on purpose, and you stopped having an affair with him after finding out he was with Chloe, so it's okay. Maybe to you it's okay, but to Chloe, it would never be okay. And I mean, it's not like the whole memories will just clear off her head. It stays there, I'm sure about that. Yeah, it does. And it will take time for you two to get back to normal. I've got all the time in the world. Well, thank you for today. I appreciate it. You're welcome. But still think about what I said. I want to be your man, Betty. I really do. I know, and I promise you that I'll give it a consideration. Thank you. Good night, Betty. Good night, Calvin. Calvin. It's so unlike Kelvin and Betty to leave the restaurant the way they did. They should have told me about it before leaving, unless something happened. Or are they both having an affair, as Chloe suggested, calling them love beds? Why are you still awake, Jeff? Aren't you going to sleep? I'm not sleepy. I hope I didn't disturb you in any way. No, you didn't. But it's late at night. You should lie down and hold me close to sleep. As much as I would love to do that, I can't right now. The restaurant is what's on my mind. What about the restaurant? Did you notice anything odd? No, I didn't. But I need to make sure that things are running more smoothly. Everything seemed fine in the restaurant to me. I had asked Calvin about it and he said everything has been running smooth. I see. Well, it's not about that. There are other stuffs that many people from the outside don't see. But as a chef, and the owner knows that there are certain things not That's in place. That's the truth, but you should not be worrying on this already. We just got back from our trip. At least relax now and tomorrow morning, you face it all. You know how I can be about the restaurant, Chloe? I need everything to go well there. That's kind of all I got right now. All my funds as well, as your money is Why do you keep mentioning my money? I told you it's now yours. I don't need it. That's by the way. I'm going to make sure to pay you back the money. I heard you during our trip asking your mom for some money and saying you're broke. That's true. But that doesn't mean I'm broke because of you. I just need some money. That's all. I know, baby. Why don't you rest? I'll go to the living room to do some calculations. I wish you wouldn't go. But I know that no matter what I say, you do what you want. Kevin and Betty. Yeah, the two of them look so cute together. She ought to have accepted his proposal, but I don't know why she's being hard. I think she's still crushing on you. Crushing on me? You're not serious, Chloe. I mean, why hasn't she accepted his proposal? It's not like he's not a great guy. Won't you agree with me that Calvin is a great choice for Betty? I... I'll be in the living room. I need to calculate. Do you need me to go home? I can just act like nothing happened here. Are you sure you can act that way or you're joking about it? I don't really know, but I don't want to ruin anything that we have going on here. And what do we have going on here, Calvin? I, I don't really know. I don't even know what I'm seeing, Betty. But I want more than this. I don't want us to just be sleeping with each other. I don't think we should talk about all this. Let's just relax and enjoy it all. I want more than this. I still want the two of us to be a couple. Calvin, can you just stop talking already? You're too chatty for my liking right now. And all I want to do is relax in your arms and sleep. But if you won't like that, I can sleep all alone. I'm just excited about it all, Betty. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've not seen this childish side of you this way. You're actually fun to be with Calvin. But why do you act the way you're doing in the office like a tough guy? I'm a tough guy, Betty. Having to see all my muscles. Oh yes, I can see them. But I can see that your heart doesn't have any of those tough muscles. Behind this hard guy, there is a sweet personality. Look at what you're doing to Tessa. She doesn't deserve to be treated this way, Derek. All she has always done is love you and stand by you. She married you despite knowing your past and accepted you. So why are you treating her this way all because of Vanessa, who doesn't even care about me a bit? Yet I'm willing to risk my beautiful life here with Tessa all for her, for a woman that doesn't care about me. What the hell is wrong with me? Look at how peaceful she sleeps. She's still here even after I cancelled all the plans she has made for me. I have to do better and write with Tessa or let go of her so she can stop suffering this way. Betty, aren't you done already? We are going to be late for work. We still have time. Why the rush? I'm still cooking. I don't really feel hungry. I need to be at work before the supervisor.
Are you sure you're not hungry? This is the first time I'm hearing this, Calvin. This food smells so nice. I'm starving right now and I can eat everything at once. Don't touch my food. You already said that you're not hungry, remember, right? So you're going to watch me eat all alone and wait for me to finish up. There is no way only you can eat up this food. Watch me. Who's knocking at my door early this morning? I'm going to start eating without you, Betty. Don't touch my food, else you can bet that this is the last time I'll cook for us to eat. Jeff, what a surprise to see you. Good morning. Good morning, Betty. Calvin. Hey, man. Good morning. I hope you are well rested from all your trip. Yeah, yeah. What are you doing here this morning, Calvin? I... I didn't know you would be here. What am I doing here? You are both working at the same place. I should be the one asking you what you are doing here. You two ain't serious right now. I know. Well, I didn't see you two yesterday when I came out of the kitchen. Oh, we had to run and do other stuff. Plus, the restaurant was extra packed with so many people. We wanted others to get a place to sit. That's right. You should make plans on expanding soon, Jeff. Another branch. Exactly what I was planning on telling him. Everything has been going on so well with the restaurant. And now that you're back, I'm sure things will work out. Out the more. I see. Well, it seems like you two have gotten close while I was away. Yeah, I'm still asking Betty out, but hopefully she will accept me soon. So you are both not get dating, but you're already spending the night at her place. What brings you here, Jeff? Where are all the things you promised to get from me? I'll bring them over later. I need to head to the restaurant. That didn't go well, right? I bet he's offended to see me here with you. But what do I care, really? He's with Chloe. He's not offended to see you here. I'm just sure he and Chloe are having issues again. I will not go straight to the office. I'll have to check on him before leaving. Do you think the both of us were going to go to the office together? Good morning, Maria. Richard, good morning. When did you get to the office? I didn't check the time, but I got in early. Lagos traffic's errands for me, and I'd love to be in the office as early as possible. I see, but I hope you know we don't resume until 8 a.m. Yes, I know. You are not late, and as the one in charge here, you can resume anytime you like. Whatever matters is that you show up before 12 p.m. Is that so? Because I never knew. Is that a new policy for the managers? I am just kidding anyway. Well, I have been going through the accounts, and I have to say that I am impressed by everything that has been happening here. You are smart and hardworking. Yet, I didn't get recognized at the States. A new big course recognized. You are recognized, ma. Please don't let the little award and promotion Betty got get into your head or make you feel that you are not recognized. How is it possible that a lady like Betty keeps getting awards and promotions but I get nothing? You know that I'm here. Richard, I deserve an award here. Come on. Some kind of recognition. I am not the one who decides who gets an award. Are you sure about that? Tell me. Does Betty have wealthy parents? You are trying to ask if she's buying away. Maybe by asking. Having relationships with the staffs or one of the bosses, is that it? Something like that. I'm so sorry I'm late. I don't know why I never keep to time. It's fine. You're just 10 minutes late. How have you been, Chloe? I've been fine. Much better than the last time we saw. I'm sure you can see it for yourself. Yeah, I can see that for myself and I'm impressed you're doing well. Although I don't like this strong too. You can't blame me. I'm a person who loves peace and no violence. Some people need to get violence from us. Actually, those who deserve it. Like Betty. Do you know she didn't allow me to enjoy my vacation with Jeff? Jeff kept on calling her over and over again. And then... I did something. What did you do? Delete her phone number. I changed her number with one of my second line. You had to see how he was calling. He even sent text messages. <laughs> like it was so annoying having to read it all. Just read the messages he wrote to her. I see. I guess as much as Jeff is with you, his heart isn't with you, Chloe, but Betty. Yes, I realized that. And it's really annoying. But at a point, he stopped reaching out to her. I guess he got that gist that she wasn't interested in him anymore. <laughs> That's very smart of you. But what has been going on with Betty? I'm sure you guys saw already. Nothing is going on with her. She's still single. There's this guy that has been asking her out, but she has refused to accept him, despite all I say. I guess she's still also in love with Jeff. I see. And I told you all this was bound to happen, didn't I tell you? Now tell me whose fault was it that you found yourself in the hospital? Yours or Jeff and Betty? Jeff and Betty, they are both at fault here. To clear your suspicion, Betty doesn't know anyone in the main office. She's even an orphan. But if only she had thought of using her body to get to the top, you can be sure she would be sitting in this chair instead of you. <laughs> you kidding, right? No, I am not. You know the things that drive our company forward is for us to have hardworking, smart staffs who are disciplined and she's all of 
that and more. What about me? Am I not all of that and more? Maybe when you were younger, you were all of that. But it's like a younger version of you, Maria. Except for the... <coughs> Well, on the award, I will see what I can do about it since she wants one. That would be really appreciated. Have you seen Lagos already, Richard? Gone out, experienced the life. You know I don't like Lagos lifestyle, Maria. What can you possibly be scared of, Richard? See, Lagos is a place where you get it all and enjoy everything that comes with it. What thing do Lagos come with aside from the bubbling lifestyle? What else? It comes with so many things. Look at me for instance. I'm one of the things Lagos comes with especially for you. You are funny mom. Sorry you are funny Maria. I'm serious here. You can have all of the fun with me. I'll show you all around. I don't know. Maybe my promotion to leave the country. So you might come around sooner. You want to work in the main branch. Is that what you're seeing? I would love that. But what is it going to take for my name to be mentioned there? <laughs> I will let you have your office to yourself. Do have a beautiful day ahead. I'll be around the office premises. Why have you packed your bags? Are you leaving already? Yes, I'm leaving. Cause it's obvious you don't want me around you anymore. So why should I even be here in the first place? I never told you I don't want you here. When did I say that? You have been saying it with your actions and I have been creating excuses for you. But I'm done creating excuses for you, Derek. You can do whatever it is you want to do. Baby, you're getting it all wrong here. I'm serious. I told you I've just got a lot going on in my head right now. That's why I'm this way. What is wrong with you? What's bothering that head of yours? Just what? I don't know. See, things aren't going well with everything I'm doing. You are lying to me, Derek. I reached out to your office manager and he told me that everything has been going well with the company and you are actually at your peak right now with the way things are working in the company. You reached out to my company manager. Why would you do that? Why else will I do that? To know how everything is going with you. To guess what's wrong with you, Derek. But you have been lying all this way. I have stuff going on that's not moving well. You know this isn't the only thing I do. I do a lot of other businesses. That's the one that bothered you the most. The company. The businesses can rise and fall at any time. But we both know how things turn out, don't we? Fine. Let's say you're right. Something is wrong with me that I can't tell you. I am going to Abuja. I have seen you be in this mood before. And that was when you and Maria had a serious issue. And she was unforgiving. This isn't about Maria. See, I don't want you to go. Just give me time to sort myself out. Why are you even here in Lagos? You know what? If you want to see me and Josie, you will come to Abuja. And if you decide you don't want to, that's fine with me. This sir, wait up. You won't believe what I'm about to tell you, Betty. What is it? I think I just had Mary and flirting with Richard. Can you believe that? No, that's not true. You've got to be kidding me. Are you sure you heard right? I think I heard right. I didn't hear the whole conversation as I wanted to go and submit a document to her. But she was offering herself to Richard with her words. What? But what did he say? Did he accept her or he rejected it? He didn't accept it. He just walked out of the office and I went to submit the document. What did she say to you? She didn't say anything, Betty. She acted normal, smiling to herself like she has gotten a new phrase to strike. Can you believe this? Can't believe she'll say something like that. She still got Oscar, doesn't she? Maybe she wants something more. You know how we ladies can be. One moment you want Oscar, the other one time you want someone as cute as Jeff. You're not serious. Well, Jeff is back and he came over to see me at home. He came over to see you and? Nothing happened but he saw Calvin at my place and I think he might be pissed. He can be pissed all he wants. He went on a trip with Chloe and you are also going to enjoy yourself with Kelvin. Wait, you and Kelvin spend the night? Yeah, but I haven't accepted his proposal, so stop with the weird face. I'm so interested in hearing this, but what happened between the two of you? I'm also between Kelvin and Jeff. Jeff and Betty are to be blamed here, but I don't want Jeff to suffer in any way. I want it to all be Betty, cause she's the one who took Jeff from me. So what do you want to do? Remove Betty out of the picture or make her life a living hell? By removing her out of the picture, what do you mean? It means killing her, is that what you want to do? No, I'm not a killer. <laughs> 
I'm no killer as well. I was just trying to see if you are ready to make harsh decisions. But I can see that you are not ready for that. Do you know that at times the best way to make a person's life miserable is by taking them out of the world? So they'll never be able to come near what you love and cherish. You seem to know a lot about these stuffs. I've been heartbroken and I know what it feels like, Chloe, to love someone and watch them love another person who is unworthy and new. You wonder how it's possible for them to just forget you within a twinkle of an eye. Isn't that so? You're right, Oscar. But I don't want to kill anyone. I just want to make Betty suffer. Like I'm suffering. That's what I really wish on her. Hey man, what's up? I'm okay. What are you doing here? Shouldn't you be heading to work? Not without saying hello to you. You know I can't be in the area without stopping by. I didn't know you'd be within my apartment premises. Without letting me know. I couldn't have done that as you and Chloe left the restaurant quite late. I'm actually busy, as you can see. So what do you want? Some food or what? <laughs> No man, I'm not in for food. I'm overfed from the food I ate this morning at Betty's place. She's a great cook, thanks to you. Did you spend the night at her place? Yeah, I did for the first time. Do you know how long I've been waiting to do this? Um, yesterday was your first time. Why didn't you go home? Why should I go home when a woman asks that I come to her house for the night? I don't know, maybe to avoid unnecessary dramas. What possible drama could that be? Does Betty have a man in her life? She sure is single for real this time around. No any form of attachment around. Why are you doing this? Staying over at her place for the night and everything. Cause I love her man and I want a future with her, like you and Chloe. A future with Betty? You have got to be joking, right? Why would I be joking on something like that? Do you know something about Betty that I should be aware of? She's only here for a while. She'll leave once her job here is done. Oh, I've always known that. Remember we work in the same office? That doesn't really matter to me. We'll find our way around it all. If you are not dating Calvin, then why was he at your place? I don't know. Let's say I needed someone to rub my back and I asked that he come in. No, you don't mean it, Betty. I'm serious, yeah, and I know I shouldn't have done it. Seeing what happened with me and Jeff, I know. Exactly, Betty. You shouldn't allow yourself to be caught in something you are not ready for. And this time, it's kind of more complicated because we both know Calvin has feelings for you. I know he does. Do you know the funny part was that this morning, <laughs> it was actually kind of weird, like he had never done something like that. I think he doesn't do stuff like that. Desmond told me he's been single for way too long. He told me about the single part. Don't hurt his feelings, Betty. It's better you both don't go on with sleeping at each other's place. It was just a one-time thing, but I enjoyed it. I know you did. No wonder the error in this office is different today. But it's better you clarify things with Calvin, so it gets less complicated for you. I'll not do anything with him again. I swear it and I promise you this. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying you should clarify things with him. If you want to date him, then accept his proposal. He's a cool guy. I like him for you. Why do I always find you here, Vanessa? Shouldn't you be in your office working? Yes, sir. I came here to pick up something. She's never in her office when I check on her, always walking around here all day. She came to pick up a file, sir. Did she? Because I didn't see her leave your office with any file. What are you doing here, Derek? You know that I came to see you. Vanessa, I can't seem to get myself together. Like, everything is just complicated for me right now, all because of you. Derek, I really don't want to talk about this. I've told you a million times that you and I cannot work. I have a man in my life. He's not yet married to you. Then he hasn't even proposed to you, so what's the issue? Why can't we both have a relationship as well? You can double date. I can't. I'm committed to my man, totally committed. What then do you want me to do? See, my marriage is scattered because of you. No, your marriage isn't scattered because of me. If anything is happening to you, it's because of you, Derek, not me. Accept to be my woman. I'll marry you as my second wife. I'll see you later, Derek. And you should fix your marriage, please. Vanessa, marry me, baby. I better start heading to the office. We have this new supervisor, and I hear he's a tough man. So I'd rather be on his good side. I never asked you to come over to the restaurant. So off you go to the office. Won't you be so nice to offer me some of the food you are making so I and Betty can have it for lunch? Pack up some food for us. You and Betty. Kevin, why are you doing this? What do you mean? What am I doing? I mean, you can be with any other woman in the world. Anyone. But why Betty? Because I love her. I've told you this before. I love Betty. Love? You love Betty. All of a sudden, you began to nurse feelings for her. Isn't that so? I love her, man. See, it happened all of a sudden. And I told you about my feelings for her when it happened, didn't I? You know that I still have feelings for Betty, right, man? I don't know what you're talking about, Jeff. You still have feelings for Betty? Cut out that pretense. 
You know that I love Betty and she loves me too. So why are you doing this? Pretending to be in love with her so I can get jealous or what? Is that the plan? I really have no idea what you are talking about, Jeff. I don't know what you are saying. Kevin, see, I love Betty, so stay off her. You love Betty? How can you love Betty and you are still with Chloe? That's none of your business. Just leave Betty alone. Let her be and also focus on your life. I can't leave Betty, man. I'm sorry, but I can't. I love her and I will win her heart. You don't love her, Kelvin. Even if you love her, how can you think of being with her despite knowing that we had stuff together and you know how I feel about her? You've got Chloe. Focus on Chloe and let me focus on Betty. I'm all Betty has got. <laughs> You're not serious right now. I just know that. Just get out of my restaurant. Are you driving me away, Jeff? Yeah, I am. Get out and don't come back here ever again. Just leave, backstabber. You are the backstabber and you know what, Jeff? You are the bad one here. Calvin, Calvin, Jeff! What was that all about? Why is all this happening to me? Just why? I came here with the thought of coming to celebrate my man. To celebrate Derek. And now, I'm leaving feelings like a soul loser. Feelings like I have lost everything that I had. But why is Derek lying to me? He didn't even try to follow me to the car to beg me to stay back. He left me to leave. <laughs> Why would he do that to me? Something isn't just right. And I can't place my finger on it yet. Or is he back to Maria? Is he having an affair with her again? Hell no. He promised me he'll stop all of that. Hello, Maria. Are you in the office? Yes, I am in Lagos. I'll be on my way to see you soon. I hope you are going to be free today, Betty. It depends on what you're asking me to be free for, sir. Free for lunch? No, not lunch, since you are going to be working throughout your break time. I guess this must I guess this must have been one of the reasons why the company recognized you. But how do they see these things? I'm just curious though. It's not like there's a camera installed anywhere in the office, or is there? <laughs> I can't answer that. Those are private information for the company. But does Madame Maria know about it? Let's not talk about Maria. So what do you say on going to dinner with me later so you can show me all around Lagos? You can't see the whole of Lagos in one day. I have got a really long period of time. I hope you have also got time to show me around. Why me? I mean, there are lots of other staffs out there who would happily show you around Lagos. Plus, I'm still new in town. You are still new in town, but you look like someone who knows Lagos already. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like one who knows Lagos? Yes, you do. Unlike me, a newbie. Do you know that most of the people I come in contact with daily notice that I am not from here? But you've stayed in Lagos before now, right? Yes, I have, but only for a short while. When I came to see my mom, I stayed a bit and then I returned back. Even then, I didn't have much fun because of my serious nature of wanting things to always go right. I see. Is your mom still in Lagos? Yes, she is. So about the dinner, are you game on it? Yes, I am. Vanessa, marry me, baby. And take me out of being a single brother. Oh, Desmond, you are so sweet. You have still not given me an answer, Vanessa. Do I get a yes or am I getting a yes? <laughs> I thought you wanted to say a no as part of the option. <laughs> There's no way I would take a no for an answer. It's either a yes or a yes. Yes, Desmond! Yes, I'll marry you! I will only love you up until my last dying breath. I know it's not yet for. I know it's not yet time for our vows, but I promise that you'll be the only woman I will ever look at. I love you so much, Des. <laughs> I need to call Lillian, my mom, and also Betty. I know they'll be all excited for me. I asked your mom for her permission already before I propose. Oh, Des. Babe, that's so sweet of you. Now I wish I wasn't working. I would have loved to just go home with you and start making wedding plans. <laughs> we still have a lot of time for that. Once you're back from work. Just look at my ring, Des. Derek. Derek, meet my man. My baby. The man who makes me happy, Desmond. And Desmond, meet my friend, Derek. We both went to the same school. It's nice meeting you, Derek. It's also nice to meet you, Desmond. And congratulations to the both of you. 
There is something off about the supervisor, don't you think so? I noticed that too. Most especially the way he goes to Betty's office. Is he at our office right now? Yes, he's even there now. I don't know why he keeps going over there to check on her. I bet they're both working together and Betty must have been giving him information on the activities of the office. That's why she got the award on promotion. About that, I'm not so sure Betty is a spy. She's just a hard worker. You're being clouded by the feelings you have for her. Well, I'm not surprised. Love makes people to be blind to what's in your front. Just like you're blinded by Oscar's love, right? Oscar's love. Jennifer sent him out of the house. I'm not blinded by anything, most especially when it comes to the opposite sex. You sent him out? Oh, now I get why he came here, singing love songs to you. <laughs> he has a very horrible voice, though. Horrible, boy. He's a romantic person. I wish I can get my hands on someone like Richard. What? You are kidding, right, Maria? I'm not kidding. He's cute, young and handsome. Plus, he's got some crazy connections which can help me rise to the next position. I've stayed here for too long. Yes, you have. But I guess you are getting a promotion very, very soon. I really hope so. You also deserve a promotion yourself, not Betty. She works twice as hard as me, Maria. She deserved the award and maybe the promotion. Calvin is in love, so he's blinded to see the truth. What was that all about, Jeff? It's nothing you should worry about. How was where you went to? It was good. But it's totally surprising that I come here and see you grown-up men arguing and shouting at each other. I said it's okay. It's nothing really. Why are you raising your voice at me? What the hell is wrong with you? I'm not just in the mood. See, I have too many things going on in my head. And the last thing I want is someone asking me unnecessary questions. Oh, really? So me asking what happened between you and your friend is an unnecessary question. Oh, I remember I never asked the question right, just the wrong ones. So, no matter what comes out of my mouth, all of it is probably trash. You are the one who's saying all that, not me, Chloe. I didn't say anything like that, did I? That is just what you're saying to me. I'm sorry for raising my voice at you. See, I'm just having a stressful day, and I'm taking it all out on everyone, right, from Kelvin to you. I totally understand you, babe. It's okay, you'll be fine. And if you decide you want to talk, I'm here to listen to you, Jeff. I know. Thank you, Chloe. My darling Tessa, it's so good to see you. How have you been? I have been fine, and you? I see you are doing very well in your office. Yes, I'm surprised you're around. Derek didn't mention it to me that you're around. It must have been so carried away by you that he didn't remember me. I don't understand. Yes, you know I came back to Lagos to come and celebrate his birthday with him. He seemed so excited at first, but later on, it totally changed and became something else. How does any of this relate to me? Maria, I know you and Derek had an affair in the past, and I never for once held that against you. I still respected you as you both promised not to have anything with each other. And we haven't had anything to do with each other, or did he tell you? Would you tell me if you and Derek are still sleeping with each other? Would you let me know about it? Be sincere. I don't know where you're headed to with this conversation, Tessa. Stop sleeping with Derek. Like, just stop it. I know you both had your things, but that's all in the past, Maria. I am in the present with him. He is my man. Tessa, I think you're making a mistake here. I am not. I know you are the only lady Derek has always mentioned to me. The one who helped him to rise to the top. But he is married to me now, and we have a son. Josie. I'm not having an affair with Derek. I don't care, Maria. See, just stay away from Derek. If he comes to you, tell him to go back home to me. We should all be in Abuja. I bet you're the one who called the bank to Lagos. Cause you just want him to yourself. This place is really lovely. Seems like you brought me to the best place in the city. I had to bring you to a place that you will love and I know you have a high taste. I do, but do you also have a high taste? Does my taste really matter? I don't have a taste, actually. I don't believe that. I strongly believe you have high taste to have brought me here. I knew you were going to say that. So what would you like to order here? For now, I would love us to have a little chat about you. I would like to know you. Know me? What would you like to know about me, Richard? Everything that you can tell me about yourself. Like, do you have a man in your life for starters, relationship? Why do you choose my relationship life? Why are you interested in that? Who knows I might want to be more than friends with you. You're not serious. Why don't you tell me about you instead? I don't want to talk about me. Why don't you want to talk about yourself? Because you're the one who took me out. 
I would rather like to hear about you first. Then maybe I'll tell you about myself. Hey, maybe you have got to be joking, right? I'm not joking. So tell me about you, Richard. What would you like to know about me? Just ask and I will tell you what you want to know. Are you in a relationship or are you single? I guessed you were going to ask me back the question. Well, I am single. I love you so much, Des. <laughs> I need to call Lilian, my mom and also Betty. I know they'll be all excited for me. She has made up her mind and it's very clear to me now that she doesn't want to have anything to do with me. It's very obvious, but why can't I just accept it? You are the one who is ruining your marriage by yourself, Derek, not me. I, I am the one who's breaking my marriage by myself, but it's not my fault. If only Vanessa will agree to it, we can all live together here as a happy family. Me, Vanessa, Tessa and Joey together. I need to call Tessa and be sure that she has gotten to Abuja safely. She is not picking my calls. She must be really mad at me. But what I am doing as well is wrong. I shouldn't be treating Tessa this way. She deserves better than all of this. She does. What am I going to do now? What have I even done? I let her walk out of the house with her bags without even stopping her. What is wrong with me? I am the one ruining my home. I have to call her again. Betty, open the door and talk to me. I know you are in there, but you are not answering me. Can't be possibly thinking of being with Calvin. I know you are only doing this so as to get over me, but you can't get over me. Love doesn't work that way. I've got a plan for us, Betty. A plan that we both can use to be together. Betty, please open the door and talk to me. I beg of you to talk to me. I'm not myself ever since I saw you and Calvin together. I can't just think straight right now. All I want to do is to be with you. I love you, Betty. Betty, I love you. Please say something to me. Oh, Betty, I love you. Betty, I love you. Please say something to me. What the hell are you doing here, Kevin? Shouldn't you be at home? I should be the one asking you that question. Shouldn't you be home with Chloe? What are you doing here, Kevin? I'm here to see Betty. But you shouldn't be here, Jeff. See, you've got a woman at home waiting for you. Imagine how Chloe would feel if she sees you here. So you're an... Advocate for Chloe. I'm only telling you the truth here. Can't you see what you are doing, Jeff? Trying to ruin the relationship that Betty worked so hard for. Is that what I'm doing here? What about you, Kevin? You don't care about our friendship. I actually care about our friendship, Jeff. I've always cared about it. But do you? I mean, you've gotten a woman in your life, yet you still want Betty. Meanwhile, I got none. You have got a lot of ladies up your sleeve, Kevin. You can go for any one of them, yet you are choosing Betty, although you know how I feel about her. You are with Chloe, man. You both went on a two weeks vacation and now you are here trying to tell me how you feel about Betty. If you love her as you claim, then call off the relationship with Chloe and be with her here. I'll call off the relationship. And then what next? Date Betty? Do you think she'll accept you? Hurt Chloe again by having an affair with you? I'm a better choice for Betty, man. Admit it. You stay away from Betty, Calvin. Find yourself someone else. I love Betty, and I know she also feels the same way about me. I'm heading home, not because of you, but because I know nothing will happen between you and Betty. Look at him, so full of himself. <laughs> Betty is mine. We are both going to end up together. I just know that. Welcome, my love. Thank you. Don't tell me you've been watching movies all day long. You don't blame me since I don't have a job of my own anymore. You get a job when you're ready to take your documents out there to search for a job. Baby, you're really serious on me going out there to look for a job. Do you think I was joking? I offered you a good job with a great pay, but what did you do? You squandered up the opportunity and now you expect me to do it again? Come on, baby. All you need to do is to say the word. Ask them to take me back. I can't do that, Oscar. I know the money you're getting from me regularly is sufficient for you. That's why you haven't considered looking for a job. Do you want me to look for a job? There's something I need you to do for me. I've just sent you a picture of a client. I need you to follow him up and see if he's meeting with any lady. Report back to me. His face kind of seems familiar. Familiar or not familiar, are you going to be able to follow up with this or should I give it to someone else? Is he your lover? He seems to be kind of my age mate, if I'm not mistaken. Don't worry about the job anymore. I'll give it to someone else. I'll do it. I'm just curious, you know. Since you've mentioned that we are no longer in a committed relationship, I want to know if this is my competition. If it's your competition, what are you going to do about it? Kill him? What? No, I'm no murderer. Do this job right, I might consider getting you a job. But who is he? I should know something about him at least. You're going to end up getting me pissed off, Oscar. Have you made dinner or did you order food? I'll place another now. I was waiting for you to return back from work. 
Hello, Derek. Vanessa, where are you? Let me come and meet you right away. Calm down, Derek. See, I don't know why you're acting this way. Like something is wrong with you. It's not meant to be so. I'm in love with you, Vanessa. Do you know how it feels like to lose you again for the second time? I don't want this to happen. I can't lose you again. You are not losing me, Derek. We are friends, good friends. I don't want to be your friend. I want something more. You saw that my lover proposed to me today. At least now, this should make you back up and focus on your home. Focus on building your home like I'm trying to do here. Tessa packed her bags and left me already. She left? How could you allow her to pack her bags and leave you, Derek? That's very wrong. You should go after her. I tried, but she's not even picking my calls. You are ruining your marriage. I don't want to put myself in Tessa's shoes right now. I'm sure she's heartbroken and unhappy because of how you have been acting towards her. Don't worry about my home. I and Tessa understand ourselves. I shouldn't even be calling you. I'm just doing this because I want you to know that I appreciate all you have done for me. I really do. But I've moved on. You should be moving on with me, baby. We should be together. I love you. Derek, goodbye. Oh my god! Desmond! You started me! How long have you been there? Not quite long. You seemed engrossed with the person you were talking to. Who were you talking with? Why isn't Anova going through again? Did she block me? Well done. So this is the reason why you have been all moody. Tessa, what? You're back, baby. I've been calling you over and over, but you're not picking your calls. I was even about to call you again. Because it seems like you are perfectly fine with the fact that I'm no longer around you and gone. I've not been myself because of you. I've called your mom, but she told me she hasn't seen you or spoken with you. Who were you talking to on the phone? Telling I love you. It's no one, really, Tessa. All that was just nothing. Where have you been? I've been trying to reach out to you. You are cheating on me, Derek. Is that it? Cheating on you? Why would you think I would do something like that to you? Be sincere for once and tell me who you were talking with on the phone. Or better still, show me the phone. Let me have your phone. What do you want to see on my phone? I'm telling you that it's all nothing. Was that Maria? Are you two back to each other again? Maria, come on, Tess. Let's not argue tonight. You're back home. That's all that matters to me and makes me really happy. Show me the phone, Derek. I want to see who you were talking to. That's of little importance. You know what we're going to do? We're going to go out and celebrate my birthday today. You are not serious, Derek. Tessa, baby, it's really nothing. Why don't you believe me? What are you doing here, Jeff? That came to drop you off. Are you not monitoring my movement, Jeff? Watching where I go and who I go out with? Is that what you're doing? I'm not monitoring your movements, but you can't blame me for acting this way, Betty. Why are you here? First you came in the morning and now you're here again. What exactly do you want from me, Jeff? I want us. I want a relationship with you, Betty. That's what I want here. For us to sit down and make plans on how we are going to work out our relationship together. What relationship are you talking about? Betty, all these stuff you are doing, just stop it already. Going out with different men, just stop it already. Who told you I'm going out with different men, Jeff? And what's even your business if I decide to go out with different men? It's my concern because I know you are doing all this because of me. You give yourself too much credit, Jeff. I am not doing anything because of you. Who were you talking to on the phone? I was talking to a friend, to Lillian. You were talking to Lillian? Are you serious? Because it didn't sound like Lillian to me. What did it sound like, Desmond? Like my mom or what? Like a man. It sounded like you were talking to one of your lovers. I have no lover except you. I'm sure you know that already. Can I have your phone? I want to see who you were speaking with. If it is Lillian, as you said, let me have your phone. What do you want to do with my phone? I told you it's Lillian. Lillian? Well, let me see how the phone. I want to be sure it's Lillian. I can't give you my phone, Des. I'm sorry, but I can't. You can't? Are you seriously telling me you can't give me the phone I bought for you? When you bought the phone, I remember you gave it to me and told me it was mine. Or is the phone now yours? I just want to see who you called. And if you are so sure of yourself, allow me see it. I'm not showing you my phone, Des. I don't care what you say. You are hiding something from me. I just know it. Give me back my phone. Desmond, give me back. It's... It's actually Lillian. Um, I thought it was Lillian, didn't I? I'm going home. I can't stay here tonight. Baby, the words you were saying, it's... What words did you hear me say? You don't trust me, although you proposed to me. Why did you even propose to me? Just why? Because I love you. If this is what love looks like, I don't want it. I'm going home. I can't still understand what Calvin was doing at her house by that time. Why was he there by that time of the night? Shouldn't he be in his own house or does he and Betty have anything together? She told me she is single. So why was Calvin there? Seems like the two of them are kind of close though. But it's like Betty is close to everyone. I can't just place it. 
So you are telling me that you're not going out with different men because of me? I'm not. See, I'm trying to find my balance here in Lagos and it's likely that I've found it and now it's time for me to find love. True love that doesn't need any form of struggle. Why are you looking for love when you have got me here? We are both in love with each other. I'm not in love with you, Jeff. What we had was a mistake. Really a mistake? And you think saying this means a mistake all of a sudden? Jeff, I think you should go home to Chloe. I bet she's waiting for you. We shared something that was real. It wasn't a joke to me. I know you love me. Love. Love, love, love. What does love change here? Let's say I love you. What does it change here? What? It changes a lot. It means that I can go on with my plans. Your plans? Jeff, I've had a long day at work with Richie. All I want to do is sleep. Just stop seeing Kelvin and these other guys. Why would I stop doing that? Because you and I, we end up together. I'm just so sure of it. Jeff, you and I will never end up together. You belong to Chloe. Exactly. He belongs to me. What are you doing here, Jeff? I've been waiting for you inside the house since. I told you I was coming, didn't I? What are you doing here, Jeff? I'm Betty. What are you two doing all alone by this time of the night? Were you to plan on doing something bad again? Chloe. Did you call Jeff to come over and see you at home? Is that it? Because I know Jeff wouldn't come to see you without you calling him over. I think you two should leave my house. I'm tired. You are tired now. Wait, have you two already slept with yourselves? Did you sleep with my man again? Did you sleep with you, Jeff? Chloe, stop it. Stop it already. Fine. So what were you two doing here? I need an explanation. Shouldn't you be at home? What are you doing here by this time? She doesn't want to see me. I have no one else to turn to, so I'm here. Come with me and go beg her, please. What did you do wrong this time? I took her phone and checked it. I thought she was talking to a man. Oh, Desmond. See, I just go back from work and I'm exhausted. Plus, I don't know what to say to her if I go there. Kelvin, you can't forsake me now. What I did to her was wrong. I know I messed up, but I need someone to beg on my behalf. For how long, man? Remember the last girl you did this to? And the person in question here is even my co-worker and Betty's friend. How do you expect her to look at me? It was a mistake, and I promise, just help me this one time. It won't happen again. I love Vanessa. But you know this isn't love. Love trusts, and you've got a lot of trust issues here. Please help me out here. I trust her. It's just that she's so annoying at times and she's always acting like she's hiding something. Then talk to her. If you feel she's hiding something from you, talk to her and ask her about it. Don't be acting all bossy around her. I'm not acting bossy around her. Man, she just helped me out. You know I proposed to her today and now I've messed it all up. You proposed today? Are you serious, man? Yes, I did. And now I feel I've ruined it all up. Please, let's just go over and see her. I'm sure she'll open the door when she sees you are there with me. I'm too tired. I can't help out this time, man. I've had a long day. Plus, stop involving me in all this. Remember I wasn't there when you were checking her phone and accusing her wrongly? Are you going to leave me now when I need your help the most? What's the use of going to talk to her when I know you'll do it again? You need to start seeing your therapist again. Yeah, I will. Once Vanessa forgives me, I'll visit the therapist. Okay, I'll call you later to ask for an update if she forgive you or not. But if I were Vanessa, I wouldn't forgive you. You're not even helping the situation. You are the one not helping matters. Because you've refused to work on yourself and your anger. You better go and do something about it. So you won't go with me? Is that what you're saying? Yes, I'm not going with you. I need to rest. Are you going to stay here or you're going to her place? Because I'm sleepy. Jeff, you should answer the questions. What are you doing here? Tell Chloe. I wasn't asking Jeff the question. I was asking you, Betty. Why did you call my man over to your apartment? Because I know you called him. Chloe, can you stop? I don't need your permission to come see Betty or talk to anyone. Just stop with what you're doing. Chloe, don't you dare call my name, Betty. Why are you just looking for a means to ruin everything? I don't understand what you're driving at or what you're insinuating. So if I hadn't come in, the two of you would have done something. Or maybe you both already did something, right? Cause the atmosphere is tensed. Why would I do something with Jeff when I'm already with someone else? I don't understand why you're talking to me this way. You already have someone new. Really? So who is this guy? I'm with Calvin. I didn't just want to tell you at the restaurant, but we are together. Seriously? You are with Calvin? Yeah, and Jeff saw him here this morning. Ask him if you don't believe me. See, I'm just tired of all these non-stop arguments between us. You are with Calvin? Wow, I suspected that you two had something going on already. Now, can the two of you leave my house so I can rest my head, please? I'm tired. Maria, can I come in? Yes, Betty, you can come in. Here's the document you asked for. I also sent a copy to your mail. 
I don't remember asking you to submit this file today, so why are you submitting today? Are you trying to show off yourself in front of the supervisor? No, I'm not showing off. I'm just doing my work diligently. And you never complained when I sent you a copy to your mail. Okay, you can drop it and leave. But there's something I'd like to say before I leave. What is it, Betty? I hope you're not thinking of going to lunch with me. But it's about the award. I know nothing about it. I wasn't even expecting it. But I also want to say thank you for your guidance and support. Because without it, I wouldn't have gotten the award and promotion. Guidance and support, I see. Yes, Maria, you've always been my mentor since I got here. If that's the excuse you tell yourself so you can hide the truth from everyone, I see you. You can't deceive me, Betty. I'm not hiding any truth. At first, I started to think that maybe you were sent here because of your hard work and not because you were sleeping with bosses. But now I know better. All this won't last. It will only get you into more trouble. Maria, I never did anything like that and I will never do such a thing. Oh, spare me the empty words, Betty. I've watched you. You act like you're better than everyone else in this office. And you've already been awarded for excellence and hard work. I don't do that, ma. You can leave, Betty. You can see I'm busy. What was that all about? Did I see her crying? Nothing you should worry about. I was correcting her and she got all emotional. Hello, Vanessa. How are you doing this morning? Kelvin, I'm fine. And you? You seem to be in a really bright mood this morning. You can't blame me, can you? But you're looking kind of dull. Is everything okay? Yeah, I'm good. I'm fine. Doesn't look that way to me. I know it's you and Desmond, right? Me and Desmond? Oh, he must have told you what happened, right? Yes, he did. And I'm sorry about how he acted yesterday to you. Did he ask you to come here and beg me to? Because that's not going to work. Yes, Desmond came to my house last night asking me to beg you to forgive him because he didn't mean what he did. I don't want to talk about him, please. I'm trying to be in my best mood this morning. I totally understand you, but just be patient with him. I tell you he's a better man because of you, Vanessa. You are changing him for the better. Your sweet words won't work, Calvin. This month is obsessive and annoying. Betsy, why are you looking this way? Is everything okay? I'm fine. Shouldn't you be in your office, Calvin? The supervisor is close to your office. What? I'll see you guys later. What's wrong with you? That smile on your face looks fake. Maria thinks I'm sleeping with those in higher positions and that's why I got the award and promotion. Oh, that's not new. This is a workplace and it's normal for people to talk. Since you know what she's saying is not true, I don't think you should let it affect you. But I've even asked for the award and all the drama that comes with it. I just wish I can be on our good page. But the harder I try, the more further I get from being in our good books. I'm new here, but seeing how you work, you deserve the award. Don't let anyone make you feel bad about the award. Okay, if you say that was something I should worry about, then no problem. I am here regarding something else. Okay, what is it you need? You know for sure that I'm going to help you out with that. Maria, complaints are being made on you having an affair with almost every junior male staff in the office. Excuse me, what are you doing Richard and how is my relationship any of your concern? Is that what you're here to focus on? I see you didn't understand the question well. Why do you have affairs with younger men, particularly those who came here looking for employment? I don't know how this is a problem with you. Plus I can be with whoever I choose to be with. Plus there's no proof to your accusation of saying I have something to do with people who come for interviews. There are so much evidence that you can imagine and the complaints are numerous. This is an embarrassment to the company. An embarrassment. See, I know what you're trying to do here, Richard, but I tell you that you feel at it. My personal life isn't your business. I don't even have an affair with any staff here. You can lie as much as you want, Maria, but I will say that you also offered yourself to me the first day I was here. <laughs> oh, dear son, you can't seriously think. You've got to be joking. This has come to the notice of the head office and I also let them know that you offered yourself to me so that I might keep quiet about things I found happening in this branch. Hello Oscar, how are you doing today? I'm good and getting used to Lagos, though it's tiring. Only you didn't tell me you were already tired and wanted to leave the state. I can't get tired now, plus I can't leave yet. Anyways, how's you and Jeff doing? He's fine, but he still acts strange. Strangely how? Do you think he and Betty are still seeing each other? No, not that. They are no longer seeing each other in that way. What makes you think so? Betty has someone new that she's seeing now. It's Jeff's friend, Calvin. And I don't think she wants to do anything with Jeff anymore. She's already with someone new so quick. I'm even happy that she's with someone now. I won't have to worry that she might come back to Jeff. But I don't know why Jeff is still acting somehow. Obviously, because he still loves her. And maybe he's jealous that she's with his friend. And he's taking out his anger on you. Must she always ruin everything for me? Damn, I didn't even think of this.
Thank you for your good words to me, Vanessa. Is that a ring on your finger? Yeah, it's a ring. That's more proposed to me yesterday. What? Oh my god. Congratulations, darling. You didn't tell me about it. It skipped my mind and I was just so excited. Plus, we were all busy yesterday. I guess we have a wedding coming up really soon. I'm going to be your best lady. A wedding? I'm not sure we are having a wedding anytime soon. And why is that? Why are you even sounding all cold this morning? What's wrong with you? Did you wake up at the wrong side of the bed? It's actually Desmond. It's just so annoying, Betty. What happened between the two of you? I thought he just proposed yesterday to you. Yeah, I know that. But the way he's so obsessive of me, acts like he doesn't trust me, questions my every mood. See, it's all just annoying to me. He loves you. That's just what I see here. I know he loves me, but love doesn't have to look this way. Do you know he took my phone from me last night and checked my calls to know who I was speaking to? What? He did that to you? Checking your phone? Yes, it was so annoying. And to be sincere, I was lucky because I just finished speaking with Derek. It was his birthday. Girl, did he see that it was Derek you spoke to? No, he didn't. I saved Derek's number with Lillian's name, so he wouldn't know. You this lady, you're acting sly right now. I wouldn't have to be acting this way if only he was understanding of me. If only he isn't the person who gets angry. But Desmond's anger is just too much. I don't even know if I'm making the right decision by accepting his ring. I totally understand you. But hey, there's no rush here. You can still return the ring back to him or you feel he's not the right man to you. But he looks like a cool guy. They always look like cool guys, but deep inside they are wolves in sheep clothing. Why would Betty agree to date Kelvin? I know she doesn't love him. She's just doing it to make herself feel better. Come to think of it, why was I so stupid to accept Betty's idea of going back to Chloe? Jeff, you and I will never end up together. You belong to Chloe. What is wrong with her? Why would she just conclude that the two of us can't be together? What is she trying to hide? The fact that she loves me? I know what I'm going to do. I'll go and see Betty and tell her about my feelings for her and why I want to be with her, not Chloe anymore. And I'll make her see reasons why she can't be with Kelvin because she will just end up regretting it. The same way I'm regretting it now. Yes, you're back home. Do you know how worried I've been? Worried? I bet you were happy that I was leaving. You didn't even try to stop me. I knew you were pissed and that no matter what I said, you were still going to leave. But baby, I'm sorry. I know you're unhappy with the way I've been doing and my attitude towards you. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry, baby. Please. You are sorry. Is that all you've got to say to me? I've been an unloving man to you. Busy with work. You even came all the way to celebrate my birthday, but I messed up. Baby, please, I'm sorry. I know my behavior hasn't been good. And in that way, I have made you feel unloved and like you're forcing yourself on me. But that's not true. Do you even love me, Derek? Or I'm just here fooling myself about everything. I love you, Tessa. You're my woman. It's just that I've got a lot going on in my head at the moment, and it's affecting a lot of things around me. Tell me what's wrong. What bothers you? Share it to me, baby. I'll be fine, baby. And don't worry. I'll fix it all, I promise. I hope you do, because it's worrying me. I am not happy this way. I really am not. I'll make it up to you. Plus, I think we should go back to Abuja together. I am no longer interested in Lagos. The manager can run things and report to me. Baby, are you serious right now? Yes, I am. We'll go back to Abuja together and we'll all be together as a family. Oh my god, baby. You have no idea how happy this makes me. I am sure Josie will also be really excited because he has missed his big daddy beer. Hey, babe. How are you doing? I'm fine. I hope you included me in that food because it looks yummy. Just by looking at it, I'm already hungry. I didn't know you were coming to the restaurant now because this is a customer's order. But don't worry, I'll make something for you once I'm done with this. Sure, babe. I know you have to attend the customers first. I have all day to wait for mine. Hello? Yes, this is Chloe. What? An accident. <laughs> okay, I'll be with them soon. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> Babe, who called you? What's wrong? What's wrong? I got a call from the hospital. They said my parents were involved in an accident. Oh my god. What? How did that happen? Oh my god. I'm leaving now. I need to go and see them. I'm coming with you, but you need to stop crying. They are going to be fine, I'm very sure. Let me just call the other chef to come and take over. Oh my god, my mom, my dad. I don't want to lose my parents. <laughs> Nothing is going to happen to them. They are going to be fine. I'm so sure about that. Can you be on your way now? I'm stepping out of the restaurant. I'm scared, Jeff. Oh God, please, please let nothing happen to them. Please, God. Baby, you've not said anything since you came to the bar. Plus, and it's unlike you to come to the bar at this time of the day. Why are you looking unhappy? What happened? 
I got suspended at work, Oscar. Can you imagine? What? How can you get suspended at work? What happened? It's because of the new lady they sent to the office. Ever since she came, I knew she was a problem. I knew she had an agenda. How can a lady like that, without high qualifications, be given a promotion? I knew there was something fishy. She's a spy. A spy in your office? Yeah, she's a spy. Can you imagine? They even gave her an award for hard work. And the next thing I know, I'm suspended. What did they say you did to warrant the suspension? I don't want to talk about that. So how else would they have known about everything going on in the office if she didn't speak? Because this isn't the first time we're having a supervisor in the office. But this time everything is just different. Someone must have been leaking information, I guess. I know, Oscar. When I know she's sleeping with someone in the main office, that's the only way she can get these kinds of evils. So what are you going to do now? I don't know yet, but I know I'm going to make her wish she wasn't sent to my office. I trust you. You know how to turn this into something favorable. Yes, I'm thinking of a plan. Betty. Betty? Betty is the spy? Mr. Richard, good afternoon. You sent for me, sir. Yes, Betty, please sit down. And I have told you to stop with the sir, just Richard. Thank you, Richard. I saw you in Maria's office earlier on, and you looked a bit emotional and unhappy. I hope you're fine. I'm fine. Thank you for asking. It's okay. That's been said. The reason I called you here is to let you know that Maria has been suspended, and the head office wants you to take over her position. What? Why? She's a good leader. Why would she be suspended? Yes, the company understands that she has been with us for a long period of time and overall, the company has had good business. However, she is on suspension because of some behavior that has come to the attention of the company. What kind of behavior? The head office has been watching everything happening in this office for some time now. They know why they make their decisions. Mine is to just deliver and report back. But why am I the one being chosen to take a position? This is too much. I can't do it. I understand how you feel, but as you can see, you are next in line for her position and in her absence, someone needs to be in charge until her suspension is over. And for how long is this suspension? For now, it is indefinite, so I can't tell you when Maria will be back and how long you will be the manager. This is too much. First of all, I just got to this office and was given an award and now Maria is suspended and I'm expected to be the next manager. I understand how you feel, but I am not the one making these decisions. I am just following the directions given to me. My role is to supervise and once I am done, I will be leaving. Wow. Wow. I don't want this. Congratulations, Betty, on your new promotion. Keep up the good work. Richard, this is too much. I can't do it. People will talk about me and make my work hard. You should be proud of yourself that you have been given this position. Here you are. Let's see what has been making him at. Surprising. He didn't change the password of his phone. Nice one. Let's see what he has been up to. There is nothing on his phone. No message or string numbers he is calling. He has been deleting his calls or message. Or is he not doing anything hidden? Tessa, baby, have you seen my phone? It's not in the room and I want to go out. Yeah, it is. I saw it here and I wanted to bring it to you. I thought you might need it. Okay, babe. Thank you so much. I'll see you when I get back. Make sure you miss me. You know I will miss you, but hope you won't be staying out late. No, I won't be staying out long. I just want to see someone regarding business and I'll be back. So don't miss me too much. Okay then, take care of yourself. Love you, baby. Yes, Maud, you can see I'm at my workplace right now and I don't need all this much talk. I have a supervisor around. This conversation is over between us. So you're asking me to leave your office? Yes, I am. There is nothing for us to talk about. Just give me the break I asked for. I need time to think. Okay, I will leave. But still, I'm sorry for everything that happened. I love you so much and I want you to forgive me. But if you need break for now, I will give you. Although I wish you won't ask for a break. I just need time to myself to think all of this through. Yes, Betty is the spy. I knew it. If you can remember right, from the first day I came to your office that she was giving me an attitude. You remember she even called security on me the last time. She has been acting as if she was the one who owns the company and could do whatever she wanted. What do you want to do about the whole situation? Or do you want me to do something about it? I have nothing to do about the situation. I've already been suspended. You know, at some point, I started to believe that she was hardworking. You can't just let this go away like that. You should do something about the issue and teach her a lesson. I have nothing to do. I think I should just enjoy this whole suspension. You should do something. All you need to do is ask me. And I promise I'll punish that lady. I'll let her know that she can't come out of nowhere and mess with my woman. I just said I want nothing done about it. I don't want to talk about it again.
If you say so, I'm just trying to help. Any news about the person I asked you to tell? I've been on him all day, but nothing yet. He goes home, then goes to work, that's all, and he's not meeting anyone. Okay, I want you to still keep an eye on him and tell me when something new comes up. Okay. I saw you in Richard's office. Hope everything is okay. No, everything is not fine. What happened? It seems since that man came to this office, a lot of things have just been taking place. Call to tell me that the head office wants me to take over Maria's office during her suspension. What? This is not good news at all. What did you say to him? Yes, it's not good news. The person in the head office making this decision is just putting me in a tight spot here. I told him I could not do it. Right now, I don't even know what to say. Because if Maria finds out about this, she's going to be pissed at you. It just makes me feel like all that she said about me is true. Like I just got here. Why all the promotion? I don't even have the qualification. That is very true though, Betty. But I think you are getting lucky. Your lucky month. Why does my lucky month have to be now? I'm just new here in Lagos and well, all this. Well, in ways, I think you deserve it, Betty. I don't think so. There are others who deserve this more than me. You are one of the oldest in this branch. The position should have gone to you and So what do you want to do now? First, I will speak to Maria about what Richard said. Then I think I will not take it's the position. It's best if Maria hears it from you than hearing the news outside. But you should not go and see Maria alone. It's not advisable. I don't plan on doing that alone. Remember, she still lives with Oscar. And I don't want to go there and meet what him all alone. What do you plan to say to Maria when you meet her? I'll tell her my side of the story and let her understand that I am not a spy because it's obvious that's what she I pray she believes me. you. If not, she's going to hate you after all this. I never imagined that Lagos would give me all this drama. I am confused. You shouldn't be confused. You should be happy instead. Happy? But I'm not happy about this Calvin. Maybe if the circumstances were different, I would have been happy. Hello, Vanessa. Hello, Derek. How are you doing? It's been a while. Hope you're fine. Yes, I am fine. I never imagined that you were going to call me. I thought you had forgotten about me completely. In as much as I want to forget you, a part of me still always thinks about you. So how is your family and work? They are fine and work is going well. How about you? Hope work has not consumed most of your time. One can't explain. I'm doing fine, thanks to you. Okay, that's good. And it's good to hear from you. It's also good to hear from you, Derek. I want to see you, if you'll be free. Wow, you want to see me? Today must be my lucky day, I guess. Of course, I'll be with you soon. Where should we meet? Why is everything just moving slowly, Jeff? There's an issue with the weather. That's why everything is going this way. And there's a delay. We should have taken the road, Jeff. At least by now, we would have gotten there. You and I know that it will take a longer period. And the whole traffic stuff. But what's the use of paying for a flight if they are taking way too long for us to just leave? The time we've used here is kind of same to the normal time on the road. I know you're anxious, but just be patient. How can I be patient, Jeff? See, I'm just thinking of all the possible things that could be going wrong. Maybe they are dead already. Stop thinking all these bad thoughts. Everything is going to be fine. It's just a scratch they got. You see that I said it. I'm calling back the person that called me, but she's not even picking up her calls. That's cause you are calling her too much. Just drop the phone and relax a bit. Let me go and speak to flight attendants. I'm sure they will have some information for us. I'm coming with you, Jeff. No, I know you're going to cause a scene there. Just stay here and wait for me. Where are you going to by this time of the night? I want to go out for a business meeting, but I won't be staying long. But you can go to bed if I am not back home on time. I thought you said you are done for today and we are going to spend time together. Why are you going out again? I know I said that. I myself did not know something like this would come up. But I got the call and I need to go. But I promise I won't be long. Okay then, I'll be waiting for you. Don't stay too long. Try and finish the meeting on time. Okay, I'll see you soon, love. Where can he be going by this time of the night? All of a sudden, he's going for a sudden meeting. I don't believe in him though. Derek, you think you are smart? Okay, let's see who is smarter. I will know who you are going to see and where you are going today. What a surprise. Who do we have here? Betty, and who is this? Hello, Oscar. Remember my name. 
I am Kelvin. Why are you here, Betty? Missing me already. Why would I miss you? Please, it's Maria at home. We want to see her. Yes, yeah, she's at home, but I don't think she wants to see you. Can you please tell her that we are here? And if she doesn't want to see us, tell her it's about work. So now I'm your messenger. I can't see anyone else here but you to go and deliver the message. Or should I call her and tell her that you are refusing to tell her that we are around? I will tell her about it. Asking Desmond to give us a break. Is that the right thing to do? Like, for how long do I want to continue like this? I'm not yet married to him and he treats me like this. What if I am married, like Lillian? What will he do to me then? I can't be with a man who can't control his anger. Derek. Why did I even call Derek? I'm sure he will be here soon. I don't even know what I want to say to him. I just want to see his face. If only he wasn't married, I would be with him and not Desmond. That was fast. I thought Derek said he was at home. Hello, Vanessa. I know I'm not meant to be here. Desmond, what are you doing here? I thought I told you I don't want you coming to my house or workplace unannounced. You both know you said that because you were angry then and you were busy at work. Wait, you thought I didn't know what I was saying. Is that what you are saying? Baby, you were busy in the office, so I thought if I come over, we would have some time to talk about us more and clarify things. I have nothing to say to you that I haven't already said. Okay, since you have said everything you have to say to me, can I have my ring back? Yeah, it is. Take it. You could have easily said you don't want to give the ring back, but you removed it. Is that how much you detest me? Are you seeing someone else? You asked for the ring and I gave it back to you. I'm not in the mood for your drama, so please stop. Do you know how much I love you, Vanessa? Why is it so hard for you to forgive me? I told you I've forgiven you. I just need a break. And I was not the one who returned the ring. I never even thought of doing that. You came here yourself and asked for it. I asked for it. And you just give it back. Sometimes I ask myself, do you even love me the way I love you? That question should be directed to you. Do you love me, Desmond? Because anytime your anger comes, you don't think but act as you like. You're the reason of it, Vanessa. You know I'm a jealous type. And you do stuff that makes me jealous, and I don't know how to control it. Look, Desmond, I love you. But for us to make this work, you need to give me some time. And that's why I'm asking for a break. You can use that time to work on yourself and your anger. And I will also use that time to work on myself. We can still make this work without going on a break. And you can take the ring back. I just hope her parents are fine. I can't imagine what will happen if she loses them. God, let them be fine. What did she say? Nothing good, Jeff. They said the accident was serious and bad, and that they are in a coma. Coma? Yes. They can't tell me when they are going to come out of it. I'm scared. This is worse than we thought, but don't worry. They are going to be fine. <laughs> what if they don't come out of the coma? I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I know you are confused right now, but what your parents would want for you is that you should be strong. And I know they are both fighting to get better and come back to you. <laughs> what if they don't come out of the coma? Does that mean they are both going to leave me at once? They are going to come out of it. I just wish the weather would be clear soon, because all flights have been moved to tomorrow. Until tomorrow? I thought they said <laughs> in two hours time. All flights have been cancelled. Look at the weather, baby. It's dangerous for anyone to fly with this weather condition. This is not fair. I should be, I should be by their side. Why is this happening now? <laughs> Stop crying, my love. Everything will be fine. Why are you two here? Because I'm surprised you're both here. Maria, Betty came to see you and I came along with her. She's here to tell you something. Okay, what do you have to say, Betty? Make it brief. I don't have all the time. First off, I'm sorry about your suspension, Ma. I didn't know anything about it. I mean it. Is this what you're here to tell me? Calvin? Please, Maria, for my sake, just give her a few minutes, please. And Betty, just tell her. After you left, Richard came to me and he told me that the head office wants me to take over your position pending when your suspension will be over. Richard said that to you, offered you the position? Yes, he said they can't leave the position empty. Someone needs to be there. If someone needs to be there, why must it be you? It should be Calvin or any other person in the company. 
That's what I also said, ma. Glaya, I've been in the company for a long time and they have never questioned or given me a suspension. But since you came, all I've had to do with is issues. And that brings the question, how do they know what's going on in the company if someone is not telling them? That is true, but I have no idea of how they get the information. I know how they got the information. How so? Look at the person here, Calvin. She's the snitch and only God knows what she told them already. Kiss, how would they know about the men that have come to look for me in the office? Anyone could have done that or maybe they have hidden cameras in the office. Anyone could have done that, yes. But no one would do that because they know what you're going to lose. Well, you, Betty, have nothing to lose. Instead, you have more benefit from my suspension. I will never wish you bad and I have no idea why this is happening. Pretender, you're doing exactly what you came to do. Spy on me and bring me down, right? Well, I hope you're happy now you've fulfilled your mission and gotten the position as the new manager. I am not a spy, Maria. Calvin, please help me explain to her that I am also surprised about everything. I did not ask for any of this. Please don't come to my house and shed all this lying tears of yours. I'm sure you're happy you got the position. So go and take the position. I wish you luck. <laughs> I don't even want it. <laughs> You wanted the position, that's why you gave information that made me look bad. So go and have it. I don't want it. And I am going to speak on your behalf to the head office so that they can have you back. <laughs> look at you, Betty. What do I have to do to make you believe that I am not lying? You don't need to tell me anything. I already got the answer I need. How can a lady like you, without a master's degree and an orphan, come here and take everyone's position? And the answer can only be because you're sleeping with the boss on top. That is not true. I have never slept with anyone because I wanted them to give me a job or promotion. Don't worry. Sooner or later, your truth that you're hiding is going to be out. I just pity you, Calvin. You think she loves you. <laughs> no, she does not. And the minute she needs to spill something about you to get another promotion, I bet she will. I... Save it. I don't want to hear it. I wish you luck in your new office. Now get out of my house and never show your face here. What is he doing here? What kind of business meeting does Derek have here? Wait, is he not even entering inside? He's just standing outside and talking. I can't even see clearly from here. Derek, you are here. I am so happy you called, Vanessa. I haven't been myself since we last spoke. Yes, I know I called you because we needed to talk, but we can't do that right now anymore. And why is that? Do you know how happy I was when coming here? I can only imagine, but right now, this month is around, so we can't meet until some other time. You're still going to choose that guy over me? I know I shouldn't have called you, but I didn't know it would turn out this way. I promise we are going to see each other some other time. Okay, if you say so. Call me though. And who was that you were talking to outside? I was talking to a friend. Is there anything bad in me talking to one? But I can't have friends anymore. Wait. Is that what you want to be doing? Is that why you said you needed a break? So you still haven't changed, always following men like you did before. That's what I think you should just go home, so we don't end up arguing today. What? I thought you were different, not knowing you are still the same. All you do is just follow men here and there. This month, you're allowed to think what you like. See, I'm tired of all of this. You are cheating on me? How dare you, Vanessa? You can think whatever you like, just leave my house, please. Oh, I should leave, right? You think I'm stupid? Desmond, you slapped me? Are you crazy? Will you shut up? I will slap you again and again. You think I'm joking with you here? I did not do any of what Maria is accusing me of. I know you did not. And don't mind her. I'm sure she's saying all those things because she's angry that you got the promotion. But it's normal for her to think that way. After all, that's what everyone thinks. Even you. That was what you once thought. That I was a spy, but I'm not. Yes, but you can't blame yourself. And none of this is your fault. I know it's not my fault, but why is all this stuff happening? Let's see Maria got exposed. All these stuffs are all her fault. She's the reason she got suspended. Why would you say that? Because it's the truth. The fact that she follows younger men and she also had an affair with some staffs the company should not suspend her because of her affairs whom she wants to date is her choice yes it's her choice but sometimes her choices can also affect how people see the company that is not my business right now because everyone thinks i'm a spy which i am not and now i'm asked to take her position so what are you going to do about it then first thing tomorrow i'm going to go see richard and tell him that i'm a and let him know that i'm not fit for the position and that i can't take it and you think richard will listen to you and give the position to someone else 
I don't care if he listens or not. You should just tell the head office I'm not doing it. I don't know what to tell you at this point. All I can say is that everything will be fine. And maybe that is what God wants you to have. He should give me what I asked for and not this. I never imagined this is how Lagos would treat me. You are strong and you are going to overcome this. Maybe there is truly someone in the office favoring you. Not you too. See, I don't know anyone from the head office, so why should I be favored? I only try my best to do my work well. That's it. I'm not saying you've had anything with them. I'm just saying maybe the person has a crush on you, like Richard, so he's favoring you. This joke is not funny. It's only making me more uneasy. What was that about? You seem so pissed. Yes, I'm pissed. Can you imagine Betty came here with Calvin to tell me that she was giving my position and my suspension is over? I told you that I needed to do something about it, but you said no. What is even more annoying is that Calvin is refusing to see the truth of the whole situation, that she's a spy. Let's punish her. That way she will know her place and not spy on you again. Calvin is acting stupid around her because he loves her and I think they might have started sleeping together. So those two are dating. Can't you see the way they are around each other? I remember when she first came, Calvin and I were determined to send her back. But now he does not want to do any of that. She already has him wrapped around her fingers, just like she did with the previous boss. So you think she's sleeping with the boss? Yes, yeah, she is. Because that's the only way she can execute all of these plans of hers. First, she was transferred here, and she did not have the qualifications required for the transfer and the position. But she got it now. Now she made me suspend and she's taking my office. If you listen to me, I'll tell you that you should deal with her in a way that she'll never imagine. So she'll pick her bags and leave Lagos. I'm just tired of everything. See, I'm not sure I want to do any of that. Right now, I just want to rest my head. I'm tired of everything that's happening. What have I done to myself again? Why? Did I have to hit her? Huh. We just having a conversation. I don't even know what came over me. Why did I lose my anger? I had promised myself that I wouldn't do that again. I'm sorry here. Doing it again? How would I hurt the woman I love like this? I don't know why I reacted this way. Oh my god. You're awake, baby. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm sorry. This what? <laughs> I know you won't forgive me this time. But I want you to understand that I don't know what came over me. I don't know why I reacted this way. <laughs> this one, what did I do to you this time? Why did you beat me? I'm sorry. I didn't know what came over me. I was just angry that you wanted a break and you want to leave me and be with someone else. I'm sorry, Vanessa. Forgive me. This Please go away. I don't want to see your face. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Van. I never intended to hurt you. I promise you I won't do it again. It won't happen again. Give me one more chance. For how long do I want to keep going through this? This month. I want you to leave. Please, don't drive me away. I love you and I don't want you to leave. Please. I'm sorry. Leave! If you don't leave right now, I'm going to scream. Help! Help! Please, don't drive me away. <laughs> You are back on time, baby. Welcome. So, how was the meeting you went for? It was okay. I didn't think you'd still be up. I was waiting for you. Remember you said, if you are back, we are going to spend time together. So I was waiting. Oh, about that. Let's fix it for maybe another time. Okay. If you say so. But you are going to tell me what happened at the meeting. That's making you act a bit grumpy towards me. I'm fine, baby. It's nothing really. Don't worry about me. I hate it when you act this way. I am going to bed. Why is Vanessa not picking up my calls? Maria, I wanted to share my excitement with you. I won the award and it's such an honor. Congratulations, Betty. Thank you, Maria. I couldn't have done it without your guidance and support. Guidance and support? Is that what you think this is about? Betty, you think I'm proud of you. Maria, what's wrong? I thought you would be happy for me. We've worked together for so long and you've always been my mentor. Mentor? Is that all I am to you? Or just a stepping stone for your success? Maria, that's not true. You've always been more than a mentor to me. You're my friend. Friend? Friends don't steal from each other, Betty. You are the golden girl, always shining brighter than the rest of us. And now this award is just another reminder of how you've overshadowed me. But that's not enough for you. You also took my job. 
You know that's not true. I did not even ask for any of this. I don't even want it. You keep saying you didn't ask for any of this, but deep down, you don't care about how you get to the top at the end, even if you have to climb on your friend. Maria, I will never do this to you. In fact, you can take the award and the promotion. Do you think I was going to sit down and let you take everything I've worked hard for? No, never will I allow that. What do you mean by that? It means that you won't be able to take anything away from me because you would have been dead. Maria. What are you doing? Please drop the knife, please. No, you're going to die today, Betty. Die with all your words. Maria, no, please don't. No! Maria, please! Oh my god, it was just a dream. It's not real. How did I even dream of something like this? Jeez, what kind of mess have I found myself in? But it's only a dream. I won't overthink it. It's just a dream. Jeez, who is calling again? What does Oscar want with me again? Hello? I thought you didn't want to pick my call. Why are you calling me? What is it you want with me, Oscar? I'm just wondering how many of your bosses you have slept with. And where is this kind of question coming from? What's even your business if I'm sleeping with my bosses? You always try to act innocent and as if you're a saint, and that everything you have now is something that you've worked for. But now I know better. Is that all you have to say? I have other things I need to do. I know now that you have been sleeping with your bosses, and that's why you've been getting promotions. But I promise you I'll deal with you. I have never slept with anyone to get to where I am today. And you of all people should know that. But how do I expect you to understand when all you do now is sleep with older women for money? Let's see who at the end of the day will end up crying and begging. I'm sure by the time your company knows what you are doing, they'll end up sacking you and then you know what it's like to be jobless and homeless. I'm not scared of you, Oscar, and I have nothing to hide. Neither am I sleeping with men to get promotions. Goodbye. I'm sure you heard this from Maria, but why would she accuse me of something that's not true? Lagos, Lagos, please give me good dramas. Wait, am I deceiving me? Because this is Richard, man. Of course, man. It's me. So good to see you. You just left without saying goodbye. Yes, I had to return to Nigeria immediately after I finished. And you were too busy then with that new girl. You didn't have any time. Still you? Still, you should have dropped a message. That's true. But it's so good to see you. When did you come into the state? Some weeks back, my dad asked me to come and supervise this branch because we have been receiving some bad news that is affecting the branch's image. That's good. And I'm happy to see you. We have a lot of catching up to do. And I'm sure you haven't explored Lagos yet. Lucky you. Today you met the best man for that. I tried my best, but there's a staff here who helped out. See you. She won't be able to take you to the kind of places I'm going to take you. I'm sure it's just all those E-trees you've been to and you haven't experienced the nightlife of Lagos. That's true. You win. I will look forward to that. Trust me, Derek has you covered. I will look forward to that. Although, I'm wondering, why are you in Maria's chair? You two settled already. Nope. Well, Maria has been suspended. Suspended? You suspended Maria. You're kidding, right? The company, not me. But we found out that she had affairs with young men, but that's not even our concern because it's her personal life. But it came to our notice that she bullied young men who came for interviews into having relationships with them before giving them jobs. Wow, that's crazy and bad. Yes, it is. She could do it with anyone outside the company. But why yeah? It doesn't reflect well on the company. I get that, but something doesn't seem right though. You being here as the supervisor. I know what you're thinking, Derek, but it's not that. How is Tessa though? She's good, and we have a son now, Joey. Wow, that's great news, man. I should also settle down soon. You should, Richard. You're not growing any younger, man. I will. So what brings you to see Maria? Are you two still having a go at it, or what? That's all in the past, man. I'm loyal to my woman. Sorry, I just entered. I saw the door open and I thought I should check on you too. No problem. It's all good. Where is Chloe? And why isn't the restaurant open? It's kind of complicated. Chloe, what's wrong? Why are you crying? Jeff, what did you do to her? Chloe's parents had an accident and they're in a coma. We don't even know how they are responding. Oh my god, Chloe, I'm so sorry. I'm sure they are going to be fine and will wake up soon. I hope so. I just want them to be fine. Even though they don't have time for me. 
Of course, they are going to be fine. You need to be strong for them, okay? Thank you, Betsy. We're heading back to the airport. Hopefully today, we will be able to take our flight. I'm so sorry about this, Chloe. Please, you guys should call me as soon as you get there. And Jeff, please look after her. Sure, I will. Are you also take care of yourself? We will call you once we are there. Okay, bye. So if you are not here for Maria, who then? I checked Vanessa in her office, but she's not there. Speaking of her, uh, I have not seen her today. Recently, I don't even understand the kind of work she does because all her work has errors. So I thought she might be here. You should call her and speak to her. Don't suck her, man. I was not planning to, but if she continues this way, I don't have a choice but to do that. So she did not come to work today? If you didn't see her in her office, I guess she didn't come in. So why are you here for her? Let's leave that conversation till another time. I have to go now, but I'll see you around. Definitely, D-boy. You are finally here. I have been warming up your chair for you, manager. Richard, I came to see you regarding the offer given to me yesterday. I have thought about it all day and night, and I can't do it. I know that's what you were going to say, but you don't need to be scared. Everyone thinks I'm sleeping around to get this kind of promotion, and I don't want that. You don't need to worry about what people say about you, particularly when you know what they say is not the truth. But I have thought about it and came to tell you that I can't take the offer, no matter how tempting it is. It's a promotion, Betty. You don't reject promotions. I am sure you know this. I know, but please understand and help me convince the head office. I am sure they will listen to you. You are the manager of this company, Betty. You have got nothing to worry about and I totally understand your worries, but don't be scared. Why are you at home? Aren't you supposed to be at work? I choose to be home today. And what's the surprise visit for? The last time we saw, you were angry and accusing me of things I didn't do. Things you didn't do? I know you are still seeing him. And you are lying about it. Yes, I see him in the office, but other than that, no. This house belongs to you, Maria. So what is Drake doing there by this time of the night? Yes, this was my house, but it now belongs to Derek. I know you are trying to play games with me, but I am here to tell you that you should stay away from him. If not, you won't like it. And it wouldn't be nice if the two of us should fight because I am going to come out to you in a way you won't like it. Tessa. I have always respected you, Maria. Respect yourself and stop calling my man. You can have any man you want in this world. Any man. But stay away from Derek. We don't need your money anymore. There is something familiar about this house. Who does Derek have living in this house? This is a house I gifted him a long time ago. Who is possibly in the house now that he's always going to see? Something isn't just right here. I can't just place my fingers on it. With the continuous accusations from Tessa to me thinking I'm the one Derek is still going out with. But I'm right here and Derek hasn't told me anything about any lady. Should I call him? I could simply ask him about it and hear his response about it. He shouldn't lie to me, but what's even my business in all of this? I'm just curious, who is Derek going out with now that is allowing the person to ruin his home? Baby, is everything okay? Yeah, everything is fine here. Are you sure you followed up the man I asked you to? Yes, I did, but I found nothing on him. I've told you before, he didn't meet with any lady. All he did was to just go out and come back home daily. Something isn't right here. I think I'm still going to do some findings on my own. That's fine with me. You'll find out that I did a great job and he's not meeting with anyone. That's okay. This food sounds really nice. But all I want to do is eat up. It's specially made for you, Maria. You should enjoy every bit of it. Why is there only one spoon on it? Go and bring your spoon. Let's eat together. Sounds like you are scared to me. Don't worry. I didn't put any love potion in it. Have you ever seen me eating alone when I'm not tired? I wouldn't mind the love potion. So the fact the both of us sit down to eat together. It's going to be okay, Chloe. That's something I'm very sure of. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine, Jeff. <gasps> Look at them. Almost lifeless. They are both going to survive. You heard what the doctor said by himself. He said they are going to be okay. I'm sure they will be out of here soon. Why does this have to happen now? Just why? How could they have gotten into an accident? How? I'm going to make sure that whoever did this pays. It's okay, my love. I'm not going to forgive the driver. If anything should happen to my parents, I would never forgive him, I swear. <laughs> I won't forgive. Stop crying, Chloe. This will only end up affecting your health at the end of it all. Be strong. I'm not strong, Jeff. What am I going to do if my parents don't come out of coma? <laughs> what am I going to do? I'm going to be all alone in this world, Jeff. 
you are not going to lose your parents. I'm sure they will both come out of coma. The doctor said hope isn't lost. So stop thinking too far. Stop thinking this way. Okay, Jeff, thank you for being here with me. Thank you so much. I can't imagine being here all alone by myself. I'm always going to be by your side. I promise you this. Thank you so much, Jeff. Even though my parents were never there for me, I don't want anything to happen to them. I would rather have them alive. They are going to be alive. And who knows, we might all go for that vacation. We have always wanted all four of us together. What do you say? That's something I would really love, Jeff. I just pray they come out of coma soon. And I pray the driver also becomes conscious. So he will tell me what he had drank before driving my parents. It's all going to be fine. But for now, I suggest we focus on making sure they are all fine, including the driver, before we start stressing any of them out with questions or charges. Mom, Dad, you guys both need to wake up. I miss you guys already. Hello, Derek. Vanessa, are you free now for me to come over and see you? No, Derek, I'm actually not at home. I'm at the hospital. What are you doing in the hospital? Is everything okay with you? What happened? I'm not fine. I'm badly injured. <laughs> Desmond. What happened? How did you get an injury? What's wrong? Desmond hits me, Derek. He beats me up. What? You've got to be kidding me. He beat you up. Is he out of his mind or what? I don't know. He's a monster, Derek. <laughs> I'm coming straight to meet you now, and I'm coming with the police to arrest him right now. I hope he's there with you. No, he's not here. Don't bring any police over, Derek. I'm on my way. Are you at the general hospital or which hospital? I'm at Helping Hands Hospital. That's where he brought me. Please, don't come with authorities. I beg of you, Derek. Just come alone. I'll be with you very soon. Thank you. Desmond, can't believe he beat me up. I'm so ashamed of myself that a man beat me up. No. Good morning, Betty. Good morning, Richard. How are you doing this morning? I am doing quite okay. I hope you saw me in your dreams last night because I saw you in my own dreams. You dreamt of me? Are you for real or are you joking this time around? You should be able to tell if I am serious or joking by now. We have become close. I can't actually differentiate it from being sincere. Well, I am not joking about it. You were all over my dreams, although not like a nightmare but a good kind of dream. I see. How are you enjoying your new office manager, Betty? It's okay, but I feel like I don't deserve it and a lot of people also feel the same way. You feel you don't deserve it? Is that Betty talking or probably someone else talking? I'm the one talking. I wish Maria didn't have to be suspended. She is suspended because of her behavior. I am a supervisor here. I report all that I see and hear. It's less for the company to make their decisions and get back to me. I am also a staff here. A higher paid staff. A boss, actually. You deserve this position. Don't let anyone talk down at you. You work twice as hard. Imagine I, a stranger in Lagos, becoming the new boss here. It happens. I think you're actually very lucky, Betty. And your luck keeps following you all around. I guess I'm lucky, but I don't deserve it still. You can decide to steal down, write a letter to the main office or send a mail. Instead, I am sure they will read it and consider taking you back to your old position. But I bet you that no one in this office will reject this position if given the opportunity. That's true, I know that. Well, I hope Maria's suspension gets lifted so she can come back and have her position. I would like us to go for lunch. I don't take lunch breaks, most especially now when I have a lot of things to do. I don't think I'll be able to have lunch with you. It concerns the office and I think this will push the company in Lagos forward. Why isn't she here already? It's already 30 minutes past the time she picked. This is one of the reasons I hate working with others. Why can't they ever keep to time? It's always one excuse or the other for their behavior. What's wrong? Damn it. Why is Chloe acting this way? What's wrong with her? She was the one that selected the time and place and now she's nowhere to be found. Or has she changed her mind about the whole stuff? But it could be. I could say I miss you, but that would be untrue. I know I'm being kind of mean, but I learned all that from you. I'm sorry, man. I've been too busy to pick your calls. Look at all I'm doing at the same place. You sure seem busy. I can see that. Why are you looking this way? Is everything okay? Everything's not okay, man. I messed up big time, Kelvin. You messed up? What happened? I and Vanessa got into a fight yesterday, and I did something really stupid. I wish I didn't do it. Like, I can't look at myself in the mirror. What did you do, man? I mean, it can't be overly bad. I and Vanessa got into a serious argument, and I raised my hand on her. What? You raised your hand on her? Slapped her? I slapped her. And not just that, man. I beat her up. 
you've got to be kidding me right now you are joking right this you are joking i'm not joking why else do you think i'm telling you that i messed up kevin like i raised my hands on her i beat her what the hell is wrong with you i thought you stopped all this already i don't know kevin i'm just so ashamed of myself where's vanessa right now i hope you didn't lock her up in the house after beating her no i didn't do that what do you think of me man a monster or what I don't know what to actually think of you this right now i don't know sincerely where then is she is she in the office when did this even happen she's not in the office she's at the hospital i took her there what the hell man she's in the hospital oh my see this is bad you shouldn't be here with me in the office you should be with her at the hospital i was with her but she sent me away she didn't want to see me or have anything to do with me right now man i'm just confused right now you are confused on what exactly you beat her up I know what I did, but I didn't mean to do it. This month, you have to get yourself together and fix your anger issues. I thought you were visiting a therapist back then. What happened? I'm not going to see any therapist, Kelvin. I'm asking that you help me out here. Maybe we can both go to the hospital and see her, something like that. I can't be associated with you on this this month. Remember the last lady? I remember how you made me beg her and beg her, but you still ended up doing the same thing. This time is different. I want to marry her. I propose to her. I need to get to work. There's an external supervisor around and I don't want to lose my job here. Oh my god, Vanessa. Derek, you came. It's so good to see you here. <laughs> hey, look at me, Derek. What the hell happened to you, Vanessa? How can you let yourself be beaten this bad? I didn't allow myself. I was helpless. He overshadowed me and it happened so soon. I need to report this to the authorities right away. I am going to call- No, Derek. No, please. I don't want the police to be involved in all of this. Why not? Why would the police be involved? You're trying to cover up for a man that beat you blue and black. Can you even hear yourself? I know what I'm saying. I don't want any of that. When did this happen? What even happened? Why would he even raise his hand on you? I bet this isn't the first time this is happening. This is the first time, Derek. He was just so mad at me for answering him at the door. And he started talking to me in a harsh tone. Next thing... <laughs> He started to beat me. What? Is he out of his mind? Raising his hands on you? I don't know what came over him. I saw a side of him I've never seen before. Are you sure you don't want to report him? I just want to be fine and leave this hospital. That's just what I want. I don't want to be around him, Derek. I just want to live here. It's okay. Just stop crying. You shouldn't be with that kind of a man. Even if you won't be with me, you should be with someone who would love you and treat you right. I have to go and see the doctor to get an update on your health. The doctor said I'm okay. I need to hear it from his mouth. I'll be right back. Hello, ma'am. Are you free for us to go to lunch? Lunch sounds really nice, but can you see that I'm busy here, sir? How is the work going today? I hope you're not yet tired as our new manager. Baby, it's exhausting. Now I know why Maria is always frowning her face every now and then. It makes sense now. I haven't seen you frowning your face though. You are always smiling when I come to the office, Betty. And that's sweet for me. Have you seen Vanessa? I've been calling her but she's not responding and I guess she's not in her office, right? I've not seen her and she's not in her office. I'm sure something must have come up for her not to show up. Hope your supervisor won't give her a suspension as well. Ah, uh, supervisor. Doesn't look like he's supervising you here. He's impressed with your work here. So far, that's what everyone is saying in the office. What about you? What are you saying? I'm not saying anything. I know that everything is just surprising to you as well. I can't wait for Maria's suspension to be called up so she can be back here in her office. It feels really weird for me to be here. Let's go out for lunch, Betty. It's time for break. Hello, Calvin. Betty, are you ready? It's time for lunch. Yes, I'm ready. Calvin, I forgot. I agreed to go to lunch with Richard. Let me just round up some stuff here, Richard. Everything is getting more complicated for me right now. Why did her parents have to get in an accident now? Why now? Look at her, so tired and so helpless. Mom, Dad. Hey baby, it's okay. I'm here with you. I'm here. We came back to the hotel for a little nap. You were tired and needed rest. We have to go back to the hospital. What if they've woken up already? The nurse promised to call me once there's any news. I dreamed about them now, and we're all together. I think they must have woken up already, and they're waiting for me in the hospital. I know you want to see them, but you need to be calm. It is just 2 p.m. I shouldn't be sleeping, Jeff. We should be there, and you mustn't come with me. I know you are tired from the trip. I'm not tired. I'm here with you, and I'm going to be with you anywhere you go, until your mom and dad wakes up. Thank you, Jeff. I can't imagine being all alone here. <laughs> what will I do without you, Jeff? Have you been here before, Betty? 
No, I haven't. How did you find here? It looks so classy and unique. I asked around for one of the best places to have lunch and they pointed me here. It's really nice, I must say. So you mentioned that you had some ideas for the company, something that will push the Lagos company forward. Yes, I do. But before we talk about that, what's going on with you and Calvin? How do you mean what's going on? I saw him in your office just a few minutes ago and the way he looked at me when I walked you out of the office seems somehow to me. Oh, that's nothing. He's not jealous. He does what you're worried about. Why should he even be jealous in the first place? Are you two involved with each other? Yeah, he's my lover. We're in a relationship. Don't tell me you don't know. You and Calvi are in a relationship? Yes, we are. I, 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 I didn't know that. I mean, you guys are together. Now you do. But when we got to know ourselves, you mentioned being single. So how is it that you are now in a relationship with Calvin? It's not long I accepted his proposal to be his woman. Be careful, Vanessa. Thank you so much, Derek. Thank you for everything. I've told you to stop thanking me. How many times do you want to keep saying thank you? As many times as possible. You have to make sure you eat something now so that you can be able to take your drugs. I'm not really hungry. The drink I took while coming home is okay for me. You took an energy drink and you think you've eaten already. What would you like to eat so I can place an order for you? I'm not hungry. All I feel like doing is sleeping and relaxing my head. You want to relax your head? Come on, you've got to eat. I'll place an order for fried rice and chicken. I know you love that. That's fine with me, but I'm only going to eat small. That's fine with me. So fuck you eat something. But I hope you've blocked that guy's number. I'm even going to get you a new SIM card. That's not necessary. I've deleted his number for my phone. That's a good decision, but you should have blocked it as well. He didn't even show up at the hospital to check up on me again, to even apologize for what he did to me. Huh, <sighs> Desmond. Don't tell me you were waiting for him to show up at the hospital. Please don't say that. I'm just saying that he was wrong. Like, let's even say he made a mistake by raising his hands on me. No, Vanessa. Please don't create any excuses for that man. It's enough that you don't want to report to the police, but giving excuses that it was a mistake? Hell no. It wasn't a mistake. Do you know how I felt seeing you on that bed looking black and blue? Do you want to find yourself in the hospital again? Is that it? Are you trying to tell me you didn't see this, Oscar? No, I didn't. This is the first time I'm seeing him here. I don't believe what you're saying. How can you tell me today is the first time you're seeing Derek here in this place? I'm not lying to you. There's no way I wouldn't have noticed this. I gave you one job, yet you brought nothing productive for me. I still had to be the one to find out about this. I'm sure you didn't take the job seriously. I took it seriously. I even hired two boys to always follow him around whenever I came home. But nothing was gotten. This is the first time I've seen him here. Well, I've gotten the information I need. What do you want me to do now? Should I go inside the house and beat him up? Do you have the strength to beat anyone up, Oscar? You keep trying to act like you were born in the streets of Lagos, but you're not from here no matter how you try to blend in. I can't do anything you want me to do. The only thing I want you to do is to go home. I'll come and meet you at home. I need to think on how to get about this. <laughs> I've always suspected that there was something between the two of them, but he told me it was nothing. Well, now I've gotten some interesting information. Derek, I'm fine now. You can go home. Why would I go home, seeing that you're the only one here? What if this one gets information that you've left the hospital and he comes here to harm you? He won't come here, plus the doors are locked. Doesn't he have an extra key to your apartment? Or didn't you give him an extra key? Derek, I'll be fine. It's late already. Tessa is waiting for you at home. How do you know she's waiting for me at home? I've seen the two of you shopping together in the mall, and I guess she's still around. She's around, that's true. But she wouldn't be worried about me, because she knows how I can be at times, working all night long. But you're not working now. You're at my place. Vanessa, I am not going home, and I don't care what you say. I've made my decision. I'm staying here with you tonight. Maybe tomorrow I'll go home. You can't stay here with me, Derek. You have spent the whole day with me at the hospital. And I'll still spend the night here until I'm sure you're fine. Derek! Why don't you close your eyes and get some sleep, my love? You're stressing yourself out this way, don't you see? You never listen to me. I don't. And like I've always told you, fate will always bring the two of us together, Vanessa. No matter how you try to run, we're both meant to be together. I think I want to sleep already. I'll leave to the guest room once I watch you close your eyes. You don't have anything to worry about. I got you, Vanessa. Thank you, Derek. Is she? Is she a spy? Is she cheating on me? I can't help but ask myself these questions over and over. Why? Why would she? Betty, are you the one? Betty, I, I must be hallucinating. Betty and... <coughs> Where is this smoke coming from? Who? What the... <coughs> you think you can have what I want? What I desire, right? Is that it? What are you doing here? Who are you? <coughs> Oh.
call ring open the door i know you're probably mad at me and thinking that i and richard have an affair but i don't have anything to do with richard calvin calvin open the door you know what i'm coming in with my key calvin calvin help neighbors help oh god please let calvin be fine i beg of you let nothing happen to him betty richard what are you doing here i came to check on a friend what about you what are you doing here I brought Calvin in. He was involved in a fire accident at home. What? A fire accident? I'm sorry about that. Yeah, but he's been attended to by the doctor. I just hope he's going to be fine. I am so sorry about that, Betty. Any news yet from the doctors? I've not gotten anything. It's not long that we got here. I was lucky to get there at the time I did. Only God knows what would have happened to him if the house got burnt. I am sorry about this. Let me check around if I can get any information. I would really appreciate that, Richard. Thank you very much. This is really scary. What if I didn't get there on time? What was he even cooking that made everywhere to become smoky? Just what? He is in intensive care, Betty. But there's nothing to worry about. He is responding to all of the treatments. Oh, thank God. Thank you so much, Richard. You have no idea how relieved I am to hear this. I was so worried about him. It's okay. He's going to be fine. Now you should sit down and rest a bit rather than just standing. Have you had dinner already? No, I've not, but I'm not even hungry, Richard. I'm fine. You have got to get something to eat, Betty. I told you he's already doing fine. I want to be here when he wakes up, Richard. I can't go and get anything to eat. I totally understand. You know what? Why don't you tell me what you want and I will get it for you? Look at the time and he's not yet back home. I don't want to call him yet before he says my issue are becoming too much already. But he should be home by now. If I finally call me. Hello, baby. Tessa, I'm so sorry. I know you must have been waiting for me at home. Where are you, Derek? I have been waiting. Look at the time. It's late already. I know it's late. I've just been so busy with some stuffs and I'm not done clearing them out. What stuff have been keeping you busy since morning? It's work. There are some paperwork I need to get done. What are you saying in SS? I won't be able to come home tonight, my love. But by tomorrow morning, I'll be with you. What? Are you going to be working all night? Is that it? Yes, I'll be working all night, but I promise you that I'll make it up to you like I always do. Okay. Derek is cheating on me. He is still cheating on me with that good for nothing woman, Maria. But she keeps denying it that she doesn't have anything to do with Derek. Something isn't just right in all of this. Something is wrong somewhere, but I will definitely get to the root of this. Derek thinks he's smart, but I am smarter. I can't even call Kelvin to share all that's going on and he also hasn't called me. I shouldn't even be fighting with Kelvin. We have both come a long way and he has been a great friend and brother to me during all of these times. Oh Jeff, why am I even acting this way all because of Betty? <sighs> I love Betty, that remains the truth and I still want to be with her. I'm not going to make the mistake of marrying someone I don't love. No, I can't do that. Ah! Where? Where are they? <laughs> They are gone, Jeff. My parents. <laughs> are they gone? Are they gone? <laughs> what? No. You have got to be kidding. They were both here. We thought I said they would be fine. Yes. But they are gone. Mom. Dad. <laughs> Jeez. I can't believe this. I'm in a shock right now, Chloe. I'm shocked by this. <laughs> My mom. My dad. No, tell me I'm dreaming, Jeff. Please tell me all of this is just a dream. And I'm going to wake up very soon. Please tell me. Please tell me I'll wake up soon. It's going to be fine, Chloe. I'm just too shocked here as well. I'm an orphan. I'm now an orphan. I've got no one. No family. No. Hey, it's okay. Everything is going to be fine, Chloe. Believe me, everything is going to be okay. I'm here for you. They weren't the best parents, but I didn't want them to die. They don't deserve to die. They are both meant to be alive. They should be here with us, asking you questions and laughing. <laughs> it's okay, Chloe. Everything will be fine. No, Jeff. You don't know that. You don't know if everything will be okay. My parents are gone. I'm going to sue the driver to court. <laughs> I'm going to. Oh my god. <laughs> Betty, are you the one standing next to me? Yes, Calvin. I'm the one. How are you feeling now? I hope you're fine. What's the definition of fine? It's like I hit my head on the floor and I've forgotten the meaning of words. You're still cracking a joke in your condition. You're not serious. 
I just fell down and hit my head. Stop making me feel like something more than that had happened to me. The smoke. Everywhere was smoky like you were cooking and slept off. Cooking? Do I look like someone who cooks? Well, I was kind of drunk. Can't remember everything that happened last night. But I saw you and Richard. Don't tell me you went to get yourself intoxicated because of me and Richard. That's exactly what I did. And you can't blame me. Imagine me coming to ask you to come with me for lunch. And let's just forget about it. Exactly. Let's forget about it. I and Richard are just friends. Today I went to lunch with him because he wanted to share with me some ideas on how to push the company forward. He couldn't do that within the office premises. You're jealous, my love, and I think I like it. But don't you trust me? I trust you. I do. It's just that I wasn't happy about it. And you can't blame me. I also want to be spending time with you. Oh, Calvin. My sweet man is shining ammo. Are you sure I'm still the one or is now Richard? I bet he's crushing on you. He can crush all he likes. He's not going to get me, that's a promise. Because my heart is stuck on you, my Calvin. But now I need you to tell me what you're trying to cook in the kitchen. <laughs> Maybe I was trying to boil water to drink because I can't imagine myself cooking. <laughs> did you call her already? Yes, I did. And she's fine with me staying out, so don't worry. You are lying, Derek. She's not fine with you staying here. No woman loves a man spending the night over at another woman's place. Shouldn't you be inside the room sleeping? I'm unable to sleep. What about you? Why are you still up? I'm not able to sleep as well. My mind has just been having a lot of thoughts. What thoughts are you having, Derek? That none of this would have happened if only I had stayed back in Nigeria for my studies. By now, we would have both been married and having maybe two kids. You are not serious, Derek. Life happens. I'm very serious. I'm a fault here. Yeah. Don't you see it? I should have looked for you all around when I got back. Searched the crooks and cranks of Lagos to find you. You are not serious, Derek. You tried to look for me. That's what matters to me. You can't be with that man anymore, Vanessa. Please don't do that to yourself. I won't forgive myself if anything like this should happen to you again. No man should raise his hands on you. No, you're not a punching bag. You should be treated like a princess. What are you doing here, Richard? Don't be scared. No one is here to see the both of us talking. And why should I be scared that people might see us talking? What do you want? Are you here with a guest? Let me guess. One of those younger boys of yours whom you are old enough to give birth to. It's my life, remember this son, and I can leave it as I please. Just do as you wish with the company, please, supervisor. Were you serious with what you said on wanting to have a good time with me? <laughs> what do you think, Richard? Sincerely, I really don't know and I would rather not think of it because it's irritating. Irritating? <laughs> how's the company and how's manager Betty doing? Interestingly, she's doing a great job. She's going to do better than you as a manager. I'm impressed and I wish her all the best, but you can be sure of one thing. She can never be as good as me and I can see it in your eyes that you're falling for her. Oscar, what are you doing here? Didn't I say you should go? I know, but I think this is the perfect time for me to do this. Maria, I know that we've only known ourselves for a few months, but within these months, you've been so great to me, supportive and loving every step of the way. Please marry me. What? You heard me, Maria. I really want more than this. I love you and I want to marry you. I think you should stand up, Oscar. Please stand up. Now I'm going to be on my knees until you accept my proposal. Tell me yes, please. Why are you doing this, really? You're embarrassing me and also yourself. How am I embarrassing myself? Because I'm proposing to you and you're an older lady. Is that how I'm embarrassing myself here? Yeah? Something like that. I don't care if you're old enough to be my mom or my grandmother. The kind of love you show me is unlike any other. I'm going to ask you to stand up one more time. Isn't this interesting? You have got your lover boy asking for your aunt in marriage and you are just letting him be on his news you shut up there richard now i see why you were divorced three times because of this i hope he doesn't also divorce you as well maria you have no right to talk to my mom and that way in my presence <laughs> what are you going to do about it it's me or what i will leave you two to enjoy yourselves hopefully the office will have a wedding to attend soon Oscar, let's go home, or will you come and meet me at home? What about my proposal? You've not answered me yet. Please marry me. We'll see you at home. I should go to bed, Derek. And you should as well. Why should we go inside? You can simply sleep here on my legs in the living room. Your legs are going to hurt you in the morning. I wouldn't want that for you. They're my legs. Don't worry, nothing will happen to them. <laughs> I'll still have to say no. Seems like someone is opening the door. Desmond, what are you doing here? I know you don't want to see me, but I went to check you in the hospital. They told me that you have been discharged already. So you came here, breaking into my house by this time of the night? No, I didn't break in. I had my key. You gave it to me, remember? I'm calling the security right away. 
That's not necessary, Derek. Just get out of my house this month. Now! You don't mean that, Vanessa. I know you are just pissed at me, but I'm sorry for what happened yesterday. And I didn't mean it. No, Desmond. Please, just get out of my house. Just leave. Drop the key. Get out of my house. Derek, call me the security again. Please, call them. Please, can you send the security? There's an intruder. How can he come here? After what he has done? Oh my god, Derek. I can't imagine if I was the only one at home. Only god knows what would have happened. It's okay. No one will come near you. I'm here with you. Good morning, my love. Please don't tell me it's morning already. I still want to sleep. I'm not going to work today. You can take the day off. Richard knows you're not feeling too well. He knows? How is that possible? Did you call him and inform him? No, he was in the hospital when I brought you in. Coincidence or was he following you around? You're allowed to think whatever you like, Calvin. But if you keep this off, I promise that I won't be around much anymore. She's threatening a sick man. Baby, you are also not meant to go to work today. You should be home with me, massaging my back. I don't want to lose my job. That reminds me. Why did you tell me not to call Jeff? Because I don't want you to call him. Something isn't right here. Are you two still beefing each other, Calvin? I don't have any issues with him. But since he made it clear to me that he doesn't want us to talk to each other, so I'm giving him his space. I'm very sure Jeff didn't say something like that. What happened between you two? It's nothing for you to worry about. You should get ready for work. You two need to stop acting like teenagers and get yourself together and settle whatever is going on between the two of you nothing is going on between me and jeff and i definitely don't want to talk about them or hear anything about him please i beg of you you're finally home get with you all night why are you asking me we both know it's not like you care about me why would you think i don't care about you you embarrassed me yesterday i expressed my feelings for you and you threw it all away walked out on me like i meant nothing to you is that why you didn't come home last night and you came home smelling like what i don't know what the hell is wrong with you you're the one who is wrong with me why am i not ever lucky with women i fell in love with you gave you my own my loyalty and commitment but what do i get i told you you could see other women if you wanted to didn't i why would i do that when i've got you in my life you have no idea what you're talking about see oscar i know i might have hurt you maybe a little bit but it's for the best believe me baby you're still young you should be with someone who you can build a future with so i can't build a future with you is that it i've fallen in love before with a young fine man but i've seen it always ends and i'm too old to be going through any form of heartbreaks but i'm young to go through a heartbreak right is that it i didn't break your heart why don't you go and have a shower and i'll buy you something you want me to eat i'm in love with you maria i'm in love with you i don't care about what anyone will say i want to marry you i do jeff you don't have to do this i'm not hungry i told you already you didn't eat yesterday night before going to bed you need to eat something i can't eat anything i keep seeing them in my dreams you know the most painful part <laughs> is that I was fighting with them and I told them a lot of hurtful words. I wish I can see them just one more time and hug them. Tell them how much I love them. They both know you love them. I'm not sure that. They both died thinking I detest them so much, Jeff. No, Chloe. Your parents know that you love them. They know this. Did you tell Betsy and Calvin about what happened? No, I've not told anyone about it. I thought you would love to have your privacy and time to yourself now that we are back so we can rest. I don't even know what I want anymore. <laughs> I need to let them know about this. I will call Betty right away. She's one of the few friends I still have. <laughs> Hello, Betsy. Hey, Chloe. How are you doing? I wanted to call, but I didn't want to disturb. How are your parents feeling now? Betsy, my parents are dead. What? What did you just say? My parents are gone. They died yesterday, Betsy. They are gone. <laughs> what? Where are you, Chloe? I need to come over right away. Are you back home? Yes. I'm at Jeff's place. They are gone, Betsy. They are both dead. What happened? What did she say? Chloe just lost her parents. They are both gone. Like dead. What? You've got to be kidding me, right? Her parents are gone. Yeah, Calvin. I need to go and see her right away. We need to go check on her. This is surprising. What the hell? Oh my god. I can't imagine how she must be feeling at the moment. I can't. She must be devastated and heartbroken. I mean her parents. Are you coming? Yes, I am. Richard. Richard, Betty, Calvin, I wasn't sure I had find you here, Calvin, but my instinct told me that you must have headed home. Since you got discharged from the hospital, how are you? I'm fine, sir. Thank you. I keep telling you it's just Richard. Well, I am glad you are doing fine, and you, Betty, you must have watched over him all night. Am I right? I have to do that. What brings you here? 
I came to check on my staff, but I see my manager is already here checking on you. Well, aside from that, I bring some good news for you, Calvin. You have gotten a promotion. What? A promotion? Yes. I wanted to give you the letter yesterday, but I was too busy. Oh my god. I can't believe this. Thank you, Richard. Congratulations, baby. We can still celebrate this later, but for now, we need to leave to check on one of our close friends. Okay, well, congratulations once more, Calvin. I will see you in the office, Betsy. I really wish I don't have to go, but I need to sort out something in the office. I totally understand, Derek. And don't worry, I'm fine. Are you sure you'll be fine or do you want to come with me? I'm not a baby. I'm a full-grown woman. I'll be home waiting for you. Okay, baby. I've got to run. I remember to lock the door. Use the hook as well to close it. And if you hear anything, just call me. Yes, sir. I've heard you. Is there anything else? I love you, Vanessa. Don't forget that. I know you love me, Derek, and I love you too. I wish I had accepted your proposal. They are gone, Betsy. They are both no more. <laughs> it's okay, Chloe. You're going to be fine. Everything is going to be okay. How are you sure everything will be okay? Just look at me. How am I going to survive without my parents? How? You have to be strong, Chloe. We all know it's not going to be easy, but you'll be fine. Why do they have to die now? I've not seen them quite a while. <laughs> And now they are gone. I've got no one. No family. <laughs> I'm officially a loner. You're not a loner. You've got us all. We're here for you. Jeff is here for you as well. The lawyer is calling already. I'll be right back. How's she holding up, Jeff? She's trying to be strong, but she can't help it all. She keeps having nightmares on them. This isn't good, Jeff. I'm sorry about it all. Yeah, it's not good. Really hard to accept they are all gone. You've been quiet. What's happening? Nothing. It's all just surprising, you know. I can't imagine losing both my parents at the same time. All because of the mistake of a driver. Guys, are you both going to end this silly beef you've got with each other? We've got no beef going on, Betty. Jeff, you and Calvin should stop this. At least you should act matured. If he's still acting like a child, you should sort out your differences. Did Calvin tell you we are both not in good terms? He didn't have to. I can see it from the way you're both reacting to each other. We are fine. Don't worry, Betty. We are okay. My, my parents owe debt. They owe debt. The whole lifestyle, everything they have, is going to be used to pay back. Chloe! She didn't accept my proposal despite everything I've done for her. I've shown her love, being committed to her, yet she doesn't want to marry me. What is stopping her from accepting my proposal? It's not like she's seen anyone else, unless that man I saw with her. But I've been watching her moves, she hasn't been with him for a while. So what's wrong? She told me she loves me, or was she lying? I can't lose Maria. She's the one I want to use as my stepping stone to the world. I have to do something. Don't tell me this is where you've been the whole time. Didn't you hear me calling your name? I just want to be by myself. By yourself, Oscar. You're still thinking about the whole stuff that happened. I am. I just realized how much of a big fool I am falling in love with you. I should agree with you, but you're not fool, Oscar. I don't blame you for falling for me. I would also fall in love with me. What is it going to take for me to win your heart totally and have you to myself? I don't know. I don't think I want to fall deeply in love anymore. I told you no more heartbreaks for me and I meant it. Well, I've made you breakfast. Thank you, but I'm not hungry. Don't just waste my food because I put a lot of time into preparing it. I'm even going out. I've got something to start out this morning. I'm going to get you, Maria. And not just that. I'm going to make sure you are mine forever before I carry out my plan. Why are all these stuffs happening at the same time for Chloe? I don't have the slightest idea. It's all just getting frustrating here. Yeah. I thought her parents are well to do. So what happened to all the whole money? How could they have gotten in debt? Just how? I don't know. I'm equally surprised by this news. I had even thought the properties would be compensation for her since they are never really there for her. But now... She can fight it. Take it to court, I mean. If her dad's lawyer called to tell her this, it means they must have been paying back the money for quite a while now. And now it's not so surprising. Many wealthy people are in debt, but we don't know about it because the only shows decide they want. It all still doesn't make sense. I know, but this isn't the first time a person is losing all of his property after death. Jeff, all this is too much for Chloe. She's lucky to have you by her side. Yeah, 
but I might not be by myself for much longer. What? What does that mean? It means I'm going to move on with my life. I've been making plans to leave Lagos to another state and things have been working out as I want. What? You're planning to leave Lagos? Yes, I'm moving back to my hometown. I want to go and start my restaurant there. What? You're joking, right? I'm serious here. I'm leaving Lagos very soon. The only thing holding me back right now is all of these stuff that is happening. You can't be serious about really leaving. Why not? Why should I still be here in Lagos when everything isn't working out here? What isn't working out, Jeff? You've got your restaurant up and running, haven't you? Yes, the restaurant. But it's not really mine. Remember Chloe paid a huge sum of money for the restaurant and now that she's got nothing to her name. Not even the mansion she grew up in. She might want to take it back. I don't think she would do that. She has her own money and other source of income. Is that what she told you? Aside from the book launch, which she did, she hasn't been really doing anything. Why do you think she spends most of her time at my place doing nothing? Fine, she might not be working, but the money she has in her account. That's her money, and before now, she has been complaining on needing money from her parents. I don't even know if they sent it. See, all this aren't really my business. It's her money. She can do with it what she likes. But I know it's only a matter of time before we start having issues about the restaurant. So you're leaving because of the restaurant, is that it? I'm leaving because I don't have any reason to be here anymore. I've had this in mind for quite a while now and I was planning on telling Chloe before her parents' accident. You shouldn't leave now, Jeff. It's a bad timing. It is always bad timing. There's never a perfect time for me to leave. I've come to realize that whenever I want to leave, something must always come up and I will have to stay stuck. Just wait for some months with Chloe first before you leave. Chloe? <laughs> Why do you need to say some months with you? I really wish you wouldn't go, but what can I do? You can ask me to stay and we'll move somewhere else to start our relationship there. You should stay for Chloe. She needs you more than ever before. I've always stayed for Chloe, but not this time around. You are the only one who can make me stay because I can't bear seeing you and Calvin every day. What caused the argument between you and Calvin? Didn't he tell you all about it? No, he didn't. You can tell me though. What happened between the two of you happened, Betty. Isn't it obvious enough? Why else will I be fighting with my best friend? Where am I? Jeff! Jeff! Hello, Chloe. It's Oscar. Jeff isn't here. I'm here. Oscar, what are you doing here? And where is Jeff? Why am I at the hospital again? I followed you. Thought you were being kidnapped after I saw the way Jeff took into his car and drove you here. That was when I found out you were sick. Sick? I'm not sick. Where is Jeff? He's outside with Betty. They are both talking and laughing. They didn't see me sleep inside. Everything is falling apart for me. My mom and dad. No, please don't cry. I don't know what's happening with you, but I've come to realize that crying never solves the problem at hand. It doesn't. I never thought that I would lose them. I always thought that they would be around for long. But look at what has happened to me. Look at the tone of life, Oscar. What happened to your parents? Are they sick? No, they are both dead. That's why I couldn't come and see you. As we agreed. Oh my God, Chloe, I'm sorry about that. I'm really sorry. My mom and dad are gone. I'm the only one left here. Why did they have to die? Why? Oh my god. What are you doing here, Desmond? I know you don't. I don't want to hear you. Just get out of my house now. Vanessa, I'm sorry. I swear it that I'm really sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean to raise my hands on you. I don't know what came over me. I've had you, but please get out of my house this moment. I'm going to call the security agent on you, and I really don't want to do that. You can talk this out. You can sort it out. See, I'm not a monster. I'm a great guy. You have to admit that, at least. You're a great guy, yes. But please, leave my house. That's all I'm asking. And stop calling my mom. Stop calling her to be begging me. I don't know who else to call. I don't know who will talk to you. Did you tell my mom you raised your hands on me? Did you tell her? I can't tell her that. Exactly, you can't tell her. So why then are you asking her to beg me? Just why? See, I just want you to leave, please. Don't come near me, don't. Derek, what are you doing in my woman's house? Desmond, please just leave. That's all I'm asking for you, just leave already. You're asking me to leave and you're telling him to stay? I've always knew it that you were not to be trusted. You've been having an affair with him all this while, right? Sleeping with him and telling me he's a friend. You can say whatever you want, Des. Think whatever you like. But just get out of my house. Get out before I call the police. 
Calvin, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be home resting? Yes, sir. That's true. But I came to see you regarding the promotion letter. I know you must be really excited and happy for the promotion. Isn't that so? Yes, I'm happy about it. But the promotion isn't in this office or state, sir. Really? It's not? No, it's in Yola State, sir. And that's really far from Lagos. Yeah, Yola was part of the state that is meant for a promotion and you have gotten it. Sir, I'm not sure I'll be able to travel down to Yola. It's too far from here and there is no direct flight to get there, sir. Are you trying to reject the promotion? Is that what you're saying? No, sir, I'm not rejecting it. I've always wanted a promotion, but the distances... Do you know what happens when one rejects a promotion? Yes, I do. They remain stuck at the same point for a very long time. Good you know. So I advise you take up the promotion. Plus, it was Maria that put up your name for the promotion, not me. Maria? Yeah, she called in and asked that I give at least two staffs a promotion so as to encourage the old staffs. And you have gotten a promotion now. You should be graceful and prepare your bags to leave soon. And I don't know what to even do. I know it's not easy to lose anyone, not to talk of your parents. Do you know the most surprising thing is that the lawyer called me this morning to tell me that there is nothing left in my name amongst all the properties. I thought your parents were wealthy. I thought so too. Turns out that they've been in debt, trying to run their campaigns. My dad sold a lot of his properties. And I don't even know what to make of all this information I got. <laughs> What? What does this mean? What do you think it means, Oscar? It means I'm broke. I got nothing to my name. No inheritance. No mansion. Like, I myself, I'm just confused here. I saw the lawyer hasn't been paid to tell you this. I mean, it's not possible that everything will just be gone like that within the twinkle of an eye. That's what I said too. But he said he has lots of evidence showing my parents spending and I believe him. Cause for some time now, I've been asking my dad for money, but he's been giving me one excuse and the other before he finally sends me two million. That's the lowest money he had ever sent to me. This isn't good, Chloe. I don't even have the right words to say to you yet. I'm just surprised. I can't imagine myself with nothing. Like, I've got nothing here. No money of my own. You're saying you're broke. I'm broke. The money I have will soon be exhausted in a few days' time. I'm a large spender. How do I survive all of this? <laughs> Are you okay, baby? Did he hurt you? I'm fine. He didn't hurt me. I'm just in a shock that he was inside my house. Did you remember to lock the door like I told you? Did you? I did. But he just had gone through the window because it wasn't locked. I told you to lock the doors, Vanessa. What if he tried to harm you? I know. I must have forgotten. Remember that I've got too many things going on. This place is no longer safe for you, Vanessa. I have to move you to somewhere else. You're right. I think you're overreacting right now. I am not. You are going to move to another apartment. I won't forgive myself if anything should happen to you. I won't. Nothing is going to happen to me, Derek. I'm going to be fine here. No, this place is no longer safe. Why won't you accept it? What if he comes in another time and tries to harm you? Most especially now that you've driven him out of the house. He thinks we're having an affair together. That's true. A man who beats you up because he saw me standing at the door. What do you think he's going to do that you chased him out of the house? But the rent you paid here isn't yet due. Don't worry about that. I'll get you another apartment today. You're not staying here. Why are you back home? I thought you had things to do. I forgot to take something, that's why. But we're both going to the office together. No, we are not. I'll be fine. I promise you this. I'll look everywhere. Calvin, you came to the office. I thought you said you were going home. Yeah, I went home as I was having a headache. How is Chloe? She's much better. The doctor said it was a shock. She's traumatized by everything. I bet she is. It's surprising that her parents would be owing debts. Isn't her dad running for a political office? And he's been in power for quite a long time. Yeah, but I think something must have gone wrong along the line. For him to have all his properties taken, something happened. Yeah, I just pray she gets okay and finds her balance. Less spendings. You're not being nice right now. My promotion letter. I'm not happy about this promotion, Betty. Why is that? What happened? I've been transferred to another state. I'm going to Eula State. What? You're joking, right? I'm very serious here. You should read the letter and see what's there. What? Yola of all places, Calvin. Yola. I know. It's very far from here. And the fact that I still have to break the journey. Why Yola of all places? Why couldn't they find somewhere way closer for you? Exactly what I went to see Richard about. He told me it was Maria that asked him to give promotions to two staffs so as to encourage the other staffs. Who's the other staff? Rachel. She got promoted to the Abuja office. Can you imagine? Abuja. I'll try to talk to Richard and see if there's anything I can do about this. I'll be going home though. We'll talk when you're back. No, don't yet go home. Just hang around. I'll go and check him now.
So you were the one who made mom give Vanessa the job? Yeah, I was the one that did that. So don't even think of laying her off, Richard. Don't. Her name is amongst the staffs that will be demoted, actually. She's not meant for that position. Her qualifications. We both know that people get jobs through connections and not qualifications. That's exactly what makes us to have below standard products because we employ incompetent people here. She's a hard worker, man. Come on, stop making it look like it's a big deal when it's not. She would still have to get a demotion from that office. You know me, Derek. I don't do favoritism. I want everything to work out well in my dad's company. Your mom isn't going to like this decision. She doesn't like all of the decisions I am making. But what choice does she really have? Why is Vanessa even working here when you can put her in one of your companies? I don't want her to know about my companies yet. Not now. Who is this lady, Vanessa? You know, I don't really get what's between the two of you. She's someone special to me. Me. Someone I want to get married to. You have got to be kidding me. I'm not. I'm very serious here, Richard. And you, why haven't you still settled down with any woman? Lagos has a lot of beautiful women. Pick one of them. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't know you have a guest. I'll come back. That's the lady I hope to be with, man. She's my kind of woman. Hello, Ma. Hello, Vanessa. How are you doing and how's your body now? I'm doing fine, Ma. I'm actually surprised to see you here. I know you're surprised. You have quite a beautiful house here. Desmond must be paying a lot of money for this apartment. He must really love you. Desmond isn't the one paying for my apartment, Ma. Did he tell you he was the one? Why well, did he tell me if he's paying for it? Only assumed that he would be the one since you two are together. I... Won't you offer me something to drink and eat? Or is this how you welcome a guest? I... I'm, I'm very sorry, Ma. What would you like to have? A strong alcoholic drink and some cakes. You have cakes, right? Jeff, I don't know what I'll do without you in my life. I think you have to stop saying that statement. You will do fine, even without me in your life. Why are you sounding that way to me? I'm just being blunt. I think we have all sugarcoated a lot of stuff with sweet words, but not anymore. I want to be real with words, Chloe. I'm also being real with mine. My parents are gone, Jeff. And now I've got no one. But you... You have got a lot of people around, Chloe. Do you know how many women are there in the world? Do you have any idea? I have no idea. But none of them are close to me. You know we can be in a room filled with a lot of people, yet we feel all alone. That's very true, Chloe. It happens a lot of times to me. Most especially when I can't wrap my head around certain things. I'm making plans for the funeral already. I think in two days' time. That's okay. But there's something I have to tell you, Chloe. I had it in mind to tell you about it earlier on, but it's like, whenever I want to say it, something keeps coming up, preventing me from talking. But this time, I think I say it because there's no perfect time. Is everything okay? I'm going back home, Chloe. How do you mean you're going back home, Jeff? I'm leaving Lagos. I'm going to Yola State. I know you're wondering why I'm here. Yes, I am. I'm surprised you are here, but I guess Desmond must have told you to come over and talk to me. Desmond? Are you two having an issue or what? Yes, we are. He raised his hands on me. What? He did that? I'm actually really sorry about that. I've known him to be an angry and jealous fellow, but raising his hands on a woman. That's so low. You don't know about that. He didn't tell you about it. No, he didn't. And why would he tell me about it? I'm not involved in your business. You two know each other and I suspected he must have told you to come and beg me. I'm not here because of this man. I'm actually here because of Derek. Derek. I know you two have been having an affair, but what I can't understand is for how long this has been going on and why I wasn't aware. No, I think you are mistaken. I and Derek haven't been having an affair. Stop lying to me and spill it all out. Because I'm being accused here of having an affair with him. Meanwhile, I'm not. You are. Who is accusing you of having an affair with Derek? I'm the one asking the questions here, Vanessa. And you have not answered none. I and Derek are just friends. We're not having an affair together. But you're planning on having an affair with him, right? Maybe. I haven't decided yet. He's married and I've got to think about that first. I'll keep your secret a bit longer, but you've got to hold Derek for me. I need you to throw away all of his advances. You can't be with him. Excuse me. Oh, you're not excused, darling. I need you to break up with Derek or whatever. Just hurt him so hard. You should use that to teach him a lesson so he doesn't hurt Tessa. I can't hurt him. I love him and I think I want to be with him. If I were you, I would think twice before accepting a married man. I've seen the way it usually ends. It's not good. You might end up as the side piece forever. You're young, beautiful and really smart. You can have any man of your choice. Why choose a married man? What do you mean by you're going to Yola? I mean exactly what I said, Chloe. I'm going back to my hometown to be with my sister. 
You can't go back there, Jeff. That place is too local. Why would you want to be there? I just need a change of vicinity. Everything isn't working out for me here in Lagos. Everything is working. You've got the restaurant to yourself. Your own restaurant. Not my restaurant. Your restaurant. And I know it's only a matter of time before I start paying back all the money I owe you as you are kind of broke. I wouldn't ask you for the restaurant's money. I told you from the start that I don't have to pay back. And I mean it. You both know that you are going to ask about the money, Chloe. Are you leaving cause I'm going to ask about the money? No, Chloe. I've had this in mind for quite some time now. I want to go and meet my sister and then we talk about stuffs and make plants. What about me in all of this? You can't leave me now. I've always been staying back because of you, Chloe. But when am I going to do something I really want to do? When will I? I just lost my parents, Jeff, and my properties as well. And the only thing you're talking about is leaving. How can you think of leaving me at this point of my life? There's never a best time for me to say I want to leave Chloe. <laughs> why are you doing this, Jeff? <laughs> just why? You called me, sir. Yeah, you came earlier on to see me, but I was busy with my guest. Yes, sir. I'm sorry for entering inside. I thought you had told me to come inside the office. It's okay. Is everything going well? Yes, everything is going fine, sir. I wanted to come and see you concerning something. I am all yours, Betty. What is it? It's Calvin. He told me about his promotion and the location, sir. Love, Betty. So what about it? I hope you convinced him to accept the promotion. Sir, isn't there anything that can be done about the location? I mean, the state is too far for him and although it's good news, a great pay with lots of benefits. There isn't anything that can be done, plus I am surprised you are seeing this. Sir, are you surprised? You got a promotion as well, all the way from a fast state to this place. Don't you remember? And you took it without any complaints. That's true, sir. But it's Lagos. No one says no to a job in Lagos. Well, it's Yola. Life is much easier over there. I have been there before and it's a cool place. Is going to really enjoy himself there. Isn't there anything you can do about it? Like maybe give him a promotion here. My hands are tied. That's where his promotion was given, and there's nothing I can do. How did Maria even get to know about me and Derek? And why is she the one that is fighting for Tessa? Why does she want me to hurt Derek? I still don't understand. I'm not sure I can even do that. I don't want to hurt Derek. No, he doesn't deserve it. He deserves love from me. After everything he has done for me. Hey baby, I'm back. Hope you didn't miss me too much. I wasn't expecting you to come back now. You're done for the day at work. Or you ran back home because of me. Both options are right. I ran back home because of you. Plus, I'm done what I was doing at work. Hope you've had something to eat. Don't tell me you've been drinking. Not really. Derek, you should be home with Tessa. I mean, you've spent the whole night here. And you can see that I'm fine already. I don't want to go home. See, I don't want to be anywhere but right here next to you. What about Tessa? I've told you not to worry about her and I mean it. See now, all we have to do is focus on the both of us. Me and you, working on our relationship. Derek, I can't be with you because you are married. I made it clear to you, didn't I? What if I'm no longer married? What does that mean? What are you saying? I am going to divorce Tessa and we're both going to be together. What? Derek, that's not cool. I'm not asking you to divorce her. Don't you love me, Vanessa? Tell me you don't want to be with me and I'll go and never come back. I swear it this time around and I mean my words. Should I have something to this food? Maybe like a little stuff that will make her start falling ill. What can I even possibly put? Oh yes, the drug. Hey baby, what are you cooking? You are back. Welcome, how was your meeting? It went well. I'm hoping to get some exciting news very soon. What have you been doing at home? Nothing really, just lazing around the whole place before I decided to cook. Seems like you're cooking something really yummy. I can perceive the whole aroma from the living room up to here. I'm starving already. I'll soon be done. You seem to be in an excited mood this afternoon. Let's just say I'm happy. Did they call you back to the office? Is that it? The office is the least of all my worries right now. Richard can keep doing what he likes. I'm having fun with other stops. Do you care to share it with me? I want to also have some fun. Where is that ring you used to propose to me? Is it still with you or have you given it to another lady? Because I know how you men can be at times. It's inside the room. Are you serious right now, Maria? Or are you kidding me? Go and bring it. I think I'm ready to accept your proposal. I'm not too old for love and I deserve some happiness myself. Better hurry and get the ring before I change my mind about it all. Where is she, Calvin? Where is that backstabbing liar? What is wrong? Is everything okay with you, Chloe? Where is Betty, Calvin? Where is she? <gasps> you better tell me else I'm going to create a big scene here that you won't like. Calm down first and stop crying. What happened? Jeff is leaving me. He is leaving me. 
What? No, Jeff can't leave you, Chloe. He's just kidding. I'm very sure about that. He's joking around. Is that why you are here crying and shouting? You! You backstabber! I know this is all your plan. You're the one doing this. I don't understand you, Chloe. Why are you crying? You are a liar! I thought you were my friend. I thought you moved on with Calvin. So why are you trying to make Jeff leave me? Why? Chloe, I have no idea what you're talking about. Stop pretending! Are you not the one who told Jeff to leave me alone? To go after his dreams and stop letting anyone hold him down? When? What are you even saying, Chloe? Stop pretending! Tell me you don't know Jeff is leaving Tuyola. Just tell me! What? If you see she can't say a word, cause she's fully aware of his plans and she supported him. How can you do this to me? Just how? I will never forgive you if Jeff leaves Lagos. What the hell was that? Jeff is going to Yola? Do you know about this? He told me about it in the hospital when you left and I tried to convince him to stay for Chloe. But he said he was going to meet his sister there. What am I to do? How is this my fault? I can't believe Jeff is actually going to Yola, but whatever. You both are going to be at the same stage. You two should sort out yourselves. I guess that means Richard didn't agree to it. I don't have a choice but to go. It's a promotion. That's the truth and I should be happy. I am going to do all things right with you, Vanessa. You don't have to worry. All you got to do is trust me. I trust you, Derek. But I just don't feel happy about this. I'm not happy about this. You're about to give your woman a divorce because of me. I know, but this is what I want to do for my own happiness. I deserve to be happy. How will she feel about this? This makes me a bad person, don't you see? You're not a bad person, Vanessa. You're a woman who wants to be happy. And who would blame you for doing what makes you happy? Who would? I love you, Derek. I've always loved you. From the very first day up to now. I also love you. See, we're going to be together. I'll work on our visa so we can leave this country together and go somewhere else to start our family. What about your son? He's going to be well taken care of by Tessa. She's a good woman and I know that she loves Joey. I'll make sure I give her enough money so that she never has anything to worry about. What if she doesn't agree to the divorce? Why won't she agree to it? She should be happy. Go after her own happiness. Be with a man who will love her and treat her better. Oh, why isn't Jeff picking up his calls? He can't be seriously thinking of leaving at this time. This isn't a good time for him to leave Chloe. I told him this. Pick up Jeff. Pick up the call. Damn it. Why isn't Vanessa also picking her calls? I've been trying to reach her for some days now, but she hasn't been returning my calls. There's this new client I just off the phone with. He just came into Lagos and he wants to work with us, Betty. You are going to have to handle this by yourself. I want you on it. Okay, sir. I was beginning to think you weren't going to come outside, Derek. What are you doing here? Don't tell me you've been following me around. I came to warn you to stay off my old man. You came to warn me? Warn about what exactly? You know what I'm talking about, man. She's my woman. I proposed to her. You were there when she accepted me. I've looked at her hand and I don't see any ring on it anymore. She must have thrown off the ring, which means she's single. Vanessa is my Derek. What's a man like you even do with her? You're married. She knows that I'm married. I've never hidden that from her. Does your woman at home know that you are seeing Vanessa? Are you trying to threaten me? Is that it? Oh, it's more than a threat. It's something I plan on doing if you don't back off Vanessa. I don't care. You can go ahead and do what you like. Should I give you my house address so it will be easy for you to go and see her at home? You sound like you are tough and ready for all that's about to happen. I am ready for it all. Is this the best you can do? Woman bitter. You're just lucky Vanessa wants you out of jail, else you'll be dear as we speak. I only came here to give you one warning. I bet you there won't be another one. Let me tell you this, Desmond. I don't need your warning. You're the one who needs to be warned to stay off my woman. Stay off Vanessa. Now, can you move away from my car? I've got some important things to do. Crying isn't good for you, Chloe. Why are you crying this evening? Because everything is gone. <laughs> Every single thing I truly love is slipping off my hands, one after the other. I'm just a loser at the end of it. You're not a loser. See, I don't know what's going on in your head, but you're not a loser. Jeff is leaving me. He's leaving you? You guys broke up or what? He didn't say anything about the break, but he's leaving Lagos to his sister's place. Are you serious right now that Jeff is leaving town? Yes, I'm serious. But how can he leave now? How can he leave me when he knows I'm at my lowest point? My parents are dead, and I've got no money to myself. I totally understand you, but this shouldn't surprise you. You know those who love you when you're at your lowest point. That's what they say, and it's true. 
This is the time I need him the most. I need him now more than ever before. Oscar, I am pained. I am broken. I don't want him to leave, but I don't know what to do at this point. I can't go with him, no. But I don't want to stay here all alone as well. Is he going alone or is he living with Betty? I remember I saw the both of them talking in the hospital while you were inside. I don't think he's going with her, but she knows that he's leaving. He told her all about it. What do you want to do, Chloe? That's the question. I don't know yet, Oscar. I don't know what to do. I'm already closing up the restaurant. I can see that. I've been calling you, but you're not picking up my calls. You have been calling me. Are you sure about that? Yeah, check your phone. I've given you close to 10 minutes calls, if not more. You called me? I can't see your name here in my call log. Let me call again. Can you see my name now? Is that a new number you're using to call me? Because I don't have this number on my phone. That's my old number, the same one I gave you the first time you asked for my number. I don't have it anymore, I guess. So what's happening? Nothing really, but this decision of yours. Do you know Chloe accuses me of being the reason you're leaving? I'm not surprised she did. I broke the news to her this morning when we got home. You told her this morning. Come on, Jeff, she just got back from the hospital. Yeah, I know. And maybe the timing wasn't perfect, but there's never a perfect timing for me to say this kind of thoughts. You should have waited for some days, maybe after the burial. I'm glad I told her today. At least now she knows and it's off my chest. What will make you stay, Jeff? Like, what exactly? You can make me stay if you do accept my proposal to be my woman. Let's build our family. Jeff, you know I can't do that, not because I don't care about you, but there are so many things surrounding this situation. Chloe, Calvin, people we love. What about us? What about our feelings? Do they care about the fact that we are both in love with each other, but can't be together because of them? I didn't say I love you, Jeff. I wish you change your mind for Chloe and stay. Did you ask her to come with you? She would never come with me to Yola, but who knows, she might come visiting. You don't need to keep crying, Chloe. Everything will be fine. I want to believe that, but I can't. What are we going to do about this? You don't know what you want me to do yet. So I ask you again, what do you want to do? I don't want Jeff to leave Lagos. I wish he would stay back for me. Is there a way we can threaten him to stay back and maybe push Betty away? How do you mean push Betty away? Let's say Betty is transferred back to where she came from. That way, they will be apart. But Jeff is already planning on leaving. Doesn't this mean they will be apart already? I don't want Jeff to leave Oscar. I can't go to Yola. I can't stay there. I get that. I think if Betty is no longer here, this will make Jeff to consider staying behind for me. Cause it's obvious that he's leaving cause of Betty. Okay, I'll see what I can do about Betty leaving. But not just that, I'll make sure she leaves with nothing. She ought to go back the same way or far worse than she came to Lagos. I agree on that. I wish I can see her suffer. If only she never showed up here, I and Jeff would still be together, happy, and he wouldn't think of leaving me. That might be true, but at some point you have to accept that maybe Jeff doesn't love you. Jeff loves me, Oscar. He loves me, not Betty. I'm just saying though, but let's see how things turns out to be with this first, before any other plans come up. I know you're pissed at me, but I've been busy. Too busy to be in the office, right? Because I went down, you weren't there. I had meeting with some investors. I'm trying to get as much money as I can for the company to grow and move forward. I see. Why aren't you going back to Abuja? You've stayed quite long here and I'm not usually at home. I think leaving would be a good idea. Are you driving me away from here? Is that it? I'm not driving you. It's just that it must be lonely around here, you all alone. Derek, what's happening? That's what I really don't understand here. We were fine and making plans on leaving back to Abuja together. But then, now... Nothing happened. Everything is fine. It's just that something came up. Something is always coming up. But we both know you are not telling me the truth here. If I have offended you, let me know. So I will apologize to you and we will be fine. You've not offended me in any way, Tessa. I'm the one who's offending you here. Since you know you are the one who is offending me, why don't you stop doing what's wrong and let's work on us facing our home? There's nothing wrong with our home. Or is there something wrong here? You are sleeping outside the house. You don't come home. I'm busy with work. And that's how I've been here. Busy, busy. And I'm not used to you being around. That's why I'm suggesting you go back. I am not going anywhere. 
If I am leaving Lagos, we are both going to live together. Very well, my love. You've got nothing to worry about, so fuck your understanding me. I am not understanding you one bit. But what can I do about it? Did you cook? I'm actually starving, so I can come eat some food and get back to work. I will eat up the food for you. I hope you are spending the night here tonight. I don't know here, babe. Calvin, I'm starving. Did you buy any food for me? I didn't, but I'll place an order now. Although I thought you would have eaten at Jeff's place. When I got to the restaurant, he was ready to leave. And you know me and him aren't as close as we used to be back then. So what did he say? Were you able to talk him out of leaving? I didn't. His mind is made up already. I don't think anyone can change his mind. If you can't change his mind, then I guess no one can convince him from leaving. What does that mean? It doesn't really mean anything unless you are reading new meanings to it. Don't tell me you believe that I and Jeff are still having an affair. Of course not. I know the two of you aren't having an affair. But I know that deep inside your heart, you've got feelings for each other. Or am I lying? My issue with you, Calvin, is that you don't trust me even though I'm your woman. You being my woman doesn't mean I will hide from the truth. No. Calvin, I love you and not Jeff. Please, let's talk on something else. I have to report back to you by tomorrow at most. Tomorrow? That sounds too soon, Calvin. You should leave like next week. You're not even feeling too well. Didn't you tell Richard? I have to resume by next tomorrow. They're expecting me already. This is too soon. There's no time for us to even make plans on how we'll be seeing each other. They're just going to go like that. We have all night to make all our plans together. Hello, Jeff. Chloe. I didn't think you would come over again, seeing the way we parted this morning. Where would I have gone to? I have nowhere to go, but your place. We have got some friends, I'm sure, like Betty. Betty isn't my friend anymore. Friends don't go around sleeping with their man's lover. Mm, how's everything going concerning the burial plants? It's going to be a quiet one. Just me, you, and some of that closest friends. That's going to be next tomorrow or tomorrow. Tomorrow is perfect for it. I just wish you won't have to leave Jeff. I also wish that, but this is for me to grow to get better. What happens to our relationship? You know I can't leave Lagos to come down to Yola. I'm not asking you to leave Lagos. I'm going after my own dreams here and you should also go after yours. Baby, I have to get going now. I'll see you tomorrow morning. You still haven't told me where you are going to. I'm meeting with some investors and you know most of them love to meet in the night. I'm sure you remember when we were newly married. I wish you wouldn't go today. I have missed us staying together. I have as well, Tessa. I'll call you when I get there. And if you're not yet asleep, I'll call you when I'm done. When will all this be over, baby? Or is this how it will keep going? It will all soon be over. Very soon. I know you're not happy about this, but soon you'll be very happy. I promise you this. And that's why I'm saying if... If I am not comfortable with staying here, I should be back to Abuja. I have had you. I'll call you. Good night, baby. It seems kind of different tonight. Like he's happy. But I wonder if he's telling me the truth about having a meeting with the investor this night. Unless they are meeting in the club. Good evening, Miss Tessa. I'm Desmond, a friend of Derek. Hello, Desmond. Are you here to see Derek? You just missed him now. No, I'm not here to see Derek. I'm here to see you. Do you mind coming inside? Or better still, can we find somewhere to sit down and talk? You can say whatever you want to say to me here. Yeah? What do you want? Why are you here, Richard? Since you didn't care to check up on me in the office, I decided to come over. You didn't have to come over. You could have called me on phone if you were missing me. Missing you? What's that on your finger? A ring? Yes. I accepted Oscar's proposal. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. You want to get married again? Are you serious, Maria? I think I deserve some happiness after all the heartbreaks I've gone through. Mom. No, Maria is still my name. Don't forget that. That reminds me. Calvin called me. What are you doing by sending him far away to Yola of all places? I expected that he would call you. He got a promotion and now he will be going to Yola. I said give the old staffs promotions. I didn't say send them far away. Calvin is one of my best staff here in Lagos. I don't want him going to Yola. I am in charge of everything here, remember Maria. Why haven't you come back to the office? Your suspension is almost over. I'm not coming back to the office anytime soon. I'm enjoying this break. But why send Calvin to Yola? Nothing really. I hope you come back to the office after your suspension hello betty i'm so sorry i've been missing your phone calls i guess you didn't want to be disturbed i even planned to come check you at home i'm sorry about that see a whole lot has been happening in my life are you okay is everything fine 
everything isn't fine betty but now i'm okay i'm much better from everything i'll come and check you later today that's not necessary i'm moving out of my old place today and i'll be very busy let's make it for another day you're moving out what happened i'll tell you all about it when i come to the office we'll be able to talk more then you're keeping me in the dark vanessa and you know how i feel about this i'll tell you about it trust me how is calvin he's okay he's in the bedroom shouldn't you be next to him what are you doing i am going to the room i just came to get something in the living room well guess what calvin is leaving lagos to yola leaving lagos to yola is he going for a training or what he has been transferred to yola a promotion what transfer to yola isn't that far from lagos yeah see a lot has been happening but let's leave everything until well we see shouldn't you be sleeping where are you coming from i couldn't find you when i woke up vanessa called me and i didn't want to disturb you with her conversation how is she feeling hope she's good was she sick because i didn't know anything about that i'm just asking if she's okay because she wasn't at the office the last time i came over okay well she's fine I wish you didn't have to go tomorrow, Calvin. I can't just wrap my head around the fact that you're leaving. I want you here with me. I also want you here with me, baby. But you are going to come over and see me by next week, right? After I've settled in. Yes, I will come over and then you come over to see me, right? Yes, I will. Come to bed, baby. And just put your phone on silent. What about you and Jeff? Did you tell him you're going to Yola? You know the two of you are going to be together there. I don't want to talk about Jeff. He's been calling me, but I didn't pick. I have nothing to tell him. Baby, you should talk to him. Don't ruin this mood, Betty. I beg of you. The only person I want to think about is you and nobody else. Just you. <laughs> I can't believe that we just buried them now. It's okay, Chloe. At least all this is done and gone. We'll be able to rest now and move on move on so easy for you to say you're not the one who have lost your parents and everything that you have jeff i'm the one that's true but i know you're not going to be on your own you have people around you that will support you supports me my dad's friends will support me to get a job yes but what about you what about our love here the fact that you're leaving me you can always talk on the phone and chat about everything you're always welcome to visit me in yola i don't like yola why do you say that i talked to some of my dad's friends to get you a job here in lagos as well so we can be together please jeff i don't need a job here chloe my mind is made up on leaving for yola by evening i'll break the journey tonight and take my flight to abuja you're leaving today jeff I told you after the barrier, I will leave Chloe. I've made plans to sell the restaurant. If you notice, you see for sale in front of the restaurant and we have been getting calls. I noticed it. But you don't have to sell the restaurant. You don't need to pay me back the money, Jeff. I don't need it. I'm selling up the restaurant and I'll make sure to pay you back the money. We both know you need all the money you can get at this point. I'm getting a job. That means I don't need the money. I wish you would keep the restaurant and run it instead. Run your restaurant here, Jeff. You don't need to go anywhere. I've made up my mind, Chloe. I'm doing this for me. I need to go and get some air. I can't believe you're leaving me at my lowest point when I need you the most. I'm not leaving you at your lowest point. We have talked about this over and over again. You can say whatever you like. And you know what? You're not going to see me before you leave. I wish you a safe trip and a great life ahead in Yola. I think I should go and see my boss first before anything. You don't have anything to worry about. I've already seen Richard and spoken to him. Your job here is still intact. So fact you're doing what you're meant to be doing. Are you sure my job is still intact? I didn't even tell Betty. Betty and you are cool. I thought the person you were worried about was Richard, the supervisor. And I'm telling you that I spoke to him. Okay, Derek. Thank you so much for everything. Most especially for being there for me when I needed someone by my side. Thank you. It's my duty as your man to protect you and love you, which is what I'm doing. Hope you are going to work today. I am going to work, but I just want to make sure that you are settled in here. And remember, if this one comes over, you call security without hesitating. I remember it all, Derek. Thank you very much. Soon you stop working here, I promise you. You have your own store like Lillian did. As much as I will have a store, I would still like to work in an office. I enjoy working here. You can have both of them if it's what you want. I better start working now before Richard comes inside. I will even check him on my way out. Remember I love you. Do have a beautiful day ahead. I will. You too, my love. I'm surprised you reached out to me this month. Last time we saw you, you told me you weren't going to come back to me, remember? I said that and I meant it. It's just that I need your help. You need my help. I hope this doesn't involve money because you can see the ring on my hand, can't you? I'm getting married. I... I didn't notice it, but congratulations, Maria. I'm happy for you. Thank you. So what do you need my help with? Money or what? 
not money. I need to lay off Vanessa from work. You want me to sack Vanessa, is that what you're saying? Yes, Maria. And why is that? Are you two having an issue or what's the problem here? Yes, we are having an issue and she's been proving stubborn to me. I just want to show her that she can lose all that she loves within the twinkle of an eye. Well, this is going to be quite difficult for me because I no longer work in the company. I don't understand. You no longer work in the company? A new boss is in place, Betty. She's the current manager of the company. What? Life. You know, one moment it's my turn to be there and the other it's another person. Did you resign? Do I look like someone who will resign from her job? I was given a suspension because of some silly stuffs. My hands are tied to help out. You can still do something, Maria. You're very influential. And I know you can find a way to help me make sure Vanessa is sacked from her job. I can't do anything, but you can talk to maybe Betty. But I doubt that would do any good since the both of them are friends. Damn it! I've got to find a way around all this. Seeing Vanessa slip up my fingers to a man who doesn't deserve her. She's dating a married man, Maria. And this man has got a family of his own. Can you imagine that? You know I don't judge people this. I've lived my own life and I've got a large box of iniquities. I think we both do. I'll see you another time. I really appreciate you coming, Richard. Thank you. That's one of our company's policy. We make sure we watch you leave. My boss didn't go with me to the airport when I was leaving Lagos. That's because he wasn't so happy about the decision. He had other staffs in mind for the promotion. I see. I really wish I wasn't going to Yola. I wish the both of us can even go together. If I had my way, I would go with you, Calvin. But I've got a lot of things to do right now at the office. And I'm not sure I can take a leave yet. You love beds. Now the office will be short of love couples. <laughs> That's true. But we still got Annie and Vincent there. Betty, hope you won't be jealous seeing the two of them together. Whenever I feel that way, I'll simply call you on video. I'll miss you, baby. And I can't wait to see you by next week. I think they just called my flight number now. I'll see you soon. I'll see you soon, my love. Safe trip, man. We will see you soon. Seems like Calvin is gone. Now I think I've got to deal with Richard. I don't get his game here. It's like he likes Betty and Maria as well. Something isn't just right here. I can't believe that Derek will be doing something like this to me. Trying to hurt me by doing all this that he's doing. Lying to me all these days. Meanwhile, he's going out with someone else. Yes, sir. Darling, I'm home. You can't see me crying. Oh, and there you are. Good morning, my love. How was your night rest? Good morning, Derek. Night was okay. How was yours? And how was the meeting? Everything went really well. I hope you didn't miss me next to you. I didn't. I am gradually getting used to sleeping alone, which is a good thing in case someday you no longer come home. Hmm, and why wouldn't I come back home to you? You remember my cousin's sister, the one who just got married a few months back, Anita? Yeah, I remember you told me she was getting married. Is everything okay with her? Turns out that she just found out her man is having an affair with one of his ex-lover and he is making plans on getting married to that lady. Oh, really? Yeah, Derek. And to think that the both of them have been together all this while. Like, why did he even marry her? That's what I keep asking myself. He could have left her all alone. Hmm, yeah, yeah. I don't even know how to console her right now. I don't know what to tell her because she has been crying and crying. I can't imagine how it must feel to watch your man going to be with another woman. Love doesn't truly exist, I guess. But I am lucky to have a man like him in my life because I know you won't ever do something like that to me and Josie. Yeah, yeah, I, I won't. I'm starving though. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. Your stomach is hot with a bump. You must have drank a lot of water, I guess. Yes, water, but I'm hungry. I'll make us breakfast. Look at him. He can't even stand being here with me because he knows he's also guilty. Jeff, are you home? Betty, good morning. Good morning, Jeff. Is Chloe around or are you the only one at home? I'm the only one here. Packing up my bags. I'm preparing to leave to Yola by evening. Yola, you know I really wish you wouldn't go because it will be different without you here. I also wish I wouldn't go, but I have to move on with my life. Yeah, I get that. Well, I came here to tell you that I wish we met at a different time and that everything wasn't as complicated as it is right now between us. What's complicated here between us, Betty? Everything, starting from Chloe to Calvin, you know, and now that you're leaving. I don't think we will see again, Betty, because I don't think I'll come to Lagos again for a long time. So I think it's best we just say all we have got to say right now. We might not have the chance to say it again. I love you, Dev. I've always loved you. And I thought we were going to end up together, not until I found out about Chloe. Come with me, Betty. Let's go somewhere else to another state. No, I can't do that, Jeff. I'm with Calvin and you're with Chloe. 
Betty, I love you and I want to be with you. Your thoughts are the only thing that keeps on coming to my head every now and then. I also can't help myself from thinking about you, Jeff. I love you so much and it's painful that you're leaving. Can I kiss you one last time, Betty? Can I? Why is Maria calling me again? Why can't she just let me be? Hello? Good morning, ma. How long does it take for you to pick up my call? Or is it because she, you know what I want to talk to you about? Is that it? I'm busy at the office. That's why, ma. If not, I would have picked your calls. I see you're back to the office. Well, how's everything going? Everything is fine here, ma. I have not gotten any response from you regarding what I asked you to do to your lover boy. Ma, I really don't know what you want me to do here. I told you in clear words that you are to break up with Derek, but it seems like you're both crazily in love with each other, is that it? Ma, I don't want to hurt Derek, and I definitely don't want to hurt Tessa, but I'm not sure I can do what you're asking me to do. You can't do it. I and Derek have been together for a long time, long before he left the country to further his studies. If only he returned back on time, me and him would have been together by now. I'll be the one in the house, not Tessa. You are the lady you were seeing back then. It was you, Venus. How do you know that name, ma? How could I not have known all of this? How did she know that name? How did she know that Derek calls me Venus? Maria's new will. What the? Oh my. She's willing everything to the orphanage home? No, she can't be seriously doing this. How can she be giving everything that she owns to the orphans? What about me? These are the documents of the houses and the car. Why did she bring this home? I am not included in the will. Why are you standing that way? Is everything okay? Yeah, I was on my way to come and meet you so we can talk about our wedding. You want us to talk about wedding now? Yes, I've proposed and you've accepted. What next will we talk about if not getting married very soon and like real soon? Getting married? <laughs> Do you know how many times I've been married, Oscar? I don't care how many times. You've not married me before. That remains the truth. Most marriages end up the same way. Just like Tessa is about to have a taste as well. I don't know Tessa, but I know you, Maria. And one thing I know is that I'm going to love you and treat you right. I'm not sure I want to get married now. When do you want to get married then? Next four months or six months? Let's talk on something else, darling. Forget about marriage. Baby, you're not touching your food. What's wrong? I am not hungry anymore, Derek. My mind is just clouded with a lot of things. Is this about Anita? Try not to think about that. I'm sure she will do just fine. How are you sure about that? Do you know she is currently pregnant? Wow, that, that makes it painful. But she will be fine regardless of it all. I've seen men and women who go through a lot, but they survive at the end of it all. The road to survival isn't so easy. Nothing here is easy. Baby, eat your food. Remember I cooked this specially for us. Eat all. I don't have an appetite to eat. Have you heard from Julia and your mom? It's been long I even called them. They are both doing fine. But how busy are you that you forgot you got a son? I know, and I will call today to check up on them. You know it would have been way easier for me if only you were back in Abuja. I might leave soon. I will ask mom to bring Josie over since he is on holiday. I don't think bringing Joey over here is a good idea. I won't have his time as I'm busy. Better still, I'll come to Abuja and see him. I know you want to say this was a mistake, but don't say that. I am not saying it was a mistake. I'm going to really miss you when you're gone, Jeff. You know I mustn't go. We both can go today and start our life together. That sounds like a good idea, but we'll end up hurting those we love the most. You're always putting others before you, Betty. I wish you wouldn't. I wish you would consider us first. Consider how you feel in your heart. I need to go to the office now. Come on, Betty. Let's just stay in bed together. We can both spend the whole day here. I would love that, but I don't want to lose my job. I have no regrets meeting you, Jeff, and I'll leave with this. I love you, and just maybe, maybe we could have been a great couple. Why maybe? I'm sure the two of us would have been a great team, a power couple. That just sounds right enough. Yeah, power couple. What the? Betty? Calvin, Calvin, what are you doing here? Are you seriously asking me that dumb question? What am I doing here? Jeff? Yeah, man, what are you doing here? How did you even let yourself inside the house? Don't you knock at the door before invading into someone's house? You are sleeping with my woman. Betty, you are cheating on me already. You didn't even wait until I've gone. I'm not cheating on you, Calvin. See, what happened here was just a mistake. It was a mistake, I swear it. <laughs> a mistake? Wait, tell me something. Is that what you told Chloe too? That it was a mistake? You didn't do it on purpose. You damn it. Calvin, I can explain it all. I swear down it was a mistake. You can swear all you like, but you've broken it all. You trust I had for you. What are you doing here, Calvin? Just what? I came here to apologize to you. To tell you that we shouldn't be fighting over Betty. That we should sort ourselves out. I came here to talk to the man I thought was my best friend. You're not serious right now. Hello, guys. What's happening here? It's nothing. Why are you here, Chloe? 
Didn't you say I won't see you again? I'm totally disappointed in you, Betsy. And I don't think I can ever forgive you. What's going on here? What happened, Calvin? Why don't you ask Betsy or Jeff to tell you what's happening? I'm sure they'll be able to explain more better than me. I'm very sure I brought the document home. Where can it possibly be? Why can't I find it now? Or did I leave it in the car? I'm very confused right now. I brought you some fruits to take and I've made lunch as well. Thank you, baby. But right now, I'm trying to find some documents I kept in the room. Some documents? What documents is that? Never mind, baby. But did you come across any file in the room? No, I didn't. If I did, I would have definitely kept it for you. I must have either left it in the car. Well, that's that about that. Should I take the food to the living room or will you eat it here while looking for the documents? We are meant to eat together, but I need to find this stuff first before I eat. I didn't include my own food here. I'm going out to see some friends. Friends? That's the first time I'm hearing you say you have friends here in Lagos. Don't worry. They are not females. They are all male friends. I'm not jealous. You know I wouldn't blame you if you have another younger woman out there. It's understandable and I'm not stopping you from that. You're the only woman I have in my life, Maria. I need to go and shower. Go ahead. And don't worry, I'll eat up everything. Okay, my lady. You could I possibly have kept this document? I need to call the lawyer. Is I be with him? Or in the car? No, let me eat first. I'll check the car afterwards. It should be there. What's going on here, Betty? Jeff? Can any one of you tell me what's happening? It's nothing, really. Calvin, I think you should take your leave already. Oh, you are driving me away? Well, you two deserve yourselves. But I'm just wondering, Betty, did you plan all of this? The transfer? Did you do this so that you and Jeff can keep sleeping with each other? What? What did you say, Calvin? You heard me, Chloe. And see, you were right all along. Betty isn't to be trusted. She's a liar, a manipulator. She was never your friend. Damn, she never loved me once. What exactly happened here? What happened here? Can anyone tell me? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I swear I did it. What exactly happened, Betty? Tell me! Came here to apologize to Jeff, to ask that we sort things out. I knocked at the door, but no response. So I entered inside as the door was unlocked. I saw Betty's bag in the living room, and I was surprised. So I headed to the room to see the both of them in bed. Tell me to lie, Betty! You again! It was a mistake. I don't know what came over me, but I found myself here. Oh, damn you, Betty. My parents just died. And you, you and Jeff. Chloe, Chloe, just fainted. Jeff, Calvin. You two deserve each other. Calvin, wait, please. Allow me to explain myself. You are back to these fainting games again, Chloe. Baby, do you remember that our anniversary is coming up? Yeah, I, I remember, of course. There's no way I can forget our anniversary. So how are we going to celebrate it? A party like we usually do or what? No parties. We can just have it quiet. Oh, I just remember that I'm having a meeting on that day. There is not going to be any meeting, Derek. No meeting. I mean it. Baby, there will be a meeting that day. I won't be available. You can find a way around it. Move the meeting earlier on. We aren't really going to be celebrating that day, so we can still make it for another day. I want us to go out at least to an itchy talks about stuff and the likes. I'll see about that, but I'm not promising you anything yet. You always used to want to be with me on our anniversary, but these days it's like the sight of me irritates you, Derek. Did I do something wrong with you? You're coming up with this again. Why, Tessa? I just said I'm busy, but I'll see about it. You are different to me. After the anniversary, I will go back to Abuja. Since you don't want me here anymore, I will go back. Come on, Tessa. You know... I don't know anything. Just make sure you are going to be around for our anniversary. I will choose the venue. So all you have to do that night is to be available. I'll try my best to be there. I promise you. I am going to the living room. Why does she want to celebrate the anniversary? Just why? I need to tell her about the divorce, but she keeps making things difficult for me. Why are all these stops even happening? I need to be strong enough to tell her about the divorce. I have to. My own happiness as well as hers. I still can't wrap my head on how Maria knows that name. Maybe it was just coincidence. Or maybe Derek must have mentioned it to her before. Why does she want me to hurt Derek? As much as she says it's because of Tessa, I feel there is still something more to it. There is something more, but I'm not letting go of Derek. I'm not going to make the same mistakes twice. I love him, and I'll be with him regardless of what anyone says. 
I see you are back to the office. How are you feeling now? I'm fine, sir. I'm sorry. I couldn't reach out to you, sir. I was sick. You are lucky Derek reached out to me instead. Like I always say, communication is key for every sector in this office to work out. Yes, sir. You can't just be quiet about everything and expect that things will work out. You speak out. I also received an anonymous note asking that I let you go of your position because you have not been taking jobs seriously. Sir, so that's not true. I take my job here seriously. I'm always on time to work, sir. But you are always going to see Betty in her office. I wonder what you two talk about. About that, sir. I go to meet her most of the time for clarification on certain things. I see. Well, I'll be watching all your activities in the office. You shouldn't have cheated on me, Jeff. You shouldn't. Chloe, no matter what I say, it's not going to change anything. We both know that I have feelings for Betty. I didn't hide that from you in any way. You are fully aware. I thought you loved me. I love you, but not enough. Chloe, please, let's just stop all of this. I beg of you. Let's stop with the pretense, Chloe. I'm not pretending here. I love you, and I need you in my life. I do. You'll be fine without me, Chloe. Love should be something mutual. You should feel it as much as I feel it. That's love. You used to feel love for me. So why aren't you feeling the love for me anymore? Why? I don't know. I really don't. Let's just be real and accept that this is happening. Me and you can no longer be together as lovers. I like you a lot. I do. I love you, Jeff. You will find someone better than me. I have a flight to catch tonight. I know you've not booked your plane tickets yet. Can you do me just one favor? Chloe. I hope you're not going to ask me to stay back because I won't stay back. No, I understand that you have to leave. So I'm asking that you go out with me one more time. Let's go on a date. Then you can leave afterwards. Please, Jeff. A date? You want to go on a date with me? Yes, Jeff. At least let's both depart with happy memories in our mind. What do you say? I need to leave today. I don't want to be here in Lagos anymore. It's going to be a good time for us all. We can even have Betty there as well. No, I know what you want to do, Chloe. It's not going to work out. I'm not going to do anything stupid. I promise you this, Jeff. Believe me, at least this once. You're in the hospital again. What happened this time? Jeff and Betty happened, Oscar. They both are the cause of everything that's happening in my life. Most especially Betty. She's one who is at fault here for everything. Let me guess, you saw the two of them making out. I didn't see it. Calvin was the one who saw it. And I came in to join them. I just hate the two of them right now. I wish I can kill them both. Now you're getting there, gradually, bit by bit, Chloe. Jeff told me today that he no longer has feelings for me. He doesn't love me anymore and here I am in love with him. Thinking about him every time. Meanwhile, he doesn't even think about me or remembers me. I'm not surprised. Remember when I was telling you about my love story? The hurt I went through. The way my lover was pretending to me throughout the whole incident, remember? Yes, I know now. I understand what you felt like. I wish I can just make the both of them cry because it seems like they are both going to end up together while I will be all alone. What do you want to do, Chloe? I don't know, Oscar. What do you think I should do? I have only tomorrow to talk to Jeff before he leaves Lagos to Yola. What do you want to do, Chloe? I want them to suffer. That's exactly what I want to happen. And I don't want Betty to end up with Jeff. If I can't have him, she shouldn't have him as well. Where are you meeting with Jeff? And what time will he be? I'm thinking of taking them to the Royals restaurant. You brought us here, Tessa. Why here? I want us to both go down memory lane again. To remind you on how far we have come. How far we've come? <laughs> we've come a long way, Tessa. That's true. And it's been a great ride, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, it's been a great ride. There's no other man I would have married but you, Derek. Thank you, Tess. Thank you. Let's place our order. What would you love to have? Before we do that, there's something I would like us to talk about, Tess. There's also something I would like us to talk about, but I thought maybe after eating. No, let's talk before we eat. And you're going first. I want to hear all you've got to say. Derek, today makes it our four years anniversary. I know. I'm not a perfect woman. I have been annoying to you at different times, and I must have offended you one way or the other and that's why i want you to forgive me if i have wronged you please forgive me baby and let's work on making our relationship work out that's what i ask of you you've not wronged me in any way baby i'm the one who has wronged you i forgive you derek for anything you have done to me i forgive you i mean it can you forgive me for this
What is in the file, Derek? I don't know how to say, but when you open it, you will see the content. I'm sorry, Tessa. Thank you for agreeing to meet with me, Jeff. I see you changed your mind about inviting Betty over. Since she didn't seem too comfortable about it, I decided it won't be necessary. Plus, she's not the one I want to see. It's here I want to talk to. So what's this whole meeting all about, Chloe? You asked we meet here. I want us to talk about everything, Jeff. Everything that had happened between the two of us. I want to know why I got it wrong. We feel in our relationship, so I can work better. Let's not talk about that. I've also done my own fair share of wrong stuff in this relationship, like when I cheated on you with Betty. I also cheated on you more than once, Jeff, with different men. I understand why you did all of that. See, Chloe, you're a great lady, and you see my living isn't about you. It's about a lot of things. It's for me to grow and find my balance out there. You've told me this already. I just wish you wouldn't leave me now. But the truth is, like you said, there is never a right time for you to leave me. I know you'll be fine. I've gotten some news concerning the restaurant. I've gotten a buyer. No matter what I say on the restaurant, your mind is made up to sell, Jeff. I wish you wouldn't sell it. Why don't you let the junior chef run it in your absence? Who knows? You might come back to Lagos soon. I'm not coming back to Lagos, Chloe. I doubt that. Wow, Vanessa, this place is really beautiful. Did Desmond get it for you? Desmond? I left my old place because of Desmond. I don't understand. You left because of So him. many things have been happening to me, Betty. In just few days. You won't believe this. But Desmond raised his hands on me and he beat me. What? You're joking, right? Is he out of his mind or what? I and Desmond were in the house the night he proposed to me. And then Derek came over to see me. I just spoke to Derek in front of the house. And before you know it, he was just pissed off at me and started beating me up. Oh my god. I hope you reported him to the police. Is he crazy or what? I don't even know what happened. But I woke up in the hospital and that was it. You had to see me, Betty. He was in a bad state. What the hell is wrong with him? Hope he's still in prison though i didn't press charges you should know me i'm good at giving chances you're giving him chances you're meant to report him so he doesn't do it again he hasn't done it again and he will never do it again to me because we are over i'm done with him and that's why i left the house because he has the key to it now i get but i'm not cool with the fact that you didn't report him so who got you this apartment derek yeah he got me this apartment not just that we are dating now you're dating derek He's a married man, and what do you say about being with a married man? I know what I said. He's still sounding in my ears clearly. But not to worry. He's going to divorce Tessa tonight. They are meeting now. He's divorcing her? Seriously, and you're cool with this? I didn't ask him to divorce her, Betty. See, I wouldn't be a second woman in the house, no matter what. I didn't even ask him to do anything. He's the one doing it, all because he's unhappy. I don't feel too good about this, Vanessa. I'm telling you the truth. I've also told myself the truth, Betty. And I've come to realize that at times in life, people will have to get hurt for you to get what, what you want. And that doesn't make me a bad person. It only makes me know that this is life happening. And I'm going for what makes me happy. You can have any other man. That's true. But the only man that makes me happy is Derek. And I love him. I really love him, Betty. I won't lose him. If you love Jeff too, you should go for him and forget about Chloe. If the feeling is mutual, both should embrace it. Oh my god! Jeff! Jeff, you can't die on me! You can't die! Babe, please come back to life! I beg of you! Come back to life! Oscar! What have you done? Oscar! What did you do? How could you have done this? I did what you wanted, Chloe. You should be thanking me and not sounding this way. You killed him! You shot him! How could you shoot him? I didn't kill him. What the hell is wrong with you? You say you didn't want Jeff and Betty together. Now they can never be together because he's dead. What have you done? I didn't ask you to kill him. I didn't know you even bring a gun. I thought you were going to just come over to the table and cause a scene. Is this the thank you I get, Chloe? You messed up big time, Oscar. I'm sending the police after you. You wouldn't dare do that. You're also an accomplice in all of this, I hope you know. I'm not an accomplice. You are, Chloe. And you can bet that you are going down with me if anything should happen. I hate you, Oscar. I hate you. <laughs> Jeff's death is in your hands, darling. Stop looking for someone else to blame. You, Chloe, you killed him. I didn't kill him. No, I didn't kill him. You killed him, Oscar. And I'm going to make sure they come after you. You won't get away. Hello? Hello? Oh my god, Jeff, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I am sorry about this. But you've got to fight this. You need to come out of coma alive. I need you to be alive. I won't mind signing the documents, 
I will divorce you if that's what will make you happy. I will sign a document. I will sign it. <laughs> I'm so I'm sorry, Desmond. <laughs> what have you done? How could you even do this to my man? Ow! He's not still picking my calls. What has he done? I didn't ask him to do anything. But I saw him there with a gun pointed. What the hell is wrong with him? What is wrong with you, Dexmon? How can you have done this? Ow! I can't talk on the phone, Tessa. I'm busy. Oh my god. I can't let him get away with this. No, no. Derek, I am sorry this is happening to you. <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little complicated for me and jeff i know chloe has feelings for him you are the one caring about chloe do you think if circles were turned she would give a damn about that you are her friend i don't think so i can't be with jeff something even happened this morning what happened i went over to his place after dropping calvin at the airport and something led to the other we both slept with each other and then calvin came over what Kevin caught you guys yeah and chloe also came in i thought it was all planned but it wasn't the devil was just ready to let everyone know the kind of person i am this is messed up betty and this is why i'm telling you to make up your mind and be with someone that you love be with a man that you know you wouldn't cheat on be with jeff if he's the one that you want jeff is leaving lagos to yola see i've lost him and i've also lost calvin i've always felt like you didn't love calvin enough we all know the man you have always wanted to be with is Jeff. I love Calvin. It's just that the man my heart really wants to be with is Jeff. If only he wasn't involved with Chloe. I'm a really bad person, Vanessa. Stop with all these blames and accept the truth. Let us all know who you want to be with. Go after your happiness. See, I've made up my mind about Derek and no one is going to say anything to change it. Not even my mom, no one. You're strong. Way stronger than me. There's no way I can do what you're doing. Then keep living your life in deceit. Keep lying to yourself that you're happy this way hello chloe what i'm on my way what happened it's jeff chloe said something about him being dead i just praise the lie what you have got to be joking let's go together I thought it could be i could say i miss you but that would be untrue i know i'm being kind of mean but i learned all that from Thank you for signing to all to my name. I'll keep it with me so that once you are there, that's it. Help me to your hospital, Oscar. I've already signed the document and also asked that the documents be transferred to your name. You've kept your end, but I don't always keep my words. I'm not a honest man. Oscar, Oscar, please. <laughs> Son, help me. Take me to the hospital, please. I'm dying. There is his body. No, no. Oh my god. No. I know. I was also shocked that this happened. I don't know what to say or do. All those I love are dying. They are all gone. My mom, my dad. And now Jeff. No, Jeff, no. What is he even still doing in Lagos? He was meant to leave yesterday. He stayed back because of me. I told him that we should go out more time. One more day so that I will remember that we parted with good terms and then <laughs> he's dead. Vanessa, what else? He died during the date. I think there was a robbery or so because <laughs> there was shooting in the e tree. Two men, two men were shot. Jeff, please wake up. I beg of you. Please don't die. Don't die. <laughs> Everyone ran out of the e tree but me and the other lady whose lover had also been shot. Jeff died in my hands. I held him shouting for help <laughs> as he gave up the ghost. <laughs> he died in my arms, Betty, why? <laughs> why did I ask <laughs> that we should go out? Just why? <laughs> it's not your fault, Chloe. It's my fault. I'm at fault here. I thought we could talk things out. 
<laughs> I, he died in my arms. He died saying sorry. He told me sorry. Jess, please don't die. Come back to life. I promise you that I'll go with you to Yola. I'll not think twice about it. I'll agree to it. I'll agree. I promise you. <laughs> Jeff, please come back to life. I'll let you be with Betty. You both can be together. <laughs> Jeff, did you hear that? She said she'll let us be together. <laughs> You both can even get married. I won't mind. Please just come back to life. I beg of you. My life will be miserable without you. Jeff, Jeff, please just come back to life. I love you. I really love you from the depth of my heart. I love you and all we said was real for me. I was lying when I said it wasn't real. I miss you, but that would be untrue. I know I'm being kind of mean, but I love how could you desmond how dare you stop raising your voice at me are you out of your mind am i out of my mind did you just ask me that dumb question because you are obviously out of your mind don't get me pissed off tessa because i can also do to you what i did to your man how can you be so heartless to do something like that ow I did what I had to do to make sure that Derek and Vanessa are never going to be together. Do you think I was going to allow you to talk him out of being with her? You never told me you would be there at the A3. I know, and I'm glad I was there because I realized that there was no way you would have convinced him otherwise to leave Vanessa and be with you. That doesn't give you the right to kill my man, the father of my son. Tessa, I did what I had to do. See, you don't need to understand me, but I've helped you one way or the other, haven't I? No, you didn't help me. I didn't even ask for your help. Did I? I know women like you never greet for all that one does for them. It's no wonder your darling Derek left you for Vanessa. How dare you say that to me? It's the truth, and you better keep your mouth shut, else I will also take you out of the picture, and I won't think twice about it. You are evil. You are an evil man, Desmond. <laughs> I am definitely going to rot in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? What evidence do you have against me? <laughs> You're lucky I didn't even make his death look like it was your doing. But I promise you, if you make any wrong move, I'll make sure that the police start looking at you as a suspect. Delete my number, Vanessa. I don't want to ever see you again. I hope you find a better man for yourself and your son. Richard, is everything alright? What are you doing here? I brought my mom in. She's in a really bad state and I am just praying things go well. I'm so sorry about that, Richard. But I'm sure she'll be fine. I'm sorry about that, Richard. Thank you. What about you ladies? What are you guys doing here? We just lost someone really close to us. Oh my. I am so sorry about that. My sincere condolences. Thank you, Richard. It's really painful because I still saw this person. <laughs> I understand you, Betty. Losing a loved one isn't easy. I just pray my mom survives. If she does, I will never fight with her again. I will love her and respect her like she deserves. You had better do that when she's still alive. Can you not even respect your mom? It's kind of complicated. That reminds me. Have you seen Derek? Derek? What about him? He's also in the hospital in coma, actually. What? Yeah. He is one of the victims that was shot at the royal restaurant this evening. Oh my god, how do I get to him? Just head down the coma room, he's there. Oh my god, this is bad. Derek in coma, I need to go and be with her. <laughs> I didn't know he was shot, I have no idea. Look at him. He's going to be fine, Vanessa. At least he's in coma, which means he's alive. Derek's own is going to be different. We are not going to lose the man we love. No. Why was he the one they shot? Just why? Everything is going to be fine. He will wake up soon. Derek, you have got to come back to life for me. For us all. I can't imagine my life without you. <laughs> I can't imagine myself without you. Betty, why do I have the feeling that... I'm going to lose him again. You're not going to lose him. No, stop saying that. Every time I feel like we're close to being together, something always happens. He was going to give Tessie the divorce letter today and now look at him. Do you think Tessa might have done this? Is that it? No, Derek said she's a really nice lady. He didn't even want to divorce her, but he said she won't be married if he married two women. But he's not sure he would be able to love her as much as he loved me. <laughs> <laughs> so it was freeing her to find her happiness elsewhere. You must be Vanessa, the lady whom Derek was going to leave me for, right? I'm the one, and I'm sorry we have to meet this way. Are you sorry? Really? Can you see what you have done to my love? 
Can you? I didn't do this to him. Why would you think that I want something like this to happen to him? I love him. You love him. Yet, you are asking him to leave his family to leave me and our son. I didn't ask him to do any of that. I understand your pain about it all, but I'm the one who is meant to be with him, not you. Not me. Do you know how many years I have spent with him? Any idea? Do you know all the things I had to put up with? And now, all of a sudden, he wants to be with you. I have no idea, but one thing I know is that I didn't want you to be hurt. All this why I never had anything to do with him. Nothing. I have my own man. Desmond, right? Yes, Desmond. How, how do you know him? That's why I'm asking all of this is your fault. All this happened because of Desmond. Derry being here in the hospital is all because of your man, Desmond. Oh my god! Are you saying Desmond is the one who shot Derek? Who else would shoot at Derek? If not your ex-lover who's obsessive about you. You did this to my man. And let me tell you something. I will not forgive you if I lose Derek. I am too young to be a widow. My son. <laughs> How do you think I feel about all of this that it's happening? <laughs> Today was meant to be my anniversary, but look at how it's ending. I'm sorry, Tessa. <laughs> I didn't know Desmond would do something like this. He can do worse. Just look at Derek. I just want him to survive, come back to life. I don't want him dead, even though he hurt me. I'm sorry, Tessa. I'm very sorry. How do you meet him? How do you meet Derek? I met him after I finished my secondary school. He and I attended the same polytechnic before he went abroad to further his studies. You are Venus. Venus Ray. Yes, that's what he used to call me back then. Venus. I never knew you were Venus. He told me about you. <laughs> oh, Derek. <laughs> he always said you were both fitted for each other. I wish I never met Oscar. I don't even know what to do now, Jeff. But I know that you must be avenged. But how do I go about it? I regret ever working with Oscar. I wish I didn't tell him that we we're going to be meeting. Now you'll probably be alive. But I messed up. I allowed my anger and everything lead me on to give information to. <laughs> I heard what you just said, Chloe. Keep talking now. I don't even have anything to say, Betty. I should go and rest. I'm having headaches already. You'd better start spilling, Chloe. You're not going anywhere. What do you know about Jeff's death? Did you do this to kill him? What? How dare you think that I will kill Jeff? How dare you? I'm allowed to think anything after hearing what you just said now and messing up and allowing your anger take over you. Did you kill him? No. I didn't kill him. I love him so much to think of killing him. We met here to just talk. And like I said, I wanted us to part good memories of each other. Good memories. But then what happened, Chloe? Tell me what happened. Oscar happened. He was the one that shot at Jeff. Oscar? Who's Oscar? He's someone I don't really know. He and I just met coincidentally and we are both going through the same stuff. I told him I didn't want you and Jeff to be together. <laughs> That's it. And then I went out with Jeff. <laughs> and next thing, <laughs> gunshot. <laughs> Jeff <laughs> died. I didn't ask him to do anything. I didn't ask him to kill Jeff. What? Is this Oscar? Is this the man? Yes. He's the one. How do you have his picture on your phone? Oh my god. That's my ex lover. Oscar still made sure to kill Jeff. Oh my god. Your ex lover. Wait. Does this mean. He was acting because of you. He killed Jeff because of you. But is that what? No wonder. He gave me pictures. The pictures and his words. You hurt him. You were the one that broke his heart. Oh my god, mom. I am so happy you are much better. I am happy as well, son. I can't believe I let myself be treated this way. How could I not have seen through Oscar? How could I have been so blinded? It happens at times, mom. But you have got to stop this lifestyle, mom. You have to stop living this way, taking different young men out. If only Derek agreed to be with me. If only he married me. Mom, you need to stop this. Please, I am begging of you. See, I love you with the all of my heart. And I don't want anything to happen to you. I am not happy with the way you are following this young 
young men. You even flirted with me. I was me. only joking with you, son, and you know it. Didn't seem that way to me. You made me feel like you saw me like one of your conquests. I need you to call the lawyer. I don't want that boy to do anything. Take any of my money. Your money? How is that possible? Here's my phone. Did you bring it with you? I'm sure he's withdrawing money from my account as we speak. He can take all the money he wants. He's still going to get caught, mom. I had end money. What if you died, mom? We used to be thinking about your money. Will you? That's true, son. I don't just want Oscar to take my money. He will get caught. And even if he doesn't, this will be a lesson to you to stop following these small, small boys. Boys old enough to be your son. Don't preach to me, Richard. I'm not in the mood right now. I need to make some calls so that Oscar doesn't get away with my money. Don't move an inch. I'll pull the trigger. I dare you to pull it. You might as well kill me like you killed Derek. Kill me. I see you find out he's dead. Who called you? How could you kill him? <laughs> you killed the man I love. Why this month? I told you to come back to me, didn't I? But you kept ignoring me. You even moved out of the house to somewhere else, didn't you? But you've forgotten that I can still get to you, even if you leave to a safe house. Why are you doing this, Desmond? Why? Because of you, Vanessa. Because I love you. And if I can't have you, no one can have you. I didn't know you would be like this. You used to be so sweet towards me. Oh, I'm still sweet towards you. But I've made a promise myself that I wasn't going to be dumped anymore. No man was going to discard me whenever she likes yes i have my flaws a lot of them but you told me you love me didn't you and that means you love me no matter what you don't leave me you raised your hands on me you beat me that was a mistake but don't we get beaten when we are young don't our parents beat us at times yet never for once did we leave them or did we you're out of your mind desmond you are crazy Get out of my house, Vanessa, but I promise you that you will still come back begging cause I know you're done with you. I know your mom and princess are. Don't forget that. Get out. Move and in and I'll blow up your head. The whole house is surrounded, so if I were you, I will just follow all that is being said. Drop the weapon in your hand now. You set me up, Vanessa. You... Hello, Oscar. Betty, why are you calling me? I thought you've lost my phone number. I didn't lose your number. I've had your number for quite some time now. Why are you calling Betty? Because I know I'm definitely the last person you want to speak to. So just tell me what is it you want. I was just thinking about my life and my mind went to you. The fact that we could have been together now if only I didn't take this job in Lagos. I bet you're enjoying yourself with your new job and promotion you got. I thought I was, but to what end, Oscar? Everything is just frustrating at some point. The man I thought I loved, I lost him because of this same job because I wanted to chase after my dreams. But now I wonder if it's even worth it. <sighs> I'm tired of everything, Oscar. You're tired of everything? Is that what you just said, Betty? Yes, I am. Lagos came with so many fun activities and mistakes. Right now, all I need is just someone to talk to. And you're the only one that comes to my mind, Oscar. You've known me for some time now, more than anyone, so you might understand me. <laughs> You are trying to act smart with me, right? How do you mean, Oscar? Last I remember, you didn't want to talk to me or have anything to do with me. And now, all of a sudden, you want to be with me. All of your lovers, Calvin, Jeff, Richard. Calvin is gone. Jeff is gone. And I don't have anything to do with Richard. I must have made a mistake calling you, Oscar. I'm sorry. Don't worry about me. No, don't end the call. Let's meet up tomorrow afternoon at the airport by 1 p.m. Thank you for bringing me here and staying by my side through it all. Where hell should I be if not here, Derek? Where? I don't deserve it. And I know a lot of other women won't waste time on leaving me to die there after what I did. I won't say what you did was good. It was totally unexpected. And I'm pained, but I signed the document already. You signed it? Yes, I did. And I have spoken to Vanessa. I don't want to be in a place where I am not loved, Derek. I want to be with someone who will love me as much as I will love him. I wish that man would be you, but I am not fighting for your love anymore. I only wish you have been honest with me. I'm sorry, Tess. I didn't want to hurt you, that's why. I am hot. I'm pained. But I will be fine despite it all. Vanessa, you can come inside. Hello, baby. Vanessa. Tessa, I wish the two of you could stay together. But I'm not sure I can be fair enough to you, Tessa. I have signed the papers already. I will leave you two to yourself. Be careful, Derek, and watch over him, Vanessa. Did you guys talk or what? I've gotten all the information you gave, and I think it's kind of similar to the information we just got from some people. I don't understand, officer. Is this the picture of the man who stole from you, ma'am? Yes, that's Oscar's picture. He's also wanted for killing Jeff. Two ladies reported him to us not quite long and we've got information on where he would be tomorrow. 
So you've got nothing to worry about, ma. We will get back all that he took from you. If you don't mind, officer, can I know the people who reported this guy? Miss Chloe and Miss Betty. Betty? She knows Oscar as well. My, I remember her and Oscar having issues back then when he comes to the office. Who is he to her? Turns out he Betty's ex-lover. And he had also killed Jeff because of jealousy. What? Oh my god, he killed someone? Yes, he did. He very lucky to be alive, ma'am. Well, that would be all. I need to get going now. I'll get back to you if there's any update. My god, Oscar. I was blinded. How could I not have known? Mom, once you are well, we are both leaving this country together. You are going back to dad and you two will sort out your issues. Your father wouldn't want to see me, not after everything I've done to him. Oh my god, Oscar, what are you doing here? How did you come in? I can move in and out as I like Betty. So what are you saying on the phone? I, I was telling you how much I wish I had made a different decision with my life. I wish I didn't come to Lagos at all. I wish I rejected the job offer. Why are you regretting it all now? I know things are going on well for you in the office. You are now the manager of the company. How were you able to do it? How many men did you have to sleep with? I didn't sleep with anyone. My brains got me there, but now I realize that it takes more than just brains to keep a company running. Why did you call me? Like really, why? Did you hear about Jeff already? I've not been in good times with Jeff. Liar. I heard about how you've been sleeping with him again. Despite those pictures, you still went ahead to sleep with him. Have you no shame? I am ashamed of myself, but what do you want me to do when I don't have a man in my life? Everyone I love always leaves. You left me. Calvin left. You're the one who made me to leave. I didn't want to leave. You turned down my proposal. You should be the one I should have killed, not Jeff. What the hell are you saying? Stop with all the dramas and pretend. I know you know about Jeff's death. And you want to work with the police to have me arrested by tomorrow. I don't know what you're talking about, Oscar. Stop pretending. Stop lying, Betty. Stop it. Come this way to my front so I can point the gun clearly at you for a clean shot. Please, Oscar, I beg of you. Don't do something stupid. I'm going to kill you, Betty. I've suffered enough because of you. If only you had agreed to come back with me, none of this would be happening. But you chose your job over me. Say your last prayers, Betty, and be fast about it. Please, Oscar, please. Say hello to Jeff for me, darling. I'm sure you two will enjoy heaven together. Are you sure you can still work much longer, babe? Of course I can. I thought you are much stronger already. Why don't you believe me? I don't want to take any risks. I don't want you to fall sick or stress yourself out. You keep forgetting that I'm a man and I'm strong. You are strong, yet you stayed in coma for how long? I agree. I'm still strong. That's why I survived. Well, we're here. At the spot I want us to be. What's this spot, Derek? The spot for my proposal. Vanessa Ray, will you marry me? Babe, come on. Don't knew. I'll marry you, Derek. Yes. Yes. Yes! <laughs> I can't still believe that you are dead. Like, I can't believe it, man. I know we both parted ways angrily, but I love you so much, Jeff. You are my brother and best friend. Always there for me when I needed someone to talk to. I miss you, man. I miss you. I'm sorry, Jeff. I hope you forgive me for all the wrongs I've done for you. And thank you for always being there for me. Thank you, Jeff. I miss you, Jeff. My deepest regret is that I didn't have the courage to take the bold step with you. I was always scared of what people would say. But right now, I'm going to live my life for me. I'll consider others' feelings, but I'll love myself first and do what's best for me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jeff. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to die. My sincere condolences on Jeff's loss, but I have to take Chloe in for some questioning regarding Jeff's death, as you've been mentioned as an accomplice. You're making a mistake, sir. It's just for questioning. You've got nothing to worry about. If she's innocent, she will be, she will be released and sent back home. It's okay, Betty. I'll be fine. Plus, I deserve this. Calvin, we should go with her. Yes, we should. But before that, I'm sorry, Betty. I shouldn't have asked you out, knowing that you're in love with Jeff. I'm sorry as well, Calvin. I shouldn't have accepted your offer, knowing I was in love with Jeff. And I shouldn't have slept with him. I was wrong, and I'm sorry. It's all in the past. I'm sorry for his loss. Yeah. So what do you say on coming back to Lagos to work and to give us another chance again at our relationship? That's something I'll think about. I still love you, Betty. But I don't want to be number two, lied to, or cheated on. I want truth and commitment here. 
I also want that. I won't promise you anything, but I'll put in my best to our relationship if you decide to give me another chance. You've gotten another chance with me. And yes, I would love to come back to Lagos. I love you, Betty. Oh, Calvin, I also love you. And don't worry, Richard will have you transferred back. Do you know he told me he transferred you to Yola because of me? I knew it. He was having a crush on you. Do you know he was Maria's son? That part is still unclear to me, Calvin. Like, how is he as? I have no idea. 